$12.95, unfortunately. But good news, Freedom Membership has remained the same at $19.99. What that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month. You could even place an order every single day, and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either. So it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals, those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Chanda. Now shipping again to you as in America. So take advantage of that. Make sure you become a Freedom member though. Take advantage of that saving. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now, simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember, it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters carry-all. We've really enjoyed being on Hochanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. And a very good morning to you and welcome to Hachanda. How are you this bright and breezy Friday morning? It's certainly looking a lot nicer out there than the forecast. It's sunshiny and gorgeous this morning. Well, we've got a fantastic hour that's going to take you to the sunshine and it's with the fantastic MDF and Mad Hatters. We've got beach huts, we've got sunglasses, we've got camper vans. Uh, um, 
Yeah, ice cream, sunglasses, seagulls. I'm going to take you to the seaside this morning, so do shop ahead. I'm going to be with Mad Hatters here at 7 o'clock and Wendy and then at 11 o'clock as well. So do shop ahead because we'll get through a certain amount this hour and then look at a lot again at 11 o'clock. So let's start with our gorgeous camper van. Oh, this is absolutely stunning. Now, it's 3D and you do get all the door. The, the, what you don't get is the bunting on that one. I'll just point out because that's in your um, Beach Hut plaque. So I'm just going to highlight that one. But you get your doors, you get your window frame, you get the circular wheels for the bottom. And as you can see, it's um, printed on there so you can colour in, uh, etc. Uh, you get the, what do you call that on the front? The tow bar, as it were. Um, and again, let me show you this around. Now, can I just apologise? This is somehow in transit got a little bit bashed. I'm so sorry to Wendy and the team um, because... It is so beautifully made, but somehow in transit it's had a little bit of a, a bashing. But it fits in beautifully. I'm going to show you that now in a second. Now, this is brand new today, and hasn't that been decorated? Stunning. That is so beautiful and so different. And I just want to show you this because uh, I feel so bad that somehow it's just got a little bit uh, bashed in transit. Can you just see this malleability of the roof that goes around? That is abs That is not going to, you know, once you attach that, that is fixed. And it just slides into the grooves, grooves like so. Because I was a little play wasn't I when I was off air so you just slide them into the MDF grooves like that bend it around and as you can see it just can you see that it fits beautifully and then you would glue that so you could see how it would adhere absolutely perfectly so I, I yours won't look quite as lived in as this I don't think that was a design error uh, shabby chic yeah absolutely it's a well-loved caravan this but you can see on the front and back as well they've even etched in uh, the window and the door and then you can stick that over with the extra pieces in there as well absolutely gorgeous in total there are 30 pieces 10% has gone already. We're very busy, brand new today. We love Mad Hatters. And uh, we're going to see a demonstration with the lovely camper van in a bit with Wendy. 1499 Okay, let's give you some more camper vans, but on a plaque. Now, you are getting both of these brand new today. So we've got our large camper van. There we go. Let's take you to the sunshine. I love the palm trees. We're going on an adventure. And our triple plaque. Now, you are getting both. You don't have to choose which one you want. And uh, as you can see, you get that lovely. I'm just going to give a little profile to that. Yeah, you can see how that really lifts off. Yeah. There's... Uh, it is like a decoupage, isn't it, of the three MDF elements there. Beautiful, isn't it? So the, so you could, if you wanted to, you could save some of those and not layer up by three. Because even on, you know, you've got, if I show you there on the raw, you can see. Yeah, so you could actually save and you could have that a little bit flatter if you wanted. I mean, it's not for us to dictate. And then again, on the, on the larger one as well, isn't that beautiful? You can put photos on there, uh, tickets for when you've been before. I dream of going here. You can put a little photo of yourself in there, a little face of the two of you. And then, uh, yeah, maybe you will get to go away at the end of August, October, somewhere in Europe, maybe in your camper van, or you're just thinking, oh, come on, it will happen. Let's put it out to the universe. We will get away. 14 99 you get both of these fantastic plaques. 030083. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to take you to Beryl Cook now. This isn't necessarily Beryl Cook, as soon as I saw these bathing ladies, I thought of the artist Beryl Cook. Yeah, the lovely big books of ladies and uh, and men and men, obviously. But this is this just reminds me of Beryl Cook. Or oh, it's got she's got great humour and uh, draws these these great figures, um, gents and and gals. Um, yeah, just this just. You look up Beryl Cook if you don't know who I'm blathering about. Those of you will know what I'm talking about. This is just gorgeous. Do you know what I love more than anything? It's the swim. It's the swim hats, isn't it? What do you call them? The swim. Oh, that's the swimming cap, thank you. <laughs> it's the simplest things this morning. Bear with me, everybody, it's early. The swim caps, and look, there's this old-fashioned, lovely swimsuit. I love this, and the waves, the water. Um, I just think this is so gorgeous, isn't it? It's got a bit of fun to it, and uh, they're beautifully, beautifully drawn. Nine ninety nine for your bathing ladies plaque, 081915. But, of course, you know, you can adorn that swimsuit how you like, as well as that swimming cap. I think they're gorgeous. All righty, on. Uh, next up, ice cream sundaes or a Knickerbocker glory. Do you remember those? Do people still sell Knickerbocker glories? Oh, banana splits. I think they do, you know, still. 
Uh, you know, you spit your banana, all the fresh cream and, oh, the fruit. Anyway, I'm making everybody hungry now. They're thinking, oh, I won't have toast for breakfast, Fiona. Look at that, a glacier cherry on the top. Sprinkles. Oh, this is so, 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 so cute. And I love the way, a little bit of that faint writing on the background, like a bit of the menu there. Love this drawing around the glass. Isn't that gorgeous? And then... You've got, yes, yeah, got, has got that American diner vibe, hasn't it? And the everyday Sunday, and on this chosen example, they've uh, decided to attach them. And it's sort of got that weathered, warm beach hut look to it, hasn't it? I really love that. But of course, you can have them separately. Don't have, have to, have, don't have to have them together. I love those. So you're getting both of those, the ice cream sundae pack, brand new today, 11 429 453 Lots of fun with that. I can see you having. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Do shop ahead for the beach huts and what have you. So much to show you. We're going to look at a lot of those in the second show as well. But these are brand new today as well. And these are stencils from Mad Hatter. And you are getting all seven. So let's have a little look. So these are great to work in composition with your plaque. So we've got these wonderful waves, these glacier cherries, these pretty pop daisies. Um, now, also there you see, you've got your bunting there. Now we have got the bunting in our beach hut uh, plaque, but if you wanted to draw it, or even put, uh, you know, paper cutouts or uh, material cutouts. You've got it there. You can ink through it beautifully, so not a problem. And then we've also got, I'm going to hold these ones up, surfboards and our pineapple. You see, that's, that's, that's summer and tropical all, all, all together, isn't it? Fantas I see surfboards. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's something else. I see surfboards. And then cuttlefish, do you see? Yeah, I suppose it could be a little shoal of fish, couldn't it? And then waves. I don't know how else to explain that. Just waves, flotsam waves. <laughs> the in and the out. So let's have a little look at these. Uh, I lats the daisies. I mean, how beautiful is that for a card? Isn't that gorgeous? And that line in the, it's, you know, it's stenciling through and then actually using the actual stencil as well. Uh, the cherries, isn't that idyllic? I think that's so beautiful. That's so pretty. Then, yeah, you could make your own wrapping paper, couldn't you? There's our shape. So that's kind of our penance and our um, <clears throat> bunting can work, yeah? And our waves, really, really beautiful. I mean, just for simple cards, these are gorgeous, aren't they? Now, there's our surfboards, or we sort of could be a shoal of uh, fish, could be whales, sharks, great white, ooh. Uh, my son was rattling all about megalodons the other day. I'm like, all right. Um, here we go. Fantastic. I'm glad there's no megalodons around today. Oof, wouldn't catch me in the sea. Uh, tw anyway, £12.50 for all of these. You are getting seven of those fantastic stencils. 310631. And you're saving yourself £4. Well, shop ahead, like I said, for the seagulls and the, and the lovely um, beach huts because they're absolutely gorgeous. But let's go and join Wendy now and have a little look at the camper van video. Hello. Our first demo today, we're going to start with the new camper van plaque. So this actually comes in two plaques. This is a smaller plaque and we have the long thin plaque with the three camper vans on it. So the camper van comes in various elements ready for you to paint and layer up. And it also comes with your two palm trees, which I've already painted. So we'll just start with the background on the, the plaque to begin with. We have got four holes in it. Um, the idea was to make it look more like a vintage tin plaque, um, which generally have the holes in each corner. So I've already painted it white. I've just used white acrylic paint. You could use your gesso, um, just choose what color scheme you're going to go for. So we're gonna do a bit of stenciling. So we've got our new stencil here with the surfboards on it, which is just ideal for, for this theme. Um, so I'm just going to place my stencil on and I'm going to use some inks for this one. So I'll just bring in my colours. So I'm just using my blending tool. You could use a brush, sponge, whatever you're most comfortable with. And I'm just going to start blending through my stencil. Now, our stencils are made from 250 micron, which is quite thick, which means it is suitable for using your texture paste through, um, spritzing through pretty much anything, really. So they're quite heavy duty. And we're going to go in with our blue. And I'm just going to blend that together, like so. 
So your MDF is your Medite, which is a super smooth, laser friendly MDF. Um, it just makes it really suitable for all your different mediums on it. Great for doing your inks through. And then we're going to go in with a little bit of purple. So we're just going to concentrate on building up a nice background for our camper van. Nice and quick and easy. So that's your first layer of surfboards. So we're just going to move the stencil along um, here, I think, and just line that up with that in there. And then back in again with your inks. It's a good opportunity to go quite wild with your colours for this theme. Super easy, super quick background. And that's your second layer. And then we'll do a row of surfboards at the bottom. Back in with the yellow. And with your blue, and then your purple. Now I'm doing this quite quickly, but I would take your time when you're doing this. And the final row, we'll just line that up. So they're nice and easy to line up. And your blue. And then your purple. And there. So we've got a nice easy background there. I think we might just go around the edges of the wrap. Oh, turn the lid away. So I'm just going around the edges just to distress it slightly. And so I'm just using a ready brown colour here. Just all the way around. And then you've sort of got a, a canvas ready that you can start adding embellishments in. And um, you could go in with your, your pens. You could add some extra details to your surfboards. Like so you could use some little stamps on it. There, that will do for the moment. Right. So we'll lay that aside and we'll bring our camper van back in. Okay, so your camper van comes in a few different parts. I've already painted the first part white, um, just for time. Um, I'm just going to use PVA glue. Before I glue this down, I'm going to paint in the back of the windows. So I'm just going to go in with a yellow. And If you're using your lighter shades of paint, um, you generally will have to do two coats. It depends how vivid you want your colours to be. I'm using acrylics as, as I usually do, um, just because they're quick drying, really vibrant, um, just really easy to use and can be mixed so well together. Right, so I've given that a quick coat. So we'll just glue this together. PVA glue, nothing fancy. You can use your wood glue, like I've said before, but it does tend to dry with a yellow appearance. So you do have to be careful if you have got um, any spillages or leakage around the edges. Whereas if you use the PVA glue, it does dry clear. 
so you don't have to worry about that. Right. Very easy to line up. I'm just going to line up the, the wheels and just hold that in place. And I'm just going to stand it up and make sure my mirrors are lined up properly. Just give that a couple of minutes just to, to set. So I'll leave that there. I'm going to bring in the bumper and I think we're going to go silver with the bumper. Right. So I'm just going to paint that all over. And you do have your number plate that glues on top. So I'm just going to give this a quick coat of silver. As I say, it's this fast drying paint. Um, you could use your heat tool to speed up the process, but you generally don't need to use that. It's as simple as that. Well, we'll leave that to dry. Right, so we're actually going to paint our van now. So just remember where all your pieces are going to go. So you won't need to paint this part because obviously this goes on top. Sometimes I forget to go ahead and paint the bits that really don't need painting. So we're just going to go in. We don't need to be careful about staying within the lines because obviously we've got the other parts that go on top. So you can be super quick with this one. It's a lovely teal blue. I think this is one of my favourite colours just now. There. I'm just going to bring it in a little bit of green. I don't know if the camera picks up the difference. But just to add a little bit of difference around the edges. Like so. going to do the mirror silver to match the bumper. There we go. I should have painted my steering wheel before I stuck it down just to make it easier but just be careful. And then my wheels. That's pretty much all the painting I need to do. There. Right, we'll stick our other bits on. You don't need too much of your PVA glue. You don't want it squelching out the sides. And line that up. So you do have your etch lines on your van, which does make it easier for you to line your pieces up. And just get that hold until it takes. And I have got my headlights. Once again, your lines are there for reference. bumper line that up and this is quite good if you're giving this as a gift you could write the name of the person you're giving it to on your bumper and your line is there so you can match that up. And in the middle, you've got a choice of a flower or a, I think it's a little peace sign we've got in the kit. I'll pop that one in there, like so. There. And I think we'll just go around the edge with a little bit of ink, just to give it a little bit of definition. So 
ಸೊ and this is when you can start to go in with your your pens so i'm going to add little flowers so just very easy it really is just four dots just to get a little bit more funky i think it just brings it to life and some white in the middle I have got little headlights here I think my white's running out if I use it too much and then I always like to go in and add some extra details with my black so we could do some little stitching and the edges you put as much detail into your project as you like some little lines on the lights and we'll just bring it all back in together so you've got your back plate and then your camper van, and then you've got your palm trees, like so. And you just position them wherever you like. And that's our first project. Thank you. How good does that look? Isn't that brilliant? I love it with that stencil, seeing that come to life, which we've got on the show. But let's just have a recap, because these are all brand new today, and we're going to be with Manhattan's again at 11. Uh, so you are getting both plaques. So this is the camper van plaque. I love the way uh, Wendy said, you know, almost wanted to look, make it look like a vintage tin, so she's rusted the sides there at the edges. Um, obviously, on this one, we've gone for the wave stencil, which we've got on the show. I love as well the fact that you can personalise the licence plate, that little bit of detail on the, on the headline there as well um, and then you've also got the secondary plaque as well with three of the camper vans and they are super layered and um, they're layered in three there uh, on, on, on the actual um, MDF there but abs absolutely gorgeous there and you've got three there as well so you're getting both of these uh, 1499 brand new today 40 pieces in total so uh, yeah decorate them how you want if I just show you that you can see that they're layered up in threes there so you really get that um, projection in terms of the 3d element on the actual plaque itself I don't know if you can see that at home um, but there's just three of them there absolutely gorgeous so brand new today now we've also got as well our vintage camper van beautiful isn't it now you've got the door from the front, you've got the window, you've got the circular wheel and even the wheel rim there as well. You've got this extension on the tow bar and if I turn it around you've even got uh, the detail of the window on the back there as well. Isn't that beautiful? Now I'm afraid mine's had a little bit of a bash in transit so I do apologise about that but I promise you Providing you're not travelling in yours, it'll be fine because this is really malleable and it's all set already. And it genuinely just, once you've glued that in, it just clicks into place uh, with the slots at the side. And you can see there, yeah, you get that lovely, perfect, rounded finish. So uh, ours is just a little bit well worn. Uh, but $14.99, brand new today. It's just so innovative and a little bit different. That's what I love about the vintage caravan. 145560. Put somebody's photo in there as well. Um, we've got our bathing ladies now. So this reminded me of the artist Beryl Cook. It's just got a bit of fun about it, hasn't it? These three bathing beauties there, the waves moving up. They look as though they're doing a bit of synchronized swimming, don't they, with their swimming caps. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, so you can put your own expression on there. Really gorgeous, just a little bit of fun. And it's been made into a beautiful plaque there because you've got the holes cut out already. Um, 9.99, 0.81915. Uh, now, beautiful as well, yeah, in the bathroom or downstairs, toilet, uh, in, your, in your kitchen, I don't know, maybe you're a keen swimmer even. And, you know, or, or maybe you do, I don't know, my friend does triathlons, she's just the bike and the swimming, and I know, and the running. She did a uh, freshwater swim there recently, and she hasn't been able to for ages, like, oh, you're brave. Um, yeah, they're doing that early morning swim in the sea. Mm. 
Oh, Jimmy's mum's doing it. Lovely, fantastic. Jimmy's my, <laughs> my director. Great. It's supposed to be keeping very fit and healthy, awaken all those senses. I can sit at home rather and have a big fat ice cream instead. Let's all do that. It's far, far easier. Uh, this is our gorgeous ice cream sundae. Again, very vintage, very sort of American diner. It's dripping with chocolate sauce and topped with a glacier cherry. Hundreds of thousands. It's a proper, proper knickerbocker glory, that one. Beautiful on the plaque again. And then you get that double plaque at the bottom, which they've chosen to actually double up. But you can keep them separate. And every day is Sunday. So, so lovely, isn't it? 11 99 429 And brand new today, you get both of those. Now, I mentioned the stencils. <clears throat> Excuse me, I do apologise. It's got a little bit of a frog in my throat this morning. So this was the stencil uh, that Wendy was using, our, our fabulous beach boat. And of course, you could make stunning cards out of that anyway, but it gave a great effect with the uh, camper van. And then we've also got on there that exotic pineapple. You are getting all seven. Then we've got our waves. Here we go, our waves in action here. Um, again, really beautiful. I think this one's uh, uh, used on one of the, the back. Oh, here we go, on one of the backgrounds as well. And then up here, we've got our waves, we've got our cherries, we've got our flowers. And then we've got our bunting as well. So lots of opportunities there to decorate the back of our plaques or our cards or our boxes or create our own backgrounds. Really beautiful, aren't they? Um, yeah, it has kind of got a 60s vibe, hasn't it? And again, love that sort of American diner idea. It's £12.50, £4 saving. You are getting all seven of those seven seaside themed stencils, 310631. Now, I'm just going to give you a sneaky peek at the 11 o'clock show because I want you to be able to shop ahead, but we'll be looking at the footage with Wendy on a lot of these in 11. So these are our 3D beach huts, and you are getting both of these kits. Isn't this idyllic? Now, this is the one as well that's got the wee bunting in it, but you have got a stencil in that last set. Uh, so you've got one that is the two and uh, one that is the one. And I love these because on the top of these, uh, Wendy shows it, I think, you know, just some lovely decorative papers there as well. I know Phil uh, Martin's got uh, some fantastic papers uh, in his show, the one day special at eight. That would look gorgeous actually on top there. Um, and then this sort of weathered look on the actual, almost like chalk paint, yeah, and weathered and distressed. Oh, yours might be a gleaming brat. And I love that and the waves at the front there as well. So let's whisk you away to the seaside there. Really beautiful. And you've got the discount there, £13.49. They're, they're very robust and, and, and really substantial, which I think is a great price for both of those. £14.99 if you're not a Freedom member, but 859-961, I'm sure you agree. Absolutely gorgeous. Be lovely to keep one and then make one, wouldn't it, for somebody else? Yeah. Yeah, put your little photo on there. Yeah, put whoever you want there. Uh, add to it. Add to whatever you want. Uh, that's what's so lovely about the actual uh, landscape of the beach up there. You can sort of, um, what's the word? Personalise it as you desire. All righty, Oak, staying with the um, beach huts, we've got three now for you. It's called the Beach Hut Shrines uh, because it's the outer, if you, say, if you like, the outer casing. So within which you could put a photo, you could put a me memento. I can see myself adding shells to this that you've collected, lovely pebbles that you collect, bits of flotsam and seaweed. Yeah, now they've used the stencil there to create some lovely lovely uh, surfboards. We've got some great 31-piece um, sort of Mad Hatter's accessories to go as well with these three coming up as well. So they get three of these, 9 99 uh, Again, great gift ideas. Instead of sending a card, you know, you could really personalise that from a holiday. Doesn't I suppose, you know, as well, it couldn't, it didn't have to be Beach Hut. I mean, that could be. Uh, my, my Meg has uh, had a, a fantastic light bulb moment. It could be the dog hut. Yeah, it could be the shed, the man shed, the woman shed, where you do your whittling. I mean, it could be anything. Could be the doorway to, you know, your ideal home. The doorway to Narnia, yeah, accessorise how you like. This is what's so lovely about having that blank canvas because you, you don't have to stick the circles on and what have you. They all come in the set, so it's really up to you how you want to use those. 999-060-025. Beautiful. Now we've got the Beach Hut wall pack as well. So I think this is what uh, Wendy's used and she's nicked it from the beach at wall plaque and popped it on that lovely um, camper van at the start. But isn't that gorgeous? And we've got some extra accessories that she's popped in there from our accessory pack. But you do get the beach huts and you do get those doors. And again, they're, they're very weathered, these ones, but you can individualise them. 
as you so desire and uh, stencil onto those sort of got that weathered splash look on there aren't they gorgeous 999 you don't have to put all three on there you just say keep two back and just have the one and put some other ideas on there as well because i've got a great accessory pack coming up uh, 9 99 for the wall hot plaque. Br these are all brand new today as well. Now, our cheeky seagull. What would yours be carrying? Mine be carrying the croissant that I tried to eat when I was down in Landidno. I swooped down, took the rotter. I was having a coffee and a croissant. You know, when you're just saving that last mouthful, gone. The kids were laughing their heads off. And then it, it swooped down, took my croissant, landed on Jed's head. He obviously wanted another trajectory to get gone. I thought he's come back from me coffee. Cornish pasties Jimmy's had stolen from him. My cousin, fish and chips. Beasts. They're beasts. They're, well, they can be beasts, but we wouldn't have the seaside without them. This fella is very jaunty, jaunty isn't he? He's a proper seafaring seagull. He's been around this one, hasn't he? Look at him. He's got his tea, so he's well happy. He's got such character in the eye there. I love that. He's got fantastic character. And I love this, this little bit of rope there and a little bit of accessories there and the fish is there hanging off the side. He's fantastic, isn't he? Nine ninety nine for your seagull. Uh, uh, yeah. Eight eight zero six one one. I love that. Really gorgeous. And I just want to show you this because I don't know if you can see from that angle, but you've even got the wood grain on the top there drawn there for you as well. So you can, yeah, you can accessorize that detail or ignore it at your desire. Yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? Nine ninety nine for your seagull. Okay, now the embellishments I keep talking about, you get 31 in this set and uh, they've been put to great use in a, in a frame and creating a vista or in creating some flamingos. We can create plaques, we can create uh, beautiful bookmarks. Isn't that lovely? I love that idea with our, with our glasses. They could be sunglasses. If you wanted to put uh, a bit of um, acetate in there, but they become sun, sunglasses. We've got tags. You know, you often have your tags, don't you, at home in the MDF? There's a little ice cream sundae on there. You can accessorize a card. I mean, or add to all the other projects that we've got on the show today. And I love this one. They've made a complete vista out of it. You've got the ball. You've got the uh, palm trees, the stencil of the sea that we had from the stencil set. You've got your sandcastle there. And there's those uh, fantastic um, surfboards as well that uh, were used in some of the other elements there as well. Beautiful, isn't it? Only... 32 pence an element. Yeah, look at those flamingos. Are they gorgeous? 9.99 and 31 in the seaside embellishment pack. 547843. Uh, let's have a quick look and a reminder of the seven-day savers because you might want to use some of the gold and the silver acrylics. Uh, so this is a set of five. 9.99. Now these were launched last Sunday, so this Sunday they'll change over again at eight o'clock. So uh, take advantage while you can. Just a quick reminder, 170649 for all five of those metallic artist paints. Big tubes as well they are. And we've also got the grey boards. So if you were buying the embellishments and you want to make your own plaques, £16.89 and you are getting 30 of those 12 by 12 Pro Pack grey boards. 875957. All righty. Now we've got Wendy ready to show us another bit of footage. And this time she's decided to have a little look at our beautiful ice cream sundae. You are getting both of these fabulous plaques. I do like this with it dangling off the bottom there. Uh, very American diner. But you don't have to keep them together. You can separate those as well. Um, 11 99 for both of those. Again, brand new today, 429453. And here's Wendy to show us a little bit more about how to create this. So this is our second um video today and it's our ice cream sundae plaque. I just love this plaque. Um, it comes in the top part and then you have a smaller bottom plaque that uh, has holes in it so that you can hang this down. can't really see that in the camera from that one. It also comes with the words every day is Sunday which is super cute. So the ice cream uh, sundae dish itself comes in various parts. I have um, started painting some of it uh, just to speed up the process a little bit but we're just going to start with decorating the back plate so I've already given it um, a coat of a turquoise colour and we're just going to do a little bit of stenciling and maybe a little bit of rust around the edges just to distress it so we're going to use the new cherries um, stencil because we do have a cherry on the top of the sundae so that's quite nice um, I'm just using a sponge 
you can use a brush if you prefer a brush um, and I'm just going to dip this in and we're just going to just do some of the cherries. So I'm just dabbing through the stencil. Try not to put too much paint on your, your sponge or you will get it um, going underneath your, your stencil. So I'm just dabbing lightly. So I'm just going to have some random cherries, I think, in this one. The edge there. And I might actually use a brush for this part. And we're just going to paint in the little stalks. Love this stencil, it's very cute. Now I'll probably put too much paint in my brush and it's going to go underneath. So do take your time when you're when you're doing your stenciling. I'm just going to go back over with the red just to make it more vibrant, I think. And lift that off. And I think we might just do some at the top as well. There. So we've got things falling on top of my table. And we'll do some cherries up at the top here. So just a, a light dab in motion for your stenciling. So, and then I'll go back in with the green for the stalks and the leaves. Like so. Right, now we're going to go around the edges. I think we might take some white around the edge. So I'm just using my flat brush. And I'm just going to go in with some white. So I'm just wanting to have an old sort of vintage look on this plaque. It's been well, well used. An aged feel to it. I think that's what I'm trying to say. So I'm not going too fussy with where I'm putting this because I'm going to add some rust to it as well, I think. There we go. So, right, I can get my rust paste in. You all know that I love my rust paste. I thought, how can I get rust involved in this project? So it is supposed to be an old metal um, plaque, which has gone a little bit rusty around the edges. Once again, I'm not just being overly careful with where I put it, because I do want that old vintage look to it. I don't know how well the camera's actually picking this up. So this is my two-part um, rust paste. So it comes in the darker shade and then it comes with a bit of a sparkle, which I love. Just add that over some of the, the rust that we've put on. So, there we go, that out of the way, and I'm just going to do a little bit of script stamping. This is a very well used um, stamp I have here, I've had this one for a long time. So we're just going to do some random in the background. There we go, should be enough. And then we'll just leave this to dry, make sure the rust dries. So we'll bring back in our ice cream sundae. 
So it does come in a few layers, as you can see. Um, so I've started to paint the white areas, but I'm ready to glue this part on. You've got all your etch lines as usual, um, just to keep you right when you're lining things up. And my glue is really misbehaving today. It's not really wanting to come out very well. Right, let's stick that on there. Line it up. Does it need to be perfect? Give that a good press down. So I'm going to pink a pink. I'm going to paint it pink. That's what I'm trying to say. So we've got a nice pink here that we're going to go in with before we stick the next layer down. Just my acrylic paints again, super smooth, very easy to use. Don't need to paint this bottom bit because it will be layered up. So I'm just doing a nice coat of pink, like so. This is then your top layer. So I've already painted the white ice cream part, so I will now go in with the pink and the edge right. I am going to be a little bit more careful coming around this edge. Just take my time. I had my head in the shot there, so I'm leaning over too far. Just follow the lines around. There. There we go. So it's your choice whether you paint the inside of your lines. Um, quite often I just leave the sides of the MDF just, you know, the, the colour it is because I quite like that. But you can paint the sides um, just, to, just, just to carry on the colour all the way around. I'll just hold that up. Now, because I've used a light coat here, um, I did paint an undercoat of white to begin with, which just means that I will just need the one coat of pink. Now, I'm just going to paint the insides this time. Make sure I've got all those white bits covered. Like so. There we go, and then we've got the bottom of the glass. Once again, just a quick coat of paint. There we go, that's that. Then we've got our chocolate part. Now you can stick it all together, then paint it, um, or paint all your parts first and stick it together. Um, you know, it really is up to you how you do this. Because it doesn't have any tabs for slotting into each other, you really can just paint all the bits first and then assemble it. So that's your chocolate piece there. And then we've got our cherry on the top. So do a red cherry and this will match in with our cherries that we stenciled on the back plate and a little green top there like so so we'll glue all the parts together just try and be a little bit gentle with this. It is um, quite thin, the MDF, and you don't want to snap it. 
So I'm just going to be a little bit gentle as I go down the edge with my glue. Like so. Take my whisking back in. And just line up the pieces. Like so. I'm just going to take a brush down the edges where I can see the glue coming out there. And just hold that down until it takes. Like so. And then the bottom of the glass. That one. Tiny bit of chocolate there. your glass. Make sure that's lined up. You can see that. And your cherry on top. I'm trying not to lean over um, so that you get my head in the shot. And I've put paint all over there so I'll just go back and that. Right. So when you're doing this at home, take your time. I would then probably go in um, and start some shading. So it would obviously be slightly darker in the inside of my ice cream soda. So I'll just put a darker shade of paint on the insides. Like so. And then I would probably go in with a lighter shade along some of the edges. Like that. Right, so you have got all your sprinkle details um, etched on your ice cream. I'm just going to cover that because I've splodged paint all over the ice cream. Yeah, that's better. So you do have all your etched details and I find it easier, unless you have a very thin paintbrush, um, it is easier to go in with your pens. So you've got all your little sprinkle detail. So we will just go in and do some colouring in. Colour this so your favourite colours. Like so, and then you've got your little sprinkles down in this one. I think all my pens are running out. Sprinkles. Actually, I think we might add in. I don't have a pen this colour, but I do love this um, colour. So I will grab a small brush. And we'll go in with the turquoise that I've used. For the back plate. A few extra sprinkles. There we go. And some white just to give it highlights. So we've got some highlights on your cherry. And some on your ice cream. A little bit down the edge here. But you add as much detail as you want with this one. 
So bring back in our original plaque and then you've got your ice cream sundae to position on your plaque and then you won't see this in the complete shot but this will hang underneath and I would go around the edges just to match um, your original plaque with the rust and that would just tie it with ribbons, string and there you've got your vintage ice cream sundae plaque. Thank you. What a beautiful Sunday there. I love the cherry pot there on the back of that bright blue sky. Isn't that beautiful? And there's another alternative there. It almost looks like the uh, distressed menu there on the background and those lovely swirls on the stamps. You can decorate your lovely knickerbocker glory or ice cream Sunday as you desire. Uh, puts a real smile on my face and uh, makes us think of summer days and going away. So you can have both of these plaques for a mere 11 429 These are all brand new today. We've got the beach huts, we've got seagulls, we've got the accessory pack. We've got um, camper vans as well. We've got our lovely swimming bathing beauties here as well for 9 99 So do have a little shop ahead. Um, our camper van is proving very busy. This, this is the one I wanted to see Wendy make, but... Uh, uh, the, the set of two as well, very busy as well. So let me just show you this one first. So you are getting both of these, the little trio there and that lovely, she said, Wendy said she wanted to distress it like a, a, an old tin. So that was our first demonstration. If you missed that, do watch on Rewind. But she's used that lovely stencils on the show, the waves in the background. These are from the accessory pack with the palm. Oh, no, no, they're actually in there, aren't they? Yeah, forgive me. But there are things like surfboards and other elements there in this accessories pack. But you can put a lovely little photo in there. You can accessorize by putting your own personal personalized license plate have a lot of fun with that and uh, really deep in 3d and then you've got the triple of the plaque there as well of the three camper vans also and you get that flower and you also get that sort of Volkswagen motif nearly quarter of the stock's already gone 1499 030 and uh, yes, yeah, sorry, I got so excited about the caravan, didn't I, with its tow bar. Um, I want to apologise to uh, Mad Hatters because somehow in transit it's got a little bit bashed. Yours won't have that element, but um, you've got the wheels there, you've got the window frame. The only addition we've had here is the bunting. I don't believe that's in there, but we have got that um, on the stencil as well. You can see that pretty flower stencil has been used. And uh, you can put, like I said, photos in there. You can make it vintage. Um, it's gorgeous. Look at that tow bar as well. And over on the back, you get all those accessories, you get all the, yeah, there's little bits of spare paper. Now you can see this is how it all fits beautifully, but it's, it's like I said, it's had a little bit of a bash. But if we've got here, you've got the, there the, the frame, the detail there of, you know, you could actually put proper curtains on there, couldn't you? But it's really, I do want to show you this because it just slots in beautifully and there's such uh, malleability there as well. So obviously it just slides into the, into the grooves and then you'll get that perfect, can you see that lovely perfect fit? So it's not problematic. You've got that little bit of stretch there so it can go over and it will follow the curvature of the actual uh, MDF there as well. So it'll look really smart there, beautiful. So gorgeous, look, oh, I love the MDF. Um, that, I think that is so cute and so different and you'd have such fun accessorizing that. I mean, 14 .99. I haven't seen any of you do the vintage caravan before, which is why I like it so much. 145560 and all your elements are in there from Mad Hatters. You can shop by brand as well on the website. So you can look ahead at our seagull. There's our lovely seaside embellishment pack. Ice cream sundae. We've got the beach huts in the shrines, the plaques. We've got our bathing ladies. Other elements in there as well. If you're thinking, oh, I wouldn't mind using those uh, beach huts and turning them into something else because they don't have to be beach huts. Oh, remember the freestanding bunny rabbits. They're so cute. And those lovely, lovely decorative bird houses as well. So there's plenty there on the website to catch your eye in terms of the Mad Hatters. And don't forget, if you're spending uh, £60 or more, you can create your own Flexi Buy order and split that into two flexible payments over two months as well so uh, and well worth becoming a freedom member as well that's a monthly payment and you can opt in and opt it out as you desire and you have uh, unlimited standard delivery there for the month all right wendy will be back with us at 11 o'clock i think we're going to concentrate on beach huts are we in the 11 o'clock and our seagull yeah so do shop ahead and enjoy like i said there was so much that was brand new today including those lovely stencils seven of those stencils you get uh, so it's well worth having a little shop ahead we just couldn't fit it all in but hopefully we showed you a little uh, taster of everything that's on the show because there's so many goodies that she sent us in that are brand new and do watch on rewind wendy doing the ice cream sundae and the camper van plaque 
beautiful. Love those bathing beauties. They're so, so much fun, aren't they? We may not get to the seaside straight away, but hopefully this will take you there in, uh, in your own home and you can decorate it to your heart's content and we'll get away eventually at some point. Uh, enjoy the rest of the hour. Uh, we've got a great one day special coming up as well with Julia and Paula, so don't go anywhere. Yes, it's a fantastic Sentimentally Yours One Day special. And then I'll be joining you for Charlie's Crafts and some fantastic stamps. And then we've got those lovely sweet poppy stencils. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products so watch this space. On our shows we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting because our motto is because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose craft shows on a chamber. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. At Daisy Chain Designs we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hochanda News! We're excited to announce that from the 1st of July, our broadcast hours on Freeview will be extended to 10pm each day. We know that many of you have been missing our live shows in the evenings and we look forward to having you with us once again. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. 
So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge, and members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hochanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hochanda family. Good morning there. Of course, we have got now a first look today of the one day special. Launched last night at 6 p.m. A roaring success. Now, it's a, of course from Sentimentally Yours. It is a brand new collection by Trudy Howard and is the Roaring Twenties. As you know, Phil Martin selects, you know, very, very rarely works with other artists, but of course, Trudy Howard being the first one that he collaborates with and delivering you the beautiful collections that work so well with each other. Now, here we have got, of course, the one-day special that includes 42 brand new individual stamps with the beautiful girls and the kind of very damper gentlemen. Very much of an attitude that they are giving you. And the woman that is going to show us how to use these stamps, how to make amazing cards with it, is of course the Julia Watts. I mean, the one and only Julia Watts. We adore her and we are so happy that even though with social distancing, mm. we have you in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Yeah, very excited. Good. Now, of course, you launched this, well, this collection last night at 6 p.m. and, you know, it was incredibly busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? And I know that you love it as well. What is it that you think that it w is so beautiful about this collection? Well, I mean, I think Art Deco is uh, is an era that a lot of people um, absolutely love. It's it's elegant. It's elaborate. It's uh, a little bit over the top. The dresses that the ladies wear are just um, exquisite. You know, they're 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 glamorous. Everybody wants to be them. You know that kind of thing. And of course, the guys have got, as you say, they've got a real attitude to yes, them. Yes, they do. And uh, it's it's very difficult. Um, I know a lot of people struggle with cards for men. And um, Trudy does men really, really well. Um, and this is building on the Fashion Easter collection, which we launched, um, I think it's a couple of months ago now, uh, which has been very popular. And Trudy's background is actually with fashion. Oh, so I this see. is, she does this so, so well. Look at that. And, and that uh, fashion background kind of completely shines with this collection. Look at her hips moving. And you can see that you almost want to kind of then even create a ball gown out of this. You could add even more elements to them. Now, of course, what do you get for your one day special? Of course, is uh, six stamp sets, but in total, tw 42 individual uh, stamps with that central image. And of course, then you have got saints in every single stamp. Now, you can see them here. I'm going to kind of turn it around and then you can see that there are photopolymer in here and time to Charleston glitz red sea just for you and the size of them I love that they are significant size um, stamps as well so you have got the ability to maybe if you are creating maybe a little bit of a bigger piece or larger cars I mean some of those ones are almost like A4 cars, and of course the central image works very well. But also when a DL car would work phenomenally well. If you want to go for the one-day special, 904-913. Now, with the stock update is, I can do that 40% of the stock has already gone, and that's just two hours. And for, please do check your baskets as soon as you make your mind. Remember that you have got seven pounds saving, 64 pounds and 94 pence is the price, and of course you can can see them here the gorgeous how color and of course you can create your own coloring images whichever color you want to create I love these dresses I'm thinking also incorporating maybe a little bit of lace and then you can glue it on the top of it as well I absolutely I think she's my favorite I mean that dress I just so want that dress because you know you can see her moving her hips and all the tassels will kind of come out and look at him like I said Look at that, look at that. And then 
Oh, and I just adore this sample because it showcases that you don't have to use the stamps on their entirety. Uh, think about like, trimming and layering and die cutting and of course that sort of a strong image uh, still is very commanding. If you want to go for uh, this item, the uh, oh, one day special, the details are on the left hand side of the screen. Now if you wanted to go for, we have got more item, more deco stamps which we are going to be seeing in closer look in a bit but you can see how even on their own I mean look at that gentleman I mean I think if somebody is into also into the regattas you know like the boat races and things like that this is very appropriate isn't it it kind of has got a slightly different sort of look to it also I think it would make a lovely wedding card as well like it's a little or an engagement uh, now you could do of course because you're you getting two gentlemen and four ladies I mean in the stamp form you're not getting the ladies or the gentlemen Gentlemen, uh, that would, <laughs> that's a little different thing. Uh, now, of course, you uh, you can create, you know, kind of whatever type of maybe civil partnership or marriage, if it misses and misses, party invites. Maybe you are doing like our producer and um, Leone, Alex, and myself. We went once to a party. Uh, it was a 1920s Halloween party, and it was one of the best parties I have ever been to. And of course, and, it, and of course, that maybe if you I want to create something like this, and um, those times are gonna come the signs when you want to celebrate again and everybody is well uh, all your friends are welcome you have got a flexi buy option to spread the cost in two payments of 32 pounds and 47 pence or one of payment of 64 pounds and 94 pence 904913. Now, something to go with it perfectly is that Art Deco corners and borders. Now, I love, absolutely love this set, this set. Why? Because it gives you that geometric nature that, of course, the, um, the Art Deco offers. They are photopolymer stamps, high quality, and you can see they are both A5 as stamp sets, so you have got the nice width and nice size there. I'm also thinking pattern building. I'm also thinking about creating those borders that kind of you create, a, like can you see here, maybe a star, maybe overlay them. I'm thinking Christmas as well you know kind of a sparkle in there to add something a little bit different I'm thinking using the corners to create again like um, you know eight point stars to replicate them but look at those beautiful beautiful I just think of you know is it uh, the Adelphi theater in London that is very our deco or, or the Savoy Hotel other hotels and theaters are available of course uh, well not now but the I minute mean, none of them are available but uh, moving on from that subject uh, you can see that you have We've got that beautiful aspect of those corners, those elements in here. A stamp and embossing to gold and it kind of creates that pattern for the background. So then your one day special, the beautiful Roaring Twenties images are the focal point. I love how they can be very subtle or commanding that attention. This also reminds me of a Japanese uh, style. So imagine kind of you can bring a little bit of Oriental or even Celtic as well. Yeah, I agree, Celtic, Japanese, Oriental. Absolutely adore this. This almost kind of brings almost like a Native American also design. So this is a phenomenal set because you can see in here not only the Art Deco, but oh, then you see that Oriental, that Celtic, that as was, I was saying, a, like Aztec sort of look. Look at that. Isn't that, yeah, this is what I mean. Is it Japanese? Is it Celtic? Is it, you know, Native American like Aztecs or Navajo? Uh, now, over, I, I believe over 60% of the stock has already gone. So grab yours. You have got a Freedom Prize as well. So if you're a Freedom member, you have got a further discount. 22 pounds and 48 pence is all your pain. If you're not a Freedom member, 24 pounds and 98 pence is your price. And the item number you need to take note of is 148480. And then we have got our Extras. Now, we like extra. No? Going extra is always a good idea. Now, if you want to have a little, you know, pussy cat in here, you have got him um, there. Very nice. Very nice car as well. And the feathers. We want a little bit of peacock feathers. And of course, um, we have got the martini glass. And then, of course, we have got those beautiful, again, Oriental or is it Art Deco? That gorgeous geometric peacock feathers in there. But look at these cars. I mean, I think. 
is phenomenal. Now, remember that if you add one day special and you, you, if you can add maybe the borders as well as the extras, add them to your flexi order and you can spread the cost and then you can create something like this this is amazing i love that card but look at that a stamp and emboss into gold those feathers that cat in there how gorgeous is that and of course the ca the car goes very well with the dapper gentleman in there oh look at that I, you know i wish they make cars like that I really wish that nowadays you could buy a brand new car that look like that. I would definitely buy it. Well, if I could afford it, of course. Uh, now, look at that. Oh, I love that. Look at this. It's just gorgeous. Now, of course, that can you see the background? That has been done layers upon layers with the stamps, images included in the extras. If you want to grab yours, 14 pounds and 49 pence is your price for a photopolymer A5 plate. And of course, it's the Roaring Twenties, the Deco Extras. 784841 is your item number. Now, we have got other brand new items as well as some returning favorites. So head to the website to see exactly everything now uh, of course the watercolor brush we are trying to get some more but we don't have them at the minute so we will see what we can do about that uh, uh, now of course we have got the flowers the leaves the premium art tones and the premium rich tones as well as the premium monochrome a4 car so I would definitely go for those ones Double deboss are always one of my favorite dyes because it gives you that extra two lines of debossing. Very classy, very perfect for your art deco elements. Embossing powders and glitters. But of course, we want to head back to uh, Julia to see uh, the first demonstration of the day. Hi everyone. Right, okay, so we're going to use a pair of characters uh, today. Yesterday, we were just doing singles, but we're going to uh, marry up <laughs> Excuse the pun if there's one there. The Ain't This Grand uh, guy and the All That Jazz lady. And we're going to do some uh, stamping in the background with the Art Deco, uh, the Deco Borders set. But we're going to do a slightly different colourway. I am going to start with the background because then we'll get that out of the way and then we'll do some stamping of the main images. So I've already started and I've selected a paper from the. Um, let me think. This is from the Celestial. Terracotta? No, this no. is from the Celestial. Oh, Celestial. This, this one fades from um, like a purple into a green. Um, yes, yeah, so, but you do get both anyway. So we're going to. I'm going to do a little bit of a background. You can see I've already started. There's a little bit of a, mis a bit of a mess there, but that's fine because I can cover that up with um, my figures. So never, never worry about your backgrounds. And so we're using this one here. Yeah, this one, as you said, Paula. Yeah, great for for pattern building, the corners and the borders. Also. Um, great for um, adding to your flowers so you could uh, take the petals of your flowers and just perhaps stamp the the diamond area in the in the in the flowers or just the point into your flowers so there's lots and lots you can do with the borders don't just think of them as as a border so I'm, I'm alternating because my background is like purple and green I'm alternating between wilt, wilted violet and the bundled sage uh, distress oxides so we're going to go for the wilted violet first and this this does take a little bit of a while you know I, when I was doing some of, of the, the the prep for, for this it was I come on messaging um, Phil you know this is what I'm doing and he's going ooh I said, it's taking me ages <laughs> <laughs> but no, oh. it's worth it and it, they're, they're cards that you can kind of savour really so I've just yeah. misted this with a little bit of water because the oxides do stamp better if you do a little bit of a mist I love, I mean, it's just like this, the pattern is just stunning. I, I love that geometry and I, I love how it's very article if you go for article colors, but if not, it's just geometric. It's just, yeah. so you, you can do so much with it. Yeah, so you can use these on, um, you know, some of your, um, you know, your, your home decor if yes, you want to. You could, because they're photopolymer, you can actually stamp, a, without a block, you can stamp around things. <gasps> 
course, yeah. See how okay. that's extended there? Yeah. And because it's clear, you can, um, you know, um, line them up quite easily. And it, but don't stress if it doesn't line up pretty easily, because nobody's going to look at your background that closely. Oh. Now we go with the bundled sage, which hopefully will just finish us off. Okay. And I'm just thinking that exactly as you are doing it in embossing with embossing powders that could look quite oh, yeah. cool as well. Yeah, and I like the idea that you said that it could be oriental as well because if Definitely. you choose your colours, so if you go for black, red, and gold, that's that that's you can't get more oriental than that, really, can you? Yeah. It's, because I'm thinking that reminds me a lot about the knots that Japanese um, cards, traditional cards, they have got like a foldable cards and then they wrap these beautiful knots around it with gold thread and they look very similar to that. So I'm thinking a stamp and embossing into go uh, with gold embossing powder over white, like you were saying, white, red and, and black, that would look amazing as well. Lovely, wouldn't it? So I'm not worried about this here. I could go again with a bit, little bit of a bundled sage to put some in there. But we're going to go flowers, we're going to go glitter, so, so I'm not going to do any more on that. Mm -hmm. I am just very quickly just going to ink around the edges with my bundled sage as well, just to bring it all in. And I've got also a rectangle here that I'm going to just ink around the edges. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, because, because I'm going to be using Versifying Claire for my sentiments, sometimes it's easier to ink around the edges first rather than stick your fingers in your ink and smudge it. Now, of course, uh, Julia is using the borders and corners, uh, the Roaring uh, deck, the Roaring 20s, I was going to say Roaring Deco, but, uh, and there you have it, both Sam says, A5 photopolymer, such a stunning detail, fine detail as well, love the arrows, love the geometric nature, I think this is one of those sets that can work in so many, um, you know, cars, it's not just uh, 20s or Art Deco, I'm just seeing Oriental, I'm seeing uh, Aston, that kind of designs, Navajo inspired uh, designs as well. I layer them up as well. I'm thinking stamping and embossing into what with white card and doing one of the Julia inspired backgrounds in there as well. That would be absolutely stunning. £22.48 is your freedom price, and of course, uh, you can get it if even if you are not a freedom member. Okay, so now we need to stamp our characters. I get in such a mess, such a mess. I've got all this big table here, <laughs> which is very nice actually, having such a lot of space. I'm going to use the Stamp Perfect just so that I can make sure I get my image absolutely spot on. So we, we, we'll stamp this chap. And the images are um, sized the same as the fashionistas in that the men are 18 centimetres tall and the ladies are 16 centimetres tall. Actually, on this, you can, if you're really, really, really frugal, you can get one there, turn around your card and get another one as well. But we're going to go in the middle. And this is Bockingford card, the hot yeah. press watercolour card from Pink Ink which you should be have available on the website, you normally yeah. do. Um, and where's my Nocturne Versifying Claire? I know it's here somewhere. They, they are saying in the gallery that this is like very gangster in a kind of Bonnie and yeah, Clyde. Yeah, he is. That, yeah. know, I'm thinking also this thing. Have you ever watched this thing? Yeah, Other I have. Movies have yeah, all, years ago. Yeah, so Paul Newman and Robert Rufford. Oh, yeah. It's a very good one, actually. They were really the cool. The Sting. The Sting. I think it's The Sting it's called. Yeah, it was The Sting. Yeah, it's The Yeah. Paul well, Newman, oh, it's Robert Rufford. Nice one. It's a very nice one. That's and not just because... <laughs> it's got quite an iconic um, uh, soundtrack for that movie as well, hasn't it? No, it's, it's a very nice plot. I like it. Is that the one when they're riding around in, the bo in a bicycle? No, that's, um, that's the other one, isn't it? That's... Uh... <laughs> That that sounds. Oh, the what's it called that one? Oh, I don't know. Email us in if you're watching and you know the name yeah. of that movie. Because I think probably got they them did mixed do up. two or three together. Because I know they did uh, Sand, uh, Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid. That's the one. 
That's the one. That's the one with the bike. That's the one I'm getting mixed yeah. up with. Look how well he stamps. That's just with our first inking. Um, I mean, a lot of the, if you're not into colouring, uh, they will be absolutely fine just stamped and embossed. Let me just grab this, like this card here. This is just um, the uh, Ritzy stamp and then with some Art Deco extras here. So you don't need to colour in if you don't want to. Don't, don't worry about, you know, shall I turn it to the camera three just so you can see a little bit better. There we go. So don't worry if you're not a colourist, you can still use them without. Obviously it's a lot of fun doing your colouring. Um, so let's stamp our lady as well. So you can see her. Pull him up. And I love the way that, like you were saying, that it's coloring is easy because also it's it's not that detail. In the way, or, uh, there is a lot of detail, but it doesn't. It's big areas to color in. Yeah, so it's it's you can make them however you want yeah. to. I know Joanne's done a little bit of paper piecing on one of hers as well. So again, if you're not don't, not into coloring, you can do your paper piecing. Um, they they're they're very good if you're not too confident about coloring in. Um, because they're really good to kind of work with and I should at this point actually mention that on Facebook there's Phil's new group which is called Crafting with Phil Martin oh, yes. and Sentiment of Yours and within there there are lots of um, uh, projects completed by the members using the fashionista and uh, the design team have been putting in pictures of the samples that we've done with this collection as well and um, you know, there will be lots of inspiration on there and lots of tips as well to how to actually get the best out of your stamp. Okay. So there, there's, there's my lovely lady. She's all coloured in, uh, stamped beautifully as well. So they look like a really good couple together. Oh, they do. As you say, they'll work on a, they are like a DL size stamp, so they're going to work really well uh, just on a card on their own. If you don't want to do any cutting out, you know, you can just pop your colour in, pop the sentiment or put a background around it. So they don't have to be as complicated as we tend to do. Now, I'm not going to colour it, do any colouring in this hour because we don't have any pens. So I hope that's okay with everybody. Does that sound okay? Perfect. Okay, right. So what we'll do is we will stamp our sentiment and we'll start to do a little bit of construction. So there's quite a few sentiments that we're, are going to uh, fit in here. I think we'll have the all that jazz in this one. And there's like, there's some birthday sentiments in there. There's, um, y you know, um, kind of quite general sentiments in there. There's ones that are going to fit within this Art Deco kind of theme as well and the Roaring Twenties theme. So there's a real mix. And you'll see with this one, when I stamp this one, there's um, like gaps in, in the font. So, because they're real Art Deco fonts. So we can do a little bit of colouring in. So I will just, just add a little bit on there with one of the olive green pens so we can just bring in the colours that we've used on our, our characters into our actual sentiment panel which is quite quite nice thing to do wonderful idea of no uh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes she does have very often very great ideas to so say like to have uh, pictures of um, you know like in a canvas putting pictures of a party of a wedding and then of course putting that all that jazz or that sentiment in there and that you can do that as well with the with so many like doll face as well I mean you could do that for maybe a memory album that you are using for a baby for instance so there is a lot of different uses not just for of course uh, for the uh, the Roaring Twenties elements. Right, look at that. Oh, I love them. The one day special, of course. Right, so am I all right carrying on? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so we'll have it. Let me, I'm thinking about where my mistakes are, so we're going to do it this way around. I'm thinking about this badly stamped bit here, because you can always cover everything up. There's always a way to to kind of pull things back. And we've got, I've got my characters all coloured in. 
So on the original one, I've got the lady on the right and the man, well, my right, and the man on the left. But I think what we'll do is we'll props position them so that he's there and she's giving him the cold shoulder. She's turning her back on him. So I think we'll do that one on this one, just for a bit of fun. <laughs> Sassy. Yeah, absolutely. So he, I put them on foam pads. And oh. he's going to go on first. He's and remember, the one day special is 40% uh, of the stock already gone. So do check out your baskets for it because, uh, you know, it, it kind of should, the stock should last until 6 p.m. But there is no warranty that will do. And of course, there you have got the beautiful six stamp sets that you are going to get. Those beautiful images that Julia is using. I love that. It's nice and bold images, beautiful, elegant, sassy, fashion forward kind of element, uh, figures in there. And, uh, you know, for instance, like the girl that in there, uh, there, you know, yeah, it says a roaring 20s, but it also could be roaring 20s of right now. And look at that, like looking over her shoulder, the cra and the man, the gentleman, like a gangster man, but in a good way, sort of way. And look at the flapper girl just dancing away there, the cat's meow. And they are so much bigger than they look on the packaging. There you have it. And that is really brilliant to have such a, you know, commanding images for your cars. If you like your 8 by 8s if you like your 9 by 7s if you like your 7 by 5s you know, these are perfect for it because they are not small stamps. Right, let's get head back to Julia to see where the, the, car, the demo is going. Okay, so I've, 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 I've um, put my lady and my gentleman on and uh, I followed Leone's tip and put uh, glue on some of the thinner uh, extremities um, just to secure them because they don't have to all be 3D'd and it gives a little bit of movement. And with the sentiment, um, so the, again these are rounded corner rectangles and um, I find that if I say if I cut the next size, there'd be a massive border, and on the smaller ones, it shows it, 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 it's not as good. On the big ones, it's wonderful to cut the next one. So, what I've done is I've cut exactly the same size one, and I'm going to use it like a clapperboard kind of effect. Yeah. So, we're going to glue that one down in place. that like that that's that's going to go there but before I pop it down I'm just going to pop some glitter around the edges because we want it to be um, nice and sparkly so just on that middle tram line don't worry about it looking perfect I'm going to go around with the sentimentally yours glue no way no way is this going to be perfect because I'm it doesn't need to be perfect to be no, beautiful. No, because the gl I'm going to use the Crystal Aurora, okay, uh, which comes with the Diamond Dazzle, and that's quite a chunky glitter, okay. and it's got a bit of um, kind of interference um, with it as well. It's got, um, you know, well, the Aurora Borealis kind of feel to it. So we're going to pop that um. around the sentiment as well. And of course, the glue the details are on the left-hand yeah. side of the screen if you want to go for that glue. I use it all the time and it's a brilliant glue. It's, um, it, they're big pots as well that you get with yeah. these and they also work very well if you mix them with some of the other um, uh, um, gl glitter alchemy uh, sets that we've got on the show. You know, if you find that some of the colours are a little bit intense, if you mix a little bit of Crystal Aurora with them, it kind of uh, uh -huh. gives them another dimension and, and gives, gives a little bit more interest and actually dulls them down just a wee bit. Uh -huh. These around the edges, maybe there. And of course the, the glue is going to dry clear. And it's going to get everywhere, as glitter does. I know our Mr. M loves loves his glitter. Ah, uh, yes, he does. He does. Yeah. We had a bit of a glitter ga gate on uh, yeah. Facebook Live the other day. He wanted me to glitter everything, and I didn't want to. <laughs> right, so let's pop the sentiment on, and then we'll look at our flowers. I've got most of the flowers ready already, so it won't take me long. 
pop that. I like this. I'm now, I've, now I've, you know when you do things and you think, That's right, I'm going to keep on doing that and I'm going to do it to death. I quite like that clapperboard feel. It especially goes well with this kind of theme. I love that. Yeah. So my flowers, grab them here. Got a few that I've made up already. So what I've done is I've taken the... Um, elegance flower we've got two sets of flowers we've got the elegance flower and we've got the enchanting flower and both of them are sold with the stamps and the corresponding dies as well so it's up to you you don't have to use the stamps if you don't want to but you know I have done in this case and using the rest of my paper so this is in the middle of the paper so I've got that bit there and that bit there that's left on the A4 sheet I've stamped a bunch of flowers and when I stamp my flowers I keep them all in my stamp perfect um, and just um, that's an A6 piece of card and, and then it's just easy just to, to do a batch and I've stamped one with the uh, on the green side of my card with the bundled sage and on the purple side of my card I've stamped with um, a clear embossing ink and I've used the pure white embossing powder that's on the show. So we're just going to just give them a little bit of shape with the tweezers. I don't think we've got the tweezers on the show this time, but Phil's in on Sunday, so he might have them on his show. Um, they, they, I know we bring them quite often, but the pointy tweezers are quite good for um, just shaping your flowers. I love that technique because it's a simple technique, it is simple. but it's so effective. Yeah. So if we just pop, if we just pop a little bit, this is my stamp perfect mat because I've forgotten my other mat. But if we just pop a little bit in the in in the centre there, and then grab an embossing tool of some sort. When you push it in, then it gives a cup and it gives it shape. So I've done that already, and I've actually doubled them up again. So here I've got a pair, and here I've got a pair. So I'm going to stick another one of my smaller pairs inside here and give it a nice full flower and they, I think they look really pretty and these are going to go on my card with my leaves so these are the leafy fronds that we've got on the show so we're going to pop these on and they're like the ones that they are mirrored as well so they, they are there's a left and a right yeah, yeah. I like I like leaves that are left and right. The lush leaves are the same as well. Yeah. And there it is exactly how you can get them. Well. Twenty-one pounds and ninety-eight pence is the price for a set of two die sets: the lush leaves and the leafy fronts. Four dice in total. Five zero nine one four nine. I don't think you can have enough flowers and leaves. Oh, really. definitely not. Definitely not. So this is my righty. This is my lefty. I'm going to just tuck it underneath his shoes like that. And then we'll have the big one in the middle. And we can use my tool to really press it home and make sure it stays. And then the smaller one up there. And the bigger one down here. Try not to hide his shoes too much. And then we'll add some, instead of adding pearls in the middle, we'll pop some a good blob of the glue into the centre. And then to keep in line with what we've used around the outside, we'll grab some of the Crystal Aurora and just feed it into the centre. And I'll, 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 I'll just dab it off after it's all dry just to make you know make give it a good bond so there we go so there's our purple and green version and I'll just bring that one in so you can see it going in the opposite way and thank you so much for that uh, Julia because also seeing them by side by side you can see that just using exactly the same images the way that you color the choice of colors that you choose uh, it makes all the difference into creating completely different moods now of course Julia was using the Aurora uh, glitter uh, which is a chunky glitter it's amazing the sparkle does the Aurora and it comes with the diamond dazzle as well you can see let's let's open the lids uh, I mean, oh, well, it says there is a secret over, but we can take it away and we can take. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, can I put my finger in it? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, okay, so I need to do the other one as well. I need to put my fingers in the pot and then, and then, and then let's put it, and then put that that way. And then look at that. Oh. Look at this. Now, I love both of them because one, the aurora has got a hues of all the colors reflecting like an aurora borealis sort of northern light sort of effect. But this one, the diamond dazzle, is that white. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So you can see the difference. Can you see that one is aurora? It's very different. It's very similar yet completely different. I love that it's chunky glitter. I love for Christmas. Can you imagine your Christmas scenes covered in that? And no matter what, if you have got grays or, or, or you have got maybe, uh, you know, kind of blues or greens, that will work so well. Remember, you are getting both pots, uh, 50 mil in it. So it's a big pot, both of them, 14 pounds and 99 pence. Eight three zero eight two two seven is your item number but the one day special the one day special is a phenomenal stamp set the brand new collection by Trudy Howard for a sentimentally yours and you know how Phil Martin is he likes to have everything perfect and he collaborates with Trudy to Trudy will hand drawn these images they work together on of course the, uh, the sentiments which are absolutely perfect now you have got these elegant images of course a very 1920s inspired but they have got that elegance that stylism that you want from a stamp look at that now they are also a uh, very nice and large size if you turn it over you kind of think that this is small now that means that for your larger cards your larger projects your art journals if you want images that command that attention that kind of have got that central point you want a, a sentiment that says okay you know, oh swinging swinging if you you might want it a little bit uh, that's that's the one and then of course we have got the bee's knees I mean how cool is that how cool cat of course we are thinking of the great gap say we are thinking of saying we are thinking of course of Tallulah uh, we are thinking of beautiful movies and beautiful romance but also that kind of party carefree times you know it's just the sort of glitz and glamour of the art deco era as well they have got a romance but a romance with full of light and full of lightness uh, and you know that kind of sort of you know i don't know how we can say the party but also i think in carefree you know that's what it is for they wishes as well other sentiment putting on the glades a party time and if we rotate it in here just for you what a doll and uh, now a doll and now of course you are getting 42 stamps in total and the ways that you can use them are you know there's so many different ways of course you can color the images but you can leave them as they are and die cut them because look at the elegance the lines the flicker that they do have if you want to go of course for this amazing uh, one day special the item number is 904913 42 stamps in total in six different sets and of course you have got the flexi buy option whether you are uh, splitting the cost in interest free payments or you are paying in one off payment you will get seven pounds off now if you want if you choose to uh, split the payment is two payments of 32 pounds and 47 pence saving seven pounds and uh, look at that I love that that's perfect for a wedding I mean that would be a stunning wedding dress wouldn't it I mean if you have got like, like the figure for it not not for me but anyway exactly what you are getting there it is the all the stamps the beautiful images brand new today of course or brand new last night but of course it is now your first look at the one day special today right and of course uh, you remember not forget about that flexi basket a uh, flexi order that you can put them in and then of course you can put other items that we have got in the show to split the cost of those ones items as well including of course these gorgeous red, red well not great red I always say red rubber but it's gray rubber deeply edged 
Now, they have been manufactured by K and Alfi from uh, Indigo Blue, I believe. And uh, you can see the quality. Look at the fine detail of those pond. I mean, it's just so gorgeous. Now, you are getting two of these A5 stamps, and of course, it's foam mounted, so automatically it will cling to your acrylic blocks, your stamp platforms, and of course, you can then do direct to the paper without an acrylic block to create those backgrounds on those kind of distressed backgrounds if you wanted to. Both of them, 23 pounds and 98 pence, and they match perfectly with the theme of the one day special. You can see it in here, how the beautiful arches of it uh, will correspond with the extras. Now, you can see, uh, uh, now, you, oh, of course, there it is, the lines you can see. Oh, that would be perfect if you want, like um, Julia was saying, adding texture or paint to the clothes that they are wearing, for instance, like a shirt, uh, you can add them that and look at that. That is beautiful. A stamp and emboss, of course, with gold embossing powder. If you want to go for these two uh, background stamps, 410225 is your item number. 23 pounds and 98 pence is your price. Then we have got also a brand new uh, set of three uh, background stamps. Again, we are getting, I'm sorry, I did say, yeah, they are new today, yeah. Uh, you are getting, of course, A5, A6, A3. Why am I not just saying the right words today? I don't know what, it's too early, I guess. Uh, now we have got the A6 background stamps, but you can see it here how beautiful the pattern is. Are they cool? absolutely brilliant but I'm also seeing Japanese you know those kind of borders so it's again one of those stamps that is so much more it, it could be a weave of a basket it would be the weave of a, t a fabric it could be the kind of you know the um, the, the separations, the, uh, you know, the screens, the Japanese screens in there. But I love as well this pattern because it's one of those ones that if you want to add like a net weight for, to add to the fabric of your one day special that would work and then finally you are also getting the lace uh, pr uh, stamp in here beautiful tiny detail 35 pounds and 97 pence is the price for all three of them and you can see them here that one that kind of screen how gorgeous does it look with the stamp and embossed with that glitter gold embossing powder 765197 is your item number now Julia of course used started using the celestial paper to stamp on and we have got those ones on the show as well now they come together the celestial and the terranova and of course you are getting all both sets are for 23 pounds and 98 pence. Now you are getting 80 sheets in total and they are A4. These ones, are, I, I love these papers because I'm a very I'm a massive fan of die cutting. And when you die cut, you want sometimes not a blank color, but you want a variation, a kind of, a, of color. You want something of a wash, and these are absolutely perfect. They are, of course, printed onto this beautiful paper. I believe it's 190 GSM. Yes, there. 190 GSM, so it means that it can, for matting a layer is absolutely perfect. You are getting four designs, and you are getting f into five colors. So, and you are getting is it two of each? Because that would be five to four. That would be 20, and then you are 18 total. So that would be 14 each. So yeah, I think it's it's kind of you are getting to. I'm Carol Vorderman this morning. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm so not. Anyway, two eight zero four nine seven is your item number. Now we have got uh, good news, uh, very, very good news. We have got those beautiful watercolor pens back in stock. We managed to manage some more but they're gonna be dispatched on the 22nd of June now if you want this is a brand new set three now this I own set one and set two and they're my go-to watercolor brushes at the minute love the colors love the way that they blend each other I love they have got a bristle end and they have got that really pointy beautiful point in there one seven zero four two zero is your item number 29 pounds and 99 pence is your uh, price for them they come with two water brushes as well and that case that is phenomenal now other items that we have got in the in the show is of course that duo of uh, stamps and 
size that match perfectly. Elegance, you can see on the screen, and they are four pointed flowers. Now, that's important because flowers from uh, our Fel Martin, uh, of course, they have got that four pointed so that you can layer them together. 32 pence and 83 pence is your freedom prize and then we also have got the enchanted one so you get in of course those stamps and those dies and remember they are also four pointed so if you go for both of them then you can layer and create unique flowers every time 397894 is your item number we have got about 10 minutes left to get back to head back to Julia and see what she is gonna show us next okay so um, in light of, of, of the pens coming back in I can't demonstrate them because I don't have any but so I'm just going to carry on doing what I, I wanted to do and maybe we'll do the pens at 12 o'clock um, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a background the card we're aiming at is a version of uh, this one here so we've, we're going to have the car in the background we're going to have some corners and we're going to uh, pop the ain't this grand uh, chappy on the top it could of course be um, the one from cool cat um, if you like but that's this is the one I've got so we, this is the Terra Nova um, paper so this is the one that's a little bit more masculine so it's perfect for this and I've got the car from the deco extras and I'm using a dark uh, green uh, Versafine Claire. This one's called Shady Lane. And remember that this is a silhouette style stamp, so um, it's a little bit uh, tricky, I suppose, uh, to stamp. But we're just going to go for it. It's in the background anyway. So I'm going to pop my first one so that it's just coming off ever so slightly up here and I'm going to give the ink a, a good chance to settle in to the paper and you will find that uh, along the tram lines uh, of the uh, double D boss you won't get a perfect image but that's absolutely fine let's hope that's okay there we go perfect so that's my first generation. I want to do first, second and third generation. But I can't use this as, as a, a second generation. I'll show you why. Just remember those tram lines? So that's not going to be a perfect second generation. So we can't do that. Just remember that. It catches me out quite often. You know, if I'm doing backgrounds and, and I end yes. up stamping off the page and then I think, oh, I've still got ink on there. I'll do second generation and I make a bit of a mess of it. So what we can do is take our second generation, but we can use the car on another piece of card for our first generation so we're not wasting our image. And then we take second generation and we'll go, we'll go off slightly down here, I think. And we're, we're at the same position again because I'm going off the card. We can't get our third generation because I've got the lines down the bottom. So again, if I show you here, it's not a perfect third generation. So just bear that in mind. But again, we can do exactly the same thing. We can ink up. And I'll do it on here, actually. So that's our first. That's our second. And this is going to be our third. And we're going to have this coming in from the top here. And it's very faint, but it's, it's coming in. Okay. Yes, it is, definitely. Yeah. And then we're going to stamp some corners. So there's 12 different corners on the corner stamp set. So you, you know, they're not rep repetitions. There's no doubles or anything. So I quite like this one, which is the one I used originally. So you don't have to use them as corners. You can have them coming in the opposite way. I'm going to use the slightly smaller one because I put my car over a little bit. So we're going to use the one that's next to it. this on a block doesn't have to be a full block because I'm not going to do the whole thing and this one we're going to do exactly the same thing as I did before so we're going to have it coming off like that 
which gives it a totally different personality. In fact, I'll put it. It just, it just changes it, doesn't it, completely. So um, it, 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 if you do them this way, then it gives you 24 corners as opposed to 12 corners. Yes. Uh, and the fact that you can use them to uh, decorate your flowers and, you know, do pattern building with them. It, it, corners are a very versatile they do, thing yeah, to they have. Mm -hmm. I, I just think that they also you can create a frame, can you not, with the borders and the yeah. corners? Yeah, absolutely. So, so there's our background going on there. So I, need, I just stamp a sentiment and I'll go to my black for this and we'll pull out one of these. So this is one of Phil's flags from, um, uh, he had it out, one of his first stamps that he had out. And um, so we can, we can fill, we can put the big cheese in there. We can put birthday boy, which is what I did before. We've got the great Gatsby. So let's have that actually, smaller one. This is the thing with with the um, uh, sheets that you know your, your your acetate sheet. You can you can figure out where you're going to put things and whether they're going to fit. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, Julie, I need to tell you that we have got about five minutes left. On oh, the show. it's plenty. This is a very quick card. This one. I get because it's a guy card. There's no flowers <laughs> to deal with. Oh. Well, I was going to say some things, but better maybe not. <laughs> Yeah, you can need to make a quick and easy card for a man, right? Absolutely. That's exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's so, not the straightest stamping in the world, but it, it'll do. Right. So, we're pulling our card now. I'm just going to um, blot off my corners because the ink, I can see the ink's quite wet still. I've already inked around the edges with bundled sage, so we don't have to do that. And um, so when you when you put in the guys on, um, you need uh, for, if you cut in the rectangles for your background, you need the largest but one of the rounded rectangles, and then for my mat for, out of the forest green, I've got the is, largest one. Is the forest green part of the earth uh, tones A4 cards? It's, it's in one of them. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. definitely in one of them. Uh, definitely the earth tones then, because here we have got the screen and uh, you can see the image. And you are getting, of course, the grey, the brown, you are getting the cream or ivory as well. as I think it's a dark navy uh, there as well. You are getting uh, 10 sheets of each of those five colours for £15.99. So what I want to do is I want to pop the sentiment underneath where I'm going to put my chappy. And I will go in with this dark green. I think this is from set one, actually, of the pens. And I will go in and colour in that as well after we've finished. So we're going to glue this, this, this flag into place. I think this is a great guy card. For men are difficult, aren't they? So I'm told that they're difficult, but I think that I'm quite lucky that I've got quite a few... Um, you know, with, with working with Phil, we've, I've got quite a few uh, images that I can use for guys. Yeah. And Indigo Blue, of course, uh, we've got quite a lot of images on there. So I don't actually struggle for guy cards. Mm -hmm. So we can pop this in. So it's just, co it's just coming out of his shoulder. And there we go. That's all done. Look, uh, I love that. It's just like you were saying, like, I love how everything is just the great Gatsby sort of era that kind of had that elegance that the style nature to it and of course that very commanding figure of the from the one day special uh, now of course using uh, the one day special you can create cards like the one day Julia that on. thank you so much Julia for that yeah. wonderful demo but we have got as well simplicity itself with our gorgeous so even if you just go for the one day special white card black card ink and colouring mediums. That's all you need to make an stunning commanding card. What about making something like this for the guy in your life, the bee's knees, a best wishes? What about the cat's meow? What a doll. If somebody likes the musicals as well, look at that. Isn't that glorious? Look at that colour and that pop of, you know, 
feathers and of course you can have this as well in the inside with those corners but I'm thinking this would be amazing for a part of an art journal of maybe thinking about places you want to go musicals you want to see theater plays that you want to go to see look at that I just love it I also thought it reminds me a little bit of um, Poirot uh, you know like a little bit of that sort of you know TV series they are Neko but although it's the 1930s still you can see how it can work into it that kind of maritime theme as well not only oh, ice cream I don't know why I'm thinking of an ice cream uh, and suddenly with this image I don't know why it's like uh, then we have got of course that couple both feature in the one day special and I love how you can bring whichever couple you want to do and of course it's a perfect for a wedding card as well imagine putting a little bit of lace maybe putting that elements into here those beads in here of the back uh, neck back um, I don't know is this the part of the dress it's a necklace that kind of flows from the back look at that now there are so many samples beautiful samples that the design team has made but don't forget to check out your baskets for the one day special for those pens that they are back on the stock uh, remember to join us uh, Julia and myself at 12 o'clock to see more demonstrations and see maybe the pens in action thank you Well, we have got an amazing show after the break. The amazing Haley West is going to demonstrate the brand new, beautiful Grace's stands from Charlie's Crafts and then sweet poppy stencils. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. You know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. 
We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. Very good morning to you and welcome to a brand new uh, Charlie's Crafts Hour. Yes, now due to customer demand, uh, Charlie's Crafts have responded and basically come up with a beautiful new range of stamps, which uh, the lovely Hayley West will be uh, demonstrating on all sorts of different materials and what have you. Uh, so we'll talk more about that in a moment, but I want to introduce you to these lovely stamps. Now they've come out in sort of segments of four with the following four to be published later. Um, so we're going to start with um, May to August. Now you can buy these individually or as a set of four which is why I've grouped May, June, July and August together. Now if you they're large stamps as you can see the A4 stamps so if I just lift this up you can see there is a lot on the actual stamps itself. Um, there we go if I lift this up there, look at the size of those. So you've got these beautiful floral stamps as well, which can be used with the other stamps that you see on the show to really build up that picture. And then you've got the larger image, and then you've got that in two other sizes as well. So that is beautiful. And uh, on the, on we've got lots of different ways in which that can be coloured. So if I just show you, this is the main. I mean, this is expanded off from the USB, which again, Haley will talk more about uh, when we come to her. But I uh, just wanted to give you some ideas about how that can be printed. It off very imaginative so we can split this into three two flexi by payments of 43 pounds and 48 pence so this as you can see is June so again the flowers down the side of the hair we're moving into summer we're coming out of spring so we've got those lovely rosebuds on there as well if I lift up there you can see these are sizable polymer stamps there uh, made here in the UK by um, Cra Charlie's Crafts there gorgeous and again just to give you an idea I've just because we've got so many fantastic samples on the show I think this is on your, your glossy uh, photographic paper because you can enhance that make that larger but you can see you know if you're using your paints if you're watercolors or you're coloring you know the watercolor pencils even how beautiful these stamps can really come to life so now we're moving on to our summer in July that's what's gonna feel like next week oh it's gonna be tropical you're gonna be getting your bikinis on everybody uh, look at this gorgeous flowers in the hair they're lovely 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 uh, bouquets beautiful and she's got, she's got oh she's looking over the shoulder there at us isn't she um here we go on the large again is that good I love that with that sort of rainbow distress sort of splash sort of in the in the background so very distinctive images here beautifully beautifully drawn and last but not least this lady she reminds me of Frida Kahlo this is August yes all the flowers in there isn't that fantastic beautiful large blooms there so if I just give you another quick look underneath you can see just how large these stamps are this is your poppy isn't that gorgeous and again you can see on the underside I've just flipped that up but it gives you an idea on the underside of how sorry that's upside down because I'll show you the image on a larger one how it could be colored so here it is uh, on the underside so it does give you ideas on the reverse of how they can be colored in is that gorgeous uh, now, you can have the whole set for £86.96. That would be the set of May through to um, August. Or you can, they are available individually as well, as you can see at the bottom of the screen there as well.
Uh, now, we've also got September through to December, and I believe uh, January, uh, February, March, April, they'll come later on as well. But this is a response to what you've asked Charlie's Crafts to do. So these are brand new. So let's look at September. And she's got the hat on just in case it does rain. But we often get those lovely Indian summers, don't we, when the summer is still, still with us. And as we wander down the counter, do look over my shoulder because we've got some of these printed on lovely canvas bags and T-shirts and storage boxes, uh, which we'll talk later about because uh, in terms of how you can do that. And I just want to bring you over to, um, sorry, to October as well because then I'll show you a, a colouring sheet of just how these stamps look. Again, beautiful images, beautifully drawn, allowing you to colour in, use whatever mediums you want, to use them as the stamps, your backgrounds, to build up a collage. So that's um, October and September. And again, on the back of the sheet, it does give you these ideas of how you can colour them in. But uh, we've gone for the, the larger sizes as well, which you can blow up on the USB stick that we've got coming up. But how pretty are these? Really gorgeous. So let's move on now to um, November and December. Yes, again, they're all lovely, aren't they, individually? Very, very striking. Large stamps. Again, let me just flip this over again to show you. Just take this apart. Because on the back, you've got, like I said the image there to give you an idea of how to colour it but they are large, uh, large sizeable stamps and on each one you've got those addition of the, of the flowers themselves which, which work individually beautiful as well and then the faces also in there and then moving on to December yeah more of the holly colours yeah fantastic wrapped up there for December with a poinsettia and if I just have a little look this works so pretty with the watercolour doesn't it you've got the rain splashing down there on her face and then that's that blue hue of the icy weather there um, really really beautiful as well two flexi by payments of £43.48 because they are large A4 stamps so you are getting a lot for your money there and you can buy them individually I can say already a quarter of May to August the first set I showed you gone so £86.96 for the whole four or individually £22.99, £298.138. I'm going to get out of the way because you can see there's a T-shirt there. But the lady's going to talk more about this. This is our lovely Hayley, so let's go and join Hayley. So, yeah, I mean, these are amazing pieces of artwork. They've always been popular as the USB sticks, and, of course, that whole range has been extended now into stamps through um, you guys at home asking for them, and I know they're being very popular already this morning. So what you've got is a series of stamps, and you've also got the USB sticks. So if you prefer to do your digital um, crafting, then you can do that as well. And what you've got is you've got these fabulous pieces. Now, when your stamps come to you, they do have a backing sheet which has got an illustration already coloured in by the artist. So there you've got a guide for where you can actually lay down your colour so if you're not a confident watercolour artist um, and you're just wanting to kind of learn those skills these will help you on your way to start with so don't throw away the packaging because that's useful within there and within the USB stick you've got the contents which you have also got available as a booklet if you'd rather go down this route then you can do um, this one is for the first USB stick but something that very similar for the, the second and you'll see you've got your four um, characters now we'll explain why we're kicking things off with May because when we actually release these it was around April time so it seems natural to go from April through the year and kind of catch up at the end of it so the next release will take you right the way through from December you'll have January February March and April to um, complete the set that you've got so within your booklet you'll be able to see that you can print off A4 that's if you're going for the USB stick or of course you could detach this from the booklet if you wanted to um, again you've got A5 all coloured in you'll get those on the USB stick to print off as often as you like and the same with your A6 and that is replicated for each one of those pieces of artwork that you've got within the set of four then you've got your outlines and your outlines are perfect for you to actually print on top of perhaps if you're working with a laser printer you can use the Bockingford card if your um, um, your printer will accommodate for that because it's quite thick cardstock you can print directly onto that which is what I've done again you've got your A5s and again you've again you've got your A6s you've then got supportive elements which are lovely because sometimes you might not want to use the characters themselves so you've got the Hawthorne here and again you've got the A4 you've got the A5 and and you've got the A6 there as well and then of course you go on to uh, your month of June so that's what you've got within the booklet if you go for the USB stick then basically the world is your oyster as to what you're doing with it so here you can see that I've printed off Poppy um, from August I am not a watercolour artist but I have to say I was kind of chuffed with this one so much so that I did share it on Facebook so it's going to say something but this is something that you can practice on you can play around with work on the larger pieces if you wanted to here we've got the lovely lady I think she's from um, oh, 
September, I think she might be. I can't remember now. I'm getting to know the new ladies. Um, but you see again on that smaller piece, using your watercolour paper, um, and away you go. Absolutely beautiful. But then you can print on other things as well. So we've got things like rice paper. Attach it to a carrier sheet, just a little bit of double-sided tape at the top there. Pop it onto a photocopy um, piece, and then uh, pop it through your printer. And that's been printed onto, um, well, using a laser printer, so I can add water to that without any issue at all. Regularly printing off, um, we've got this particular one here, which I think was on inkjet. Oh, no, that one is laser as well. So that's gone on to laser. Here, just a piece of um, kind of brown paper. Packaging, I think that was. But what an effective look. So don't just think about using it on your white paper. This one here was inkjet. So if you've just got a regular inkjet, you can see full page, you can print up. And then I was using things like my stabilizers that I've got from my fabric. Again, inkjet with those. Rice paper, again, with your inkjet if you're wanting to. And, of course, you have got additional uh, mediums on the show. This one is one of the, um, the photo transfer papers, which I think we might have on the show as well, which you could actually put that onto a bag, onto a T-shirt. So do check out those wonderful sets of um, elements now. A bit of a story behind this one. I printed it onto my laser printer. Um, I just used some of my um, white ca um, calico, which we've got on the website. Um, attached it to an A4 sheet of paper, passed it through my laser printer, and I wondered how it would react if I washed it. Now, well, you can see how it reacted. It did fade away, but I kind of like that. You've got the foundation there maybe to do a little bit of embroidery. On this one, I didn't wash it at all. I just um, layered it up with some wadding and a little bit of backing fabric there, and actually did some free motion work. You can see that fabulous lily in her hair there um, that I've done some free motion work with and there you go again if you're wanting to use your fabric paints then you can obviously heat set them and um, away you go so there's lots of scope for you to work with these and uh, yeah I just like those designs so um, I don't know are we going to go straight into the demo okay so that just gives you a little bit of a, an idea I just need to get the bits and pieces together that's why I was asking so uh, yeah rather than you watch me bringing out all my watercolor paints and everything um, I'm going to hand back over to Fiona oh can I just show you the t-shirts as well before we go mm -hmm. just while we're getting the cameras organized what you can do within the USB um, you've got your JPEGs which if you're familiar with using images these these won't sound like gobbledygook but they're basically just photographs just like your photos off your phone or your camera um, JPEGs you've got PNGs that are on there as well and you've also got SVGs so if you've got a cutting machine then you can sometimes use those direct to your cutting machine to cut out but of course if you've got the software for your cutting machines you can import those images as well and that's what I did with these two t-shirts I um, took the images into my silhouette software um, I did take out some of the elements because they're very very detailed these so basically to, to kind of make it a little bit quicker for my cameo to cut them out I took out some of the little tiny elements and kind of I'd like to say cleaned up the images but that doesn't mean that they were messy to start with just makes it easier and that's where I made my t-shirt and then this fabulous one with Poppy on there as well and you can actually make and sell these so if you did want to cut out your heat transfer of all vinyl and make t-shirts like these and if you buy in the USB stick then you're able to do that makes good good business sense <laughs> Fantastic. I love your t-shirt. I, I believe she's May, isn't she? That's May. I'm holding up June here on a canvas bag just to show you all those different mediums. I love it on the material. Now, May to August, which is the four stamps in front of me here. It's more than four stamps, four A4 sets. Three quarters of the stock has gone just to give you that uh, update. You can get them individually, but as a set of four for £86.96, four, uh, three quarters of the stock has gone. So that's May. That's the image that Hayley had blown up on the USB there. Well, not blown up. She didn't physically blown up but uh, and then through her digital art pr printer there on her t-shirt those beautiful flowers there as well then we move through to June which I just showed you on the canvas bag and you've got the fabulous July and then August as well on that USB but they are the stamp sets on the large A4 polymer and you can see made here in the UK three quarters of the stock has gone they are so sizable great to have that image on the back to help you color it as well I'm going to give you an update now on through to September through to December um, a quarter of the stock has gone on these so as you know well and then the next set will be January through to April but uh, for these set we do have availability still there and you have got again the lovely companion of the flowers as well in the season obviously in the month of which they you know they're trying to coincide with with the bloom there so uh, really beautiful sizable stamps and again as Hayley said can be used individually as well love the poinsettias there in December as well the poppies for the summer we've got uh, marigold there for October really gorgeous and then in November you've got the detail there of the rain splashes coming down 
and uh, then you've got December there as well. So if I just hold those up, because on the back you do get, as Haley explained, uh, that imagery to kind of give you a bit of a steer if you're unsure about your watercolours or your colouring. But of course, there's so many different opportunities, not just with the stamps, but also the digital art there, all available on the USB for 9.99 as well. Uh, so yeah, 86 pounds 96, quarter of the stock for all set of four of those has gone for the uh, September through to December. Um, the USB, very, very busy. Look at that on the box, though, as well. Did you? I don't know if you saw that. There we go. That's May. That's uh, who Hayley's got on her um, T-shirt as well. I'll show you that in a moment. OK, the USB. Now, I, I can't really show you anything more exciting than that, to be honest, because it is a USB. <laughs> um, on one USB, you've got May through to August. That was the boxes. I've got to show you that, because they're fantastic. I think that's June, isn't it? There's our lovely June. Don't they look gorgeous? I just love these images on the material. Beautiful. Now, uh, these are available. If you haven't got access to a computer, what's on the USB is available in the actual booklet as well. And as Haley explained, you've got it printed already with your colour background because these are all in the A4, the A5 and the A6. You have the black and white version of that as well, just the... Uh, the outline itself, beautifully drawn, and then you've got all the individual elements. Now you've got that for every single artwork. So if you don't have access to a USB, the actual uh, booklet itself can give you everything that's on there. So we've got that for both sets there for you. Um, Grace's Volume One. Ah, in the USB or in my, in the USB, Grace's Volume One has sold out. But have we got some more stock? I'm just getting an update. Ah, so we right. Okay, so now it's on delay dispatched. Five days time. Is it the 18th today or the 19th? I've lost track. 20, 24th. So uh, that's good news. That's good news. I'm pleased about that. So uh, the May through to um, August. Well, that'll be uh, now dispatched on the 24th of June. We can dispatch that from the 19th now uh, for our August, September through to December. So again, everything. They're very busy today on both of because these are brand new because um, Charlie's Crafts, they've basically responded to the fact that you wanted to see these in the stamp. So it's great that we've got all these options. Not everybody has access to computers. I mean, a lot of us do now. So it's great if we just want to upload those images and use them with our digital printers and all the different mediums, you know, on your photographic paper. And I believe we've got bundles of that on the show as well. So for the USBs, uh, volume one, 9.99, and we have volume two as well. Are they both under the same item code, number one? 00236. Just a delay dispatch now on the May through to August. Um, but again, you can see if you blow those up just behind me how fantastic uh, these images can be. And that would be so lovely to, to paint in the oils, wouldn't it? You know, if you just wanted to, the outline. It's nice to have that guideline. I love the way Haley on the um, material had actually embroidered that flower. I thought that was really, really beautiful. So uh, lots of ideas there with the printouts on the USB. Bags, cards, T-shirts tote bags, you name it, loads and loads of different possibilities there. Love those. Okay, um, the templates, the books that I keep rattling on about uh, with the USB. So the, basically, this is the hard copy there. Uh, so we do have those, the instructions, like we said, everything in there in the A4. Let me show you a different one for, for a change. In the black and white, printed in the colour as well. Uh, in the A4, the, the A6 and the A5. I'm going backwards, aren't I? Uh, let me show you a colour image there as well. So you can see these. So you've got everything there on every single image as well on the different sizes. So if, if basically if you can't do that on the USB, it's already printed in here for you to use, to stencil, to outline, to draw directly onto, paint directly onto. Um, yet transfer, it's all there in the booklet. So both of those volumes available in the booklets, 999-653-206. You just choose which volume you want. I think the most popular have been the USB. Let's have a look at those stamps individually. You can get them for 22 99 You've got that discount of £4. We have had some individual sellouts. May's already gone. We're liking May, that's the one on Haley's T-shirt. July's proved very popular as well. She's sold out individually, so now you can get that in the large bundle. November's become limited now as well uh, just to highlight that so uh, do make sure you don't uh, wait too long don't forget all the fantastic card the inkjet fabric transfer paper the construction card 
the multi-pack the multi packs a great one as well for you to try and test different kind of papers if you want to have a go without buying a whole bundle of the individual so that's really worth looking at you've got the watercolor there, paper there as well you've got a fantastic uh, prestige pick and mix card as well there that gives you great opportunity there for those different card stock as well so lots to have a little look there on the web as well okay Haley, I'm gonna come right back to you no problem at all now I'm gonna be working with um, one of the stamps It's the October stamp marigold um, and uh, I'll show you kind of where we're going because I think it's important to mention the cardstock that we've got on the show as well that I'll be working with so um, this is kind of jumping ahead to the decoration style um, side of um, the project that I'm working on um, watercolor cardstock that we've got is Bockingford card so we know straight away how amazing this is and you can get it in a variety of different ways you can either go for the multi-pack of it because we've got that on the website or you can try the crafters pack because there's all sorts of different elements in there and this is where I've just used some of my watercolor um, paints to add a little bit of color the color I'm going to pull out and actually use those on the background and I actually die cut these and made my little floral embellishments I'm going to be using um, watercolor paints within the stamp in just a few moments something else that I did use from the background is the construction card now it's a little while since I had the construction card this is incredible cardstock I mean you can see it's almost like a board again this has always proved to be popular and I know we struggle to keep this in stock 600 GSM which we don't come across very often and it's one of those ones that's perfect if you're wanting to make things like your boxes but also if you're into your mixed media it's a lovely base for you to work on and you can see here what I actually did in the background here I've used some of my acrylic paints that I've done kind of like an ombre wash across um, I've used some of the stamps from the marigold set with white embossing powder on top of that and then I've gone over the top with um, a clear gel medium and then uh, a little bit of glitter because I felt it deserved a little bit of sparkle but um, just to bring your attention towards that because it might be a while before I mention the, the construction cardstock um, and do have a little look at the crafters pack because you've got kind of a selection of all different elements within there I think the construction card is only available by itself I don't think it's in that starter pack but in the part starter pack you will have things like your Buckingford you'll have um, inkjet um, canvas paper in there and you also have some of the paper that you can transfer onto t-shirts as well so working with the Bockingford. Um, I've picked out an um, October um, and I'm going to fussy cut her um, in a little while so I'm not too worried about the, the card pack um, that I'm using. You've got different sizes so you've got your slender pieces, you've got your A5, there's some A4 in the pack as well so just go to whichever size fits the stamp that you're wanting to work with and within this one I've chosen kind of one of the medium sized stamps. I did stamp out one of the larger ones previously um, so when I was looking at working with the, um, the A4 sheet a few moments ago that's probably the image that I would use on that occasion but we're doing something slightly smaller on a smaller scale so I've kind of gone for one of the smaller ones and you have got your additional stamps here so the marigold stamps featuring the word marigold you've also got the month of October featuring within this and it's nice because you've got the different sizes which allow you to actually create your background as I've shown you with one of the larger stamps there so we'll use some of those in a few moments but kicking things off with marigold I've got um, got her obviously in my stamp press here so I'm just going to um, ink her up using um, Versafine Claire and I've gone for a grey tone rather than a, a, a black tone with these personal choice I just think it's nicer it being a little bit softer um, when you're working with grey um, of course the clear stamps nice and easy for you to work with so of course you can see exactly where that ink has gone and if you're not a confident stamper like I'm not then uh, what you can find is that uh, it's nice and easy for you to um, re-stamp or re-ink should I say and re-stamp your project as you go um, I've kind of lined it up so I've got it roughly where I need it to go and I'm just going to press down as you can see there and it's a little bit weird because this is kind of where I started off with my my TV venture because I used to paper craft a lot before I became a presenter and kind of got known for um, paper um, sorry soft crafts with my fabrics and everything so yeah I'm a little bit nervous I'm not gonna lie so you can see I mean that looks beautiful doesn't it and you, what you've got in here you've got loads of elements that you're gonna be able to draw on um, her left eye there I'm just gonna pop a little bit more ink on there. I think I might go in just with a second application just in case there's any little bits of areas that I've not hit so of course because we're in the stamp press you can line up perfectly there and again give it a good press and this one's the crafts 2 one so jump onto the website I'm sure we'll have these in stock well worth getting hold of one of these just makes life a lot easier there we go much happier with that so all I'm going to do now is take her out of the stamp press I need to make sure that she's nice and dry before we start adding any water um, and because I've worked with the um, the Versafine um, Claire it means that I can apply water to that so I'm just going to give her a quick wash just to make sure that she is nice and dry okay 
turn that off just for a few moments. Just to let you know, those uh, multi-sets, September through to December with regards to the stamps, half of the stock has gone now, and that will feature this particular stamp. Of course, if you are going for the multiple set, then that's where you are going to get a little bit of a discount. So uh, it is worth thinking about going down that, that route. So, uh, yeah, if you, you wanted to. Um, with regards to the others, May through to September, 80% of the stock have gone of that one. So, so May to August, May to September was a TV show, wasn't it? Um, but there you go. <laughs> now, what I've done is, um, because I'm not overconfident with my, um, my painting, especially live on air, what you can do is you can actually go to the internet and it will give you um, kind of like the ingredients of the colours that you need to create skin tones. So I did that, went to the internet, picked out the colours from my watercolour palette that were going to help me. And I've already put a little bit within my palette here. The extra area that you've got gives you the opportunity to actually try out those colours to make sure that you are happy with those. I'm just having a look if I've got a finer detail brush because that one's quite a chunky brush to be going in with. Let's go in with this one here. I think that's a little bit better. Um, and uh, basically you can pick up the colour and just apply it direct to your, um, your card. So I'm going to do the, the face first. Now I've kind of created my skin tone. Now that is very yellow because I've got, still got some of the, the colour originally on there, which I didn't clean out my brush to start with. So just give that a little bit of a squeeze. In fact, let's come in with the other one because I don't think I've used that on anything. No, I haven't. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of water. If for any reason you put the colour down and you're not happy with it, just come in with a little bit of rice paper or um, a, a cloth and you can pull that colour out. So you're not committing to any of those colours to start with. And then just do a little test piece just on the side there, just to get an idea of whether it's the right colour for you when you're working with them. And as I say, I'm not an artist. I've got a fabulous friend who's going to... She promises me that she's going to teach me how to paint. I don't know if she um, realises how uh, tricky that might be. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go down around the edge to start with um, because obviously when you are working um, with a, um, a painting it's the outer edge which is going to be the darker area and then all I'm going to do is bring that colour in more so to the centre of her face and because I've worked with the, the VersaFine Claire it means that I can um, go into the hairline if I need to, it's not the end of the world if I do and then all I'm going to do is drag that colour gently into the middle and even if I've got kind of like a light area there I'm not going to be overly concerned with that uh, even though I've got a water brush, I'm just going to add a little bit of water in and pull that colour in. So you can kind of see as it comes into the centre of the face, it's that little bit lighter. Um, and I've just kind of mixed um, some uh, peachy tones, a little bit of white in there as well, a tiny touch of pink. And just basically just pulling that colour in gently. Little circular motions as well might help. Don't worry about her lips because you can go back and add the colour there. But you can see just pulling that colour out from the outside area. Try to avoid the, the whites of her eyes because she might not might look a bit peaky if you start turning them at a peachy turn. But I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm not too not too upset about the colour that, that is there. I think that's working quite well. And of course, if you do want to learn how to contour faces, there's loads of tutorials on the internet. And um, kind of using some of the, the skills that you see from um, makeup tutorials, as well as loads and loads of kind of YouTubers that teach you about adding contouring. And it's a similar sort of way. And that kind of gave me a little bit of confidence, to be honest, that the watercolour skills that you're using aren't dissimilar to some of the skills that you will use with regards to makeup. So putting the darker areas to kind of push them back and then the lighter areas to bring them forward. And then all I'm going to do is just kind of brush across there to blend out those colours. And you can see there, if I can manage that, then anybody can manage this. So I don't know how bright it's coming out on your screen there, but it's not looking too bad here. Um, you could go back in and add a little bit more colour if you want to, but that's just kind of as you go. And of course, working with that, it's just adding in those skills. Just got to be careful that I don't give a kind of a... Is it a nine o'clock shadow <laughs> when people need to have a little bit of a shave? Uh, six o'clock. I don't shave regularly, so I, I, I don't know. If, uh, but you can see there, just it gives you a little idea of the colour, building it up if you want to. And of course, whatever skin tone you want to work with, just check out um, on YouTube. And uh, I did, I'll show you something I printed off actually. I haven't used it because I, I was a little bit nervous. But here you can see the skin tone here, it's suggesting that you take a little bit of orange, a little bit of white, and then a little bit of blue. But I didn't quite get the formulation right just before we went on there. Similar one down here, the red and the yellow, white, kind of making that um, pinky tone there. So just experiment. You will be able to find things like that on the internet to help you. And then all you need to do is keep adding your colour. Now, I'm going to go back to the original artwork to give me a little bit of an idea of how to work with her hair. So what have we got going on here? We've got kind of red tones going on in there. That's OK. We can uh, do a little bit of that maybe take in a little bit of the brown as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with some of the lighter tones 
decant those into my little palette and then all I'm going to do is bring in a little bit of the white and I'm not too worried about kind of muddying up the palettes because obviously you can go back into those bring in some of the white there just to lighten it up a little bit and what I tend to do whether this is all right or not wrong I don't know um, but what I tend to do is kind of go back in and um, go in the, the kind of the lightest tone that I'm wanting to start with with the hair and then kind of add accents afterwards so um, I'm just going to bring this in like so and that is quite kind of uh, reddish now stamps wise the big bundles have both gone now wow okay now you can get hold of them individually they are still available individually the only ones that sold out are may and july now if you're wondering which one i'm working with here i'm actually working with the um, october one which i think we've still got available haven't we we have we're okay with that one then because otherwise we're going to end up with half a character um now i'm adding um obviously I did the colour down. I'm just moving it around now with a little bit of water. The beauty of this Buckingford card is it is so forgiving. You can apply a lot of water on there and move that colour around. Just kind of give the illusion of the colour going down um, and uh, adding it where you want it to go. And then if there's any areas that you're wanting to lift off, again, just go in with the cloth and kind of just uh, move out those areas. Rice paper, of course, you could do that as well. Just going to kind of go in between the flowers a little bit there. And as long as you're just kind of adding that little hint of colour, um, what you've got here, though, is you've got lots of markings that are going to help you as well. So you can go back in. Oh, I forgot to paint a neck. Never mind. Um, you can go back in and add additional little accents if you want. So I've kind of gone quite a, a quite a, a what's, is it, does it look very orangey, that? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to come back in with the watercolour paints down. I'm going to go in with a, a darker brown. Got a little bit of yellow on that bush that I'm hoping. If I've got, oh, I haven't got any water in there, that's why it's not cleaning. Let's do that. Okay, so the darker brown, I'm going to add that in again to give shades on that base. So you've still got the continuity of that base that's going to help you. And then all you do is go back in with that darker base and then kind of just go over where you've got the lines of the darker areas. And then we'll blend this out. It looks very much like a, a tiger's stripes at the moment, but it will. I can assure you, kind of blend out as you go. Oops, a bit of water dropped on there. Just add those in like that, and then just come back in, as I say, with a relatively well, it's a damp brush more so than a wet brush, and that will just allow you to kind of just move those colours around. You don't want to move them too much because you'll cover up everything that was there before, but follow the, the lines of her hair and kind of keep it going in the, those downward strokes. And then obviously I've got a little bit... Don't want to take out too much of that colour, so just very gently taking that like so. And then, of course, I mean, you take the time to work your way through this. Now, I've probably been a little bit um, pale with regards to some of those colours. I'm just going to pull their hair down like so. And then, of course, you've got the marigolds. So marigolds being that gorgeous kind of bright um, yellow tone, isn't it, with your marigolds? But You've got creative license with this, really, so you can pick out whatever colour you like if you're wanting to. But I am going to go in with more of a yellowy tone. Um, and again, if you need to add a little bit of white to that, you can do. And then again, if you want to test out those colours, you can. I'm going to add a bit more yellow to that, I think. Make it pop a little bit more. And then again, just going darker in the centre and then pulling the colours out. But I'm literally just going for, going for it around the outside edges as you can see there just colouring in where the flowers are you'll have some little blooms waiting to come out into the the full heads of your marigolds but uh, you can see they're just giving that kind of rough look there um, going back in with a little bit of green for the foliage and i'm going to pick out a deeper green that i've got there um, like so i keep squeezing this i don't know how i've managed to pick up the one water brush that i've got that's got no water in there but not to worry Going in with a green. Now, this is quite a dark green. Oh, no, that's not too bad. Um, pick up a little bit of the white again to take into that. Okay, so. And, of course, because the Buckingham card is so good, you can actually use it almost as a palette on your, your cardstock there. I'm going to go in with a bit more of that green, I think, there. Darken it down just a little bit just to get it right. And then just go in and just do those little leaves. And you're just looking like a, a hint of colour, really. It's a nod to where those colours need to go. Because you're kind of doing it as a watercolour nature, you don't need to worry too much if it isn't absolutely spot on 
Um, so don't put too much pressure on yourself. If you have a look at some, a lot of watercolour paintings out there, you'll see that you've kind of, you've not necessarily go, got images going right up to the line and things like that. So I've got a bit of blue mixed here. The brush that I've got is giving her kind of like greeny blue eyes. So I'm just going to go in with that blue in the centre there. Again, try and keep away from the outside area. And then finally, I'm just going to go in with some pink lips. Um, I'm going to try and keep it um, not too pink. So um, I'm trying to make it so that they, uh, they don't look like she's going out. Because <laughs> I think it's quite a natural look, this particular one. So again, just to chest that colour. Yep, yeah, OK with that one. And again, just give it a little wash. Don't worry too much about going right where the, the lip line is. Don't go too heavy, though, because you don't want to make the lips look as if they're kind of standing out too much. No, that, does that look OK? Are we happy with that? I think so. I think that'll work. I am just going to add a little bit over that side because it's just irritating me that I forgot to uh, do that little bit of hair over there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of colour there so we haven't got a, a white area. So I just need to dry this off uh, and cut it out and then we'll go on to creating the background, I think. So if there's anything that Fiona needs to do, probably now would be a good time to do that. Fantastic. Thank you, Hayley. I'm amazed looking at those with the stamp that Hayley did and, and the larger one beside it from the USB. How the, the same stamp, but how different they look. I, I was quite amazed by that. Uh, just brilliant. Uh, just your interpretation of how you want to colour or illustrate with it uh, completely changes the stamp. So, so versatile. I do have updates. Both bundles now have sold out, So and some individuals have sold out. So let's give you an update. So I'm going to start with June. Uh, June is still available. Uh, that was this one here in the large image if you're going to print that digitally off the USB and you can do that in the colour but uh, there you have the three stamps half the stock has gone and you've got those very pretty roses for June and uh, large large stamps as you can see uh, there from the background you've got the June in the different sizes and those roses don't forget can be used individually as well uh, fantastic fantastic stamp stamps there there we go and that was June on my bag here the little tote bag here at the side because don't forget if you get the USBs they can all be printed on those different um, elements as well so always worth remembering gorgeous striking stamps then if I move to um, Poppy August my Frida Kahlo it just reminds me of Frida Kahlo it's, it's you know you see what you see also half the stock has gone there uh, so that's £22.99 50% of the stock gone on Poppy 678049 that's for the August and I did I loved Hayley's Poppies there she says you're not much of an artist but didn't they look brilliant she's hiding her light under a bushel that one uh, now let's move on to set September, yes, yeah, September's still available, yep, yeah. and that's uh, the flower, the morning glory, yeah, and uh, yeah, a quarter of the stock has gone with this uh, lovely, lovely image there, and uh, there we go, if I just give you that, just to give you the idea, because it does show you on the sheet on the back, ideas of how to colour in, if you just need that steer as well, very striking, and uh, Hayley was using the October uh, right now, and again, look how different the October looks again here, uh, I think the one on the table there, very sort of bright, almost toyeresque in the colour of it in their hair and then Hayley's gone for the, for the browns uh, there so it can make them look so different uh, £22.99 there for September then if we move on to October these are only available individual now I'm sorry that the big bundle's gone clearly a big demand but that's what uh, Charlie's Crafts has responded to your demand to have these in the stamp so this is the one Hayley's working with at the moment with that fantastic I love the colour of marigold that sunshiny orangey yellow it's just brightens up your spirits doesn't it beautiful it's worth it just for the marigolds there alone 22 pounds 99 430870 and last but not least our Christmassy poinsettia there with a scarf around her head and those lovely poinsettia uh, flowers that we always associate with December so uh, that is your last stamp we'll get those details up for you there we go at the end of the counter here and uh, you can see here my storage boxes with the images on as well. They're looking fantastic, aren't they? Just sneaking into play. There we go. There's Frida. Uh, Poppy, August, there she is. Right, limited stock on December, I believe, am I? Yeah, £22.99, Okay, let's move over to the USB because I keep mentioning it and that's what Haley's had... Uh, printed on her t-shirt you can go for the larger sizes as well um, you can you know you can you can print it with the color with the black and white I'm just going to show you these this is May uh, I think May's gone sorry if I picked the one that's gone 
Oh, it's back. Oh, but the USB is back on extended. Yeah, so you can. So you can get the smaller, the larger, the black and white, um, the A6, the A5, the A4, the larger. I mean, you know, you can really go for it. Look at the beautiful poppies there. If you just want to, you know, print it out digitally in the black and white. I'll let Haley explain. But it takes a little bit of tinkering, depending on your uh, your your print, your digital um, software. But uh, it can be done nice and easy, and that's why you've got such choice. Now, the uh, early edition, uh, May through to August. That is on a five delay, five day delay dispatch, 24th of June. Just to flag that up for you, and then our September through to December, uh, 9.99. It will be dispatched uh, from from today, 100236. And don't forget, January through to April is coming uh, in the next instalment. And then, if you haven't got access to USB, everything on both of those USB sticks is here in your booklet. So we've got the graces part one already printed in color you'll have it in the black and white as well you'll have it in the a4 the a5 and the a6 there as well and then there's individual elements as well those flowers um, that are there they see you got it in the black and white but the individual elements as well will be printed on there whether you want to trace them whether you want to transfer the image it's all in there as well in the booklets 999 653 206 choose book one or two okay I'm gonna go straight back to Haley and uh, also so we've got some seven day savers just want to flag up um is this this is the red liner tape yeah of course it is yeah everybody needs the red liner tape don't forget these will change on sunday at eight o'clock 9.99 you've got 20 reels there three millimeter in width and then five meters on each that's 100 meters in total big saving on that 15 pounds five seven zero zero nine three Walter, Walter Strong, that's it. It's, that, it's that, that mysterious Hollywood actor, Walter Strong. He's not, but I decided he was because that's such a great name. And this is Grandad Can't Fix It. Well, then the tape will. Uh, three 50 millimeter rolls there. Yeah, 763208. Super strong tape there, 1899. And you also get the mug. Not bad. I'm a cup of tea while you're fixing it. Brilliant. Hayley, back to you, my darling. Oh, fabulous. Thank you, Fiona. So what I'm going to do now, um, do my little character. I've cut her out, just fussy cut it around her. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is work on the background now using the construction card just to show how fabulous it is weight-wise. I mean, this would make a fabulous journal cover. Because of the weight that you've got in here, you could die cut it quite easily. Um, and of course, if you're just wanting to slice it in half like I've done, punch a couple of holes in the ready-made journal cover. So it's something that you could use. And of course, the Bockingford card that you've got, you could be cutting that into A5 as well. Punching that in the same way and making up your own art journal with your watercolour pages in there. So, got my construction card here to start with um, and what I'm going to do is rather than on this one, I'll be honest, I did the background and then suddenly thought, oh my goodness, I wanted to do a resist on it. So I went back in with my clear, um, clearing pad and my white embossing powder and went over the top of it. I'm going to kind of do what I was originally planning on doing. So I've picked out the Laura Gold stamp and I popped it onto my little acrylic block and what I'm going to do is just give a little dusting on um, the construction card to start start with just so as I don't get any extra bits but because it's kind of doing something that's a, a bit kind of mixed media-ish it doesn't matter if we do get some additional speckles what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my clear ink and um, don't forget if you need in this we do have it on the website and um, yesterday I did a wow show and I don't know if we've still got the super sticky um, ink pad um, available but you'll find that on the website if we do just make sure you've got plenty on there um, and uh, this is one of the ones that you can use clear and then you decide what you're going to be kind of um, using um, on top of it, whether it's going to be coloured or a clear. I'll keep the lid off there because what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp it around the edge using um, the, the stamp and just kind of putting part on, part off as you go. Now, ooh. <laughs> don't want that on there do we and then just inking up as we go along now I don't know whether you'll be able to pick up there's probably not much to see at the moment but I'll do a couple of these and then kind of give it a little bit of a, a wiggle and you'll be able to see hopefully it's almost like a watermark effect that you're going to get with this now I think can you see is it showing up at all it'll show up more so when I start putting the um the embossing powder on there so you might need to tilt and turn it just so as you can see with where those images are um but give it a good old press as you go and to be honest, on mine, it didn't stamp out perfectly. But again, it's part of that kind of distressed look and that um, partly on, partly off look. And uh, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't cause a great issue. But yeah, if you can get a reasonable impression on there. And I think I'm OK. I can see that little watermark appearing. So hopefully we're going to catch some of those areas. But this could be done with one of the smaller images if you wanted to. So it might be a case that you wanted to use um, the smaller image of the face. You could do that, make up a really nice background. I was chatting to Lou yesterday about that, and she was saying that would be a nice way of using them as well. So uh, 
I was tempted, but I thought I liked the marigold, so that's why we've gone in with this. I think I've gone all around the edge with those. Give that a good firm press down. Bring my clear embossing powder. I'm just going to flip that over so it doesn't stick to the photocopy paper as I go. And then just going to bring it in my clear embossing powder to go over the whole thing. And then we will heat set that with a heat gun in just a few moments. So because I'm going to pop it all back in the pot, I'll just make, get a good coverage of that. And this is where you might start seeing that image appear. There we go, we can see it there. Just need to get some on that corner. So it's just make sure we've got all of the, the pieces. Try and keep your fingers away. Can you see it there now? Is it showing up? Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay, let me slide that over. I'll pop that back into the pot in a few moments. When I start heating up, hopefully you'll be able to see it a little bit more so. So heat gun, again, if you've not got a heat gun already, Check out on the website, we've got them available on there. Again, we had them on the WOW show. I'm going to hold that like so. It's probably going to be shaking the way that I'm holding it. But as it heats up, what will happen, it will go a little bit glossy. There we go. There it goes. Um, and then that is going to form that resist. So when I get back in with um, my paints, then uh, it will be a case of that uh, that resist will stay true. Right, so I'm going to be using some acrylic paints. Now, usually acrylic paints will cover anything that you put them on, but I'm hoping that by diluting them down, it will create more of a wash. You could do it with your watercolour paints if you wanted to. I think they'd still work on um, your uh, construction cardstock. Just chasing that around the edge there. Right, so... Um, just to warn you as well, this is the only um, Charlie Craft show that we've got today. Which is probably just as well since everything's selling out, to be fair. And I'm still working with the marigold here, which is the one that has been designed with October in mind. That little stamp on that corner there, it's not 100%. That's not a problem. We can always put some flowers to cover that up. Now, uh, I think, is it June has gone, did you say then? June has gone, November has gone as well. And those are with the individual. So is it easier? It's probably easier for me to tell you what we've got left. So we've got August, and August is the one with the fabulous poppies on there. Um, we've got September, which is the one with a lovely kind of straw hat. She's got that lovely hat. And then October is the one with the marigold, which is the one that I'm working with. And then, of course, the December one is where she's wearing that lovely wintry headscarf. And if you are wondering about the others, we, um, they will kind of roll out later in the year. I'm guessing it's going to be another month or maybe a couple of months for the artwork to come through and be produced into the stamps. And the stamps, incidentally, are manufactured in the UK. Package, everything is done within the UK with regards to those. I think I've got all of the areas there. Oh, a little bit there. Have I missed anything? Oh, there's a leaf over there that's not looking glossy. I think I've got everywhere. Yeah, I think that's okay. So just give that a moment just to to cool down and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with another piece of photocopy paper so as I don't make a mess everywhere pop that down like so and I'm going to work with some of the um, indigo blue um, paints these are the, the acrylics and these are brilliant because you can use them if you were doing this obviously you wouldn't necessarily do it in exactly the same way if you're working with fabrics but these paints will actually work with fabric as well which is nice probably just use the bits out of the lids to be honest because I'm not going to need an awful lot um, and uh, this is just kind of to create that little ombre effect running down the card. Now, hopefully, all being well, with the wind in the right direction, we will be able to create a nice little kind of ombre effect with these. I'm going to pick out the pink, spritz some water down there so we can kind of dilute those colours down. What I've got here is just a piece of photocopy paper with um, an acetate sheet on the top. So if you haven't got a blending mat or a mixing mat, then that's a nice way for you to actually do that. Um, and uh, you can get the true colours with this because obviously you've got your white sheet underneath. So I'm going to pick out some of the pink to start with. Probably the chunkiest brush you could possibly see. Mix it in with a little bit of that water. And then all I'm going to do is literally brush it backwards and forwards for the first little element of the, um, the card. So there you can see that resist coming through. And what the resist will do is push the colour back into um, the area um, within the stamp so that you end up with that little white O then. Pick up some of the orange, in fact I think I'll use a fresh paintbrush just to decant that out. In fact let's get some from the pot, there's not an awful lot there. 
So come in with your orange, and of course that's a lovely kind of hot orange, orangey yellow from your marigolds. Again, go across there. Don't be afraid to kind of mix the two together so you haven't got any harsh lines with that. Do remember though how many colours you're planning on putting in place so you don't go too far down with these. A little bit of the green, pull out the green. I think we'll have the green next. Again, a little bit of water to create more of a wash with it. And then again, go in like so. And again, you give it a little bit of a wiggle. You can always add a little bit of additional water if you're wanting to. Um, to kind of soften out any lines that you've got there. And finally, with that purple, you need the tiniest amount of these. These colours are fabulous. Check them out. There's loads of them on the um, website. Didn't clean my brush completely there. Well, I don't mind. It's kind of like a a, a vintagey purple, more so than the way that it's coming out of the, the bottle. We've got a little bit of the green in there, but it doesn't really matter. And you can see there, that colour is kind of pulling away from your design. Just going to get a little bit of water just to soften that edge between the green and the orange. Like so. There we go, that's better. There we go. Um, and then I'm just going to dry that off quickly again before we start um, putting it together. So, yeah, I don't know if uh, you want to kind of step away for a moment or whether you want me to carry on. Um, so, I'll just give it a little bit of a dry. Gel medium on the top with a little bit of glitter. Fantastic. I uh, love the way. Um the, you saw the the flowers there as well. That was beautiful, that embossing. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so we have a few individual stamps remaining. Let me take you through the ones remaining. So we have Jul August the Poppy, that beautiful poppy, the one that sort of reminded me of uh, our Frido, Frida Kahlo there. And you've got those beautiful bright red poppy elements in there as well. These are large stamps, don't forget. A4 in size. And then you do get the guidance on the reverse in terms of if you're thinking about, well, I'm not sure how to do the colouring or the shading. So three of the actual face and head there and then two of the large um, poppies and then obviously poppy in August in there in the written word and then we have got that's that 678049 we still have September gorgeous September now September is limited just to highlight that September is limited so that is September with the morning glory 016248 these are all brand new today and then we move on to October this is the one with the marigolds this is limited this is the one Haley was working with Individually, she is still available there, 430-870-2299. And last but not least, we've got Fantastic December there with the poinsettia. Um, also limited stock there, so um, please don't miss out on December there as well. 2299-506-211. We have it available on the USB as well and on the pamphlet books as well, already downloaded. Okay. Okay, let's look at the website and then I'll join Hayley because I know she's going to finish off that card. I do want to plug the uh, the construction card, the transfer paper. The multi-pack has everything apart from the construction card. Really great way to dip your toes into the watercolour card, that bocker card. Just amazing quality. Fabric transfer paper is on there as well if you're loving the t-shirts and uh, the the, um, the Bockingford. Yeah, I love it. Um, so, oh, such good quality. And and the canvas tote bags if you, if you, know, if you want to transfer to material. Um, got the magnetic photo paper there as well hot press watercolor paper is gorgeous um, big savings on that so please please do shop ahead you've got the pick and mix card as well to use uh, any three packs of 10 I mean for 997 oh my word get out of town it's amazing all right fantastic so do shop ahead this is the only hour we've got for Charlie's crafts as well I can confirm that September and October has also now sold sold out that just leaves our August and no Oh, August and December. What's wrong with August and December, eh? Hey, don't leave me with those. Back to Hayley. One of my favourites is August. That's the one that I did the T-shirt with, uh, with the poppies on there. So a nice little one there. And I think she's got very much a kind of festival look, which is probably as close as we're going to get this year, let's face it. Um, now, um, I'm not going to have the opportunity to show you how to create your ombre effect with your watercolour cardstock. Very, very similar, just using watercolour paints this time, washing them across in the same way as I did with the um, acrylics a few moments ago. And then all I did was I came back in and spritzed and lifted out that colour so it's kind of like a faux bleaching effect. I've seen it many times here, but I just wanted to show how fabulously this die cuts as well. So I've got my die cutting machine here, which I'm just going to bring in, and I've got some little flower um, dies. So take those mats out, um, pop your cardstock in, and just layer up those dies. Um, I'm going to see if I can get all three on there. Usually I tape these in place, which is a little bit naughty. 
to, to lay them down. Um, I might actually not actually use these in the card, so if they do kind of go over the edge, it's not the end of the world. Um, and yeah, your regular die cutting machines, you can use it on your digital die cutting machines as well if you're wanting to. Um, oops, just give that a little bit of a, a nudge through. Oh, the one plates came off, that's why. Um, and then, um, yeah, use it in loads of different ways. So it's nice if you do want to um, create your own flowers using your floral dies. As I say, watercolour is a lovely way for you to kind of get that blend that's going to work with your background so that's going to cut out the little petals there um, which they've cut out not too badly at all there you go you can see and then of course what you can do is mold and shape them it's quite malleable when you're working with it so you can kind of ease it into shape where you need it to go and that's exactly what I did when I was putting my flowers together but we'll move that to one side just for a moment um, then I went in with a little bit of um, uh, what did I use oh just a glue yeah just a clear glue into the center put a little bit of a um, um, glitter in place there just to sparkle them up a bit and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my gel medium what have I done with my applicator I don't know what I've done with my applicator okay We'll use a paintbrush. Well, no, we won't use that one because it's very dirty. So all you do is, obviously, with your gel medium, you can use that as your glue. Um, pop it in place. If you're wanting to do it quite th um, three-dimensional, you can do it. All I'm going to do is pop that down, like so, in the centre there. And then take some of these flowers that I've created and kind of just put them around. And it's nice because you can actually do that and put them to cover up any areas that you aren't happy with. Obviously, the rule of three would be a perfect way to work with this one. I'm just going to pop a couple of them down at the bottom there. But what I would do in an ideal world is pop that third one up at the top there just to balance it all out. Um, but I think you can see there with those stamps, because you've got the different sizes, not only of the flowers, but also of the characters themselves, you can build up that background. And just to show you, if you want to do it on a larger scale, using the construction card in its full A4 format, you can get some nice effects with that. But it's really good weight, 600 GSM, so that would be fabulous to go on the cover of a journal. Thank you, Hayley. Yeah, this is the only devoted hour to crafts, uh, Charlie Crafts, so uh, I'm left with uh, August, uh, our, our favourite year, our favourite month. What's wrong with August? She's gorgeous. Anyway, there's not many left, but uh, we, we do have August individually. Don't forget, all available on the USB sticks as well. Uh, they're still available for 9 99 Thank you to Hayley. You can watch all of those techniques again on Rewind, uh, because, like I said, this is the only hour for Charlie's Crafts today, but we've got loads more still coming up, so don't go anywhere, and I'll give you a quick recap straight after this. Yes, we've got Sweet Poppy stencils up next. Absolutely fabulous. Then I'll be joining you again for that fabulous MDF with Mad Hatters. And then we'll rejoin Julia for the Sentimentally Yours One Day Special and Power. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Hachanda News! We're excited to announce that from the 1st of July, our broadcast hours on Freeview will be extended to 10pm each day. We know that many of you have been missing our live shows in the evenings and we look forward to having you with us once again. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, 
baking kits in a bottle and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilise within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is gonna take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Good morning. We have got, of course, uh, here at Hachanda, Sweet Poppy Stencils. And what a company, Sweet Poppy Stencils, it is. We have got Lucy in the studio, just far away. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine, Paolo. Now, of course, for anybody who hasn't seen a Sweet Poppy Stencils and Metal Stencils, can you tell us a little bit how, wh why you chose to do Metal Stencils? Um, it's more the product allows us to be so um, intricate with the design, so we're not um, messing around with the designer's design, we're not putting bridges where there doesn't need to be bridges, um, and it's keeping the quality of uh, the design so you're getting every time you use them you're getting a really good um, image every time yes they will buckle um, if you bend them but if you look after them they'll last you a lifetime now that is a very good point lasting a lifetime and that extra detail that you can put they can put under the metal uh, designs metal stencils now that is, is incredibly um, particularly important when you want to have words that fine detail that you're going to achieve now these ones are brand new today you're getting the first times that you have seen and of course you have got six metal sentiment stencils it's the first time that you have done a, a sentiments isn't it brought the sentiments to you um, we've always done them right from the start it's just um, I've never had chance or thought to bring them a collection to you so when we were looking at the stencils what were what we had and what we could bring different um, we realized we hadn't brought the words so it's nice to put a, a lovely collection together for you guys that will cover all sentiments so from birthdays Christmas something to just send someone to say well I'm thinking of you yeah, these are uh, good. I love how you have got two vertical, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Birthday. Then you get just to say, which is a horizontal one. And then, of course, you have got the beautiful uh, With Love 
thinking of you and of course those ones will work horizontally like so if I put them like this I think like this will be a little bit and you can see it there of course thinking of you as well and then finally we have got in here congratulations Less than I. Now, of course, you can see the fine detail that those metal stencils will give you. Seventeen pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. Think about inking through them. Think about your embossing paste. Thinking about your paste that then allow you to foil. Because sweet poppy stencils, of course, they make that paste that then you can use it with foil and then go run it through a, a kind of a you know, label, uh, not, not labeling, um, laminate machine. So then it kind of transfers that foil. 708275 is your item number. And I would take note of that number and check out my baskets because already 10% of the stock has already gone. And this is like, what, three minutes in? Right, let's move on onto a pick and mix. Now, there is two brand new options, which is the lamppost and the snowflake, which are the first two ones. And they are, a, it's a pick and mix, so you choose any two. So you could choose the brand new two today. Christmas is coming and every year is coming, you know, it's, look at that glorious lamppost. I, you can see the fine detail in here, the absolutely fine detail. Now look at that freedom price, 16 pounds and 19 pence for two metal stencils. If you're a Freedom member, you don't pay PMP, so that is super affordable. 170854. And look how beautiful. And of course, you can mask some areas and then do them maybe with paste. There are so many different ways of using a stencils. And of course, metal stencils giving you that tiniest of details in here. 10% of the lamppost already gone. Next one is this neat snowflake, and these already 10% you know what a snowflakes they are well you are shopping ahead so please do check out your baskets as soon as you make your mind up we are always very busy for sweet poppy stencils and today is no exception look at that glorious snowflake I think snowflakes and stencils is a match made in heaven because think about making Christmas cards quick and easy with that bold statement and I have to show you this sample because a cast captured my heart. Look how gorgeous. And this is a stencil that kind of acts as, even as a stamp because think about your makeup brushes to push the ink through them and of course giving a perfect impression. But then of course think about your embossing paste, your texture paste. Think about bringing your glitters on it. And then look at this sample that is absolutely stunning. Think about doing two layers of it. Think about bringing your blues and then your iridescent glitters to it. And then it will glisten. And I love how this size of a stamp, our oh, stencil, apologies for that, uh, kind of lends itself for bigger and smaller cards, for backgrounds and the focal point. Think about making your decorations for Christmas cards. Think about using fabric paint and then putting your maybe your table decorations on Christmas or during the winter times. One Seven zero eight five four. Remember, it's a pick and mix, and those are the brand two new, brand new today. But also returning our three favorites, and this one is the tree, uh, tree face, uh, for face, yeah. And look at that glorious detail. I think automatically when I see these ones, I think of those beautiful trees that kind of symbolize in making a wish. Those trees that represent the strength, those, we, those trees that are kind of mythical. I'm thinking of those, you know, those legends of the trees, those things of like fairies, but also I'm thinking of that saying of, you know, deep roots hold strong even in the darkest of storms. You know, that sort of strength, that intertwining branches as well. Very, very spectacular tree. Think about it with your mixed media techniques. Think about your backgrounds. And sometimes you want to add a focal point. Think about maybe animals that you have got and incorporate that beautiful. Think about your pigment powders and creating that blossoms into the tree. Think about overlaying into, again, I think Think this is Alice in Wonderland that sort of kind of the rabbit kind of coming into the tree and but also think about Christmas think about maybe putting Christmas ornament and glitter in here it's one of those ones that is all year round and it's one of those images as well that is 
it doesn't have a gender. Whether it's a guy or it's a girl that doesn't like butterflies and flowers, this sort of image, it kind of resonates with all ages as well. It, that's the tree. And then we have got, of course, we have got a twisted vine in here. So we are very busy for the twisted vine. And you can see them there gloriously. Um, it's a very fluid again it has got that fluidity in the lines kind of very organic in nature and it gives you the also that focal point and the background elements to it also i see this one going upside down at the same time that i see it the right way up i also see a very stylized mistletoe so i'm thinking of ready christmas i'm thinking about look at that there it is that's the good Look, look how gorgeous it looks. Or what about bringing your pace in here and your glitter? I'm thinking, well, why? Whoever made this sample was thinking a Christmas tree, a very different Christmas tree. This is what I love about sweet poppy stencils: the quality of the material, but the quality of the designs, the beauty of the designs make it a very versatile medium to work with. Very versatile images. And then the last one of the uh, of course uh, of the uh, Pika makes is the Indian moth. Now, I love the size of it. I love that it's a bold image butterfly. I love the detail that they kind of have achieved thanks to that metal stencil. Think about maybe using bits and pieces, not having the whole image. Even that, it gives you the little dots in there. Think about maybe bringing your little crystals in here to accentuate. Using half of it or using the whole of it is absolutely beautiful. Remember that you pick and choose whichever two are your favorite for 16 pounds and 19 pence if you are a Freedom member. So for instance, if you wanted a Christmas and a butterfly, you can do that. You can do, for instance, a snowflake and the butterfly. Remember, pick a, pick a mix means that you are the curator of your own mini collection. There you have got that gorgeous, stunning butterfly. 17 pounds and 99 pence if you're not a freedom member if you are you have got that additional discount 16 pounds and 19 pence 170854 now if you're going for the indian moth we have got the matching dye and of course we are the crafters sometimes we do want it to make it quick and easy and we don't want to fussy cut it and having the matching dye means that you can make reproduce time and time again and create that perfect die cut image and i'm going to going to show you here because you can then see the perfect dye that matches the, dye, the the stencil. If you want to go for this amazing outline dye, body dye, uh, your item number is four to one, four to nine, and your item price is ten pounds and ninety nine pence. And you can see that it's a sizable uh, dye in there, and of course the fat that matches perfectly that the stencil makes it a perfect match in heaven. Right, and then we have got the final stencil for today. We have got one of of the old favorites but absolutely stunning this is your winter stack for just 12 pounds and 99 pence it is a sizable as metal stencil now I'm going, to, I'm going to show you as well because I think it's a stunning the samples I'm going to just put them here so you can see them look with a glitter stencil uh, paste through the glorious background what about something completely different how gorgeous is that how simple and stunning i love how it has got a circle nature but you can just mask all the border and you just have that commanding regal stack coming into the center what about just doing an ornament for the christmas tree what about in your christmas cards instead of putting that in the front and then they have got something to just hang on the christmas tree and every one of them look using the same size uh, uh not not hard it's not a heart it's a circle paula uh double bubble bubble cannot say it uh, and then we have got look half of the side like a quarter it's just I mean, the samples are just stunning and because they are all stunning because the image is stunning and you will be able to recreate something as beautiful as this if you go for the metal stencil, the winter stag. 313850 is your item number. Grab yours by checking out those baskets. And of course, we have got more items from Sweet Poppy stencils on the website. So have a look at that. So we have got pigments in there. We have got texture paste. Of course, we have got the body dye for the, of course, that beautiful seahorse. 
course. And of course, we have got the glitter Christmas glitters, a stamps that match perfectly. Now, I strongly recommend that essential toolkit uh, because that essential toolkit is unbelievably good. It has got that spreader, the stencil tape, and also that magnetic sheet. That means that you can put it underneath your car sock and that will secure the stencil into the car sock and it will make sure that it doesn't have any wiggling time there. Right, uh, the, of course, uh, check out the seven day savers if you want to have a look at those ones. And without further ado, here is Lucy to show us the first demonstration of the hour. So I thought what we'd do is we would start with um, the beautiful new lamppost stencil. Um, I thought I'd prep some, but I haven't. So we'll change it slightly. So rather than using foils, what we'll do is we're going to use um, the glitters, the beautiful glitters. But I will explain how you can get all your different finishes. So to start off with, I've got my um, essential tool set. So I'm placing my cut size piece of card down and I've got my stencil on top of it. Um, with this one it's not got a right or a wrong way um, so it doesn't matter um, that you have the right in facing upwards. With some of them especially if you're using dies then I can't stress enough that you do need to have your writing facing upwards. So we're going to mask off. Yeah. So we're doing one and then um, we're doing do two. Do you find that um, if because in the past I didn't use tape and I did get a little bit of uh, spreading so the tape will help me to avoid that? One it in. does and um, the magnetic sheet as well because they're stainless steel the magnetic sheet what that's doing is that is hugging it tighter so you've got yes. a closer contact with your cardstock um, so it's really important if you've ever had the bleed through then try it with your magnetic sheet and try it with your stencil tape as well. Um, I never not cheat without those two. Um, I always make sure that I always do two at the top, two bottom down the side, and I've always got my um, magnetic sheet underneath. So all we're doing is I've got my gold medium. So you're just loading up. So I'm not putting anywhere near the image. If you start loading up onto your image, what you're going to do is every time you swipe it, you're going to overwork it and it's going to creep under. So hands together, 45 degree angle, and you're just moving it down. Back up, back in, and again, back down. So you're not pushing it. There's no force. All you're doing is you're letting a gentle skim over. So pop that into water because what you're working with, with the central dimensions, it's a glue content inside it. Um, and this is what allows you to adhere all your glitters, your micas, um, your glass beads, even with uh, foils. So when we do the heat technique, which originally I was going to do the heat technique, but I do need a prepped dry base, then... Um, once it's dry, what happens is it then allows you, with a laminator and foil, it allows you to reactivate the glue inside. Um, so it's, the stencil dimensions is what the magic is. Um, it's so important that you use the right product to get the right finish. So, as I said, if I was going to do um, the heat technique, that would be left to dry. So I'd leave that to dry. Drying time... For this one, it's about an hour. Um, if I'm really pushing and I want it to dry really quick, then I tend to put it in a little wind in my window in my office um, over the radiator. Oh, nice. And that seems to hurry it. It doesn't bubble it, but it, um, it encourages it to okay. dry really quick. And then all you would do is you'd lay over your um, heat foil. So I would anti-static my card first, yes. heat foil over, sandwich that, whip it through your laminator. So really, fun. really simple and quick. And what you would then get is you would get oh, beautiful. I see. Yeah. And I think that just takes it up a stage further for your Gorgeous. card making. So it's so pretty to do and so effective. So hopefully, I know I've prepped for this afternoon, so I'll be able to show um, the heat technique this afternoon. I thought I had it all ready, all sorted. So. This is from our Christ uh, Christmas collection. 
So this is the gold, and in the Christmas collection glitters, um, you've got your Christmas green, you've got your Christmas red, your crystallina, which is a translucent, and then you've got your gold and silvers. So they are what I class as in essentials for you. So pop that to one side. We have got the paste that you are using, of course, uh, we do have the gold, but also we have got the, uh, well, I'm going to show you the, how uh, they come. And now you have, I think it's a pick and mix, so you choose uh, whichever two, uh, oh, so, yeah, so you choose uh, whichever two you want. And of course you have got the translucent, you have got the glossy white, uh, then we have got the bronze, uh, we have got the, um, of course, the pearl, pearl white, and then finally the gold, which is what of course, uh, Lucy is using, and that's it. That's 17 pounds and 99 pence for two of those ones. If you want a two of gold, of course, you can do that. Well, there is a stock. 741231 is your item number. Okay, so we're going back now. So we're applying a word. So I'm working down the stencil. Okay, so I'm following all the script down it. Now, it's quite um, a tiny stencil, so what you might want to do is you might want to use either um, a palette knife and skim it down, or what you can do, if you haven't got a palette knife, then just use the side, side. and just skim it down that way. So again, what we'll do, so we're just loading it up, so we're not overloading, so you don't need loads on there. So. Make sure you're stuck down, so that's nice and secure. And I'm just dragging it down. That can go back in. So I've got too much because I can't see any of the image there. And then I'm dragging it again. And that is it, that's all you're gonna get off because what happens is you've created a bridge with your tape. So you can't get any more off. Every time you swipe, you're not going to get no more off. So leave it, don't, don't keep pushing and pushing because that's when um, you'll find that it'll creep underneath. So overworking it um, is not a good thing for the stencils. So we're taking off and we're using the stencil tape. So it's not masking tape, it's a lot less tack on it. But I'm still careful with it. And I'm going to get my nail underneath and taking off, that can go into water. So I'll clean my stencils oh. with um, warm soapy water okay. and yep. a little nail brush. Mm. And I'm just making sure that I've got no... And again, oh. I just... It's such a tiny detail. It is, yeah. But because the glitters are um, satin, they're super, super fine, and we have them cut two grades further than an ultra fine, oh, it see. means that you're not losing any detail whatsoever. Look at so that. what you could do is, if you're impatient, yeah. you could get your heat gun, if I can find my heat gun. Okay. So, and you could... So all this will do is, this will give you texture. So you can either leave it air dry, or you can force it dry with a heat gun. And this just gives it texture. And you could do the same with your mica powders. The only one I wouldn't really mess around with as finish is uh, the microbeads. Um, I wouldn't, if I put the glass microbeads on, I tend to just personally myself, I just think it looks better if you just leave it air dry. So I'm just encouraging it to, and this is wonderful, when you're using your mica powders on top, because the sweet poppy mica powders have no binder inside, they'll allow you to get um, texture to it. And then you can polish it up with um, a decorating brush and you get the most amazing finishes. So again, hopefully this afternoon I'll be able to show you that finish as well. And it's trying to get and show as many different techniques um, with the sweet poppy stencils as possible. Um, I get a little bit enthusiastic about what you can do with them and what you can. But even um, if you're not into your pace and your dimensions, then just use um, your inks through them. You know, as Paolo said, it's almost like a stamp. All you're doing is you're using something steady to hold it down and just put your brushes through or your sponges through um, to create the most beautiful images. I'm not a very good stamper, so that's why I like using the inks 
through it. So you can choose, sorry, you cannot see me on the other <laughs> side of the studio. It's just kind of a little behind the screen. Oh, let, let's, with, with a stencil, you can choose whichever colors you want to put exactly. really easily. Exactly, and you can mask off a lot easier as well. And um, you're still going to get all that beautiful detail that Emma and Tracy from Lavinia create for us. But you can just mix your colors and you can put um, a, a layer, like you said, layer over layer yeah. over layer. So with the dimension paste, yeah. you can't do that. Yeah. But with the inks, you can. You can. Brilliant. Right. If you wanted the Christmas letters, we have got them for you. You can see them on the screen. Uh, 388 and 973. 18 pounds and 75 pounds is the price for those five beautiful Christmas letters. Remember, they are cut to two grades finer than, of course, uh, ultra fine glitter so you have get, don't get any um, any detail missing now of course the essentials I strongly recommend to go for them uh, 11 pounds and 99 pence includes two essential tapes that spreader that is absolutely phenomenal and that magnetic sheet that will hold the stencil in place as well 683492 but your pick and mix is one of the most popular items in the hour. It's incredibly busy, especially the brand and nude items today. That beautiful uh, lamppost. Think about Christmas, but not necessarily Christmas. You know, maybe uh, sentiments like you shine a light into my life. You know, that sort of elements. You can decorate it into different ways. So it's not necessarily always Christmas. There were nearly 60 percent of the lamppost has already gone now it is a pick and mix so you can choose whichever two you are going to get i love the use of the circle in here to kind of accentuate the light coming through what about i love this technique and i think it's especially was the first person that i saw ever doing it with a stencil with the inks and then using the paste and then putting the glass bit through it and then of course it gives you a kind of a really rich detail because the color of the yeah, you have put first kind of shines through. A simple Christmas cards you can achieve very easily with this phenomenal, phenomenal uh, detail uh, stencil. Now that is of course the lamppost. Br also brand new today is the snowflake. Now again, nearly 60% of the stock. It is extraordinary because you are getting all those details. Think about as well, if you have got an embossing, a uh, die cutting machine, running through the, your embossing machine with a rubber mat as well, and that will push the detail and create an embossed detail. Stencils are one of these items that there is as many, many uh, uh, techniques as you want to do. You know, you have got incredible elements. Mix your, create your stencil paste. Bring your blacks into it to make sure that it's a really extraordinary detail. And then, oh, that's upside down. Some, well, it did, you know, this is the background, I didn't really read. Uh, now, of course, you kind of have it, this. I love with the foil because, of course, those cream paste allow you to then transfer some foil. Right, if you want to go for the stencil, it's brand new, remember today, uh, the snowflake. And remember that is so is the lamppost. Both of them, I believe, are very, very busy, 60% or approaching 60%. You can find the other options as well on the website, including, of course, that Indian moth as well as of course the beautiful twisted vines or the tree of faith now whichever one two you go for then you add them 17 pounds and 99 pence and then of course the freedom members is 16 pounds and 19 pence now that is of course for you pick a mix of two metal stencils but if you wanted to go for some sentiments brand new today here at Hochanda we have got a set of five of them now 40 percent of the stock has already gone the detail like let me put I you know Oh, upside down again I kind of I, I like things upside down clearly and now of course we have got here just to say with love congratulations and thinking of you how fun is that detail how delicate how exquisite it is think this have been done this board has been done with 
uh, stencil medium and of course it has been then used with foil over it and then run it through I think a, a laminator or something like that. That has given, yes, uh, Lucy is uh, saying that it is like that. Now, thank goodness she's very tall so I can see her over the cameras. I'm just so sure she can never see me behind them. <laughs> now, of course, you can see the detail in here. Two vertical sentiments, Merry Christmas and Happy Birthday, which means that, for instance, if you go for the lamppost, that Merry Christmas can sit right beside it perfectly. Now, if you want your £17.99 is your price, 708275. Remember, I think it's 40% of the stock has already gone, so please check out your baskets. And let's head back to Lucy to see the next demo. Okay, so what I thought we'd do is try and get as many techniques in as possible rather than showing you finished demos as such. So I thought I'd show you how to work with um, the Indian Moth stencil. Um, this is a design um, that has been changed for us by um, our wonderful friend Lavinia Stamps, Tracy Dutton. Um, and you'll see a lot of her images, a lot of her people, um, the DT team they use, um, they mix her stamps with our stencils because they just work so well. So we're really, really spoilt that we have Tracy on board and we have um, our in-house, lovely in-house designer Emma Cronin who created the, the two new ones for us. So um, the snowflake and the lamppost are brand, brand new, as Paolo said. And um, they're created by um, Emma Cronin. And then we've got the Indian moth and the stag. And people will recognize these images um, when we're at shows. They, they spot them straight away. And they can see the style. And it's because Tracy designs for us. And we are so spoilt. Um, with her being on board um, and she'll sort of say well what do you want what can I do for you and she just creates amazing little creatures and designs and mystical and magical so all I've got is I've got a beautiful piece of now it's not massively thick this is paper and I'm not going to use too much medium on side on on it otherwise what will happen is it'll warp um, if you've got a beautiful background um, paper that you love then and you're going to use a lot of medium then make sure that you mat and layer it onto uh, cardstock and then use it so all I'm doing is I've got archival ink and I tend to use more archival ink um, when I'm doing the silhouettes because I never know if I'm going to then overlay it with a grid or one of the other stencils yeah, so it doesn't bleed then. So it's really important that you're always um, getting the best image that you can with your stencil brushes and your smoothies and sponges. So we're just bit by bit by bit laying it up. Now, if you went too heavy with it and it was too juicy, what would happen is it would bleed out. So it's important that you're, you're building your layers up bit by bit. Um, I know the girls use all types of sponges, makeup um, sponges, makeup brushes. Um, there's so many on the market. I love how to make brushes, like ones that are very compact. So yes. they will go through the, all the nooks and crannies. Well, when detail. lockdown finishes yeah. and I feel safe to go out, yeah. then that's my first purchase. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm desperate for um, a set of those. I've been watching masses of YouTubes because yeah. even myself, I'm still learning. Um, you know, yeah. I watch Tim Holt and watch what he does with yeah. techniques and stencils and things like that and inks and mediums and I love it. Yeah. I don't think you ever stop learning, no, do you? No, absolutely not. I mean, I learn so much just watching every guest coming in and, yeah. and doing different techniques and different elements. I've always got Hachanda up in the corner, even when I'm at work. Um, it's always on one of my computers and I'm always flitting and watching and watching what techniques people do. Because um, you're desperate to evolve and change what you what you do because if you're anything like me you get bored with a technique that you do yes. mm -hmm. so we're taking that one off okay. so as you can see again I'm still careful even though it's stencil tape okay. you know I'm still careful that I don't catch my cardstock right so is and now I need to do give an update about the lamppost and the snowflake because they are three quarters of the stock has yeah. already gone. So if you want yours, please, please uh, check out your baskets to not miss out. 
Ah, isn't he beautiful? Now, if you were a perfectionist and you wanted to make sure you've got all your spots, all you need to do is invest in a little microfine liner. Okay. And then all you would do is you would, oops, I can't see through my glasses, you would just touch up. Okay, you would just touch all your ah, little areas up. Yeah, that's so if a good I was idea. at home, I could either put my stencil back down and keep going, but if I didn't want to bleed through, then I would tend to use up uh, a little microfine liner. Okay. So we want a little stamp on it. Yeah. And if I can find where I've done my stamps, okay. otherwise we'll jump through that one. Okay. Too many drawers in here. Yeah, you put things in drawers and then you can always remember which drawer was in. I get really excited and think, yeah. oh, look at all these drawers. And then yeah. By the way, we do have got the stamps. Are the ones that we have got on the show stamps that you are using, Lucy? Yeah, yeah. these ones, this is the cheer set and I'm just using the hello from it. Oh. Um, and we're not, we're not really a stamp company. Our, our main core product is stencils. Yeah. But um, the idea for the stamps is because when we were at shows, people would um, come up to us and say, well, have you got the word that's on that particular creation one of the girls would have done? And you'd go, sorry, no, I haven't got it. Um, so you're disappointing your customers all the time. Um, so we started bringing out little verses, little words um, that will complement the stencils. So every now and again, you'll see us bring sets of um, stamps on um, just to complement you yeah. know your stencils they do. They do. so we just there we go so happy with that so pop that to one side so now we're going to do our die so let me just pop that and I'll sort that out after so when you're doing your image and you're going to be working with the die it is so important that the wording that's on your stencil yeah. always faces up. Okay. Otherwise, because um, the majority of the stencils are all hand-drawn, that wing doesn't necessarily mean that wing is exactly the same. So if I turned it over, the die might not match. Or if it's got a head on it, like the seahorse that we brought last time, it might not match for you. So all we're doing is... got another bit of scrap paper. And we're just overlaying, and it did fit originally. So we're just overlaying. Lovely. So if I wanted, for me, if I wanted the image, for me to lay that over and try and line up the outline of it, it would be so difficult to try and work out where I was. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So the easiest way is to cut it out first. This is my easiest way, I think. Um, and for me, it's very much like when you you stamp an image and try and cut out an image that way. You would tend to, a lot of people tend to die cut it and then stamp onto it. Okay. So I don't normally use our stencil tape because it's not strong enough normally for dies. Oh, I see. It's um, not got enough tack. So for your home decor, for your, um, your dies and things, it's a no-go. Oh, right. Okay, so it's, it's that low tack that it's you want It's that to low tack, yeah. Oh, okay. It's taken us years to source a real low tack stencil okay. tape. So it's not masking okay. tape, it is stencil tape. Yeah. And now, while you're running that through the, the cutting machine, our Christmas glitters, well, they are now limited to stock. So if you have got them in your baskets, please, please, please check them out. Technical so out. Uh, technical sellout, which means that, well, still, if you have got them in your baskets and you check out right now, you still will get them. Otherwise, you will miss out. And if you do not want that to happen, there's only one way to check out those baskets. So, with um, the dye, with the Indian moth, it is one of the most intricate around the antennae. So, I would run it through minimum two, you know, if I could get away with it. Um, then I would do three, okay. um, just because of its antennae. Okay. So I'm just teasing that out. Okay. And we're, we're not, as I said, we're not a die company, we're not a stamp company, but for the outline dies, it was just something that sometimes I'm terrible, I can't cut out. Um, things get chopped off.
Okay. Um, so, you know, we've got some amazing girls on the design team, and when they cut out, I sort of look at it and think, oh my gosh, I've got to replicate that. <laughs> so, yeah. hence, that's why the outline dies came. So, not every stencil warrants an outline die, but uh, um, some sometimes yeah. you need a little bit of help. And we do. <laughs> And I, that's why I know you must get the snowflake um, stencil. Yeah. The dye is late in getting to us. It gets oh. to us next week. I'm gutted because oh. that's, that was supposed to be coming on. Oh, I see. Um, so we'll bring it on next time. When, when are you next? Uh, 10th of July, but oh, we do what? not have a lot of stock of the mm. snowflake. So if wow. you like it and you're yeah. going to like the dye, I can guarantee. Yeah. You need it. So pop it in your basket. That's important. Yeah, indeed it is. Check, check out those baskets, especially for that pick and mix, so, and um, especially for that lamppost and the snowflake, which are we are incredibly busy for. Excuse my head if it gets in shot. So all I'm doing is I've now turned the stencil over, lining it up. And I'm just securing. Would you use a light box if you have got one to make sure that the lining is the properly placement? You could do, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, you can tend to see straight away, so I can see the little antennae is not in, or the little swirly bits mm -hmm. at the bottom is not in place. Mm -hmm. So when you hold it up, so you can just tweak it, mm -hmm. and then when it's on your magnetic sheet, plonk it down. It's not going to move now. That's it. It's, it's stuck there. Um, so all we're doing now... And again, as I said, at home, I would take masses of time. So I've got okay. uh, one already prepped. Yes, I have. And then all you would do is you would ink through and you would build your layer up until you were happy. Okay. Exactly the same as what you did for your base. Yes. So true blue Peter fashion. Okay. <laughs> Pop him to one yep. side. Okay. So we've got our base. Yes. We've got our ink. And mm -hmm. we've got our hello. I yep. put a couple of little dots, and then all I've added is a little bit of glossy accent. And I've cut down his wings. His wings don't snip straight into it. So all I've done is I've snipped straight down into his wings and given it a little bit of 3D. Okay. And you oh, could stick down that. the whole of it, you know, apart from I his like wings. That. There we go. I like that very, very much. It's just being suddenly kind of a, the, the floatiness of a butterfly. Thank you so much for showing us that, Lucy. And of course, that is featuring the Indian moth and also the uh, beautiful stamps that, of course, sweet poppy stamps make for you. Now, we have got a few separate uh, stamp sets, sets, and they are all uh, the, this one that we have got in front of you, in you front of us. Uh, just to say, nine stamps, nine individual photopolymer stamps that you have got there. 9.99 is the price. Now, a really lovely. This is sentiments that sometimes we do not want to say, I, and I don't mean I love you because that's you know we want to say that all the time. Uh, but sometimes you have to send like you know sorry for your loss or things like that that we may not want to say, but they are the cards that they mean the more because of you. I. I laugh a little harder, cry a little less, and I smile a lot more. That's about it. I could say that. Send that to my cat, actually. Uh, anyway, 374-469 is your item number. And then we, the one that, you, that Lucy uh, used, which is to make that card, you can see it here, is the hello, uh, is the cheers. As you are getting 12 uh, stamps uh, in total in this one. Congratulations, celebrate, Oma MG, pop. Uh, well done, uh, good times, and then of course, congratulations, celebrate, congrats, you did it, celebrate, you did it. Uh, then you have got, of course, the stamps, and you can use them. Oh, look at that, I love how beautiful they are in here. Look at that, look how gorgeous, and look at this one as well. I think they are stunning, aren't they? Love, love, love these ones. Uh, if you want to go for that, 248192 is your item number. Then we have got a smile, and we like a little bit of a smile, don't we? And of course, you have got here a smile, you have got the sentiments. Shall I read some of those ones? Uh, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a sample here, and then I'm going to say, flat on my belly, chin in my hands, dreaming mist acres of rippling grass, dusted with pollen strewn, strewn, Soon on the breeze, <laughs> rubbed in the same. 
you know what I'll stop reading hugs and kisses a dream is a wish your heart makes and the true sign of intelligence is not knowledge but imagination Albert Einstein and you have got those gorgeous sentiments yes yeah, I cannot not read can I um, then we have got those gorgeous sentiments verses that you can incorporate with a mix and match of course of your stencils and that beautiful smile I'll, I think Liz is absolutely correct those beautiful big and bold words they have got still that beauty that co combi combines so well with the stencils 9.99 is your price for this uh, thumbs uh, plate 614920 is your item number and then we have got the Noel Christmas awards in here and these ones will work perfectly of course with those uh, you know snowflakes on the lamppost joy to the world winter wishes seasons greetings Merry Christmas joy to the world Noel from our house to yours, jingle bells, merry and bright, and of course those beautiful uh, snowflakes in there as well. And look how gorgeous they combine. Look how beautiful they are. Look how, I just love the idea of because you can put them in here. 9.99 is your price, 909-007 is your item number, 007. Uh, that's it. Then we have got our mica powders. Now this is a pick and mix option and the top row are all brand new colors and the bottom are colors that they have been pre-existing. So you choose whichever three you prefer. Whichever, for instance, if you want to go for the, um, sorry, this one is burlesque, bur burlesque, yeah. I was thinking I couldn't hear it properly and then of course the producers have said like the sexy dance, <laughs> that's burlesque, yeah. <laughs> and then I got it immediately. And then we have got Aquarius, that I got it. Uh, then we have got Evergreen, then we have got Silver Grey, and then these ones are the brand new. And then we have got underneath it, I'm going to switch them around. So we have got Sunshine Yellow, gold pearl bronze ooh, and sapphire so is it i'm going to put them back again so you can see the top row are brand new burlesque aquarius evergreen and uh, oh which one was that one i forgot anyway these ones are the brand new ones but 11 pounds and 99 pence now one thing with mica powders i would say is that it's one of the best investments that you can do because there's so many ways of using them it's well worth investing them i have got some that i bought about 18 years ago and they are still one of those videos that I go back to because they give you that beautiful effect and the possibilities are endless now of course that was a pick and mix but also we have got a pick and mix now brand new today are the lamp 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 post and the snowflake both of them are limited stock shall I put it I kind of this kind of like oh I kind of anyway so you can see that I cannot really put them in properly anyway things of being so short and not having much length in my arms uh, then we have got of course at the lamp post this is a gorgeous bookmarks it makes the most beautiful bookmark I want to show you that card as well because having the stance on means that you can replicate it several times and create that crisp impression every time remember that both the lamp post and the snowflake are brand new today and both of them are now limited stock, which is a reminder of checking out those baskets. The baskets are to refresh every 10 minutes. And if you have put them out early on, uh, they, you know, they will kind of empty themselves and maybe somebody else will grab them. So to not miss out, the only way is to check those baskets out. 170-8454 is your item number. 16 pounds and 19 pence is what you're paying if you're a Freedom member. And of course, you don't pay. pay, pay. P and P. Right. We all, all the P's. Uh, I should be the one that knows how to say P and P. Uh, right. Anyway, without uh, without further ado, let's get head back to Lucy. Okay. So I forgot to say on um, the Indian moth that we did, what we did is we used the little twisted vines just to add little accents but with translucent medium so what you're getting is you're getting the most beautiful embossed area on it so it means that you don't there we go that's brilliant so you don't need to um, you know emboss it through a machine or anything like that so that I forgot that, that bit so all my plans have gone out of my head today so. <laughs> 
Don't mind I love and them. I sit and I make sure I make notes and gone. Don't even know my name sometimes. I, I, just, I don't even bother with notes anymore. <laughs> it was like, it's never you wing it. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I do prove when I demonstrate, but... Mm. It goes, doesn't it? Yeah, it does go. I mean, even though the director is saying, no, well, <laughs> you know. But it's live TV, isn't it? And that's it one is. of the joys of it. It is. So, okay, so we've got our lovely little snowflake here. Um, now, when I do the snowflake, I can't stress, do work with magnetic sheet because you've got very loose, fragile um, little parts, bridges in the middle of it. So with a magnetic sheet, that is going to hug it tighter for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for this effect. Okay, so we've got the Noel snowflake behind and we've just embossed that with clear embossing powder. Um, and then we've used white on that one but same glitter all we've done is with this one we've used translucent medium with this one we've used glossy white medium so um, what will happen is with the translucent it does what it says on the pot it will go crystal clear so all you'll get is you'll get a sparkle if you want crisp bright white then go with your glossy white so if you wanted to change that up there's nothing stopping you by getting a small pot taking a heap scoop of your mediums and mixing it with one of the mica powders you've got a whole range of different colors then so we're masking yeah. off masking off now with the snowflake the best way that i found of pasting it is coming from one of its top points okay I've got all fluff on this yeah so coming from top point if you go this way yes. what will happen is you'll hit this section and you'll oh, take off more I than what you put on so mask off so if you went that way you'll catch it you'll catch ah, it on that line yes. straight down yeah so always go from the, your top angle yeah. to your the bottom vertical angle. line just follow it, yeah. the vertical line. So we'll go with, let's go glossy white. Okay, we so do, yeah. We do have medium. them on the show, and of course, it's a pick and mix, and the details are on the bottom. So with your mediums, they'll look like they've set when you first open, okay? With the big pots, you can um, take off the seal, you don't need to keep it because the lids are airtight. After a few, say about four or five um, uses, then you'll start giving it a stir. Don't stir it initially. It makes it um, too sloppy. Yeah. Um, and then it'll be dripping everywhere. Can I remind everybody to check out those baskets, especially for the snowflake, because we are, well, extremely limited stock for that snowflake. So if you're looking at it and you're thinking, I really want it, do check out your baskets right this very second, and then you will get them. And there is, I cannot give no more stock, I know of that. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I did ask, and unfortunately, there is no available stock, um, not yeah. this time. Yeah. Um, it yeah. is back on manufacture, but it takes about a month course, to get to yeah. us. You know, uh, we have got about five minutes left in the show. Okay. So we're taking off and off. Okay. Uh, now I need to tell you that the snowflake now is sold out. Uh, you know, and as you have heard, Lucy, there is no more stock of no. that one. So well done to everybody that got it. I'd like to say I was going to whip some more stock for you, but I know definitely not. No, it's um, not for that one. Sorry. No. That's so this is a crystallina from the um, set of glitters. It is the only one in the Sweet Poppy range that is an ultra fine. And that is because the finer that we cut the glitters, the more or the less bling you have in a set of glitters. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and with the crystallina, because you want it translucent, you want it to catch your bling. So okay. there you go. Oh, you get a I perfect see. image. Yeah. And as I said, we've got the die coming, just not here just yet. It's always, um, but well, then it's only about two weeks yeah, till we're exactly back with so you, helpful. which is great. Yeah. So pop him to one side. You could again put a heat gun to it. It will bubble. All sweet poppy mediums bubble, bar translucent. Translucent doesn't have enough um, uh, acrylic in base okay. in it to yeah. bubble. Mm -hmm. So let's. Let's just check which one I've just done, that one. Right, so if you were going to lay over, you would just literally mat and layer. As I said, 
with this one, all I've done is I've embossed with the snowflake and then done a quick matte and layer. And that's it. And that is, it's as quick as that. So if I pass you back to Paolo, and then perhaps you can show some inspiration then from the girls. Yeah, absolutely, I can do that excellent yeah. right now. Uh, of course, we have got the pick and mix, which of course features now that empty spot where uh, the snowflake was there. But of course, you have got to sell four beautiful options. You, of course, you have got the uh, their beautiful lamp spot, lamp post also brand new. It is extremely limited, so please do check out your baskets for that one if you have it in your eyes. Uh, because then we have got, of course, the tree of faith, a beautiful kind of tree that intertwines the trunk and it kind of gives you the ability it's all seasons and also I think all ages and uh, you know genders then we have got the uh, oh the beautiful vine in there that intertwines again it can be mid Christmas for mistletoe it can be just beautiful Christmas tree and then finally we have got the Indian moth which I absolutely love now it is a phenomenal size of a, of a, of a stencil and you can see it here how you can then just use it into a smaller pieces of uh, elements look at that I love this one as well look how gorgeous it looks onto and look of course if you use it onto black heart and then you use white maybe white um, opaque paste and then you put glitter over it look how gorgeous that looks now of course if you want to go for the pick and mix your choice is two different sense metal stencils for 16 pence and 19 pence if you are a freedom member 170854 is your item number but also we have got some sentiments for you they have been very very busy half the stock has already been uh, gone and sold out yeah and now Remember, this is the first time that Sweet Poppy has brought here to Hochanda Stanza. So this is the first time that you have seen them here at Hochanda. You have got five metal stencils and they showcase the fine detail that you can achieve with these metal stencils. The quality, the vertical nature of the Merry Christmas and Happy Birthday, the fine detail, look at that Y here, how beautiful that scroll it is. All, of course, of six so, I think I say five, it's six metal stencils in here, sentiment. Uh, 17 pounds and 99 pence is the price, 708275. And Lucy, thank you so much for your demo today. Oh, we, you're welcome. We will see you back at two. I think it's Ian is doing that too. Yes, I think so. I think yes. yes, that's lovely. Oh, Hayley, sorry, Hayley. Oh, fabulous. Hayley. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, we, you always get confused with the newest schedules. But uh, yeah, it would be Hayley. Uh, now, of course, there will be more demonstrations. Remember to check out your baskets, especially for the lamp and of course the other items that they are limited to stock we have had a couple of sellouts so it means that we are very busy so you, there is no warranties that any of these items that will be here at 2 o'clock this is why I recommend to check out those baskets so then you know you can watch and relax for the 2 o'clock show and then knowing that you have got exactly what you wanted on their way it's been a pleasure to be with you for this hour and after the break we have got some MDF which will work perfectly you can bring the stencils the mediums into to them and then of course you can mix and match inspirational demos coming up as well from Matt Hatters and Fiona is going to show you through the items and later on right of course thank you very much Indeed, it is Matt Hatters after the break. Then Julia is getting ready for another look at the one day special, Sentimentally Yours. And then be your creative best with cricket later on our one. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and Crafting with La Blanche.
Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. The John Next Door brand is designed to bring high quality, innovative products to the crafting market. The range includes stamps, dyes and new products such as the media plates. I'm also looking to expand the brand and bring you lots of new techniques, new ideas and new products into the next few years. So don't forget to tune in and watch the John Next Door shows on Hachanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chanda. I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hachanda. Welcome to Club G45 from Graphic45, the monthly tutorial kit that allows you to create some of the most beautiful projects by accessing a step-by-step -step video viewable online. This month's tutorial is the Club G45 Ocean Blue Collector's Box and Mini Album and Matchbook Box Kit. You will get almost everything you need to create both of these projects from scratch, including access to this month's step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 467894 for £49.99, plus your postage from hochanda.com, or give us a call on 01733 60 2000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic45. Hello, very good morning to you. This is my second hour with the lovely Mad Hatters MDF and Wendy McLaren. Uh, if you missed it, we launched at 7 o'clock this morning loads of brand new beautiful MDF projects. So please feel free to shop ahead by brand Mad Hatters and uh, we'll try and take you through everything. But I want to concentrate on uh, just half of the counter to start with and these beautiful beach huts. Look at these. Now you are getting both so you can make one on its own as you can see there with a lovely wooden sort of flooring and then you can also do the one with the duo and that fantastic wave of water there and as you can see on the examples that Wendy sent in you know some lovely papers have been used there on the actual roofs or you could paint those with chalk paint she's borrowed the actual bunting uh, from our um, plaque but having said that, we've got some great stencils on the show that allows you to do the bunting. You could actually just do yours out of card or material as well. We've kind of got a weather-beaten look to these and the beautiful pastels. Aren't they gorgeous? Wouldn't they make, um, if you had two of those, wouldn't they make great uh, bookends? Oh, sorry, that's because uh, that's how they obviously to assemble it. But wouldn't they make great bookends just if you had two of those maybe? Yeah. Or the, obviously these two here, just beautiful. So you're getting everything that you need in there to assemble. All you do need then is your glue and then to decorate. Aren't they gorgeous? 13 
£9.49 if you're a Freedom Club member. Got the discount on there as well, 859961. But you are still getting a brilliant price, even if not a Freedom Club member. £14.99 and brand new today. And I think we're going to see a demonstration from the lovely Wendy uh, on these in a moment. But I do have the Beach Hut Shrines. Now, what's great about these is, yes, we've got the Beach Hut name in the title, but you could ostensibly translate these into something else. I mean, this could be the little dog kennel. Uh, this could be the, 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 the doorway uh, into the, the man shed or the, the woman's whittling shed. Um, but we've got the lovely surfboards there. And we've got these accessories as well on our uh, seaside embellishments. But you could have a little keepsake in there. It could be a little pair of baby shoes, a lock of hair. It could be just anything really but as a beach they are exquisite and you are getting all three and they're called the shrines because they're just uh, in terms of the outside depth but still lots of room to maneuver in terms of your interpretation with all three of those 9.99 you get three great price isn't it for all three zero six zero zero two five and again brand new today Proven very popular as our lovely Beach Hut plaque. Now, this does come with your bunting, uh, and you have got three of these. Now, I'm just going to show you this on the side uh, for my director, because I just want you to see... Can you see the in-depth? So they're layered up in three? Yeah. So you'll see a demonstration because it's not a full three. What it is is it's almost like decoupage, isn't it? You get the part and then the next part and then the next part. So you can layer those up and you get that lovely raise. And then here's your... Now the surfboards are extra. They're in our seaside embellishments. But you are getting the circles above the, the life boy, as it were, and the bunting. And that, I love that sort of distressed look around the edge. Almost like weathered wood, isn't it? Really gorgeous. So you could have a lot of fun with that in terms of your interpretation. Make them really colourful and passable, like the ones you see down at the seaside. 999 234 And again, brand new today. So feel free to shop ahead. There's camper vans, there's gorgeous stencils, there's all sorts on the show. Now, my beady-eyed seagull, look at him here. You're not going to mess with him, are you? I was talking earlier about my croissant being stolen and uh, somebody else was talking about, what did they have uh, taken? Fish and chips? Um, yeah, oh, I'll tell you what, you don't mess around. But he's already happy, this fella. Because he's got his he's got his fishy there on the there we go so you've got the three fishes there that's already been popped in the beak or you could just choose to have it without uh, and uh, then obviously paint that in and I just want to show you the top because can you see you've also got that wooden yeah you've also got that wooden uh, the detail on the MDF the wood on top the rings you can see as well yeah and you get the kind of guidelines in terms of the wings and the eye and this is not lovely with that little bit of old rope little bits little stick you could decorate with everything you find down at the seaside the shells and the pebbles and everything that we tend to pick up great way to embellish there our lovely seagull there 9.99 again brand new today 880611 lovely it looks like a real wayfarer doesn't it? a real seafarer there with his cap and these are the embellishments 31 in total palm tree circles the wooden huts the ice cream sundaes the flip-flops the sand castles the umbrellas now these are glasses you could make them into sunglasses you've got your flamingos and you've got your surfboards at the end but i just want to show you isn't that a beautiful a little bookmark there a little decoration there in terms of our flamingos or you can see here gorgeous we've used both sets there um, a gorgeous uh image there in terms of actually set into a picture frame you've got probably got mdf tags at home look at that with a little ice cream sundae and we've got the large ice cream sundae on the show today if you missed the seven o'clock show wendy did a demonstration of the large ice cream sundae plaque and then for your cards as well so you can either add these to the projects we've got on the show or just completely, like this one in a frame, make up your own vista. Isn't that gorgeous? And that fantastic wave is one of the stamps, is one of the stencils on the show today as well. So that's using just all the elements on a frame uh, that are in this embellishment pack for an amazing 9.99-547843. Uh, so do look at the stencils ahead. Do look at the ice cream sundae. We've got the camper van trio on a plaque. We've got the beautiful bathing bells. They remind me of Beryl Cook. And uh, we've yeah. So there's lots more on the show. But I do, this is my favourite. Um, half the stock's already gone. Can I just apologise? 
apologize somehow in transit it's got a bit bashed on the top but you get the tow bar you get the wheel you get the, the the little door around the outside you get the frame and you can decorate this how you so desire really gorgeous and i do want to point out that this 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 for the roof so it will lay in lovely and flat and you get the outline it just locks in beautifully so you you know i'm sorry about the fact and i must apologize to when somehow it's got a little bit bashed in the but can you see how that just simple house and i haven't applied any glue but how that locks into place it's so beautifully laser cut so you will get that lovely rounded finish and uh, won't have unless you unless it's just a well-worn caravan that one isn't it just gorgeous brand new today so beautiful 1499 145560 thank you for indulging me uh that's my favorite uh so let's go straight to wendy now and have a look at these beach huts so for this video, um, we're going to use our beach plaques plaque. I think that's, I've said that right, have I? <laughs> um, so it comes with your big plaque to begin with, and then it's got beach huts. Um, that's a bit of a tongue twister, actually. Um, three beach huts. So they come with three back panels, and then they have their layered panels for on the top, then you've got your little roofs and doors and bunting, etc. So we'll just start and we're just going to quickly do the background for the beach huts. Right, okay, so it's quite a good size plaque this. It has got the hole on either side for, for hanging on your wall. I've given it just one coat and just a light um, coat of white acrylic paint. I just wanted that sort of... Um, beachy sort of uh, weather effect on the back so I didn't go in too thickly with my paint. I'm just going to take one of my ink pads um, and we're just going to just do some little sort of distress. So if you just pull your ink pad down it does give it that sort of beach driftwoody effect. So we're going to just do lines but I am going to soften the lines up with a damp brush. So I'm just going to do this all the way down. Um, I have chosen my little uh, ink pad for this, but you could use your bigger ones and any colour really. So I'm just going down like so. And then I'm just taking my damp brush and I'm just going to soften up some of the edges like that. So where I think that it's got too much of a line I'm just going to splodge it out like so don't really want to do too much to this I might actually just give it a spritz and oh, this is not going to go everywhere there we go so I'm just light spritz in and I'm just going to leave that to dry as it is right okay I'll just clean up inky mess there. Right, so we've got three beach huts in this one. So it does come with your etched detail on the bottom plate for putting your roof panel on, but we are going to start with painting the inside panel, the outside panels even. So we've got three panels like so. That one's slightly different. Uh, they are all, the three of them are all different. Um, we're just going to give them, I'm going quite pastel, um, light colours this time. And I'm just going to give a light coat. Because it, it's a vintage theme I'm going for and a weather distress theme, I am really just going to use the one coat of paint. Um, generally when I use light colours like this I would use two coats. But because I want some of the MDF to actually show through, I'm just going to give it a light um, coat and I'm not worried too much about going right to the edges either because I really do want that distressed look. So that's that one. And then we've got a pale blue. It's almost a lilac -y blue this one. Once again, I'm just going to concentrate my paint in the middle of the beach hut and more distress around the edges. So you've got all your lovely etched details on the huts um, just to make it look like lots of weathered boards on it. 
and we will distress this up further. So there we go, that's your pale blue. And then my next colour. another light coat of your driftwood. The wood is just super smooth for painting on, it's great. There. Now, so I'm going to go in with a white wash. Just take your white paint. I'm just going to Rub some of it off because I don't want it too thick and I'm just going to pull this along the edges. Not too thickly. So we are just going for that complete weathered look on your beach huts. So, you could go in with a few colours, build up your layers, um, just to make it more aged. Oh, I think I need some more white paint though. So I've gone quite vintage with this look, but you could go really bright colours, more traditional um, beach hut colours, your reds and your whites and your blues. So that's them distress. I'm going to do the same with the doors that I've already painted. Just going to give those a light um, coat of white. It's going down that way. And the last one. You've got your little door handles, so I think we'll paint them different colours so they stand out slightly. So I'm just going in with a little bit of pink on my door handles there. There. So I want to just, just pick out some of the lines a little bit more. Um, I think actually I'm going to use a little bit of the ink that we used to spritz. I'm just going to try and dab some out on the mat. I just need a small amount. And I just want to pick up some of the lines that have been etched on. I don't know if the camera can pick that up that I'm doing there. Just following the lines, just to give a little bit more detail in some of them. A little bit more ink, I think. It's also got some little etch details that I'm just going to fill in with the ink. Old broken bits of wood, little nail holes. There, I think that's enough for that. So we're just going to bring our panels back in and we'll start gluing everything together. Right, let's 
let's see if this glue behaves this time. Once again, just your PVA glue, nothing fancy. And this time, line the bottom up with the bottom of your beach hut. The actual beach hut back plate is slightly bigger than your front panel, just so that you see how weathered um, the front panel is supposed to be. So I'd line it up with the bottom of your, your beach hut there. Press that down. Then you've got your roof panel, which I've already painted this lovely light pink and line that up like so now we're going to touch your door and then it comes with little um, portal windows or you can turn them into your life boys you call them there we go that's one Our second one and once again I'm lining it up with the bottom of the the back plate so you will see I don't know if the camera picks it up but there is a slight border all the way around. And your roof. This is quite a nice, quick and easy project, this one. But um, when you're decorating your plaque, you could add in bits of netting, moss to look like seaweed. You could add in all sorts, shells, a little bit of sand texture paste underneath your beach huts would be quite nice. And your final panel. I don't think it matters what way around it goes to be honest. Just as long as you line it up with the bottom of your beach hut. Like so. Leaving a small gap in between. On your roof panel. Just line that up properly. Door. Window. And I probably would take my pad in and just distress that just even more around the edge of my roof panel. A little bit around the window. Very rustic feel to it. Right. right, and I will just bring back in our original plaque. So, right. And just arrange your beach huts in place. And this is where, like I said, you could add in your texture sand paste you could add a little bit of moss to look like seaweed little bits of netting and um, your pack also does come with bunting um, so i would put this on um, some string and you can have your bunting um, going over the top for your beach huts and there and that's a nice little project
Thank you. And here it is, the Beach Hut plaque. And uh, this one's got the extra embellishment of the surfboards because we've got those uh, extra sun um, seaside embellishments on the show today as well. So really beautiful, 999, 234, 395. Let me take you through everything that's on the show today because it's all brand new. And, uh, and then we'll go back again to Wendy. Right, so these are an alternative to the Beach Huts. You do get the one on its own, as you can see, and the one, the two that you can make here with the sea uh, at the front there. I thought these make fantastic bookends, wouldn't they? Um, but are they equally beautiful? You keep one, give one away. Um, embellish them with the, that's the seaside embellishments. Over half the stock's gone now. £13.49, got the free freedom discount on there. 859961. Uh, lovely. I love the way you've got the detail of the wood grain in there as well. Really beautiful. So don't miss out on those. Then we've got the Beach Hut Shrines. And as I've said before, I think these could be anything. They could be little kennels. They could be picture plaques. You could put, you know, when you go to the seaside, you sometimes collect those shells. Um, if you've got some of the other Mad Hatter, uh, you, you know, um, seahorses and mermaids, you could have a photo in there. They're just beautiful anyway. Or there could be a, a, another doorway to the front of a house, a shop even. But... Uh, the world's your oyster there. You've got nine, uh, 9 99 three of those. Again, brand new today for the Beach Hut Shrines. 060025. And the plaque. Let's come and revisit the plaque, which you've just seen Wendy do. So it uh, has the holes there at the side. Does come with that lovely bunting. Doesn't come with the surfboards. We've got those on the embellishment pack. But so you can see how easily it comes together. So uh, you can really get that raised feature there. I love the way it layers up. 14 nine, Oh, sorry, that's the camper van. Let's get the right. Uh, it's nine ninety nine. this is. Love the way they have the same roof but the different colours there as well. Over 60% of that one has gone 234395. Now he's sticking his beak in there. Did you see him? This is going to be our next demonstration from Wendy. And uh, there they have it. And you've got the fish there and you can embellish with your bits of rope or anything that you find down there at the seaside. Obviously decorate both sides. Wendy's decided to put the fishy in his mouth there. But you do get the fish there on, on the side there as well. And... Uh, you can decorate that how you so desire. Here's 9 99 for our seagull kit, 880611. And again, all brand new today. Now, I mentioned the embellishment kit, so let's have a look at that. With those surfboards, this has proven very popular because even if you've just got a picture frame at home or the, the seaside shrine kit, you know, you can make up your own vista. The, the lovely flamingos, they can make a lovely card. You can make bookmarks, um, little tags, picture cards as well. We've got um, glasses, you know, if you put some acetate in there, you could have sunglasses. We've got ice cream sundaes that you could put on your tags. You can make little beach hut cards. Loads on this seaside accessory pack. Uh, umbrellas, parasols, I should say. There's three surfboards at the bottom, palm trees. The circular ones could be beach balls, could be sunshine, flip-flops. Uh, sand castles, buckets, flags. Great, 31 pieces in total. Brand new today, 9 99 now, my favourite, simply because I've never seen the MDF shape like this, our lovely caravan. Our gorgeous, gorgeous caravan, our vintage caravan. So gorgeous. Two-thirds of the stock has gone. Um, really beautiful. Apologies, ours has got a little bit bashed in, a bit of weather warm there. But they do fit and glide on beautifully, those uh, curved panels, because they just... I want to show you this, because they just lock in so brilliantly. And then obviously you just glue and you can get that into a really, see how easily that just went in? A really snug fit because they're beautifully laser cut. So you've got the extra, oh, I see, you have to give that a bit of welly. So you've got the outline there as well, but you've got the door on the front and the window frame, the wheel rims, all beautiful. Just something a little bit different there for your lovely vintage caravan. 1499 145 560. I think two thirds of the stock gone there. Now, camper van plaque yeah you are getting both of these would you believe yeah now the, if you missed the seven o'clock show Wendy shows you how to do this and I love the fact that she wanted this to look like um, almost like a tin lid or uh, a tin plaque so she's done this lovely sort of rusting at the side there and then we've got the, the wave um, stencil coming up on the show you get all of these parts within it. You can accessorize and uh, personalize your uh, number plate. And then you've also got the three, you do get both, you're not choosing which one, you also get the three camper van uh, plaque as well. Great value, I'm sure you agree. And that lovely daisy stencil is on the show. We've got uh, a pack of the seven stencils coming up. 14 99 
All right, I mentioned bathing beauties earlier, and every time I look at this, I think of the artist Beryl Cook. Uh, they're doing some fantastic synchronised swimming, and look at those bathing caps. Did you ever have one of those with the big flowers on? I did. Honest to goodness, it was so hard to get on your head, because I've got, I've got quite a, a lot of hair, and it used, oh, God, it used to rip the head off you if you didn't put the talc in. Yeah, they were really quite brutal, and they never kept your hair dry anyway, because... Anyway, but I do love them uh, with those big flowers on. Uh, so this is our Bathing Beauties there, that gorgeous plaque. 999 081 915. Love those vintage swimsuits. I think they're gorgeous. Now, this is the ice cream sundae. Again, Wendy did a demonstration of this uh, fantastic set uh, in the 7 o'clock show. If you want to watch that on Rewind, you can sprinkle that knickerbocker glory how you like. We've got chocolate drizzling down it with top with a glacier cherry. Isn't that beautiful? Very sort of American diner. Hundreds and thousands and sprinkles on there. I think it's really, really beautiful. I know we're all thinking, ooh, I really love an ice cream cone right now. Every day is Sunday. They've chosen to put these two together, but they are two separate plaques. It's up to you if you want to do that. They do look great together. 11 99 for the Sunday pack, 429453. And last but not least, the fantastic stencils, which I've mentioned a few times after we've gone down the line. So you get these fantastic C. So you can take these out and use these in the, like, as, as so, create lots of wavescapes. So you, so you get this stencil here and those two there. Here are your surfboards and your pineapple. There we go. So that makes three. And then we've also got uh, four there's our daisies at the top. We've got our cherries and our waves, as you can see, and our bunting and our pennants. So if I just show you, there's our bunting and our pennants. And love, love, love these cherries. And, of course, the gorgeous daisies. £12.50 for all seven of those stencils. 310 one. Please shop ahead, shop by brand on Mad Hatters. But let's now join Wendy and see how the seagull fares. For this video, we're going to use our new um, seagull plaque. Um, so it comes in a few different parts. Um, the initial box for it, you will see, comes flat packed like so. It has the top, which has got all the etch detail on and also has got the slot for your seagull to go into. The bottom panel, and then it has the four side panels. So it all has your inner parts and your outer parts and the easiest thing to do is just to sit everything out to begin with decide where all your parts are going so it's very easy so you have got your base um your sides so just match everything up with the etch detail facing out the way and just put all the glue onto your panels and just stick them all together. It is very easy. You can't actually go wrong with this, um, the building of that box. So I have got one that I built earlier. So you can just see, uh, it's not great for the camera to pick this up, but that just gives you the idea of your box there. So it has got all your etch lines already on it. So we're going to start with just adding a little bit of color to it. Um, just going to distress this again so just going to use we're going to use grey and white for this one and I'm going to just take this down the edges like so just sweeping brush strokes now you won't fill in all the etch details um, unless you put layers and layers and layers of paint on it and um, you don't really need to worry about covering over your etch detail because when the paint dries it tends to just show through anyway but i'm just doing a thin layer here and then i'm just going to go in with some white and i'm just going to drag that down because we're just still staying with the beach beach theme here um so very distressed sort of and um, look to it. I'll do one more side and then we'll get on to the seagull. So I'm just going to show you just how we did this. Go add some white and just distress your panel like so. There. You take your time and continue all the way around and 
the top also as well. When you're painting the top, just try and avoid the slot. And um, because everything is laser cut, it's precision cut. So the tab on the seagull does fit securely in the slot. If you add paint to the inside of the slot, you might have to sand the inside just so that your seagull will fit. Right, so we'll bring your seagull in. And here he is. And he comes with two wings and two parts of the hat, which I'll explain in a minute, and two beaks and various fish. Okay, so I've given him a coat of white to begin with. And I've decided, um, I think those sample in the studio have painted everything, but I really wanted to use this really cool paper that I had. So I've already glued that onto that wing. And now we will glue this one onto this wing. Glue, so just my PVA glue. So your wing does have some etch detail on it if you are painting your wing. As I say, I just quite fancied using this... Um, rustic looking paper so i'm just using the pva glue and i've already drawn round the wing and cut out my paper so i'll glue this on i usually leave this to dry and then i like to sand the edges you maybe can see it on this one um that i've sanded the edges i just sand straight down with my sandpaper um, and it just blends the paper into the wood and it just gives it a really nice finish to it. Right, so we'll leave that one to dry just now. So you've got two layers to your hat, so we'll paint all the layers before we stick them on. So we've got your beaks and your um, hat there. So I think we're just going to use a pale blue for the hat. So I've already given it one coat of white. It has got some nice detail on the hat as well for you to follow. This is a tropical blue, I think. And the same with your other hat. Like so. And on your seagull, you've also got the, the tabs for the hat hanging down. Um, so we're going to paint that to match the hat. But we're also going to flip this over and paint the opposite side as well. I don't normally paint the backs of things, but this seagull is designed to be seen all the way around. So we will paint both sides of him. There we go. And I'm just going to just put a little bit of distress, a lighter shade on the hat and leave that to dry. We're going with the beak. So once again, we've got two beak panels. So you are painting the sides that have the etched detail on them. So we're going to have a yellow beak. Like so. Now I'll mix a little bit of orange um, and just do a slight bit of shading just underneath the line. Like that. And the same with that one. Like so. And while we're here, we'll do the eye. So we're going to give him a nice bright eye. Now the etched, uh, the eye is etched on the front of your seagull. Um, unfortunately, it's not etched on the back, so you really will just have to paint your own eye in on the back of your your seagull panel. So I'm giving him a nice green eye there. And I'm going to turn them over and sort of just look to see where your eye would be on the other side. And it's about there, I think. Oh, too much water on the brush. Back in again. 
and just paint your eye on the other side. Doesn't need to be exact. There we go, like so. So we're going to glue our panels on together before we add in any extra details. So you're going to glue on your first hat panel. And just hold it in place. Then you're going to take your beak. And glue that in place. You have got your line etched there, but just follow the outline of your beak to make sure you've got it in the right place. And then your wing. So you can position your wing, you can have it sitting up the way, down the way, as long as it's not past the tabs. So you can then put your, your wing wherever you want to. So you can pop him on there like that. So the reason you've got another hat and beak and wing is for the opposite side. Because as I said earlier, you're going to see both sides of your seagull. So just glue this hat on that side. And your beak. And then your wing. There we go. You could check to see if you've got them lined up. I'm just sort of looking down so that I can see that my wing is matching on both sides there. Put that press down. And this is when you can start to go in with some of your extra little details. So I'm just going to use a pen. And I'm just going to do a little bit of shading just around the eye. And I think this pen is running out, to be honest. Let's see if I can do that. Um, it do the job. All right. There we go. So I'm just going to shade around the eye. And then just take a brush with a little bit of water just to blend it back out a bit. And that'll just make your eye stand out. I'm also just going to give him a little detail around his neck. And once again, I'm just going to take my water and not that much water and blend it out. Can add lots of details. Take your time when you're doing this. Lots of details on your seagull. Like so. Some of his little feathers. You could give him some extra details around his body. So I've gone, just gone in with my black pen and I'm just going to outline around his body just so that he really stands out. Now I'm not worrying too much about this um, line. It's not going to be perfect. It's almost a little bit like stitching detail around the edge. But it really just makes everything pop um, once you add this line. I'm just going to take it all the way around, like so, and I'm going to do the same with the beak, just so that the beak stands out. A little bit of black on his eye. continue on with your detail. Pack also comes with three fish like so and it has got a fish. Um, 
I would leave the beak to dry completely before slotting this fish but the idea is when you stand them up I'm not sure if the camera will really see this that you will slot that fish on if you want onto the beak and it looks like he's eaten the fish and then you would just take your your box back in and your seagull will just slot now this is not going to be a good angle for the camera but I'm just going to slot him in so that you can um, just see the idea and in my sample in the studio I've wrapped rope around the the post and I have the fish hanging down um, but that's quite a really good project it's a good fun this seagull thank you Thank you, Wendy. And here is the, the said seagull, or rather a different version of the said seagull. So you do get three of the fish to hang down, plus the one in his mouth. And uh, I did love the idea, didn't you, of putting the actual paper on the wing. I thought that was really lovely. She's done some nice accents there in the white. But we'll come to the seagull again. Let's take you through everything that's on the show today, because all brand new. Please shop ahead. Been very busy. We did the 7 o'clock show as well. Um, but I'm going to start with my beach huts. Now, you are getting three of these. So there's two on the one. But of course, you can, you can mix it up how you like. You can save one back if you wanted to. And that has the sea rolling in the, in, 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 at the front there. You can have them side by side. And I also thought these would make great bookends. And then you've got the one there on the wooden base there as well. And uh, what um, Wendy's done here, she's just borrowed some of the actual bunting from our plaque coming up as well with our um, sea huts. But we've got some great embellishments on the show. So there it is finished. She's got some lovely paper there on the top she's used. And you've got that fantastic wood grain. There's chalk paints look gorgeous with it don't they um, really really beautiful however you want to design them that's the fun of the beach huts isn't it they can be really bright and bold or uh, look as though they were sort of weather and uh, beaten down there 14.99 got a free discount on there as well which is brilliant 859.961 13 pounds 49 and three quarters of the stock has gone okay let's move over to our sea uh, beach hut shrines and again don't just think shrine you know if you take away that porthole uh, you, it could be like a, a little picture frame it could be a big dog kennel cat kennel a uh, little doorway shop window I mean they are the beach huts but the choice is really up to you in terms of the versatility you are getting all three that middle one there we've accessorized with some of the, the beach uh, seaside accessories but don't they look beautiful whether you want to keep them together or separate them up and for 9.99 a brilliant price let me just show you that profile so you can see the depth there as well so if you collect your pebbles and your um, bits of wood and your um, seashells a lovely way to because often we do we pick them up don't we put them in the pockets and then put them in a vase <laughs> so pop them in here 9.99060025. in fact any of these projects would lend themselves to any of those little accessories you've got back home right the plaque where i mentioned uh, wendy borrowed the bunting from so this is the gorgeous beach hut plaque and i love the way with mad hatters they layer up i mean because you get that lovely raised effect don't you which is brilliant so it, they really want to make it pronounced and prominent. 80% of the beach hut plaque has gone. A brilliant price. This one's been accessorized with the extra surfboards from the accessory pack. But you do get the bunting. You do get those three lovely beach huts. And I'm sure you agree, beautifully done in our first demonstration by Wendy. 9.99234395. Let's come to our lovely seagull. Now this fella looks this this fella looks fierce, if you ask me. He looks like the one who stole my croissant and landed no. Look at him. I was trying to have a nice coffee, just get to that last little bit of croissant. Down he swooped, took the croissant and did a, a kind of trajectory leap off my son's head. I know, it's like cheeky so-and-so. Anyway, you get the fish, you also get that one obviously in his mouth. She's accessorised with the string, which I think is brilliant, that little bit of rope. Um, yeah, look at him. Oh, you wouldn't mess with him, would you? But the one she did on the, on the TV, he looked much kinder, if you ask me. And I love the idea of... Uh, using the decorative papers on the wing. I thought that was beautiful. 9.99 for that lovely seagull set there. 880611. Shop ahead by kit as well. Loads of Mad Hatter embellishments there on the website. But a favourite that everybody's using today is this one because it goes so beautifully with the projects we've got in this last hour of the Mad Hatter's MDF. So you get 31 elements. You could be beach balls, there could be sunshine palm trees. You've got beach huts, you've got ice cream sundaes, flip flops. I know, that's the whole family size flip flops there. You've got sand castles, buckets and spades, parasols. You can make those glasses, sunglasses with your acetate and flamingos. 
Now, that's totally random for me, but it works with the palm trees, doesn't it? So whether you're card making, gift making, or creating a lovely vista, you can just create it out of, uh, out of this. And I'm sure there's other Mad Hatter designs on the website there uh, that might time beautifully things like um, seahorses and what have you. Uh, gorgeous. 9.99, 31 elements in there. Five, four, seven, eight, four, three. My favourite. Just, just because uh, you just don't see it. <laughs> this is the first time I see it. Now it's limited. You are loving this. I'm sorry, we did. I almost wanted Wendy to show me how to do this, but it's all. It's got simple instructions, and you know, on the front you've got the doorway to show you where the door goes. You've got the little window. You've got the little. Uh, wheel rim, you've got the wheels as well, and then on the back you've got the window, you've got the tow bar, and this is, you get two of these, and it's super, super malleable, and because it's, it's so brilliantly cut, I mean, it just slides into place, locks in, and then you get that fantastic curvature, so well, obviously you'd, you'd glue yours, let me just stick that in there, because ours got a little bit bashed in transit, and I just want to show you how fantastic that fit is, there you go. So once that's just locked in, you will get that beautiful curvature on the roof of your lovely camper. That isn't that gorgeous? I mean, it's just stunning. Really beautiful. It's going to sell out, I reckon. That was my favourite. I know I'm not supposed to favourite. Limiters. One left. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Check out your baskets. It's down to oof, single figures. Uh, one four five five six zero forty ninety nine. Grab that last one. Don't leave me with one. I want you to have that. So beautiful. Well done, you. Moving on now to our camper vans. Now, this is the, one of the first demonstrations this morning. If you want to watch the 7 o'clock show on Rewind, this one and the Ice Cream Sunday Wendy did. So you're getting both. Uh, you could put a little photo of someone in there, couldn't you? A little face of someone. Maybe you're thinking, oh, we will get to go away this year. We'll jump in that van. We'll go across to France, maybe later in the year, somewhere in Europe. You could personalise that lovely um, licence plate. Maybe they're just pass them or well, they're going to soon do the driving test i love these the three there and that's using that fantastic daisy stencil coming up uh these are gorgeous because you can really personalize them and have fun with them you're getting both of these plaques brand new today 14.99 030083 i can't help smiling because you know i know we've got the good weather coming hopefully next week yeah uh and i know we can't necessarily go away anywhere right now but this is almost like we are going away isn't it and as I was saying earlier, this reminds me of Beryl Cook, that fantastic artist. Because the old-fashioned swimsuits and the synchronised swimming. Isn't it beautiful? So much fun. So there's three layers. If I just show you that on a side, you can see how, how well raised they are. Isn't that lovely? So beautifully made. It's so substantial. You just have a lot of fun with that. And again, uh, they've used the... Um, Wendy's used the um, stencil of the sea in the background there. But you have got that. You could actually just... Uh, pencil around that couldn't you before you stick it down beautiful although it may already be on there i know i think you get the separate parts and then stick it down 999 081 915 for our bathing beauties i'm gonna make you hungry now yeah strawberry sauce chocolate sauce both sprinkles someone was asking me yesterday oh glacier cherries can you just get them like that mommy says yeah you get old jarful doesn't want real cherries just wants the glacier cherries oh loves them on a bakewell uh do you like? I don't like them, you see. They look gorgeous, but I would pick it off and put it at the side. Julia, would you have the, would you have the Glacier Cherry? You, you like them? I like maraschino too. Oh, she loves a maraschino cherry. Oh, tell you what, that Julia, she's a cocktail lady, that one. No. Mer oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Glacier. Sorry, I've gone off the track here. Uh, you are getting both of these plaques. Uh, aren't they beautiful? Proper knickerbocker glory you could make out of that. Gorgeous. Eleven ninety nine for both of those for the Mad Hatter's ice cream Sunday pack. It's kind of got that American diner feel. A little lovely in the kitchen or wherever, or the you know you can serve to wherever you want to put it. Four two nine four five three. Some kind of menu at the back would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Really lovely. Um, and then of course our stencils. These come into play uh, quite a few times. Um, let me just show you these because they've got now those cherries. There we go. That's the card to send to Julia. She likes them. And then we've got our, by the side of that, if I change it around, there we go, our daisies. They make lovely cards anyway, but great on some of those beach elements we've seen. You've got your bunting and your pennants there. And then you've also got on this one, the waves at the bottom, which is down here, which we saw at the back of that other plaque. Isn't that lovely? So beautiful stencils, that's four. Then you get another three. Um, you get your surfboards. now. 
On the camper van plaque, this is what um, Wendy used again this morning. She just put the surfboards at the back of the camper van plaque and it looked great. And then we've got that fantastic pineapple. We haven't used that at all today. It looks brilliant, doesn't it? Even if you're making backgrounds, covering boxes, making your, your own sort of paper, as it were, journaling. And then you've got that fantastic seascape one as well. I think we just saw that on the bathing beauties you are getting all seven of those great themed uh, stencils which time beautifully with the mad hatter projects here three one zero six three uh one twelve pounds fifty now you have got the discount of freedom on some of the elements so how do you become a member what does it involve what does it entail let's find out from alex hello everyone i've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of hachanda freedom did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> You see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 88888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Fantastic. Now, don't forget the seven-day savers will change on Sunday. We've got some fantastic construction grey board, some lovely red liner tape, uh, that if Grandad can't fix it, tape with the, with the mug as well. Um, yeah, so do have a little, because I think the grey board was sometimes some of these elements as well could further these projects. Well done if you've got the camper van. Don't forget to check out your basket, because that now is officially sold out. Uh, there is some availability on the beach hut still and some of the other elements on the show, so do shop ahead by Brand Mad Hatters. This was our beach hut kits, and the way I mentioned this, because you have got that freedom discount there. £13.49. 85% is gone. I'm sure you agree. Great value because you're, you're making two projects. I mean, there's no reason why you can't take one of the beach that's off and do a third, but I thought great bookends, beautiful anyway to keep one, give one away. Different elements of the house, one downstairs, one upstairs. Um, possibilities are endless. And this has sort of got the weathered beach look, but you can really brighten and make that bold. Sometimes you see them as lovely candy rock colored colors, don't you, as well? 859 one brand new today staying with beach huts if you collect your stones and your shells little memories of tickets oh ride the donkey um i don't know whatever it is you know this could be the dog kennel it could be the cat kennel it could be the doorway it could be the whittling shed it could be anything if you take away the little uh, boy or that little round porthole but it is the beach huts we just thought we could think outside uh, the obvious there 9.99 you're getting all three of those lovely sizes great value zero six zero zero two five and finally, just staying on the Beach Hut theme, this is the one we saw the lovely Wendy make. So thank you to Wendy. This is limited now. Uh, that lovely plaque. The surfboards are from the accessory kit, so do have a look at that online. Limited stock now on this, so don't forget to check out your baskets. Gorgeous project there. Nice and simple. Comes together beautifully and looks stunning. 9 dollars 
3395. Go to the web to see everything. Got other Mad Hatter elements on there as well. Don't forget to check out your baskets. This was the last of the Mad Hatter shows. This morning was at 7, so do watch those on Rewind. But there could be some other accessories there that would work beautifully with uh, the, the seafaring ones that we've had, which are brand new today. So thank you to Wendy. Thank you to Mad Hatters. Don't want you to go anywhere, though, because we've got plenty more still to see on Hachanda. Indeed we do. We're going to join Paola now and Julia for Sentimentally Yours, the one-day special. Then I'll join Mike Aspinall for Be Your Creative Best with Cricket. And then we'll join Lucy again for Sweet Poppy Stencils. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company, Sam is my sister, and we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Chanda News. We're excited to announce that from the 1st of July, our broadcast hours on Freeview will be extended to 10 p.m. each day. We know that many of you have been missing our live shows in the evenings, and we look forward to having you with us once again. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Chanda prides itself on its ethos towards the family-run boutique companies that offer the variety that we know you love and appreciate. Following such a positive response to our previous family favourite events, we are very excited to welcome and introduce you to many more brand new Chanda family favourites. Please tune in from Thursday the 25th of June at 6pm to Monday the 29th of June at 6pm to support many of your favourite guests and also our very loyal family run businesses that have grown and prospered with the Chanda since our launch in August 2015. We will be running fantastic prize draws where winners will be drawn live within each hour during our event, giving you opportunities to win prizes worth at least £25. So join us from 6pm on the 25th of June for your family favourites event. Hi, I'm Jean and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there.
Hi, I'm Joe from the Mill Shop Online. Welcome to the Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Mill Shop Online shows on Hotanda. technical issues uh, it will always take us but of course we have got a second look at the one day special today nearly half of the site has already gone so grab yours as soon as you make the decision what do you get well you get Phil Martin's uh, you know sentimentally yours but of course artwork by Trudy Howard look at those beautiful clear stamps look at the even the tiny detail that Trudy has put. Even I love that cool little corner here. You can see the hill in there. You can see the little dots, the kind of gorgeous beads on the back of her dress, the feathers on the back, like on her hat. Look at her earring. Look at the kind of silhouette of her face. Of course, you are getting six beautiful large figure uh, stamps with all, of course, the sentiments around it. You can see here the flapper girl with the kind of, I love that v-neck. I love the opera uh, gloves that she has got, even bracelet. Look at the tassels that come in here as well her nails, her shoes. Let's see. Oh, I love how all the detail goes into it. And then of course we get to Dap Man in here with her, with his uh, head. <gasps> Buster Keaton, that's who he reminds me of. You know, the silent movies from the 1920s. And of course then we have got, oh, she is something, isn't she? With that beautiful dress, the necklace, the kind of a scarf that coming down, the tassel. Look at, of course, that, you know, the cigarette. And then of course her shoes. Then we move on to I think she's my favorite. I think she that dress is just cool. And this is one of those ones that you can say say that this is right now. I mean, you can go out and buy a dress very similar to that. Not that I have tried, but you know, I think they possibly it. And look at her haircut. Look at her eyelashes, that extension that comes off. Look at again, I, you have got a hint of an opera glove, but you can highlight it and look at the tiny bow in her in, in her shoes. And then finally, we are getting this very, very dap gentleman in here. You know, you can, I automatically think of the movie, this thing, Robert Rufford and Paul Newman. Other movies are available, but you know, I kind of really think that this is just Bonnie and Clyde, that sort of era, that kind of, a, and that transforms into beautiful card. And of course, that makes sure that you can make hearts for men, but also bringing in that art deco element because the sentiments are perfect for that style and you can see how um, here it has been die cut and not even colored and that creates an stunning figure and then of course just one more before we move but look how gorgeous now remember this is part of the one day special you are getting 42 individual stamps you have got a flexible option whether you go for that one or you want a payment you have got a seven pound saving you can spread the cost of course with flexible by uh, with two interest-free payments of 32 pounds and 47 and that will open of course a flexi order so you can put in it other items that we have got on the show and make sure you spread the cost 904913 shall we say hello to Julia because I kind of forgot that we should have said well, sorry I'm um, Julia I got very excited about the one day special how are you all right thank you <laughs> good and we have got something really exciting they are here the pants now <laughs> we, we sold out earlier even now uh, they will be dispatched they're now on the new stock and will be dispatched from the 22nd of June now I have to say that we sold them out before the previous uh, stock that we had before even we could have a look at them so imagine how busy they are now uh, please do check out your baskets as soon as you you uh, decide if you want them this is set number three it is brand new it was launched yesterday so one and two were released a few months ago now is the number three uh, personally I have had the one and the, uh, and the two I adore the pens I adore them because let me show you exactly what 
Look at the purple. Because they have got a soft bristle nib, nylon, so it gives you the finest of, of points. It gives you beautiful colors and they blend extraordinarily well. They are water based, of course, and you have got two water brushes as well included in there that you can fill them up with your water. 170420 is your item number. Already a quarter of the stock has already gone, so grab yours by checking those baskets, and that is the only way that you will not mess up and the restock room. Remember, they did sell out earlier and now we are exceptionally busy. Now, if you want some corners and borders, we have got this set bundle for you. We have got, well, I need to tell you that over three quarters of the stock has already gone. They are A5 stamp set duo. I absolutely adore these ones. Why? Because yes, they are article, but I also see something like Japanese inspired, oriental, that corner. Uh, I also see something like the Navajo uh, carpets and blankets. I see that kind of primitive art as well. And that means that it's an extraordinarily versatile set. Stamp it embossed into silver uh, or into gold. And then you can, of course, if you have gone on for the one day special, you can then use it in combination to create those corners, to create frames. I, th I love the idea of, of course, of using them into very different ways. Can you see the corners in there? Can you see it? the central point in here? Now, of course, if you want to go for this one, of course, remember it is incredibly busy as well. It is the corners and the borders. At 22 pence and 48 pence, is, it is a freedom price, which means that if you are a freedom member, you are saving six pounds and 50 pence, as well as not paying P and P. 148480 is your item number. If you're not a freedom member, of course you can, but you pay a little bit more plus P and P. Now, this one has been incredibly busy as well. Uh, over 60% of the stock has gone now if I turn it over you will be able to see all the fine detail that you can you have got in here those peacock feathers how elegant they are I love that fan kind of art deco-esque in there perfectly with those angles that define that era you have got that kind of champagne glass, the, you know, the, the old fashioned ones I always think of the great Gatsby and that party you know kind of you know you know, cheers, uh, and that black hat as well, and that the car, all of them working really well as the extras, because that was an extra era, it was, wasn't it, in Roaring Twenties, and we are in the Twenties again, uh, they should be roaring, uh, you know, uh, we should roar, <laughs> there you can see the background has been created with those glorious stars, but then also, they're not only uh, extras, they are also the focal point, how elegant is that car, I love how you can bring in your one day special and the corners and create a complete car with them and finally i'm going to show you this sample because it is really incredible with the gold embossing powder over it and those feathers falling down and the black hat in there if you want to go for the extras your item number is 784 841 14 pounds and 49 pence is your price and that will secure your stamp set and then we have moving on to gray rubber now these ones, of course, they are background. They are made by Katie and Alfie at Indigo Blue, which you know the quality of the grey rubber. It is extraordinary. There is different things that you can do, of course, you know, and this comes as well, for back foam mounted, so you can so, foam, no, how do you say, back, backed foam, no, foam, <laughs> well, actually, uh, I don't know. The producer doesn't know, and she's not the Spanish. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Right, and then we have got, of course, the beautiful feathered background. I absolutely adore uh, the sentimentally yours backgrounds because they have been designed into an A6 size, but also it means that they, because of that foam bag, you can do directly to the paper, but also it means that you can elongate it and make it, you know, expand the size of it. 23 pounds and 98 pence for both of them. 410225 is your item number. And then finally we are going to show you these three brand new as well uh, background stamps. Again A6 is a trio and of course you are getting the lovely and you are getting which is lovely is the lace one. Kind of, I love that. And you can see the detail in here. How gorgeous is that? And then of course the representation you have it there. Then you have got that geometric pattern in here which I, I, sorry I cannot read it from from that far uh, yeah wonderful the, the wonderful weave and then you can see here it's like a weave it's kind of 
beautiful. Again, I'm thinking Japan. I'm thinking the background of, of maybe a, a basket. Uh, and then finally, we have got that gorgeous knit effect in here, which is perfect as well. If you want to create like leaves as well, you can kind of create a branch in between. Now, if you want to go for this um, bundle, three, five, Sorry, let's start that again. 765197 is your item number. £35.97 is, of course, your price. And why not head to the website to see everything that we have got on the show, including, of course, those beautiful, be beautiful brush strokes, papers, A4, and as well as the elegant uh, flower stamp and die duos. You have got, of course, you have got the enchanting flowers, you have got the premium earth tones, you have got the car stock, you have got the rich tones. Car stock. Now, these ones you are getting five colors, ten sheets of each. I love the white and black as well. Uh, of course, you can have another look at the one that's special. Sh I should mention that the one that is special also, uh, you have got the option to go for uh, two uh, for sets of trios. So, of course, th the saving is to go for all six of them. But if you wanted to just go for three of them, you can do that. Right, and without further ado, uh, if you need acrylic blocks, do check them out. But without further ado, let's join Julia to see what is uh, going to show us. Okay, so um, we're going to do some colouring during this hour. We're going to try and attempt to make um, this card. Whether we'll manage all of it or not, I don't know. We, oh, how are we doing with the cameras? Uh, yeah, that's yeah, all right. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, we're going to be using the Cool Cat and the Ritzy uh, designs from the One Day Special. We're also going to be using the Straight Up Stripes and some flowers and, and, and we're using a paper from the Terra Nova as well. So lots going on with this one. So let's stamp our images first so we've got something to work on. And I've got Cool Cat in my Stamp Perfect. I'm going to stamp with Nocturne Verse Fine Claire. So, so this is a... Uh, like a hybrid ink that okay. we tend in to use and it's great for your watercolours and it's very juicy ink um, and we're going on to the Bockingford card and I spotted that Hayley had the Bockingford card on her Charlie's Crafts show so you'll find it on the website. So obviously using a Stamp Perfect means that I can, if I miss a bit, I can um, go in and stamp again. But you can see he's just he's just beautiful. Well, he's not beautiful. He's handsome. That's what he is, yes. isn't he? Um, so, um, and he's a DL size. The uh, boys are 18 centimetres tall and the girls are 16 centimetres tall. So they have been designed so they are a little bit taller than the that's girls. That's right, yeah. Because that's normally what happens in real life. Well, in my case, they're always much taller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and me. <laughs> yeah. So let's grab Ritzy and we'll just give her a quick stamp as well. She's a little bit more difficult to stamp, only in that she's got some more solid areas to her with her beautiful swing dress. But of course having a stamp platform will help that, won't it? Absolutely, absolutely. And she does look, for, I'll grab this card here. She oh. does look beautiful, um, stamped and embossed she just with stunning. the gold embossing powder. So if you're not into your colouring in, you really don't have to do it if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. So it's, that's quite a nice option. Also, it's a very quick card to do. Now, where's my ink? There's my ink. Okay. And I, I, you were mentioning before that Trudy has got a background in fashion, right? She has, yes, absolutely. So, so she's finding that um, w w the previous collection was the Fashionista collection, which was a collection of uh, young men and young ladies, uh, which was, has been very popular. And um, she, she's really fa finding her her stride I suppose and she's she's just tremendous at this and they've got um, they're not uh, they've got kind of a flow to them the images and uh, so I'm oh. going to just stamp that again Look just because that. of her dress um, they've got a flow to them so they're very free yes they which are. means that they're very easy for you to color in so if you're not a confident colorist you're going to be absolutely fine because I think it's one of the phrases from the 20s anything goes Ex it does anything goes. yeah so there we go there she is absolutely beautiful so pop that to one side 
So there's our images. I'm only going to col colour in one. So I've got one that I've coloured out here. Uh, I've cut out here, rather. And uh, obviously this is my cool cat. So these are our pens. This is what we've been waiting Ooh. for. Well, can I, re can I tell everybody that a third of the stock has already gone. So if you want yours, please do check out your baskets for them. So not miss out. Okay, so I've done a swatch. And these, these are the colours that you're going to get. And I've actually dragged them out with um, a little bit of water too. So we can see here on the top row, we've got some skin tones, which is brilliant, which Phil did promise that we'd get some in here. I'll just quickly grab my swatches from the other set, so hopefully you can see the differences. Uh, these are just raw. These haven't been caught, uh, pulled out. So, for, so if we're looking at the yellows, we've got the yellow here which yes. is different from uh, that yellow yeah. there mm -hmm. and that yeah. one and it's uh, you know th there's no proper yellows in here that orangey yellows but that's different to that and that yeah. and and that, that they're all different so everything's going to kind of work really well together and give you a nice blend we've got a uh, like a black gray there but we've got a solid uh, gray Ooh, uh, solid nice. black yeah. in yeah. the set one yeah. So, so that that's that's great, and this one here is like a blue grey, which is different from the blue grey that there is in set two. Uh, yeah. It's not as deep. Yeah. So, hopefully, you can see just from the swatches that you've got lots of potential to mix and match. We're going to be going for these tones here for okay. this for our chap, and you'll see why in a moment when I do my background. Okay. So, in this set, you, it comes in, obviously like the other sets. It comes in a nice case uh, with your clip yeah. top. You've got two uh, uh, watercolour brushes in here, so water brushes in here. You've got a medium tip and you've got a flat tip. So it's not a wide flat tip, but it's kind of a, a medium flat tip, if you like. Yeah. And they are, they do, they're funny because they open the opposite way around to how you accept uh, yeah, them, it, it, them to. That takes a little bit of adjusting to it. It does, yeah, it does. And they all slip in. Now, when you get them, I mean, I don't know if you can see on, I pull that out. Yes, we can. Yep. Yeah. I've arranged mine into kind of a colour order that yes, suits me. me. Yeah. Um, they don't come in this colour order. You have to just uh, organise them. And don't, don't kind of, I know Leonie's put her set one and set two together. Don't bother doing that until you get set four. And then I think Phil's going to do something for us to Ooh. show us how to um, split them all up. Ooh. So let's start doing some colouring. So I want to go for these tones here. So we've got kind of a red colour. Yes. And Ooh. a brown. Okay. So I'm going to do his jacket first. Okay. One of the things I love about these pens is how easy they are to colour in. Because you can see there with the bright, the thin, how thin the point of it is the finest of the points I have ever used with a watercolour brush. They are, they are exceptional actually and, and they blend, even so if you well. don't use water, yeah. they blend very well together. Yeah. Um, and, and the colours, like literally, I remember when I got my first one, I was like, oh, you know, nothing can make them better colours, you know, like this one's lost, like I was like, I did said, well, why do you need a second set? And then the second set came up and I was like, yeah, definitely my favourite, it's now our second set. And, then <laughs> and now I see these ones and I see those beautiful purples and aquas in there and I was like, yeah, I need, I definitely, this is a need. I think, yeah, I mean, certainly people that have, um, bought set two yeah. uh, have been disappointed that they can't get set one oh. um, it will come back but it will be late this year early next year okay. so it's going to be a while we're going to have set four before we get set one back mm. so um, so that's yeah. a good point that don't miss it now when no, it's available definitely um, don't I, I, you know sometimes we sound repetitive when we say oh check out your baskets but I am a crafter and, and you know Julie and how how much we hate to miss out oh on we do music. I hate it you know when, when for some reason we can't watch the launch of a one day oh. special and then and then we come in and the next morning morning and it's gone and I said, oh, no yeah. where can I get it from you know oh no we can't get it anywhere and you know, Asa, just... another point about these pens is the intensity of that color the the intensity of the the, the, the hue that they have got I love it because then sometimes watercolor pay base they they kind of dilute to they're not intense they're just colors uh, and with a here look at that how it blends 
Yeah, so I'm just so I, I, I'm I'm what you might call a basic colorist. So so I like oops, too much water. Um, I like to to do it as quick. Obviously, we, when we're demonstrating on TV, we want something to be quite quick, and this is very forgiving. It's very quick. Um, so so what 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 I'm doing now is just moving the color around just to get coverage more than anything, and it will sit a little bit darker on those lines that I've put in. Oh. Then I'm going to allow it to dry, and then I'm going to go in and put a second coat in. Oh, second coat then. Or you don't have to. You can just do the one. So there's his jacket as is at the moment, and I've gone a little bit over on there because my, my water brush was a little bit fluid, which is a little bit disappointing. And then we go with the brown on his trousers. Do exactly oh, okay. the same thing. Uh, the pens are got flying out. Forty percent of the stock has already gone. Grab yours by checking out those baskets. I reiterate, it's once they are gone, I think they. they this is it. So this is the extended stock. It they did sell out earlier. This is as much as we can get back. Uh, you know, at this moment. And like you know, with set number one, it's not going to come back until a next uh, uh, end of this year, towards uh, maybe beginning of next year. So you never know when they are going to be back. So please, please, if you do not want to miss out, check those baskets. So see how, how easy it is. You don't have to use water with them. Like I say, they do actually blend beautifully together on their own. I mean, I know Leone uses them quite a lot on her yeah. Let Loose shows. I do as well. Like, yeah, and yeah. You, you have done as well, I, haven't I you? I love to use them. Uh, this technique that I learned from Julia Hickey to uh, apply the ink to the acetate with them and then take it to the paper and create the most beautiful soft backgrounds. Oh yeah, you can make fantastic backgrounds yeah, um, do. with the extra water brushes. I mean, oh, you've got a wide definitely. brush here anyway, mm -hmm. uh, but there's an even wider a, a brush uh, in the watercolor brush set, uh, water brushes mm -hmm. uh, sets, and um, you can do uh, if you do uh, say use the deco extras yeah. to create um, a resist background. So stamp with your um, clear embossing ink and emboss with uh, either white or clear embossing powder. And then go over with the pens. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. You can move the, water, the the pen around. You can either you can or you can pick the pen up from the um, the blending mat. So you can see already his trousers look really good. Even though all I've done is John done, done the same thing as with his jacket, and I've just moved the water the water around. Yeah. So I'm going to go in again with the red on uh, his jacket, and I'm going to just pick out some of the lines. I'm not going to go over all the lines, so I'm going to do that one, and I'm going to do that one, and I'm going to do this one. So when I come in and pull it out, I'll be doing this stripy jacket. Yeah. You don't okay. want to do every line because otherwise it just picks up all of them. Yeah. So we do that one there as well, and we do a little bit on here. Obviously, you just take a little bit more time than I'm doing here. I'm trying to do it quick, but show you also what, what to do. But, but it showcases as well that these, both these stamps and the pens make a perfect partnership uh, with the fluidity of the lines of the stamp and the fluidity of, the, of course, the pens. It's just perfect match. Yeah, works really well, doesn't it? Yeah. So that'll be a bit darker there. I need a little bit down here. I'll put my finger in that there. <laughs> the thing with the thing with this is because I'm working on Bockingford card and because yeah. I'm working with watercolors, well, it does mean that we can go in and we can anything we're not happy with, we can go in and we can repair. We can ah, lay more color on top. We can really sort of pull it out and change it. Yeah. Okay. Just give a little bit of an accent of color just around the edges there so that brings that out a little bit and it will as as the water uh, moves around it will still it will still um, uh, blend and move it's a little bit of a white area there so I'll just put a little bit on a on my blending mat here and pick that up directly just to fill that in that's better let's let's make his bow tie a little bit darker really annoyed about that bit there so I'd probably go in and actually give him a coloured shirt to hide it yeah oh. and I'm not happy with that there either so we can we can just put a little bit more brown on 
give him a little bit more shade on the one side move that around I just I just make colouring up as I go because <laughs> basically oh, but, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing I just make it up but that, uh, well you're a little bit like <laughs> me but it looks amazing it looks amazing <laughs> but it's the quality of what I'm working with that yeah. that's the thing um, let's let's use these skin tones uh, oh yeah the skin tones mm. so I'm looking at perhaps that one there which is my third one okay. and I think I'm going to take it because I've not used it before this is the thing this is brand new all I've done with this I haven't coloured anything yeah. at all all I've done with it is done this swatch so yep. I'm learning these yeah. colours okay Okay. That's my excuse straight away. So because I don't know the colours, I'm just going to scribble some on my blending mat. Okay. And pick it up with my brush because then it's going to be a bit lighter and, and it's going to be a bit more forgiving if I don't get it right. Okay. So he's quite pale. So I can go in with perhaps a darker colour. Yeah. But I mean to me, because I've been using antique linen distress ink. Okay, for the yeah. skin, because I'm lazy, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mix all the other, because you can, there are skin oh. tones that you can mix, so from um, set one, I've mixed some colours together, so that's a reasonable skin tone there, yeah. what I've called number 14 and 17, yeah. um, so it's that one and that one, yeah. a pink and a, so you can do it, you absolutely can do it, but I'm really lazy. Yeah, well, welcome to the club. <laughs> So there's his skin, and let's give him uh, this colour uh, shoes. This is probably the worst colouring in I've done. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. It's, it's just it trying to good. do it quickly. That's the yeah. trouble. Let's but give him a... this is the thing as well with colouring in is the joy that it brings us. And I think one of the things that I'm not, I don't define myself as a colouriner at all or colourist, but. When what I love is whether it's alcohol marker or water watercolors, is that good products that bring that color to them easily. And with with the sentimentally yours watercolor brush pens, I always get that color fix. If you know what I mean, it's just that woo, it's just so easy, so beautiful. It's it's. Um I mean, colouring in should be something that you um, savour, really, yes. um, and enjoy. Absolutely. So I've just gone directly for his hair um, with that brown. And I'm going to have to try and get rid of this, this blotchiness here. Okay. So I've got a ritzy already coloured in. Uh, I don't think he wants... What colours shall we have? Um, it's, it doesn't look ridiculous. <laughs> Let's give him, um, let's pick, the, I don't know if this blue is going to work or not, but let's pick this blue, which is the mid blue. And we'll just go on with a little bit. It's like, it's like a blue green, but it looks blue when it's out. So let's just put a little bit around the edges and try and pull him back because the red's quite a dark color this is the thing when you're dealing with dark colors it's like any medium um, it's quite hard to move back it's e easy to get from um, light to dark but it's very difficult to get from dark to light oh look at that oh. see now I've touched the edge there as well uh, so you know he has been kissed and, and there's a little bit of stain of makeup in the left shirt. That's what yeah, we are saying. Yeah, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go with that, shall we? <laughs> okay, so, he, so anyway, he's, he's coloured in. He's coloured in. <laughs> right. Well, while we, you get ready for the next step, Julia, we are going to have a reminder of the seven-day savers. We have got acrylic paints from Luxley, based in the Sheffield, in the gold of Sheffield. Uh, now, you are getting three silvers, uh, two gold. And I love the flip-top nature that is upside down, so it's always ready to go, ready to squeeze and flow there. Now, the fact that you're getting three silver, it means that you can mix all the colors with that silver and create a beautiful metallic color. One, seven, zero, six, Four nine is your item number. Nine ninety nine is the price for them. Uh, Eleven pounds and thirty one pence is your savings, so better than half price. Remember that, of course, those watercolor paints are pay, pay, blah, 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 watercolor pens are incredibly busy. So please do go ahead and check out those baskets. But the one day special.
The one day special is absolutely stunning. You are getting all six stamp sets that you can see there with the beautiful detail, the glorious detail of photopolymer. This time. Remember, hand drawn by, uh, of course, Trudy Howard. And that background in fashion, you can see the fluidity of this. I can see the tilt of the hips, that kind of position. Very sassy stamps, very particular, very beautiful and stylish. Very happy as well, that kind of party vibe that we always want to have with this little bit smile and all that jazz and doll face and best wishes and all the sentiments that you want to have in your sense. Then we have got, of course, him, which is the one that Julia was um, using. This one is called, uh, this is cool cat. I mean, he's a cool cat. Uh, then we have, got, oh, I like the cat's meow. I mean, you can see that it's captured a second from her dance and kind of flapping away of course with the tassels and finally the glorious lady here that's the old dolled up and we are roaring yeah we have a roaring good time remember these ones are stamps that you can use with other stamp sets that you may have the sentiments it's just sentiments obviously very elegant very stylish from the art deco era and the spiffy cool cat i love that and what about Maybe it's somebody uh, who is just going to have a party, maybe it's going to get married, maybe it's going to have, you know, something maybe for a birthday. You can just have a roaring good time. It's a great invitation for a party and those parties are going to come and oh yes, they are going to come. We are going to have all very much of the parties oh, when this ends. But you have got, look at that stylish car. Look how glorious. Ah, this probably is my favorite sample because it showcases the impact of the sizes of these ladies. Now, remember that the ladies are about 16 centimeters in height and the guys are 18 centimeters, I think. So about, you know, there is a little bit taller. This sample I adore, and maybe this one is my favorite. I'm not sure um, between the previous one and the, I love the simplicity of this. This all you need is white card, black card, black ink, the one that is special and whatever color immediate, maybe the watercolor pens. It's just impactful, isn't it? The gradation of colors. Look at the hill. I love that little detail. I love the swoosh. I love those little dots. I love the pearls around her back. I love the flower kind of stole that she has got in there. And of course, you can personalize her hair color. But those eyelashes coming off her face, and there's just something else. And then, of course, we have got the swanky party. Maybe an evening invitation. Maybe you just want to say thank you for coming. What about saying happy birthday to your boy? And this is just like, somebody really love this. Then what about her? I mean, see how you can colorize it. I'm thinking a little bit of lace, maybe a little bit of fabric, putting in here a trim, maybe putting some sparkle in there, maybe decoupage it, maybe stamp and trim around the dress a little bit, maybe stamp onto pattern paper and then trim it down, maybe do some beads in here as well or glitter. Uh, you can do all of that. Remember the stamps have been hand drawn by Trudy Howard. And of course, that original artwork has been transferred into photopolymer stamps by Phil Martin. So you know the quality. He is a stickler for quality. 904-913 is your item number. Remember that flexi by option. That you means that you can spread the cost in two interest-free payments. You're saving seven pounds, whether you are paying one of payment of 64 pounds and 94 pence, or you are splitting the cost. Now, if you split the cost, why not add maybe the pens in there? Because then you can spread the cost of those pens as well. Half of the stock of these wonderful pens have already gone. Now they will be dispatched from the 22nd of June, which is only Monday. Oh dear, it's already already where is it? Here? It's like oh anyway do you get ever like when you hear the dates you get like oh <laughs> like oh my goodness yeah well yes so just Monday they will be dispatched from Monday so if you want yours uh, grab them your item number is one seven zero four two zero twenty four twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence is your price now remember they already sold out we managed to get some more in stock but now we are incredibly busy for them so if you do not want to miss out check out those baskets and of course if you want some paper to stamp on to dry cut we have got that for you is the collection Terra Nova and Celestial 190 GSM paper. So you can stamp perfectly on the front. You are getting, I think it's four, no, four, five designs, five, uh, five, color, five colorways. 
If, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you're getting 20, uh, so you're getting two of each, so you're getting 40 in each pack, in each pack, so 80 sheets in total. Oh, my maths and me are not good friends. 280497 is your item number, 23 pounds and 98 pence. And let's head back to Julia and see the next step of the demonstration. Right, so we're going to do the background now. Thank you. Uh, so I've got a piece from the Terra Nova uh, stamp set, uh, paper pad, and I've cut the largest but one of the rounded corner rectangles from it. So we, I mean, it's lovely as it is, and we could, you know, you can you can put uh, these are going to fit nicely on there, but we're going to add a little bit more interest. So I've got the straight up line, uh, straight up stripes background, which yes. is one of the new ones uh, that Trudy's designed. And um, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to use it in in slightly different way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up with the uh, Nocturne Versafine Claire, but I'm not going to do the whole thing. I want to get um, a bit of movement going on with it. Okay. I love the So that it's a little bit stepped, okay? Mm -hmm. And get a piece of paper so I don't make a massive mess. And this one's going to go at the bottom here. Now, because we're dealing with lines, unless you want it to go on a wonk, do try and get it straightish. And I want to. I'm going to do some stamping on the right as well into something else. So I think I'm going to go to about there okay. and hope that. I've got some of it on because obviously I've moved it. Let's see. Yep, so oh, we've got I some like pattern that. going yeah. on, right? And then immediately I'm going to pop some of the uh, soft rose twinkling embossing powder on. Mm. We do have that in the show, do we? We do, and it's it's normally you'd put it on a, a white ink or a clear ink, but ah. if you put it on a black ink. Yes. It, it intensifies it and changes the, cut, the look of it. That's a really cool idea, of course, using embossing powder that has got of over course, black. Of course, Claire is perfect yeah. for it. So we're also going to do a stamping up here as well. Now, that embossing powder comes also with the peridot and the azure. And you have got the details on the left-hand left side of the screen. Now, I might not manage to get it in the right position but it's fine you just have to go with it mm -hmm. and let's see let's go try and get it straight and we'll go about there okay. all right oh yeah, that's fine yeah, like that yeah and, and I, I, I would have thought that when you stamp it with the you know kind of the the ink that you have how you ink, it would look a little bit not random if you know what I mean but it looks perfect yeah you have to you have to think about how far down you're actually inking yes. and you have to think that um, the next time you do it you've got to perhaps go a bit further down and, and, and get your shape if that makes sense because otherwise you're going to have a, a bit of residue ink from last time yeah so before I heat set, I'm just going to stamp a sentiment as well. I'm, go I'm going to work on it and do some other things as well, but let's do our sentiment and then we do all our heat embossing at the same time. So where's my Roaring Twenties sentiment? Okay. And I need to dust that with my anti-static bag. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to stamp with the Nocturne Verse Fine Clear and I'm going to emboss with the Soft Rose Twinkling okay. Bossing Powder. Now remember we're using an anti-static bag so that if there's any fingerprints or any oily residue from the production of the card where it's not going to attract our embossing powder. And just like, in fact all of Phil's embossing powders, don't decant them because they're, they're anti-static powders and they're in an anti-static pot as well. So give it a good old press. Okay. And this is on a rounded corner square because we've got the squares on the show as well. Okay. Get our powder on. 
The Versafine Clairs are perfect for stamping and embossing because they're such a juicy ink, such a wet ink. So they really are a good all-round ink that um, myself and I'm sure a lot of people recommend nowadays. Yeah. I, I, it's, it's, it's a funny one, isn't it? Because we all have got our favourites, but they, you know, there are some that they, they come up as favourites all, uh, all the time. You know? They do, yeah, they do. Now, you do need to remember that once you've used um, a, a black ink on a, a stamp, you need to remember to clean it properly because if you ever want to um, use Versamark a clear, yeah, yeah Versamark, well, first of all, it's going to dirty your pad. Yeah. And second of all, you're going to get that dark colour coming through. So Absolutely. say if you're using uh, something like a, a luscious powder or another sort of... Um, um, mica powder yeah. if, if, the, if it's a dual tone powder then it's going to do what it does with black ink yeah. when you don't want it to so it's very important to clean your stamps yeah. now norm quite often i'll go from underneath when i'm using a twinkling embossing powder but because i've got this low speed heat tool yeah. i'm okay. doing it from the top and it's yeah. it's staying put because glit glitter embossing powders will fly all over the place if you don't if you use um, a high-speed uh, tool, the Wow Dual Tone one is going to be really good. Yeah, absolutely, that would work as well. Okay, so that's nicely set now. I, I think love that. That's the stripes like that. Really, really love it. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm right. thinking also you could feel like gingham if you do it the other way, so that horizontal and vertical, so that will create that kind of crisscross. Yeah. Right, okay, so I'm going to stamp on there again in a minute, but let's just show you why I absolutely adore this stamp. This okay. um, straight up line stamp is uh, such a cool stamp. It looks really boring, I suppose, initially, because all it is is lines, wow. but this stamp is just invaluable. Now, I've got a border here. Yeah. This isn't going to be quite big enough, but it's fine. We're going to extend it. So... So this is just a strip of the rest of my card. I'm just going to pop this underneath here to flatten it out. Yeah. And I'm going to ink it up, first of all, with uh, the fire brick oxide. Okay. Give it a good old inking. And then I have wiped my Versafine Claire off of here, so hopefully it's going to be fine. And I'm going to mist it with some water because uh, oxides are better if you just give them a quick light misting. So let's think about where I'm going to put them. Yeah. So we, remember, we're trying to go straight still. And I need to just, I need to do this side yeah. as, as well. Just extend it a little tiny bit. So I just need an extra little bit just on the end. Don't stress too much whether it's lining up properly. Okay. Uh, need to go over just a little bit. Okay, so, that, so there's, there's, nice. there's, there's your background, okay? Yep. As it is. You see the lines? Yep. I mean, Shall it's I hold perfect. it up to number three? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. I mean, we can see them there beautifully. Yeah, they're okay. all perfect. Yeah, we have yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. But if you then turn it 90 degrees, no. this is why I love this stamp. In fact, no, I don't, let's not have that. Let's have aged mahogany. This is a darker red. Ooh. And it will show, show up a little bit more. Again, give it a little mist. And we're going to go, so we're going to go this way. And this is quite good because it needs extending again. You'll see the difference between the two. Can oh, you see I that? Love that? Yeah, I love that. I'll yeah. move that out of the way. So now you've gone from stripes to a lovely plaid pattern. Yeah. And, it ju and because you've got the different graduations with the lines, the thick lines and the I thin lines, that. it's just yeah. such a wonderful background. It is. So we're just going to extend that. And I love as well that it's, it's, it's a kind of a like grid paper as well, like it's a vintage inspired, you know, those kind of ledgers and things like that. Love that. 
I just picked up the glue to spritz, to spritz the, 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 the paper with my glue. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're having a different, yeah, effect. I am, I am, just not with it. <laughs> oh, welcome to the, yeah, welcome. There we go, so there's that. Lovely. See, it doesn't matter if you, you don't have to be particularly careful about lining it up. It just works. It's just a tremendous stamp. Something, yeah. like I say, I think it looks quite boring because it's just lines, but lines are just so useful. It's just, I just love it, absolutely love it. Beautiful. Right, so there's there's my background there. Where where's I put it under here? Now I need to uh, add to this because you know this is going to go onto a piece of black card and it's going to go on here. So we can uh, see we're building up and it works, yeah. but it's still a little bit boring. Yeah. Just looking at the time. Um, so what I've done is I've arranged some of the sentiments from the Ritzy and the Cool Ooh, Cat. Yeah. Okay. Um, stamp sets onto one of the large acrylic blocks and I'm just going to stamp them top and bottom and I'm going to stamp them with the aged mahogany so it blends in it, it won't be something that you necessarily see that jumps at you but sometimes it's nice when you've got cards that people have to look into them to see that all the details that you've put into the card yeah. Give it, again, give it a little spritz, just to help. It helps you stamp better if you do that. And we've got spiffy and glitzy, just swell, swinging, jazzy and cool cat. Those are the sentiments I've picked up. Now, again, don't stress if it's not perfect because it's a background. In fact, my swinging hasn't actually stamped at all for some unknown reason. I have a feeling that, I don't know... I didn't press properly there. I'm not going to do anything with it because yeah. I'll put my flowers there. And yeah, like you say, it's background, so you could always go. It doesn't and matter. It who knows? It's not. It, who knows whether it's supposed to be there? Exactly. <laughs> mystery, mystery. I mean. Yeah. Let's see if I can do better up here. Okay. Remember, I'm going to have my border, mm. so you know. Let's give that an extra little press in the middle there. Yeah. There we go. There we go. We've got swing anyway. Mm. Okay? Perfect. So there's my background. So what I'm going to do now, Paola, is I'm just going to ink around these bits and pieces okay. and start to construct. And then if Perfect. we come back and I'll finish with yeah. the flowers, we'll is that, that all right? Perfect. We will uh, remind everybody of the one day special. Remember that you are getting 42 individual stamps, amazing, beautiful stamps, designed, well, hand drawn by Trudy Howard and then the sentiments. Now, that collaboration between Trudy and Phil Martin means that you have got an artist and then you have got a crafter. The com well, and Trudy is a very a talented crafter in its, her own right. But of course, the working together means that you have got the best of product design, the best of artists and the best of craftsmanship. Now, you have got in here beautiful detail stamps with that beautiful detail, even if it, they're kind of feathers. And I love how stylized they are, how beautiful they come up. You can feel the movement of these dancers. You can feel the dress, the heaviness of the tassels at the bottom. You can almost hear the clicking noise that they make when they that she dances. You can hear almost the music uh, singing. Maybe it's a little bit of uh, what's the composer from that era that is so famous? Anyway, you have got here, of course, the dapper gentleman that is, uh, this is a cool cat, uh, and you can see how spiffy, spiffy with time. Uh, that is, yeah, it's kind of, I love that. Jazzy, I mean, it's kind of perfect. Now, actually, Jazzy, funnily enough, is the name of a dog from one of our directors. So, uh, you see, you start seeing these stamps, and you start thinking, it's not just what they look, it's the possibilities. I think this would make a lovely, uh, you know, hand party maybe a hand party, do a sh f uh, wedding shower, or something like that. Uh, let's have a roaring good time as well, or a time to Charleston. Uh, maybe, you know what I'm thinking, now that it is, well, maybe it's because of personal experience, but the, you know the, those divorce parties, I think this is fabulous for that one. I think that one goes so well with that kind of tilt of the, uh, of the hip as well. It's like kind of, well, time to Charleston. There it is, glitzy. And then, of course, you have got him. I love him. He is, oh, 
ain't that grand. Now, if you want to go to for your one-day special, you have got two options to like one of payment or um, you know spread the cost in interest-free payments. Two, two payments of thirty-two pounds and forty-seven pence. That saving of seven pounds, of course, it is courtesy of the one-day special savings. So it means. Now it will go up at six o'clock or until stocks last. Remember, it is very busy, so it's the best way to uh, make sure that you do not miss up on the um, amazing saving is to check those baskets out now. Nine zero four nine one three. Now we still have got those pens that you can find on the website, and of course you can see as well the borders, the corners, as well as of course the deco extras and those um, you know that stamp that Julia was using. Sorry, I couldn't go and put my words forward. Um, uh, that you know backgrounds the a6 the stripes they are there with of course that beautiful fun peacock feathers in there we are over half the stock of the pens please be quick to check your baskets every time that we give you an update then it goes uh, you know it's just very very busy so please check out your baskets and without further ado let's jo rejoin Julia all right you've come back to me and I'm just sticking so um, I've got my border on you can see I've cut, I've cut the largest of the rounded corner rectangles, which are also on the show, out of the elegant ebony card. And uh, we've got some of the pure white card on the back. Let me get up a flick to get rid of some of that glitter. So you can see that's, that's, that, that background kind of works now. Yeah, perfect. Uh, and then, um, so we'll pull in our figures. I'm going to use the one that I coloured in before, only because I'm not happy with his shirt. And oh, there's no point uh, me spoiling it. It's a change of shirt. There's no point in me spoiling um, a card, you know, just because of the colouring. Sorry, that wasn't quite set. So I've got uh, a couple of um, the same size as the rounded corner rectangles, and because uh, I don't, when I, not rectangles, squares. When I do a sentiment like this, I don't want a massive board around it. So mm. I've started to do a bit of a kind of a clapperboard kind of feel to the backing on that. So I'm going to do that on there. So I'm just going to place that for now, and then we've got. Um, He's looking on because she's she's stunning. So he's oh, she's he's going to look on and look at her and think, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he, can I ask her out? You know, he should. Am I bold? Yeah. yeah. So he's going to go there and she's going to go there like that. They're on foam pads, and then we can add our sentiment. Yeah. And of course, you're using uh, Phil's uh, glue. Phil's uh, glue. Yes massive fan of those ones and I yep. love how they come into these different um, pots so it's always yeah. I can always have one a little one and then I refill it with a big one yeah it's good it's good to have both isn't it I'm yeah. just going to give this a little bit of extra glue because we're going on to the uh, glittered embossing powder oh, I, I did miss a bit of embossing there so it is a little bit uh, black rather than um, glittery but it's okay because it kind of fills in with the theme so that you could just leave like that but of course we're not mm -hmm. going to we're going to bring ourselves some flowers in so which I've already you'll be happy to know I've done most of the construction oh. so um, for this what I did you saw me do this background here so I've done exactly the same yeah. and then I've cut out some of the elegance flowers from it Okay. No enchanting flowers, these ones. They both begin with E, so I get them mixed up. So these are the pointy flowers. And I've also stamped um, the in elegance flowers with the Black Versifying Claire, and I've uh, embossed in the same way with the... Um, the, the, twinkly, the twinkling, the soft rose twinkling one. So, so we're going to have two layers like that. So we're going to do the same as we did in the previous hours. We're just going to uh, shape them with our pointy tweezers. This is on the pure white card. Okay. And the twi I, I'm sure Phil will bring the tweezers back uh, at some point. I know he's in on Sunday and Monday, um, so they might be on those shows there. Or you might be able to find them in the brand shop on the website. Okay. Yes, you, I think they might be there. Yeah. So and I love how pointy they are. Like it's a They're proper. excellent. Yeah. They're, they really are. You have to be careful. They all come with these little guards as well. Yeah. So always keep them in the guards. So because if they drop on your toe, they're going to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try to yeah. avoid that. Yeah. yeah. Try to avoid that at all costs. So we're just going to pop some glue in the centre and then use a little embossing tool to um, cup it up a little bit. Yeah. And I'll add a pearl to this one in a moment. 
and I've got my lush leaves and I've just added a little bit of glue to the points and I've added the diamond dazzle um, yeah. glitter. Julia, we have got less, uh, about a minute. One a minute, minute. To right, let me just show you what I would do. So okay. we're going to just pop them there, pop them there. That's going to go there. We're going to have a couple perhaps up yeah. here and a couple down there. I'll glue it and, and uh, we'll show it afterwards. Fabulous. Now okay. we were all mesmerized by that demonstration, Julia, and of course we forgot to give you the time check. Now of course, <laughs> Julia, we'll be back at four o'clock with the one day special for more than join her. And I think is Haley for that demonstration. So of course it's going to be full of inspiration. But also I need to remind you to check out your baskets, not only for the one day special, but also for those watercolor pens, pens that we have got on the show. Now remember they did sell out early. We managed to get some more stock on extended delivery. This from the Monday so not long to wait at all but remember that once they are gone that's it you know that we had there's no more stock so please do check out your basket one day special phenomenal do get to go for the pens as well if you can afford it because they are absolutely phenomenal you're gonna have so much fun of course sentimentally yours and I will see you about in Thursday next Thursday We have got Big Your Creative Best with Cricket. Amazing coils. You need to stay tuned. Fiona will show you that with Mike Aspinall. And then we have got Sweet Poppy Stencils. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. We're really pleased to be part of the Hochanda family and I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a channel. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app 
and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, I'm Barbara. And I'm Julie. And together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product, uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on Achanda. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family hello and welcome to the cricket maker ultimate cutting machine yes we've got this on three flexi buy payments it is engineering and ingenuity at its finest this is going to make all your crafting a whole heap easier and open out a whole new world to you this machine is the ultimate in cutting it is stunning for whether you're doing card uh, iron on for material materials for your patchwork oh my word you are getting so much and we've got an expert with us here today to talk about it so what are you getting for your money you are getting the Cricut maker machine you are getting the rotary blade drive housing the premium fine point point blade and the housing so that will cut a whole load of different materials which we'll come to you're getting your fine point pen now within this machine again you can have other medium ball pen calligraphy pens and all sorts you're getting your fabric mats both in the light grip and also the fabric grip. Now these have been specifically ad designed for ultimate adhesion and so that the machine recognizes what material is going into the machine itself. Obviously the welcome book, your USB cable and power adapter, a trial membership to the Cricut Access, because there's a whole library and uh, uh, videos and all sorts and different fonts and oh I'm a, my downloads and all sorts that can accessorize this machine and you are also getting 50 ready-to-made projects including 25 sewing 
materials. Yeah, absolutely. Now let's have a look at some of these features and what the Cricut Maker machine can do because so many of you already bought this. It cuts hundreds of materials, hundreds, um, from the most delicate fabric and paper to matte board and leather. You have an expandable suite of tools. Uh, so that versatile tool set includes more tools coming in the future. So I mentioned the medium pen, I mentioned the calligraphy pen, you've got a, um, the washable fabric pen, the medium point pen, blades such as the wavy blade as well, you've got the rotary blade, gliding roll in action. I mean, these blades are cut through virtually any fabric. Now, the knife blade, uh, this is, as it says, extra deep. Yours actually comes with a fine point blade as well and the housing. There's a sewing pattern lab library, you know, and you can choose from hundreds of patterns available from quilts to stuffed animals. And there is the washable fabric pen as well, uh, which marks your pattern pieces so you know how they can fit together. And then you've got simple design apps. Oh my word, you can use your own designs. Um, and you've got these lovely details within it as well. So there's this helpful docking slot on the top. So you can actually keep your tablet or your smartphone or any other device that you're using. And because there's a USB port on the machine as well, um, it'll keep, um, well, you can have it all together. And, and, and there's pockets at the side there as well for your tools and accessories. So yeah, just absolutely amazing. We've had the Cricut Maker machine on the show many, many times before, but it's always better when you see it in action. And I'm so relieved that Mike Aspinall is with me here today because I just, I mean, the only thing this machine doesn't do is make you a cup of tea while you're enjoying it. Uh, but Mike, hello, good, good afternoon, how are you? I'm good, thank you. This is weird, isn't it, to be Skyping in? But it's nice to be live on the show again. Fantastic. And, and it's nice to have, obviously, your superb expertise to guide us through the cricket. Because there's many people out there who don't quite know the capability of what this machine can do. Because it is phenomenal, isn't it, Mike? So I'm going to hand oh, gosh, over to yeah, you. It is. Yeah, it really is. I think you said just at the start of the show then that it's engineering at its finest. And I think it, it really is. Whilst it's a domestic machine and it's designed for home crafters and hobbyists, just like you and me and everybody listening, it really is an amazing piece of engineering and technology as well. It's incredibly advanced and incredibly powerful. It takes industry level technology and condenses it into this tiny little machine here that, as you say, it can cut hundreds of different materials. So from the finest paper and fabric through to even thin wood like balsa wood and heavy denim and chipboard, it's it's an amazing machine. I, I'm still discovering new things about it even three or four years later after getting my first one. Fantastic. Yes, ab absolutely. I'm still discovering every time um, I'm with a guest presenter like yourself here on the show. I I just see a whole new sign uh, side to this machine, if you like. Uh, it's quite, quite extraordinary. Well, I'm going to hand over to you, Mike, because I think the best way to see this machine is in action and see it being utilised. Yeah. So I'll let you take it away now. Yeah, absolutely. So one of probably the most common things that you can make with the Cricut Maker is heat transfer iron-on vinyl designs. So you might be used to um, using heat transfer with a domestic iron before. There's another tool that we're going to use today, but the Cricut Maker is great for cutting out these designs. So you can see on my t-shirt, you can make that out, just a little pocket design here that I've added. So great for personalizing um, either homemade items and gifts that you've made yourself or shop-bought things if you just want to maybe make something a little bit quicker or a quick personalized gift. You can buy something in the shop and just add a little bit of a personalized tweak to it using heat transfer vinyl. Of course, it cuts out so much more than that, but for the first demo, I thought I'd show you a little heat transfer vinyl project. So I've got here some black iron-on vinyl. So this is the Cricut Everyday um, Iron-On. So this is really great quality, a nice long roll of black iron-on. And we've got the blue mat. So this does come with all Cricut makers. Um, and this is designed to basically hold your consumable, in this case, the iron on, as it goes through the machine and cuts it out. So it needs something just to stick to and carry it through. The blue one is designed for iron on um, vinyl. So anything like this, use your blue one. The pink one, on the other hand, is designed for fabric. So I'll talk about that a little bit later, but you can see I've got the pink one just here. That's not for iron on, so don't get them confused. So you'll notice I just peeled off this protective plastic sheet. So all of the cricket mats will come with that. Now don't throw that away. That isn't just packaging. That's actually going to protect your mat when it's not in use. So once you've finished using it, you can put that protective mat back on and it's just going to keep it free of any dust and dirt and any bits like that, which will just help extend the life of the mat. 
Right, let's flip that around. So I'll talk you through what I'm doing. So I'm just going to add, easier said than done when you've got a big long roll, I'm just going to add my iron on directly onto this sticky mat. So it's nice, it's a bit easier, a bit nicer if you just roll it up and then as neatly as you can, try and line it up in the corners. You don't need to be too precise here, don't worry. I mean, obviously, if it's gone off on an angle, then it's not going to fit through the machine, but if it's not quite perfect, it doesn't matter. And of course, you don't need to use full sheets. So I'm using a brand new sheet here, just because it's a little bit easier. Um, but if you've got little scraps, little offcuts, as you, as you start to cut things out, keep all your offcuts and you can put them on the mat. And just using the software, the free Cricut Design Space software, which powers it, you can move your designs around to fit where you've placed your little offcuts. So you really can be quite efficient with this machine. Now, also another little tip, you'll notice that this is now rolling off the edge of the mat. You can trim that if you want, but it's not going to do any harm leaving it there. In fact, I'd recommend leaving that extra tail on just because you don't want to trim it and then end up only using a small amount of this. And then you cut the remaining bit in half, basically. That's, again, just going to give you a little bit more efficiency when it comes to your future designs. Right, so what I'm doing now is, hopefully you can see on the screen, I think you can, I'm just feeding this mat into the Cricut. So there's these little hooks on either side, and that's just going to temporarily hold it in place. I'm then going to jump over to the computer. I'm aware you can't see what I'm doing, but all I've done is just gone through the Cricut Design Space software. It's really intuitive, and it's free to download. So if you do want to explore that a little bit before you buy your, um, before you buy your machine, then feel free to do so. If you just search Cricut Design Space, you can get the exact software that I'm using now just off camera, and you'll see just how easy it is to use. It's so user-friendly. So I have got my design ready. I'm then just going to choose my material. So on the computer, just off shot, I'm actually telling the maker, right, I'm using this everyday iron-on. So it knows exactly how deep to cut this. It's then telling me, make sure that I load the fine point blade, which I already have just in this port here. And now, you probably can't see on the camera, but it is flashing the button that I need to press. So I'm going to press the arrow button. And hopefully you can see that's just locked that in. So that is now locked in place, ready to cut. So then I'm going to make sure that that's all OK. And the next button will flash. There we go, just on cue. And I'm going to press go. And then that's just going to have a little think. It's going to make sure it's got the correct tool in there. So there's lots of different tools you can have, different blades, different pens different add-on tools that do various different specific things. So it's going to make sure that it's got the right tool in there. We don't want to use the wrong blade or the wrong the wrong tool there. So it's, it's quite difficult to make a mistake with Cricut, which is good. They've really thought about the whole user experience end-to-end -end and making it as easy and taking away those pain points as much as possible. So that's just cutting now. I'll just hold this out of the way. It's not going to do any harm if it rolls up, but just so that you can see it a little bit easier, that's cutting through. Now, the Cricut actually has the capability, a really good way to um, explain or kind of illustrate just how amazingly accurate this machine is. If you put two pieces of sticky tape on top of each other, it would have the ability to cut through just the top layer and leave the bottom completely intact, which blows my mind. I've said that fact a lot of times. It always gets a few gasps and it still blows my mind to think of that. That is how accurately it can cut if you tell it that you're cutting the correct material that you are using. And that's essentially what's happening now. So it's actually cutting through the top layer, that heat transfer vinyl, the iron-on vinyl that we're using, but it's leaving the bottom plastic carrier completely intact. So once I take this off, I can then just trim all the excess and peel away the negatives of my design, but it will still all be held on this, um, on this basically like a protective carrier plastic that will allow me to then add it to my design. I hope that makes sense. If not, then I'm gonna go through it in more detail. So it's cutting out a fairly simple design, but there's lots of little bits to it now. So it should be almost done. In fact, it's saying, yeah, it's about 95% done on the screen, which is another useful thing. It tells you it's got a little pie chart that goes around and tells you when it's nearly finished. So there we go, just on cue. Now it's flashing again, saying to eject this. So I'm gonna press the flashing button. Again, if you don't know what to do, just look for whatever's flashing or look for whatever it says on the screen, and it will always tell you what to do. So it's not going to leave you confused. I know that sometimes people buy these machines with all the best intents of the world, and then they get them, and they're a bit like, oh, I don't even want to turn it on, so I don't know what to do. Don't be put off. It really couldn't be simpler. Although in saying that, 
it also will grow with you. So immediately out of the box, you can start using it. But I mean, like I said before, I'm still learning new things that I can do with this machine. Even years later, it really will grow with you and your abilities and the sorts of things that you want to make. Right, so I'm sure you can't see that on the screen, but it has actually cut through a design just on this side, but left that side completely intact. So I'm gonna cut this out just to get rid of the excess fabric because it will have uh, the excess um, iron on because it will make the next step a little bit easier. And these little scissors that I'm using, of course you can use scissors that you've already got, but these little scissors have actually been developed by Cricut to work really well with the spinal. They're super sharp, really, really sharp. That's why they've got this little protective cap, um, but they just cut through the spinal so nicely. So I always have them to hand with my Cricut machines. Make sure I put that cap back on. And it can go just in this little um, storage unit there on the side. Right, so I'm done with that vinyl. Again, you can see I've taken a big chunk off, but I can use all of that again. So you really can be quite efficient with this. And then I'm just going to grab my bright pad. So this is essentially a light box. Again, it's made by Cricut. Um, it's not essential for this step, but it does help. Because what I'm going to do now is a process called weeding which kind of like if you imagine weeding in the garden, the weather's been pretty nice lately. Hopefully people have been out in the garden if they've got one and clearing it up. I know that I have taken away all the weeds. That's basically the process of removing the bits that you don't want. That's exactly what I'm going to do now. So I'm gonna peel away all of the negatives of my design and this bright pad is helping illuminate that from the back up. So it's a non-scratch surface with a few different brightness levels. Now again, I know you might not be able to see too well just on my camera at home, but I'll explain as best I can. So I'm using my little hook tool here, and this is available in the basic tool set and also the weeding tool set. And um, the scissors are also available in the basic tool set, I should say. Um, and this is kind of like, imagine a little dentist's hook, although not quite as sinister. It basically hooks under the iron on and helps you start to peel that away. If you didn't have this, it's quite tricky with your fingertips because these cuts are so fine and intricate. So I'm just peeling away that. Now I've, now I've loosened it with the hook tool, I can use my fingers. And you can see I'm not being particularly careful with this. I'm kind of tugging this away because I'm so confident that this is going to have cut well and cut through exactly where I want to, that I mean, years of using this, I have, you know, I've developed a confidence that I know this machine isn't going to let me down. So I can pull this away. Obviously, I'm not, you know, yanking it. I don't want to damage it, but it's pretty robust. So you can see we're starting to get the outline of a design. I'm actually making a cactus design here. So I'm just going to take away this center bit so that what we're going to be left with is just the outline of our cactus. And then I'm going to apply it to a banner, which I've already made, just a little, little basic banner that I sewed, and I've already added a few colored and patterned designs of iron on. So I'll show you that in a moment. And this is gonna be kind of the, the finishing touch, which I hope is gonna bring the whole design together. Fingers crossed anyway for live TV. Let's hope it looks okay, because there's no going back once I've added it. <laughs> Right, it's coming together now. And once I've done this last bit, I'll show you just how intricate and I guess just kind of impactful this design is that we've made in, I mean, what time is it now? It's been about what, 10, 15 minutes since the start of the show. So I've probably been doing this for five to 10 minutes. And you can see we've got, I think we can just about see that cactus design. Maybe if I put a map behind it, it might help. So you can see we've got a cactus design with that little pot, all of that bold outline with all the little spikes on there as well, cut out in you know, a matter of minutes. So I'm done with the bright pad. Just pop that down. And then I will show you the banner that I was referring to. So I made this um, yesterday. So I just stitched it together and you can see I've put some green um, vinyl on here, some green iron on, sorry, here which is the Everyday Iron-On. So it's available in the rainbow sampler pack, which I think is on the show today, along with loads of other bright rainbow colors. And then this patterned iron-on, which I think is pretty cool. This is a little bit newer to Cricut. 
Um, and there's a range of different ones that's basically works in exactly the same way as the bold colors, but it's got this pattern already printed onto it. So this is a pink polka dot that you can see, which just adds a little bit of extra, um, a bit of extra character and personalization to your projects. So to apply this, I have got, first up, I've got my heat proof mat. So this is the Easy Press mat, which is designed to work with Easy Press, which I know I haven't introduced yet. I'll talk about in a second. Um, and this is going to basically protect our work surface from the heat that we're going to apply from the heat press. But it's also going to help bounce all that heat back up into the project. I'll talk about it a little bit later in the show, I think, when we go through that. Now, this is the this is the tricky bit where I'm going to line up this design as best as possible with my existing layers. Now, of course, you can see I'm adding a third layer onto here. You can layer up um, several different layers of iron on. We recommend probably no more than about four to five layers of iron on is good. You can definitely try it and it probably will work, but you start to see the um, just that many layers, the quality can potentially go a little bit off. So kind of four to five maximum layers that you can layer up. So this one, I've got three layers. And luckily that's looking quite cool. I'm not gonna lift it up yet just because I don't want it to fall off, but I've stuck that down with that carrier plastic that has a slight level of adhesion where I've removed all of the negatives. And I've stuck that down onto the banner. So that's kind of temporarily held in place, ready to be stuck down. So this is where I'm gonna bring in the easy press. So I'll just move over a little bit. So this is the Cricut Easy Press, which is, if you imagine um, a heat press or a domestic iron, it's very similar to that. It's got a hot plate underneath, which we control through a little um, little panel here with a little screen on, a little light up screen. So we can choose the temperature and the time and set all of that. So it's perfectly designed for adding iron on designs to fabric or whatever you want to apply it to. But the great thing about it is because it's perfectly designed for that, it's it's kind of gotten rid of all the negative um, sides of using a normal domestic iron for adding heat transfer vinyl. The main one being you're not going to get any heat spots, cold spots, any uneven temperature on the base. So this is going to heat perfectly evenly from edge to edge and from corner to corner to the exact temperature that you tell it to on the screen. If you were to use a normal domestic iron, you're not going to have that confidence. So as much as you can set the temperature, you don't really know what temperature that refers to. I mean, what does low, medium, high mean on an iron? You don't really know what temperature that is. Even if you did, you cannot be confident that the base of that iron is going to all be at that temperature. In general, you will have a lot of heat spots and cold spots. And also those little holes where the steam comes out, which will have absolutely no heat at all. So it's just not going to do give you the same level of quality of adhesion. So if you are going to be doing a lot of iron on, I definitely recommend looking into the easy press. Right, that's just heating up. It's nearly there now. So I know the temperature that I'm going to apply this at because I've looked on the Cricut website where there's a really handy interactive guide where you can just choose uh, or tell the guide which um, iron on you're using. So I'm using everyday iron on and what your substrate is, what you're applying it to basically. So I'm using um, a linen. So I just told it that and then it says, okay, cool, right. You need to heat it to this temperature and apply the heat for this amount of time. So I'm just giving this a little pre-warm, which is good best practice, just so that at first this mat is gonna absorb a little bit of the heat. So we want to make sure it's nice and warm so that we're essentially heating it from both sides of the project. If you forget to do it, it's unlikely to interfere with your project too much, but it's good best practice. Right, I don't know if you just heard that, but that beeped, which means it's gotten to temperature. If you miss the beep, don't worry, because the light has also gone green. So this is kind of the power button, you might say. When it's not, not at temperature, it goes red, but that's nice and warm at temperature. So I'm gonna do this in two goes because the design intentionally is a little bit bigger than this. I just wanted to show you how to do that. So first up, I'm gonna place that on and press the green button, which is green for go, I like to say, and I know you can't see this, but there is a timer on there that's counting down from 30 seconds. So we're down to 20, 19, and that's just slowly counting down. And when that's done, it's gonna beep, which means, okay, I'm done. You can now take the heat press off and that should have stuck nicely. 
So nearly done. If we listen out for the beep in three seconds. There we go. Hope you heard that. So I'm going to lift that off carefully. And then I'm just going to move my design over slightly so I can do the next part of the design. So all you need to do is just do it in stages. So you do have the capability with this to do quite large designs. So if you're making, um, say, a large T-shirt size large, maybe that has a big design on or even something even bigger, like a tablecloth or I don't know, a big wall hanging or a table runner, something like that, you can add loads of designs across it. You can imagine covering this whole table with a tablecloth and just patchwork basically going along and applying your iron on designs. So don't be put off by the size of this. And there we go, that's done. Right, so that in theory should be stuck on, but it is good practice. I just want to show you that. It is good practice just to flip it over and give it just a little warm from the reverse as well, just to make sure. Again, if you forget this step, shouldn't matter too much but it is good to get into the habit of doing it just make sure that's gone to the top all right i just move that mat to one side now because the next step is to peel off this carrier plastic oops so you might see it catching the light the plastic is still on there and that's that's heat proof as well so that's protecting the vinyl itself you don't the iron on itself you don't want to apply heat directly to the iron on so that plastic acts as a carrier but also a protected layer so the next step is to peel that off but i just want that to cool down very slightly because well for starters i don't want to burn my fingers this does get quite hot that was heated to yeah 330 degrees fahrenheit which is i think about something like 150 degrees c so hotter than steam so i don't want to burn my fingers but also if you peel it off too soon then the adhesive will still be a little bit, um, kind of a little bit wet. It won't have stuck, it won't have set properly just yet. So you could potentially just peel off the whole design, but that's looking great now, it's cooled down. So I'm peeling this back 180 degrees and I'm basically walking it back with my fingers. So I'm not lifting it up, I'm not yanking it off, I'm slowly and evenly peeling it back 180 degrees on itself. There we go. So you can see that plastic that's done. So that can be disposed of, or if you, you can keep it as scraps and use it as a protective layer for future projects if you need to. And there we go. So see the three layers and that cut out applied in less than 20 minutes. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic, Mike. And we have some of the uh, iron-on adhesive on the show. We've got some lovely juggling balls here that someone's made with the black adhesive. Isn't that brilliant? So it's for all your projects. We've got a lovely narwhal here on a, on a sweatshirt there. Um, loads of loads of different ideas. Some lovely bunting here as well. And obviously the material's been cut out using the Cricut machine as well. And we do have the hot presses, uh, some different sizes on the show, which I'll show you those in a moment. I just want to ask Mike, a quick question. We've had a question in from a, bar, a viewer called Barbara who's bought one of the Cricut machines, Mike. And how do you cut yep. a full page of A4 300 GSM card? Um, because mm -hmm. at the moment she's only able to do 8 by 11 inches. Where's she going wrong there? Mike? Okay, Barbara. So if you're just cutting A4, that will easily fit onto the mat. So if you see the mat here, this is the carrier mat. This is 12 by 12 inches, which is, I'll fix that in centimetres, just over 30 by 30 centimetres. So this will comfortably fit an A4 piece of paper and A3 as well. So you can go up to the maximum here. So if you put that on, um, you mentioned that you were using 300 and something GSM paper or card. So that's quite heavy, but the Cricut will easily cut through that if you're using the Cricut Maker. The, if it's the Explore Air 2 that you've got, that should also go through as well. You might need to play with the settings a little bit when you come to cut it. But if you search for heavy cardstock, I'd recommend try that setting first. That's a good, a good place to go. Maybe test on a scrap if you've got some, because if it doesn't quite cut all the way through, then you can easily just up that pressure in the settings. You can go to the material settings and just tell it to either cut a few times to go through or use a little bit extra pressure. So 
You will definitely be able to do that. It just might be a case of doing a few little practices I, first. Thank you, Mike. I think uh, she's. De I don't think it's so much the 300 GSM card stock that's a problem. I think it's been able to, and she has got the cricket. I think it's the, the cricket maker, I should say. Um, I think right. it's more doing the whole of the A4 size. It just seems to be doing eight, eight by 11 inches. Where is she perhaps going wrong? She wants the whole of the A4 cut into. A4, I mean, that's, the that mm. A4 is comfortably smaller than this map. Yeah. So I think if you just make sure you've stuck this on, lined it up nice and neatly with the top left corner. Yeah. And then when it comes to design space, make sure that your design is also lined up with the top left corner. Mm -hmm. And there will be a picture of the mat on the screen. So you can very easily line that uh, yes, up. And it's, yeah. it's just a case of moving your design around to make sure that it fills that whole page. Mm. So it, it is just a case of just making sure it lines up really. There's yeah. absolutely no problems with cutting an A4 page though. If, you, if you're cutting even bigger than that and you wanted to cut A4 into that, again, it's the same thing. You just fill this yeah. with a piece of card and then on your design space software, just draw a box that's A4 sized and then it will cut that out for you as well. Great. Lovely. I hope, I hope that, that answers your question. It's tricky without seeing the problem. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Uh, yeah, and there's a wealth of information and uh, on, on the cricket site as well. But uh, if you do have any other questions for Mike, please let us know because Mike will be with us again at five o'clock. I'm going to let Mike just get ready for another demonstration. But don't forget, buying the first time with the Cricket Maker also means you will have a free members trial uh, to the Cricket Library, which has tens of thousands of images and fonts and projects. And you know, existing members receive special discounts as well. So you'll always find something fresh new and inspiring so what are you getting well you are getting this fantastic cricket maker machine you are getting the fine point rotary blade now obviously there's lots of other blades wavy blades and all sorts you just pop that in there like so it clamps into place and it locks just have to give it a little bit of welly. I was being a bit wussy earlier. There we go. And around like that. That is for your pen. You do get the fine, um, premium fine uh, pen, fine point pen there as well. So you just take the, the lid off it and it inserts upright in there like so and clamps into place. You are getting the light grip mat and the fabric mat. Now, this machine is so clever that if you put the wrong material on the wrong mat, it just won't do it. <laughs> it understands the mat and it understands that's the material. It, it, it syncs up with your computer or your tablet, smart tablet. Um, you can do that via Bluetooth or Windows or Mac. So it's very, very um, intelligent. You are getting, obviously, the welcome book. You are getting the USB uh, cable power adapter and uh, uh, f a free trial membership of the Cricut Access, plus 50 ready-to-make projects and 25 sewing patterns. So um, this was using, actually, it's very similar to what Mike's uh, just been showing us with the iron-on foils. Yeah, how's it growing? So I mean, it might be card making, it might be fonts, um, it might be, I mean, they've got some beautiful quilts behind me, uh, and this rocket, I mean, you know, you might be actually cutting out patterns, you might be cutting out felt shapes, uh, dinosaur shapes. I think we've got a, a, a lovely... Um, felt carousel sampler set as well on the show red orange yellow green blue uh purple pink white and black only 8.99 um so we've got those on the show as well um we do have the basic tool set obviously mike was using uh the little um uh, scissors there and you've got the weeder there um, so the spatula allows you to lift it clearly off the mat you've got your weeder so you can work really precisely you've got the scraper so you can clean the mat and apply the designs obviously the scissors to cut with ease and the tweezers to hold securely that's uh, extra there brand new today though 24 pounds 99 723 and then you know just looking at the book here i mean there's 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 loads of information a quick easy get going guide it'll tell you about images it'll tell you about um fonts that you can use if you like to do repeat projects yeah if you're doing your cards i mean i don't know what your craft project is but the cricket maker will make it so much easier and really very very advantageous cards printables you know, soft crafts, the different materials you can use, um, quite incredible. And uh, loads of revolutionary tools that you can use with it in terms of blades and pens. The rotary blade, the knife, oh, the rotary blade's brilliant, I've seen that in action. Look at this quilt, I mean, if you are doing something like your patchwork quilt and you want precision in terms of the triangle size, the little square size, if you're, if you're creating the different patterns, the quilting patterns, 
this machine can do it all for you. It's quite, quite astonishing. So three seven nine ninety nine. We've got that on three flexi buy payments of one hundred twenty six pounds sixty six zero nine one six four one. OK, Mike mentioned the uh, the press. So we've got those on the show as well. I'm going to talk to Mike uh, about these as well, because we've got some different sizes, I suppose. I guess it depends on your project, really. This is the largest that we've got on the show today. This is the 12 by 10. I mean, they're so intelligent. Again, press the button. You desert, des 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 determine what heat setting it is, obviously. for, And it will give you guides as well. Uh, and the timer, it will set. Uh, you've got the, the safety mat as well while it heats up. What it gives is that even distribution of heat all over. So you literally can press. Uh, I know the mic warmed up the material to start, which is good practice. But after that, it's just you know a case of just, just press. Well, you don't have to press anything. You don't have to apply any pressure. Just pop it, pop it down. The cricket does it for you. And then the timer will cease and you'll hear that beep. So this is our largest. And we've got this on the three flexi buy payments of £80, 673-000. Then we've also got, so this is if you're doing, you know, your, your, your foils and um, different, um, different materials, press-ons, irons-on as well. This is the 6x7, so lovely again. Again, does the job. Lightweight there, 124.99, We've also got that on FlexiBuy, three FlexiBuy payments of £41.66. And, you know, to get the easy press mat as well is also good because you do need a, a good surface to work upon. And this is just so dinky-doo. The Mini. I've got to ask Mike about the Mini. I've not seen the Mini until today. I just think this is so beautiful. And obviously, you've got the protective stand there as well. Uh, this is the Mini, £54.99. Lovely even distribution there throughout, which sometimes you don't get with irons, and obviously it does a much higher degree in terms of heat. Got that on two flexi by payments of twenty-seven pounds fifty. There, seven seven six one two three. Mike, what's the? Um, I know you're you're preparing for another demonstration with the cricket because it can do so much. It's important that we see uh, a sample of uh, some of what this technology can do. What's the? What would you say is the advantageous? Uh, what, what what are the advantages of having certain sizes when it comes to the hot press? Yeah, I think. Um, well, before I answer that, it's worth saying that all of the heat presses do use the exact same technology so not one is better than another they all use the Great. same technology get to the same temperature pretty much the same the only difference is the size um so it really depends on what you want to make with it so the larger one obviously is better for larger size t-shirts or bigger projects so if you think you're going to be making um say I don't know, uniforms for sports teams or larger home decor pieces, that's going to save you a lot of time rather than doing that sort of step-by-step -step part that I mentioned. Um, the 9x9, nine nine, which is the one that I use, I think is a really good kind of intermediate size. Um, and the 6x7 as well is really good as well for slightly smaller t-shirts, but again, good kind of intermediate size. Then the Easy Press Mini, which is the newest one of all, um, I think it's less than a year old actually, is... Probably shouldn't have favourites, but I think that's my favourite because <laughs> it's just so tiny and amazing. I love it. So this is great for applying um, iron-on designs to things like baby grows, where you might have kind of awkward tight sections. I think I'm actually going to talk about that a little bit more at five o'clock, so I can show you some examples right. there. But that's really good for avoiding buttons and seams where you don't want to apply heat to them or zips. But it's also really good for sewing as well. So I use it to press open oh. my seams. It's permanently sat next to my sewing machine in my craft oh, room. Okay. And I always reach over to it just to press open my seams or yeah. um, any sort of hemming, anything like that, just to make sure that it's nice and neat rather than going up and down to the kitchen and ironing and all that, which becomes a bit of a faff. So it's a really, it's a really versatile and handy little machine there. Fantastic. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, the heat press. Sorry, I think I called it the hot press. I do apologise. Uh, that, that is the newest addition to the family. That's, that'll explain why I've not seen it before. £54.99, seven seven six one two three. And Michael will be going into more detail with that in the five o'clock show. Well, let's go straight back to Mike now for more demonstrations uh, with this fantastic piece of equipment. Right, so you did mention just then that we've got um, some felt on the show today. So we've got the um, carousel sampler felt here, which is Cricut's own felt pack. So you can see just along the top all the different colours. In fact, maybe a bit easier on the back. So we've got a few shades of red and pink, yellow, green, purple, blue, orange, black and white. So really kind of versatile pack here. And I'm going to make something with this bright summer yellow here. So this, I know you guys can't feel it at home, but trust me when I say this is a really nice quality felt. It's kind of 
it's strong it's not flimsy like craft felt that you might get in some craft shops where it's a little bit more for kids crafts this has got a little bit more structure to it so it's it's going to hold up to things like applique if you want to do applique cushions or jumpers as well as smaller soft crafts but in saying that it is nice and soft and tactile as well so it's kind of the best of both worlds when it comes to felt and i thought we would make these little coasters today so you can see this little citrus coaster here so I've cut all of these shapes out already in the green and the white felt, and then I've just stitched them together. So you can glue them together if you're not much of a sewer. So just a little bit of fabric glue, but I've actually just top stitched around there for a little bit of decoration. So nice little decorative kind of quirky coasters. If I don't know, you're having a few people around into the garden, uh, you know, social distancing, obviously, but if you're having people around in the garden, maybe a little coaster like that is quite nice. So I'm going to grab my pink mat this time. So I mentioned at the start of the show that this is just for cutting fabrics on. So felt is classed as a fabric in this case, but obviously things like cotton and denim and linen, anything else will go onto this mat as well. So again, I'm just peeling off that protective plastic sheet, keeping that to one side for later. And then I'm going to place my yellow felt nice and neatly on top of here again. So again, just trying to line this up as best as possible, but don't worry too much. And then I'm going to use my brayer tool. I don't think I mentioned this before, but it's good. Again, not essential, but it is good just to give this a good press, just to make sure you get that maximum stick so it's not going to move anywhere. It's particularly important with fabrics like, um, say, cotton or something a little bit more lightweight, where you've probably got a few creases and a few little bumps in there it's good just to kind of basically iron them out to make sure it's nice and smooth so i've stuck that on and you'll notice as well that this is perfectly sized to the cricket mats because cricket make this felt then they know this is what we're going to be using it for so you can really get edge to edge filling of that mat so you can maximize it which is great because nobody likes waste we want to make sure we get our money's worth and we're not losing any um off the edge that we have to trim or anything like that so I'm just going to jump over to my screen again. So I've already got this set up. Um, I've already, so this, I should say, this project isn't one that I've designed myself. Same with the previous one. This was all found in the Design Space Library, the Cricut Design Space Library. So some of the projects are free, loads of them are free actually, but some of them you do have to pay a small fee for. But it's worth just having a look through, even before you get your Cricut machine, just at the wealth of pre-designed, ready-to-make projects that are there already. So I'm just going to make sure that it's chosen felt and I'm now going to change the blade. So it's saying put the rotary blade in. So all I need to do is just open that clasp, take the fine point blade out, which is great for paper and card and vinyl and iron on. But for fabrics, we want to use the rotary blade. So this is I'm sure you've all used a rotary blade before, handheld rotary blade, great for cutting um, fabrics. This is a mini version of it. So it's about a centimeter in width and it's basically just going to sit in there and glide over your material and cut through fabric really, really well. And this pretty simple idea is in part what makes the maker so much better than the previous machines because this whole tool system has been designed to take additional tools like that rotary blade that the previous Cricut models can't take. So they can't work with these additional extra tools. But because the maker can, it just massively opens up the scope of what you can make with this. So I'm just going to check on the screen. Yep, that's looking good. Again, it's flashing. It's saying, right, I'm ready to go. That's locked and loaded, ready to go. Then it's going to have a little think, and I'm going to press the flashing button again. And then again, it's going to have a little think just to make sure, right, have you definitely changed it? You've definitely put the rotary blade in. I haven't accidentally left the wrong blade in. If I had, it would just stop and it would say on the screen, hold on, you need to change the blade. There we go. So that's happy now. That's going to go across and cut through this. Now, felt is probably one of the things to cut on the Cricut Mail. So I think I find it. It's such a clean finish on obviously it doesn't fray or anything like that so i think it's quite satisfying the shapes that you can cut from this surprisingly intricate and detailed and, and really accurate shapes that you can cut time and time again so if you want to make 
something like, uh, say, bunting, for instance. If you've got some bunting and you wanted to applique some felt designs onto it, you could repeat the same shape over and over again for each flag and get perfect consistency in a fraction of the time it would take you to cut and draw it all back by hand. So really, the cricket maker is just going to free up your time for the actual crafting and making and designing part of craft. And it will do all the cutting for you, which can be a little bit tedious and time consuming. Right. So that's just over halfway. So right now it's just cutting all those little segments of our, oh, this is a lime. This is going to be a lemon. So it's cutting all those little segments now. And these are quite small. So these are about maybe an inch, sort of two to three centimeters in size. So this is quite small. But it can cut even smaller than this if you want to. The main restriction on what you can cut is probably going to be the material, what the material can hold up to. So if you're cutting something like, uh, say, a tweed, which is quite high fray, obviously, if you're cutting a tiny shape from that, it's not going to handle it too well because it will just fray. But if you're cutting paper or card that can stand up to a little bit more, you can get incredibly intricate designs on this machine. Right. How are we doing? I always look at this when it's cutting and you can barely see the cuts and I always have that slight moment of panic where I think, oh God, has it not worked? That's yet to happen once. It's, it's always worked, but because it's just such a fine cut, this blade is so sharp and so thin and so neat, you can't even see it until you actually peel it off the mat. Right, I think that's done. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to just eject that to gain the bottom of splashing to tell me. Now, just to prove you can't see anything there, but it has cut, I promise. So I'm going to use my little tweezers. So these are flat ended tweezers. These are great for this mat because you really don't want to be touching the sticky part, the adhesive part on any of your mats, just because everybody's fingers have sort of natural oils, might be a little bit grubby, even if you wash your hands, then um, you don't want to be getting that onto the mat because it can interact with the adhesive slightly. It's not going to be a huge problem, but if you make a habit of that, it's not great for the lifetime of your mat. So instead, I'm going to use these tweezers, which are in the basic tool set, just to take that edge off. And now, in fact, I'll lift it up to you guys. Now I can peel that away slowly. And I'm not sure if the contrast is quite enough there for you to see it, but that has left our circular design and our little segments there which is good so i can now peel these off again using the tweezers and if you peel this off and you notice there's some little threads or little bits that are still stuck onto your mat if they're quite large then just try peeling those off again with the tweezer tools but if it's just little threads like if you're cutting cotton or something like that and it's leaving a few threads behind then it's best just to leave them on there with the fabric mat Instead of picking away and trying to clean it, that's probably going to do more damage than good. A few threads or a few bits of fluff from the felt isn't going to affect it at all. You'll still be able to stick things down on it, and that rotary blade will glide right the way through it. It's not going to snag or pull. So really, you want to try and touch your mat as little as possible. And they do last a good long time, the mats. Uh, I'm talking in the region of years, really, depending on how much you use them. Obviously, if you use them every day, it'll last a little bit less. But if you look after them, they'll last you a good long time. Right, so I've already cut out the white already. So you can see all I need to do now is just glue this together. I'm not going to do that on the show because you don't need me to show you how to glue. But you can see how this is coming together really nicely, all of these things here. And, you know, in a couple of minutes, I could glue this together or stitch it together and have a finished little coaster like that, nice and easy. Whereas if I was cutting that by hand, I mean, that would take me as part of an hour to do, but instead it's taken me five to 10 minutes. So again, it's just speeding up that kind of slower, more tedious bit of the craft. So you can get straight to the fun bit of making and using and giving away your crafts as gifts. Fantastic, Mike. You're making me thirsty talking about lemons and limes now. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> Uh, so I just actually want to go back on something Mike said about how fine that uh, those blades are. So if I just show you this here, I don't know how close my director can go, but this is the fine blade. Uh, just to show you how, look at that. I mean, I know Mike was using the rotary blade, for, which is perfect for fabrics, but honestly, isn't that amazing? Then you would have a knife blade for something like balsa wood and chipboard and um, sort of deeper material. And your rotary blade would be, you know, for um, denim and 
poly blends and canvases. Then obviously something like this, your fine point blade, um, just just super duper for, for uh, other sort of fabrics as well. Um, yeah, paper, cardstock, poster board to vinyl and iron on. So yeah, um, and um, yeah, super. So that comes comes with it, and you know. Obviously, sometimes there are questions, but there is a, a huge support network. I'm just going to show you the back of your, you know, your guide booklet because there is the, the educational videos, there is the YouTube videos, there is the, the blog where you can talk and discuss, the Facebook, you know, the help at cricket.com, a live chat email. So there's a huge wealth of support out there, uh, as well as Mike, um, to, to help you with your cricket. So if you have got any questions, uh, please email them in in advance of the five o'clock show. So yeah, it, it is super duper because as Mike said as well, and I've seen this in action when we've had the laptop here and uh, you know, if the blade is in there and you are thinking, oh right, I'm gonna draw a nice font now, it just won't go ahead. It's that intelligent, it knows. It's like if I put a material on my light grip, it just won't understand. It simply won't accept it. It's almost like the computer says no. So it is super intelligent. You just seriously can It's almost like it's held, holding your hand to guide you through it. It is that intelligent and brilliant. Three flexi by payments of £126.66. The ultimate cutting machine that's going to save you so much time and give you that precision for projects over and over again. Uh, how do we take advantage of uh, flexi buying? Well, let's hear from Leonie. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Indeed, and spreading the cost. Now, I appreciate this is a considered purchase. So I've got one last question for you, Mike. Uh, we've got a few minutes left together. Can you believe we've reached the end of this show until we see you at five? We're getting in the lift together. I've been dithering, dallying. I don't know. I can't make up my mind about the cricket. You've got three minutes to tell me about why I need to have this in my life. Off you go. Oh, gosh. OK, so... I think the cricket maker in particular is is basically going to be allow allow you to be your creative best. So it's going to unlock so many things that you currently just can't do at home, both both in terms of what you can cut. So cutting really heavy materials like um, kind of really heavy denims or balsa wood or chipboard that's really quite difficult to cut by hand. It will do that for you. But also in terms of accuracy and speed and um, kind of consistency, so repetition. So you can really start to just expand what is possible in your home craft. So it really is going to allow you to be your creative best. So it's going to free up all of your time, take it away from all the cutting and all of that side, free up your time to do the fun and enjoyable bit. And if, even if you run a business, it's going to free up your time to really spend your time actually making the products and spending time making the products really well. This is going to do kind of the legwork for you. Um, as well, it's also going to grow with you. So with the Maker, you have this adaptive tool system that I briefly touched upon that allows it to take that rotary blade. It's not just the rotary blade that it can take though. There's also a wavy blade, which cuts a slightly scalloped edge. There's a debossing tool, which um, is basically like embossing, but the opposite. So you can deboss into card and paper. So you can really kind of indent designs. There is, what's the other ones? There's an engraving tool. So that's a really strong, sharp tip that it can engrave into the likes of Perspex and plastic and leather. So you can start to do beautiful, detailed, accurate engraved designs. And I mean, this, I'm barely scratching the surface of what it can do. It will truly will grow with you. So even if right now you think, okay, I could use that for this particular thing. That's amazing. I want to use it for that. I want to make some cards or I want to make some birthday gifts for a few friends or just personalize some t-shirts that I've got that I haven't really worn in a while. 
you might buy it and just use it for that for a few months and that's great that's worth it in itself but pretty soon you will get the itch to want to do more because it can do so much more so it will truly grow with you as your interests and your skills and your confidence starts to grow well you'll be glad to know i am convinced you didn't need to convince me i was already with you uh <laughs> what can we expect to uh, be doing with you at five o'clock mike yeah, so I'm going to be using the Easy Press Mini. So I'm going to be oh. doing a little layered kids design. So a little summery t-shirt with a few different layers of iron on using that Easy Press Mini. And I'll talk a little bit more about that then. And I'm also going to be cutting some more fabric. So I'm going to show you how to cut different types of fabric. So we've already shown how to cut some felt, but I'm going to show you how to cut cotton. And if there's time, a few other types as well. Fantastic. Mike, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your brilliant oh, explanations. You. We'll see you at five o'clock. Uh, we'll, in the meantime, if anybody does have any questions, email them in advance to us or put it on our Facebook page. Uh, we'll join Mike at five o'clock and hopefully he'll be able to answer those for us as well. So let's have a look at the website as well for all the extra accessories such as the basic toolkit, the uh, applicator and remover. You've got the strong grip cutting mat. Actually, we didn't get a chance to talk about that with Mike, but there's the iron on everyday iron on cricket sheet there as well. We've also got some fantastic uh, fabric samples there as well. And there is the wavy blade if you want to create, yeah, lovely wavy edges, almost like Rick Rack, isn't it? And that fantastic quality felt there as well. Eight ninety nine, beautiful leather material metallic gold there if you want to create a purse or a bag uh, and there's the tote bag and uh, some other extras there as well well I hope you've enjoyed exploring the cricket with us it was a, it was a brief hour but we'll be back again at five so much more to explore on this machine it really is a wealth of information and uh, so easy to use but there's plenty more still to see this afternoon on our chanda Yes, we're going to join Lucy now for Sweet Poppy Stencils with Hayley. And then we've got Design and Sew. And last but not least, Last Chance on Sentimentally Yours One Day Special. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the Craftbox shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Your Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda.
Pochanda News. We're excited to announce that from the 1st of July, our broadcast hours on Freeview will be extended to 10 p.m. each day. We know that many of you have been missing our live shows in the evenings and we look forward to having you with us once again. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and Pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Welcome back. We've got another hour of sweet poppy stencils. And I was kind of in the sidelines when the first show came to you. And we were so, so busy. And that busyness has continued throughout the whole of that hour. So much so that we have had items sell out. And we have got things that are on the verge of selling out as well. So make sure that you jump ahead on the website and have a little look. And needless to say, I've got the lovely Lucy. I love working with Lucy. Hi, you, Lucy. Hi. <laughs> it's lovely because she's actually directly opposite. But through the powers of technology, we're speaking via a camera. I never <laughs> Know where to look normally. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know we've got some lovely demonstrations coming up, and I think you're going to be working with that wonderful um, lamp post. It was very popular yes. last hour. Yeah, I want to show you. Obviously, I thought I had things prepped and I didn't have things prepped there at home. Oh, um, so I want to show you how wonderful it looks foiled. Um, it's so elegant and so simple to do as well. So that's that's my first one I want to show you. Oh, lovely. Now, we're getting new viewers all the time here, Lucy. So for anybody that's not seen a Sweet Poppy show before, can you tell our lovely viewers a little bit about yourself and the whole kind of ethic and the way that you kind of come to be here at Achanda? Okay. Um, so obviously, it's in the brand name, Sweet Poppy stencils um, we're a family run business um, and the whole thing is about giving you quality beautiful designs but in stencil format and then giving you added on extra products that complement our stencils so everything is to do with stencils but stencils with a difference and this is what I love now I, I'm not gonna lie I did use stencils probably 10 maybe 15 years ago didn't get on with them brilliantly but are you gonna be able to give me some hints and tips to convince me that it's a, a good way of crafting nowadays definitely just follow the rules and you'll be happy with what you get it. <laughs> look forward to it and the thing that strikes me is when I actually look at the results that you're getting with these lovely stencils they are incredible and they are obviously metal stencils which you, of course will chat more about with Lucy as the hour progresses but have a look at these it's the definite it's kind of that that definite detail that you get with this I was speaking to Lucy before we even kick the show off saying I can't believe the fine detail that you are able to get with a stencil and here you can see we've got metal stencils and of course these are really going to come into their own if you are using them alongside those foils and you can see they're just as twisted I mean this really gives that professional almost like printed when I say printed look I mean are you gone to a printer's to get that yeah. foiling done yeah so you always pay um, if you're getting invitations or cards anything that's foiled anything that's embossed you pay a premium for so mm. this way with the stencils we can show you the, the cheap way of getting a quality finish to your 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 home decor products well this is it and the key thing mm. is when we're looking at these pieces of card here these are almost kind of you, you scraps your bits yeah. that you've got left over but you certainly wouldn't be throwing them away if you can do this with them and they were my scraps I had lots of okay. little scraps left so yesterday I thought right what looks prettier than a stencil a finished a finished little border or a finished little saying 
Now, the beauty is the details on your screen are not going to get you like a choice of. You are getting all of these. And they're some of the most useful sentiments that you could wish to have in your stash. Love the fact that we've got some horizontal as well as vertical. Because, of course, um, Lucy's not just kind of thinking to herself, right, this is the way that you're going to be making your card. She's covering you for all eventualities. And that is the beauty of these. Now, do make sure you stay tuned because Lucy will let you know what else you need if you want to get that foiling technique going. Um, but if you did watch earlier on and you already know, by all means, pop those goodies into your basket. But we will see it come to fruition during the course of the hour. 65% of the stock of those have gone though, so if you want to get hold of them, I'll probably do it sooner rather than later if I were you. Now, more designs to share with you, and we've got to pick a mix this time, so you can choose. Again, we're not presuming you're going to want particular pairings, so um, you can choose any two of these, but they could be two butterflies, they could be two lampposts if you're wanting to do things kind of like parallel and save yourself a bit of time, or you could just go for a couple of them together. Now, the last post featuring that beautiful Victorian style lamppost is the newest of all of these um, it's the first time that we've seen this here and it is now limited in stock so potentially we could lose that one during this hour so if this is one that you really really like and I must admit this is one I think it's a classic design for Christmas but equally so I mean here you can see where it's teamed up with the little hair there okay we've got holly around here but this could be anything that you wanted to put around then it doesn't wouldn't look out of place like i love this all that fluffiness there. it looks like he's had a good old shake and the the raindrops have got onto his fur maybe you're working with the cat then again that's going to work beautifully well and if you are thinking of a quick and easy christmas card then you can't go far wrong with that it's a classic look isn't it don't think about just using them as silhouettes though because of course mixing out the medium that you're popping through your stencil can really change uh, the design and don't forget if you add in a little bit of foil to these as well they are going to look totally different each and every time that's the beauty of these absolutely gorgeous so that one is your lamppost but of course and you've got your tree and I love this one I mean I love the way it's almost like a, a willow tree or it's got a bit of a wisteria look to it because of that twisted um, trunk that you've got with it really lovely kind of fantasy style tree um, and a really pretty one to work with it's not a year rounder isn't it really look at this isn't that amazing? Done with the glitter. Oh, that looks gorgeous. I love the little tiny drops at the end there where you've got the different colours coming through. Very effective. And again, here you go. This is the kind of result you can receive and get with these. Now, Lucy, is that one of the foils there? It's foiling. That's Julie Rose and she's um, used the medium. So the medium are the magic. Um, and then she's used a heat stencil foil over the top. Um, and then combined it, because that design is a Lavinia Stamps design, um, she's combined it with some of Lavinia Stamps um, stamps. So ah. they, they complement each other. Don't they just because it's such mm. a similar style? And there you go, another version there, as you can see. Not quite sure whether the fairies have grown or the trees tr um, shrunk on that one. <laughs> you can decide between the two of those, can't you? But they are beautiful designs, and they are perfect if you're wanting to team them up with other things that you've got in your stash. This card here, I think this would look fabulous. I mean, it is a card, but I think that would look amazing in kind of like a 12 by 12 frame, perhaps, mm. to give to somebody. Um, it's, it's got kind of a, I don't know, it's got a look of a, maybe a, a sympathy look about it. So if it's not such a happy situation, or maybe a, a new home, you could use it in exactly exactly that same environment if you wanted to but um, again it's one of those choices when you come into your, um, your pick and mix but we've got more options more choices for you and we've got the twisted vine which might be a nice one to work alongside the tree that we just saw there a few moments ago and this one you can see the twisted vine but you can see kind of you've got those little kind of squiggles and wiggles as I like to call them coming away from it this is lovely because I think this one would work either going in one direction or the other in fact because it looks like it's a vine kind of with the tendrils coming down but I think that if you want to, you could actually turn it the opposite way around and it almost looks like a jack in the beanstalk kind of um, going upwards so here you can see that's the way that it was intended because obviously you've got the sentiment on there but if I turn that round I think that works really well that way as well and maybe top and tailing them making them into a really long board or maybe to go around a picture frame or something like that again perfect to use in a variety of different mediums there you go straight away I've put that one up upside down but it looks just fabulous the other way around as well um, so this is the beauty you are going to have loads of fun with these we mentioned up and down but what about sideways left to right right to left it doesn't really matter you are going to get some wonderful results every single time you pick that stencil up so if you fancy that one then you can pop that one into your basket as well that one is your twisted vine and then there is one last one to share with you which is the most beautiful moth 
you'd think it's a butterfly when you're looking at this, but it's so decorated. I mean, absolutely beautiful intricacy. Who'd have thought those little tiny circles, those tiny dots that um, are part of the stencil, that you would be able to pick out on? But don't you worry, you can. And that's something that I know with Lucy. She'll look at the designs, and they've got to be right before they actually get released. And look at that. I mean, down to here. That tiny, tiny detail. It amazes me every single time when I see these. Beautiful to use, as you can see there, with the glitter. But what about using as that gorgeous, classy, solid black there? Doesn't that look amazing? Of course, you don't have to stop with just using the whole stencil. Use part of the stencil, which I think is a lovely idea. And of course, what you can do is more to use it and then actually build up those wings and give your project a lot of depth and dimension. Have you seen the price on these, though? I mean, these are amazing. The price is $17.99. It's going to get you to choose any two of these that you so choose yourself. We don't pick them out as well. And it, oh my goodness, you've got Freedom Members discounted price. £16.19. Incredibly affordable affordable and they are some of the most used stencils you will find they're not going to get put away you will have these out on your work area pretty much all the time because you'll always be going to these ones now if you're going for the indian moth and you fancy the idea of creating those butterfly those kind of wings should i say um rather than the butterfly the moth wings then it's a good idea for you to get hold of the and um, the dye that works alongside that fabulous stencil so here you can see you've got the marriage of the two so if you've gone for your pick and mix and you're wanting the dye as well then just 10 pounds and 99 pence it really is a good size dye and again whether you're using it um, to mat and layer whether you're using it to do that dimension it really does make the difference I'm not being I'm not a big fan of cutting out and these these kind of antennae and these little wispy bits at the bottom well I can tell you now if I was cutting that out with scissors they wouldn't be on the card now my goodness 60% of the stock has gone I've got a feeling when we're looking at that pick and mix if you've not already got that moth then you will be adding that in and I hope you are considering the dye as well because it really is going to save you some time and of course don't forget you could cut out um, using your pretty papers as well with that if you wanted to couldn't you absolutely beautiful time and time again if you fancy popping this one into your basket then 421429 is that all important item number but as I say if the dye is going in your basket do not not forget about that stencil if it's not already in your stash you definitely need that one adding in and if we're thinking about winter maybe Christmas coming up dare I say then this is definitely one to add can't believe how affordable these are $12.99 and of course if you look after your stencils and again uh, Lucy will give us some housekeeping ideas on these then they are going to be with you well I don't like to say for life, but for, for however long you're looking after them, I think that is the key thing. They're not something that you're going to be thrown away because it's a case of that after a couple of years, they've gone all tatty and you new, need brand new ones. These are classic designs that you will be using potentially for this Christmas and many more Christmases to come. And the beauty is as well, when you look at these, oh, I'm losing that little one in the middle there, sorry about that. Have you noticed what we've got going on here? We've actually got that stag um, featuring in both dimensions because, of course, these ones are instantly reversed dependent on which side you flip that stencil over to so if you fancy this particular one then the details are there on your screen you mean very good company has been a very popular chap so 313-850 if you're wanting to pop this one into your basket now what about considering what you're going to be using when you're working with your stencils then perhaps it's a good idea for you to go for some of those essentials and they are essentials um, I remember working with Lucy before and she was saying one of the things that many customers come and say is that they're having troublesome stenciling shall we say and then she'll always say to them first of all right talk me through what you're doing and one of the first thing that comes to light is they're not using the right style of spreader this one is absolutely perfect you'll see Lucy working with it throughout and it really does make the difference as does the stencil tape and the key thing having that magnetic sheet in there that is going to mean that you've got your stencil holding on and grabbing to that um, cardstock to ensure you are going to get that fabulous finish 11.99 all of that absolutely brilliant value for money so um, at six eight three at four um, nine two and don't forget if you're working on a couple of projects at the same time it might be worth getting a couple of those sets so you can get yourself a little mini production line going right i'm going to hand over to our lovely lucy and i can't wait to see what you've got planned i can see you've got that lamppost there lucy okay so i'm all prepped with the lamppost um i just wanted to show you how wonderful the foiling is um and I know this is not on the poll, but it is on the website. So we try and keep some stock with you for um, the foiling because they're specialist heat, heat stencil foils. So you can't use your laser foils. Um, 
they're not going to work. Cold foils, they're not going to work. You've got to have a heat stamping foil or a stencil foil to do it with. Don't need no expensive machines, just a cheap old laminator. So I've got my magnetic sheet underneath, I've got my cream card, and I've got my stencil tape screened off. So I'm at the top, 45 degree angle, and I'm just pulling that across. I'm not pushing it in. Um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to force it in. So you're gently just dragging that across. Lift up. And which of the paste is it that you're working with again, sorry? Right, for um, the stencil foils, if you're foiling, any of them will work. It okay. doesn't have to be a specific one. I do have favourites. Um, I think my go-to are always my pearl white, my translucent and my gold. Because I can do so much with those. Um, but if you were going to go with one, we'll always push customers towards one of the whites. Um, because that way you can mix it with acrylic paints or mica powders, brushes, pigments, and you can create your own colours. Um, now, can so we just stop for just a moment yeah. and admire the result that you've got there? I mean, that is incredible. <laughs> do you know, I forget how beautiful it looks. I think because I do them day in, day out, I forget how, you know, the wow of getting something so beautiful and crisp and what the designers have created. Now, we've got our camera set up to really get into the nitty gritty. I mean, have a look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, I'm still here chatting about it. I hope you didn't need to get back to it swiftly. If I was going to sprinkle, yes. Okay. I'd need to sprinkle immediately. Um, but if you're going to foil, then you need to leave it to dry. Okay. And I've got one I prepped um, today and after what the show. And what sort of drying time are we talking about? Um, I can cheat with this. So the one that's was prepped is still on my windowsill um, at home in, underneath the radiator so between about half an hour and an hour over a radiator okay. is fine what you don't want to do is you don't want to heat it with a heat gun it seems to lose um, some of the tack what I've also found out um, I've had so many questions you know like any technique I'm going wrong here I'm going wrong there and it's trial and error with anything Cardstock makes a lot of difference. So if you get a lot of residue that you cannot remove from your your foils, it could be down to your cardstock. Not all cardstock is good cardstock. Um, sometimes it's got coatings and things on. Also try little anti-static. Now I'm putting the anti-static over the card, not over the image. What you don't want to do is you don't want to coat the image because you don't want to put a barrier over it. And is it always good to, to use that anti-static bag after you've done your stencil and it's dried? I mean, not yes. doing it before, okay? Yeah, always do it to, um, as soon as it's dry and just leave it because if you get any powder whilst it's um, wet, that powder's going to stick to it because okay. what you're working with, the mediums are a glue. So Fabulous. I'm just going to do, I've already prepped... I don't think you can see it, but I prepped thinking of you. Okay. These little words are amazing. They are so useful to have in your stash because you never know. Like you said, we've given you a collection that yeah. um, I thought would be the best for you. Something like an all-rounder. And I'm guessing they're a good way of using up your scraps as well because even yeah. if you, you're piecing that foil to cover each of the individual words, it still works. Exactly. But you'll keep all of your scraps. That's really important because... Um, hopefully towards the end I'll be able to show you with Twisted Vines how you can get a mixture of different colours okay. and I'll explain how you get different colours. So I'm just popping it through my laminator at the moment. Why are you doing that? I've actually got, I was going to try and hold them up to show you these fabulous <laughs> pots that we've got with obviously all the different mediums in there but then I decided my hands weren't big enough. So I've made a little <laughs> display there for you. Now of course working with those mediums is key. That is the thing that you need to make sure you've got your dimensions. Now they're dimensional because they're going to give that depth with your design and of course you have got your choice of your pick and mix there. You can choose any two for $17.99. So you've got your translucent which is going to be clear. You've got your glossy white your bronze that fabulous gold in there as well and that gorgeous pearl white and don't forget if you're going for the lighter tones those are the ones that Lucy uh, mentioned that you can add your additional um, elements to things like your micas details are there on your screen sorry about that Lucy what That's are you okay. up to next so all we're doing is we're removing our foil any residue just get a little rubber doesn't have to be one of these just a cheap old eraser will do it and you're just taking it off whilst it's warm so there's the thinking of you and there and oh, again just take off and then that gives you 
as I said, the mouse, it just ups your creations, I think, to that next step. And Beautiful. any of the foils would work for you. Absolutely gorgeous. And seeing that topper there that you've created, they're the sort of toppers that in the past I've bought and yeah. I've had a pack of maybe half a dozen of them. And because you only get half a dozen in a pack, they've kind of gone on nearest and dearest cards. Yeah. Whereas you wanted to use them on everything, but of course you've got to work within a budget. With these, you could put that lamppost on every single Christmas card you make. Oh, definitely. It is so beautiful and I love it because the girls have, they've used it not once, but twice or three times on a card. Um, you know they've coloured around to get the the hue of um, the light being on with little inks behind it it's just beautiful that's a really nice idea i love that now if it's okay with lucy um am i all right to show you a few more finished samples with yep, that one lucy? i'll get ready for was the there next anything one else you needed to do at that stage sorry no that is it that's all Fabulous. i wanted to show was the foiling how beautiful that lamp is because i think people missed out it looks pretty glittered but i think it looks even better foiled doesn't it, Josh? And we've got some lovely finished samples here to share with you. Something else I need to tell you about as well. Oh, can I show you this glitter? This is beautiful. You're getting five different pots within here. They did sell out earlier on. You've got um, and you've got them back again now. 22nd of June we're looking at with regards to dispatch of these ones. So just a little bit longer than anticipated previously. But you can get hold of them, so that's a win-win situation in my book. You've got silver in there. You've got that crystallina rainbow, which is a beautiful colour. You moss green featuring in there that soft gold and the most fiery of reds absolutely perfect collection for your christmas cards um, but all year round as well don't forget you are going to be using those colors all year round because you will be using them on other things besides your fabulous lamppost now the lamppost itself that we saw lucy working with has been a very popular stencil and you can understand why it's kind of like a classic look isn't it we're now looking at single figures with this one so i don't think it's going to be around for much longer um, but of course if it is then no good luck to you if you're watching on repeat but i've got a feeling you will have missed out of it have a look here it shows you that you don't have to use it on just a slender style topper version this could actually be on your square base as you can see here or you can have it just as a segment here and this is where it shows you how you can really mix up those dimensions to add glitter in to add your mica in there or maybe just take them straight out, straight out of the pot here you can see this one's working with that gorgeous copper that we were talking about but that equally could be the gold or again the white it could be foiled in place like that it's almost like, like it's um, breaking through a wall there I love it Fabulous design. Again, slender cards, absolutely perfect. Things like tags, bookmarks, that's going to lend itself to those very, very well. And again, you're going to be able to use it with all those wonderful inky backgrounds that I know that you've got in your stashes. Equally so, you don't have to use it in its entirety. Like this idea where you've kind of got a bauble with the, the top of the lamppost featuring on there. And similarly, you've got a little snow globe clever idea liking those but of course if you do choose to use it in its entirety that's when you can really have some fun adding that little bit of a glow there to give the um, illusion of the light or maybe i love this idea almost spotlighting and getting that gorgeous glow around that whichever way you are working with this you are going to get some absolutely amazing results you can see how much fun the design team have had working with because there's so many different variations talking less than a handful now with regards to these we're going to have to say goodbye to it very very soon i have a feeling but it's a classic look time and time again and as we were talking about with it lucy there if you've got any scraps um, i know on this one we're looking at a little bit of glitter going on here but you could imagine this being made up and just a little tiny bit of foil being used there um, even the tiniest amount of scraps is going to turn it into a usable piece i love this look at the little lavinia stamps that are working alongside it it's almost like they've come along and they've put a little firefly in there to create that gorgeous illumination there um, and again those inky backgrounds really do showcase this beautifully it's going to be a really useful one to have in your stash this is i think this is a classic christmas card there isn't it absolutely beautiful sending you warm wishes across the miles absolutely gorgeous i will keep you updated literally down to single figures on those not many of those left at all they're going to be the next sellout during the hour now your tree of faith has been another very popular um, one and 65 percent of the stock has gone of this one this one's not one that's been brand new but of course it's brand new to me because i've not seen it before and i love it really do again there's so many ways you can work with this one this one's on a little bit of vellum never even thought of them um, going through your vellum and uh, working with your stencils on there but it lends itself so well this is nice where you've kind of got the tree and then you've almost got that panel to the side there with your sentiment with your verse with your greeting in there just creating again a fabulous card and again that copper um, um, dimensions coming through there really to give you that finish beautiful um, and again here 
this one's kind of like a, a more subdued look to it. So I'm guessing if you're going for something like the clear or the translucent, should I say, and just add in a hint of colour in there, that's the kind of result that you get with this. Really beautiful designs over and over again. And this one looks amazing. You have got so much texture on this one. Look at that. You can almost get, I don't know whether you'll be able to see it. Can you see when I raise it up, you've kind of got really, really interesting touch there to the, the base there, or it could be super smooth if you want it to be. That's nice, isn't it, with that gorgeous kind of foiling behind there as well. Um, a little bit of news on that lamppost. Thank you to everybody that's been popping them into your baskets. You have been checking your baskets out, so it is now sold out. So that's one less option that we have available for you, but we still have some really nice ones, so do not worry. Um, now, of course, you've got your twisted tree there, but alongside it is the twisted vine, which works really well. Again, a really pretty design. This one, um, about half the stock has gone of this one. And again, it's another, I like this one because you could use it just little areas. You could pick out the little swirls if you wanted to. You could have it going upwards, sideways, um, kind of coming down almost like a vine hanging from above or climbing up, as I say there. Really clever designs. Oh, I've just found the one that I've just heard my producer mention, the Christmas tree. What a fabulous idea. That's a really whimsical look, isn't it? Do like that. Very, very uh, kind of a intuitive idea. Like that one. Very clever. And here you go. This shows you the way that you can have it going, um, t trailing down from the top. But equally, if I turn that round, you can see it looks just as beautiful the other way around. It almost looks like a fantasy flower that way, doesn't it? If you've got um, another stencil that you could use as the flower head there, or maybe a die cut element there. Really pretty designs. Um, and these, many of these are kind of going up and down. But of course, what you could do is use it all over and create quite a unique um, looking background. I think it's got a very much kind of an oriental look with the colours that have been used there. So some really clever ideas there. Wow, what a design team. Then the last one that you've got is your Indian moth. And this is the prettiest, prettiest moth that I've ever seen. Absolutely beautiful. Detail within here is incredible. And three quarters of the stock of this one has gone. Now, don't forget, this one does team up with the die, which I'll be telling you about in a few moments. But of course, if you're using it direct to your card, you're going to get some wonderful results. The mix of examples here, some of them are using the die. So um, the die details, if you do want those, you can pop those in alongside it. But if you're using the stencil just by itself, that's the kind of result that you could be getting or of course your stencil could just be going part off your uh, tags or your pages again a beautiful design that you can use over and over and over again I don't think you're ever going to tire of this one and of course what you could do if you wanted to is kind of just use part of it so if you wanted a shorter version maybe to give the illusion of a butterfly then you could do that or use it in its beautiful entirety and again here the multi I mean this is perfect it's the Indian moth and I love the color there I mean that looks amazing got a gorgeous look to it really is a pretty design to work with now of course your stencils you've got an amazing deal especially if you're a freedom member i mean look at the price there 16 pounds and 19 pence what a absolute bargain because you are really getting value for money with the quality of these stencils and as you can see here from the finished samples you are not going to be spoilt for choice whichever way you choose to design with these you're going to get a perfect result every single time and that's the beauty of a sweet poppy stencil it allows you to do that 17.99 is your price for these but as I mentioned Freedom members you've got a discounted pick and mix price to 16 pounds and 19 p so why not pop those into your basket now the die that I mentioned that works alongside the moth is this one here but be aware that 80 percent of the stock has gone so 421 429 if you are wanting it please go for it as soon as you pop possibly can now we've got a variety that's a, oh, that, that's like a seahorse there isn't it that's yeah it's just snuck in that that seahorse every time I do a show he tries to get in on it and there you go we managed it for a split second 421 4279 and we've just got the moth as an option for that particular one now I'll come back to the sentiments because again we've got another limited stock to inform you of um, and that is these um, and I'm not surprised to be honest especially if you're using that foiling system that we just saw in action I mean such a clever technique and not needing anything more than a laminate absolutely amazing so you can see their limited stock it's gone green on your screen I will keep you updated with this just to reiterate those uh, um, sentiments that you've got in there covering you for all possibilities you've got your happy birthdays and there you've got your Merry Christmas love the idea that they're vertical if you've gone for the lamppost can I just bring this in just to say if you've got the tall lamppost you can see I mean that is just made to work with that lamppost isn't it to run alongside it so do consider this set because I think instantly you can have a use for that one and as I say here getting some wonderful results with that foiling so uh, yeah 17.99 for all six of those that is really good value so 
708275 if you fancy popping those into your basket. Now the mediums have been busy for these and this is the way you can order them if you um, pop in online. You'll see them all there and don't forget the translucent, the glossy and the pearl white. Come as recommendations from uh, Lucy. The others are brilliant as well but if you're just getting started perhaps this is the first time that you've had a go with these stencils and the dimensions then uh, yeah it might be a good idea to go for those because then you can add things to them. Things like your micas and your glitters and all sorts of wonderful things. So pop them into your basket you can see you can choose any two of those and if you do envisage yourself using a lot of one particular one it could be two repeats of the same don't limit to you to one per customer with those now something that you might like to add into those white or the, those um, glossy um, translucents are your micas got some new colors to share with you with, as well with these and they are beautiful colors i mean look at these across the top hair top row and um, we've not seen those ones before today um, and then you've got um, some of those gorgeous ones at the bottom now you've got your baroque pink which is a hot pink absolutely beautiful oh what was it sorry Burlesque. I'm probably, oh, I can't see because there's a label on the bottom. Burlesque. Oh, I say, ooh la la. Aquarius. Ooh, oh my goodness, look at that. <gasps> oh, wow. And I know the intensity of colour of these. You're only going to need the tiniest amount. The evergreen, which is a lovely green, that's a lovely soft green like that one and this one wait for this I mean look at the sparkle that this one's is going to give to you as well and that's that silver gray as well so really nice underneath as we work our way across you've got that sunshine yellow wow what a pop of yellow that one is and then you've got that bronze alongside it which is a beautiful look um, oh, it's gold, pearl, and then bronze. Those two together, that gold, pearl, and that bronze, they work well, don't they? Like those side by side. And that beautiful blue. Sorry, what was the blue call again? Sapphire. Nice, like those. They're all on the website, though. Choose any three of those for eleven ninety nine. And again, a little bit. That's all that you need because it's the quality of these that see it through that gorgeous dimension pace that we've just been chatting about. And on the website, you'll find all the different goodies that we've got on the show today. Um, just to let you know, if you're looking for those um, sentiments, sadly, you are just a little bit too late. They have gone now. So sorry if you've missed out on those. Keep a note of the item number because, of course, we do have a brand section on our website for Sweet Poppy stencils, and they may pop up again if you do excuse the pun there don't forget those essential tools if you're just getting started today do add those in and have a look at the clear polymer sentiments say if you missed out on the stencils that might be a nice way for you to add your sentiments to your cards and your projects instead and while you are there have a little quick look at our um, seven day savers you've got all sorts of goodies on there and those prices are going to go up on sunday morning at eight o'clock so don't miss out on any of them i'm going to hand back over to lovely lucy to see what she's got planned for us in the next demonstration what are you up to lucy Okay, so we'll play with the winter stag. Um, so we're also going to play with the gold uh, medium and the mica powders. And I want to show you how you can make your paints and your spritzers with the mica powders. So I've created my background already and not everybody has um, lots of background papers and things like that. So just with a stamp and with your um, spritzers you can create your background. So all I've done, let's pop that to one side, I've got a piece of paper. I've got a little bottle with half full of water and then all I'm going to do is going to take about a quarter teats, a quarter teaspoon, heat teaspoon, gosh I couldn't say that, um, and pop that in. So you're popping it straight into your water. So That's that is our gold pearl mica. And then what you have to do, our micas are a little bit special, they have no binder inside. And the reason for that is we do not want the binder to interfere with the mica powders. So when we're heating it with the mediums, we can get a bubble texture. But if we use a mica with a binder in, it won't bubble for us. So what you'll see on the website, um, I think it's towards the checkout, I'm not quite sure. Um, this is our mica gum. Now we brought it last time on with uh, the wax but we were asked if we could bring it on separately so I popped it on separately and you're putting about the same quantity so it's about quarter heap teaspoon to quarter heap teaspoon and that will create your little misters. Um, now, and I you will find... come across that when you come to check out your order just to, to let you know folks it's online um, speak to the call operators though they'll add it into your order as well. And it's, it's worthwhile because if you wanted to make your paints, so if I added water to my micas without um, adding the gum, when it was dry, the mica would come away. So it's so important to have the binder if you want to paint with or if you want to spritz with. Um, 
I made these two the last show, so last month. They've not clogged up my spritzers. If you did find that they ever clogged up, all you would do is you would literally put that in a bowl of water and keep spritzing and it would unclog for you. So every time I refresh them, then all I do is I'll just uh, give them a little clean out. So I'm just spritzing and it's there is literally no technique to it. So I've got a lovely sapphire. And again, so let's get that working through. Lovely. So again, the um, the micas are so important as well because with a quarter heap teaspoon, say if I added that to the translucent to a quarter heap teaspoon, I've then got evergreen paste. If I add it to a white, I've then got a pale green paste so you've got so many options and we've given you a great big tub of it so that you can play and mix around and um, you know you get all these techniques then without using all of your micas up so I would normally leave that to dry and if I needed to put a second coat on I'd put a second coat on then I've got one already prepped, so pop that to one and side. So just while you're bringing that in, Lucy, can I very, very quickly mention that dye that was working with the butterflies, it has now sold out, folks. So just in case you were thinking of getting hold of it, just to warn you, keep note of the item number. It may come back at some stage, but sadly not today. So all I've done with a little bit of Distress ink, um, I think I used the peel paint one, and I've used from the Smile Set, the little verse, there's a little verse on there about um, haystacks and summer and everything. And all I've done is I've just stamped. Nothing fancy, nothing, it doesn't have to be perfect or anything. And then that has given me my soft, muted background. So in with the stencil. So we're using our stag. Now, this particular stag, this is uh, designed for us by Lavinia Stamps, um, and this is a beautiful winter stag. It's a big old stencil as well. It's one of the biggest, um, apart from the back plates, it's the biggest image ones that we do. So all we're doing is, now you can see I'm upside down. And the reason for that is, if I pasted it this way, I may catch this little bridge that's not connected to anything. If we put a bridge to strengthen it, what will happen is it will totally disjoint the stag. So we leave that and we sort of advise our customers that, you know, it's fragile when you clean it into um, warm soapy water with a nail brush. So I'll dip it into warm soapy water, I'll take it out, I'll put it on and I will give it a gentle scrub. I never clean my stencils with uh, tea towels always kitchen roll so you'll see me at shows tea towels because it's nice cheap and cheerful but at home kitchen roll so I'm anti-static I'm gonna pop that on and my tape lovely so again in with my stencil tape and I'm one and then two and I'm a little bit longer so I'm anchoring it to my glass mat I do love my glass mats so again two and down the side so if I used um, say a slippy heat sheet as I drag that across it would move with me but with a glass mat it's nice and sturdy it's not going to go anywhere so making sure I'm nicely stuck down I'm going in with I've got my cut ready because I want to add a little bit of texture to it and palette knife wherever I put my palette knife there it be okay so you could you don't necessarily have to use a palette knife you could use a teaspoon okay the palette knife is not important what is important is the spreader that's so important so we're just dolloping along and I'm quite generous with it I was gonna say there's a lot there <laughs> It's coming off, don't worry. I'm, okay. <laughs> I'm quite um, frugal with it. I'm quite, you know, bet, get it back in the pot. You've not hurt it. So gentle pushing it along. We're not pushing it down, we're pulling it towards us. Okay, so that's twice. Yeah, right, okay. so once on, once off. Maximum swipes would be three. And is it always in the same direction? Yeah, it is. Um, I find it a little bit cacanda to go backwards that way. And when you watch uh, screen printers, they'll go down and back. I don't. I tend to keep it in the same direction for okay. me. 
So take Look it off. screen printers. I mean, could we use these with things like paints that we've got in our yep. stash? Yeah, anything through them. So if I'm using paints, I tend to use um, either a sponge or stencil brushes. I'm just thinking of my fabric paints. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. You use the right medium for the right um, Ooh, look at that. Uh, like project. Uh -huh. So if it's to go on to t-shirts, these mediums are water-based, so they would come off. So you would have to use the right product for okay. it. Okay. So we've got our beautiful stag. And then to give him colour, a little brush in with our mica powders. Make sure when you're doing this technique that you do use anti-static. Micas are hard to get off your cardstock if you don't use your anti-static. They grip to everything. So again, in. So we're adding colour to it this way. And we still want some of the gold to come through. So the evergreen and the silver grey. We have not had those in stock for, I would say, two years. Wow, So, gosh. you know, we've looked at our old roots again of making mediums and um, the techniques that we use, and we've gone back to the old ways, I think, really, of showing people, trying to keep costs down hmm. and showing people how to make um, the most out of their mediums. Now, the, um, obviously, you've, you've tipped away those micas and they can't go back into the original pots, but... Is it a good idea to perhaps put them into a little tub of your own? Definitely. Put, pop them into um, a separate little pot. You've got your own specialist colour there. It's a little bit muddy, but, um, you know, don't waste them at all. Not like I do. But sometimes, I mean, that's the kind of look. Say, especially if you're doing something on more of an industrial look, then that yes. would be a perfect way to use it. So you would leave that little baby to dry. Okay, drying time he's going to be a lot longer than the lamppost because he's very solid. So I'd say a couple of hours. Okay. And don't be tempted to mess around with it. Yeah, don't put your finger in it to see <laughs> if it's dry. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're going to die cut it like I've done, you must leave it dry. I'd leave it a few hours. And then all I've done with a brush, I've brushed it off and then given it a little polish. And then all you would do is pop it, rather than put it together, I will put it together that way. And then you've got the choice of popping one of your little sentiments on, however you want. Wonderful, I love go. this. Now we've had a couple of questions come through. Now Lucy, before we go to those questions, can you give that a little bit of a twist? Because I'm dying to see that gorgeous mica come in. Sometimes we have to give it a little bit of a twist, the card that you've just made, just to show the mica off. Oh, this one. Let's see. And also the mica that on the stencil as well. Okay. So you can see it gives you the pearlescent finish. That's it. If you tilt it towards the camera. Oh, there, there you, you go. go. <laughs> Whoa! That looks amazing. There you go. That and looks then... beautiful. And again, on the card there, you can pick it out perfectly on the card there as well. That is a beautiful result. And Lucy, this, the, the mica is cosmetic grade. Oh, I see. Um, okay. Yeah. So I have it in my makeup bag as well. Oh. Um, it comes from a big makeup manufacturer and it's, you know, it is brilliant can and I it will it last you. Can I use it on your nails? Can I use it on your nails when you're kind of using clear nail varnish Do you know what? Like my um, daughter has given it to a friend who is a nail Ooh, um, like te technician, technician oh, and the glitters as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's another, <laughs> another use for them when you need them. Um, now, those questions. Sorry, we had a couple of questions. Now, Peter was the first one to email in, and he's asking about the stencils. He's planning on using them alongside acetate, so actually putting the imagery onto acetate. Will they work that way? And is there a, a, a better medium to work with out of the dimensions that you've been mentioning? Right. If you're going to use mediums onto acetate, now, the mediums are acrylic base. What you need to do is... If you don't need it completely clear, then use printable um, acetate. That's brilliant. Otherwise, give it a dust over with an anti-static bag and it'll work for you. Just don't overwork it. Okay, fabulous. That's a really good question. Thank you for emailing mm. that one in. Diane's got another question as well. And she noticed that you're using some fabulous cardstock as you've been going along. So what cardstock are you working on? She's just, took, um, just done her first foiling project okay. and she's interested in doing um, more. 
Right, so there are many companies out there that obviously I do use that aren't um, suppliers, but I do use Pink Frog as well. Okay. Love his card stock. His watercolour card stock takes the mediums amazing because um, it's a water based product, so remember it's going to soak into your card. So, um, you know, Pink Something Frogs quite as a well. It's a substantial card that can hold yeah. its own. Even jelly beans as well, I believe oh, jelly yes. beans supply to you. So, you know, jelly beans as well. So there's plenty of um, people out there. So would you recommend a specific GSM when we're looking at cardstock? Um, I try not to go anything lower than... 300 realistically okay, that um, is good. because what you'll see is you'll see it warp mm -hmm. but it will flatten out slightly and if it doesn't flatten out enough for you put it between copy paper and just run it through your machines uh, your embossing machines and that'll flatten your card out for oh, you a good tip I like that one Thank you, thank you, Lucy, for that one. Um, so there you go. Now, of course, Lucy's been working with that glass, uh, with a glass cutting mat, and uh, of course, if you're needing a glass cutting mat to actually uh, put your uh, stencils in place with your tape, then uh, you can't go far wrong with our seven-day saver. This has come to us via Oakwood, and you're going to get yourself a lovely um, kind of soft grip knife with that as well. And it's got a standard uh, blade in there, so if you do need to change it as time goes on, you simply unscrew that blade, pop a new one in, and obviously dispose of the uh, blunt one carefully. You've also got a purse ruler in there which has got metal edge to it and what that means is that when you are using it with the craft knife there then obviously use it on its metal edge and it's not going to cut into the plastic as you go so 874-853 that price on your screen there 17.99 will go up in price at eight o'clock on Sunday morning so make sure you get hold of that now of course we heard jelly bean crafts mentioned a few moments ago well we've actually got a seven day saver from them 12 by 12 cardstock a lovely array of colors including things like your Christmassy green in there as well um, you're gonna get 150 sheets for just 25 pounds and 99 pence amazing value for money so i would certainly be considering those as one of my seven day savers to go in my basket as well something else i might tempt you with if i can um, it's another one that we've got as a seven day saver i know it's been a popular one a little set of stamps here and you can see here these quirky little characters 14.98 if you're wanting those stamps you're getting 30 of those within that set so 079890 for those but the price of all those seven day savers are going to go up at eight o'clock on sunday so make sure you get hold of yours before then but do check out what the new ones are when they're released um, and we've been looking at that wonderful stencil with that majestic stack now two-thirds of the stock has gone of this one and I can understand why I mean this is a classic style isn't it absolutely incredible I mean the dimension that you've got with this is beautiful love the fluffiness that you're getting I mean we're talking about a metal stencil here but he's still achieving that fluffiness around obviously his back and his chest you can see there love that whimsical border that you've got and I'm certain that if you just isolated certain areas you could use that potentially without the stag in there just that, that kind of almost like a little arc of the circle there potentially really beautiful design and I love the way that you've got that center area that um, is really going to show off the pace that you've work with love this gift bag that we've got to the side I mean that is a really clever idea isn't it making your own um, gift bags for Christmas but of course if you are using it for your Christmas cards you'll be able to use all those wonderful elements that we've been chatting about maybe get your foil involved maybe get those lovely micas involved um, and have just loads of fun with it and don't forget we've got all the different dimension paste for you to consider adding into your basket but of course if you have got things in your in your uh, kind of your stash already many of those elements that you've already got you will be able to work a alongside these just follow those housekeeping rules that you heard from Lucy there to make sure you're keeping your stencils in tip-top condition love this idea look you've got your stag there but look who's popped up to say hello Rudolph little red nose on there what a clever idea love that idea and I'm wondering if you were to actually not use the the, the obviously you've got the antlers there he's got a bit of a, a wolf-like look about him actually hasn't he or a dog-like look we could be howling up at the moon, couldn't we? Oh, you're going to go to town with this one. You have loads of fun. Um, and again, just loads and loads of suggestions and ideas here. It lends itself beautifully to circular cards as well, as you can see there. And of course, if you have got those papers in your stash, then yes, what a perfect way of using those up. And again, don't forget, you can flip the stencil over and have it left or right term facing, dependent on the project that you're working on. Beautiful. Don't forget those dimensions, though. Add those in to help you get those wonderful results, especially if you're wanting some of these kind of shiny results. Of course, you've got your uh, translucent um, with a glossy finish and all the others in there as well. And uh, do check out, there's other colours available on 
on the website as well. So 313850. It's been a popular chat though, as our um, stag. 70% um, of the stock has gone. And don't forget, we have had sellouts during this hour. So if you've got your heart set on that one, do not miss out on it. And of course, we saw Lucy working with those micas as well. That gorgeous green. Learning so much about these. Cosmetic grade, they are. You can put them in your nail polish as well. But there you go, I digress. But these are beautiful. Now your burlesque pink, this gorgeous berry pink there, that one is now limited in stock. And these pots, can you see, I don't think Lucy could have got any more in that pot if she'd tried. I mean, it is squeezed in there. So you really have got value for money when you're choosing three of these. You're getting three of these for 11 99 So that's going to cost you about four pounds. That is brilliant. Next one is that gorgeous, almost like a teal, bluey green. And gorgeous. This one's called Aquarius. And you can really see that mica spark coming through that is beautiful I think this is one of my favorites though that evergreen I mean look at that that one is limited stock yeah you guys are with me on that one that's gonna be a very useful one anything that's got foliage and you're going, going to be going to that one silver gray I mean that is a gorgeous color isn't it beautiful do like that one and then the bottom from the far side again over here that gorgeous sunshine yellow and you can see that little bit of sparkle coming through. Love this pearlescent gold that you've got alongside it. That one, again, is limited in stock. So if that's one that you've got your heart set on, you're going to be quick with that one. I love the bronze next to that one because I think you can make a really pretty ombre effect between those two there. And that gorgeous sapphire blue at the end there. I mean, that is a gorgeous blue. Not surprising, that one um, is limited as well. Can I do a bit of personal shopper for you? If you're looking at that sapphire, if you've not put it in your basket yet, look at those two together. How amazing do those go? gorgeous couldn't help myself sorry there you go i'm gonna leave them alone now um so yeah if you're wanting to get a hold of yours pop them into your basket 173214 if you're wanting them 11.99 we've also got some stamps for you I haven't had a chance to um, show you these really but i mean you've got some lovely sentiments featuring in here a lot of stamps as well for your money you're getting 11 of those for just 9.99 so you've got traditional sentiments in there like noel merry christmas um, and you've got some really quirky little designs in there i love those snowflakes they've got a really nice modern look to them i can imagine putting little gems where those little circles are um, we've also got some uh, lovely sets here. So if you're not into your Christmas just yet, maybe we can make you smile with this set. Did you see what I did there? Um, you've got loads of sentiments in here. So these are lovely if you are wanting to add these to the front or your inside of your cards. And of course, that word smile would be perfect one for you to have on the outside of your card. 9.99 if you want to know. 614-920. Now we've got about five minutes left, Lucy, just to give you a bit of a okay. time update. Um, what are you up to? What you well, got for us? We'll use twisted vines. Okay. And we'll show how on one of the samples then there's one that's got three panels and it's got mica powders so what we'll do is we'll show it you with the foils because it is my favorite technique of the moment because um, it is so elegant and I've prepped a lot of it anyway so I don't know if you can see I've used translucent already um, and it's already gone on one angle and this is where you were saying about using it different ways yeah I think it's a so, really versatile stencil, this one. It's beautiful, and I love... I think one of my favourite samples of this, they're all beautiful, they're all favourite, um, is the quirky Grinch Christmas tree. I was thinking exactly that, and I couldn't <laughs> think what his name was. It's lovely, isn't it? That's by Linda, and it is just... It's... Do you know what? It's an old one. It's from uh, last year, but it is just so quirky and pretty. So we're just masking off and we're doing it at an angle and I'm cheating a little bit. I'm just putting two at the top and I'm leaving the bottom there. I'm and not that's, too worried. And that's a useful way of showing isolating a certain area. Yeah, that's it, exactly. So I need my spreader if I've got one. I normally have loads. Right, let me grab one out of here. Now, don't forget, the um, stencil that we're looking at is one of those pick-and-mix stencils. We have sold out of one of the options now. Um, and uh, if you do want to get hold of your, your pick-and-mix, then you do need to be quick. We've got some really nice choices left for you, though, so don't worry. And at £16.19p, uh, £16 food and members, a brilliant value for money. Lucy's found a spreader now, so we can go back out. Yeah. So. <laughs> I've normally got loads, but it's always the way. That's so, OK. All we're doing is... And it's at the curve angle that you hold your spreader and you're at 45 degree angles and you're just dragging it across back in into your paste i can see my image so i don't need to go over it again okay now with the paste because you're only using a tiny amount each time how long will that paste last um obviously shelf life they say um our manufacturers state 18 months okay but i have got older 
than that. Um, and I've had customers say that they've had it for years. Oh. Um, it's a new manufacturer that we moved to about five years ago. Okay. And my tester ones are still perfect. So um, 18 months plus, to obviously don't keep it in the sunlight. Keep it out the sunlight, keep okay. it away from heat. And keep the lid on, I'm guessing. Exactly, yeah, definitely. Keep it nice and tight. Right, so oh, you would look. take that off and you would leave that to bone dry. Okay. Okay, so pop him up away. And that is the, is that the white that you were using there? That's translucent oh, that okay, I've used there. Okay, but it goes clear after. But as I said, with this technique, you could use gold, black, pink, blue. It, they would all work for you. Okay. So I've got one that's already dry. And again, remember what we said about the anti-static on the naked card? Just to try and help ourselves a little bit. Now, if you wanted this effect. Oh, wow. So you've got multi-colours. Okay. Beautiful. All you would do is you would get lots of different bits. So all your waste. Mm -hmm. And you would lay it over and build up until you're completely covered. Okay, with all your different colours. Most important is you cannot leave a naked part because it will seal to your piece of um, printing paper. Okay, we're going to go with the heather. Wonderful. And again, don't love. forget those foils if you are wanting to get hold of them. Um, we do keep those on the website. Now, Lucy, I know earlier on, just as you're getting that ready, um, you had the fabulous snowflake, and there's going to be a dye that works alongside it. Now, I believe you're going to be back next month with those, is that right? Yes, yeah, we're back, told me. back on the 10th of okay. July. Lovely. Um, and we'll bring the new snowflake dye um, in with us, as well as. I think there's three other new ones as well. Ooh, yeah, ooh, so time to get ready for those. Very and social excited. media wise, how can we find you on social media? Because I know that you've got loads of uh, design teams sharing their, their cards and projects and things. Okay, so we've got the official um, Sweet Poppy page, which is just Sweet Poppy Stencils. Um, and anybody can join to that. Or we have a new page called um, Simply Sweet Poppy Stencils, which is run by the DT team. Okay. And there, um, you know, we have guest designer competitions and um, inspiration and loads of techniques and well, questions. A, if that's nobody's... somewhere definitely worth dropping in. Oh, it's look brilliant. At. And customers sharing, it's amazing. Now, look at that. That looks it's beautiful. Gorgeous. And um, then... Down to the last 30 seconds. Can you okay, believe that, Lucy? So you'd pop your panel on. So I've got three panels. Beautiful. And then you just choose your sentiment. What That's you're going to go it. in with. There you go. Now, hopefully, you'll be able to bring those sentiments back again because, of course, they did sell out earlier. But we have got lots of goodies, including some sentiment stamps, so maybe add those in instead. Lucy, thank you so much for your contribution. I really enjoyed myself. And we're going to say goodbye to you for this hour, but we've got another fabulous hour coming up straight after this. So, yes. Sue's here and we are designing and sewing, can't wait. Then we're back with Julia, final call with a one day special, that'll be me then. And then you've got your creative best with Mike again and Cricket. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Achanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. 
So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount, off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> You see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Well, hello everybody, a warm welcome. We have got a lovely hour lined up for you and it is my absolute pleasure to be able to introduce you to the lovely Sue, who's gonna be joining us for the whole this hour. Uh, design and Sew, uh, what we've got is some fantastic kits. Uh, let me show you, uh, introduce you to Sue. Sue, give everyone a wave. Hi. How are you? It's been ages. I mean, uh, ages since yeah, we've Yeah, I think it. the last show I did with you was January. Is it really? All yeah, the way back in January? Yeah, it's been a long time. Wow. <laughs> How have you found lockdown? Have you been productive? Uh, I've been kept busy because I've yeah. been coming up with new ideas, um, sewing, and I've been doing a lot of sewing scrubs like millions of other people. Oh. Well, that's you know, a that is a lovely thing to do. Well, right? it's, you know, utilising your skills, isn't yeah. it, to help others. So, uh, but, but yeah, I've been kept very busy. Good. Well, so glad you've come in. We're, <laughs> we're actually having a chat. It's so nice in the studio. Now, we have a very large sh uh, studio space. Everyone has allocated their own little spaces. But just before the show, I was looking around the studio, uh, and we had Sue in one corner getting ready for this show. Lucy's just finished her show. Julia's getting ready over here. I thought, this is great just to have everyone back in the studio. We are absolutely 100% doing it safely, but it just changes everything. Uh, Sue, I have to say, you've brought us some fantastic kits. Should we talk you. about, tell me about the wine carrier, because I remember you brought us a wine carrier in the past, and it sold out, and then we brought it back, it sold out again. I think we brought it back like three times. Yes, the, the, the wine carriers are the most popular thing. Um, the reason I brought it back again is because I've had people contact me and ask me, when am I going to bring the wine carriers back? 
Nice. Um, and, and they really are easy to do. And of course, with the single one in particular, yeah. when you're making it up, um, if you extend the base, when, when you're cutting it out, yeah. on other fabric, obviously, okay. uh, you can make it so you, it'll fit a champagne bottle. Because we got the pattern, so then we dip into our stash. Now, what we're offering it, I think, is ridiculous. Fifteen ninety nine for a kit and the pattern. I mean, for the pattern alone, you could pay what nine ninety nine just for a pattern. Some of the patterns are absolutely ridiculously yeah. priced at the moment. I you think know, we're in the wrong business. We ought to be just doing patterns. <laughs> <laughs> but look, adding the kit, and you're absolutely right, Sue. And I have to say, I love both kits. I am uh, a little bit drawn to. That's your hexi. Uh, and I, I love the uh, wine bar as well. So the Hexagon uh, design, it's bright, it's vibrant, it's fresh. Very much of the moment at the moment, like spring and summer colours. Uh, but look at this. The wine bar, yeah. Oh, I love it. Maybe you've got a little Sauvignon Blanc in there or a Chardonnay, Zifandel. Uh, right, look. Choices, you've got two of them. Uh, and within the kits, we've got our beautiful fabrics, which you're seeing here. They feel great, by the way. Yeah, you always I, know. I, I'm very, very particular about the fabrics because yeah. if it, it takes time to make anything. So you want to be able to use it and use it and use it. Um, the mm -hmm. best quality fabric, that's the best thing you can ever do. Buy and the best quality you can afford. And it really feels good quality. So this is your Hexi. You're getting your lining fabric in there and you're also getting your wadding and you're getting the instructions. So the real joy of this kit, and I guarantee and we're already getting busy for this this will happen I promise you hand on heart you're gonna make up the kit and eventually we're starting now so they've just lowered I think the risk uh, assessment from three to four in uh, the whole of the UK so we, we are moving forward we're getting there and there's gonna be a point hopefully sooner rather than later where we start meeting up with friends and family so it might be for a barbecue uh, or just a, a get-together I was telling Sue just before the show I hate going around to somebody with just a bottle. I don't like just handing someone a bottle. I'd much prefer uh, having a nice bag to put it in. You're going to make one, you're going to give it. That could be uh, maybe something that is re-gifted around. You could tag names. Do you know what would be a great idea? What about putting a date when it was passed to you and then seeing where it goes? Tag oh, it around. Yes, yes, so that's a good can, idea. You can track it amongst your friends. Yeah. Or, you know what you can do? Once you've given one away, then you can dip into your own stash and make your, uh, more. Now, I've just been given a big update. You are kidding. A third of the wine bar's gone. Oh, We're no. We're four minutes into the show, Sue. <laughs> I haven't even showed you how to make it yet. This is what happened. This is what happened last time we featured this. Fifteen ninety nine for what you're getting, the kit. So you're getting the fabric, the lining, the wadding, and the pattern. Uh, and that's the important bit, because the actual kit is fantastic. The quality, we all know Sue, uh, and uh, we, anyone who's bought anything from Sue before will realize that she she really does ensure that every component is first rate. So the actual kit will be fantastic, but then you've got the knowledge to go on and make these time and time again. Fifteen ninety nine your price, Hexi or your wine bar are your two options. Wine bar at the moment is flying, but look, the Hexi is still gorgeous as well. Uh, right, moving on, uh, we're going to... This is nice. So, this is nice. Tell me a little bit about this. Into the Woods. Yeah. Um, I that is actually the name of the fabric as well. Um, the trees just sort of give a, a relaxing, calming They're effect. Um, and I picked the navy uh -huh. to go with it to resemble a dark, a dark sky. Oh. So you've got the daytime where you've got the trees and the lovely blue sky and then nighttime. It's so atmospheric. It, yeah. Do you know what it's captured? The, the, there's a beautiful serenity to uh, the trees in there. I've uh, got to tell you, Sue, we've only just started looking at this. A quarter of the stock's gone. We haven't what? even shown it. I know. <laughs> I wish you could have seen well, Sue's I was planning on making that up on the, on the later show as well. Well, mm, you might have to revisit that idea. Uh, <laughs> so twenty two ninety nine is your price. Again, you are getting the full kit. We've got the wadding. You've got your fabrics in there. You, even the lining fabric is beautiful. It's got that uh, wonderful soft tone-on-tone -tone detail uh, there. This is a really nice 
bag. It's a catch-all bag. Uh, I think you're going to use it for so many different guises, and the design's just stunning. You go onto the high... Um, now we're starting to go back and revisit the high streets. You find this on the high street, you would pay a fortune for it. Uh, $22.99, your price here at Hochanda. You get the joy of making it. And again, it's all about adding that knowledge into uh, your, uh, your skill set, so you're able then to go on and make more bags. Uh, 754-396, your item number. Okay, we're going to move on. This is cute. So, uh, <laughs> this, you've got something for everyone here. This yes. is fun. So, tell me a little bit about this, Sue. Well, the hanging pockets, um, they can be hung anywhere. On the doors, you can put a hook. Um, people use them for storing toiletries, toys, mm -hmm. dinosaurs, mm -hmm. all sorts of things. Um, and uh, when I saw the fabric in particular, yeah. it just screamed out to me, hanging pockets. Oh, that's fun. You know, uh, yeah. it's just a fun, fun fabric. It is nice. And they're so easy to make. Well, you've got a Freedom price on here, seventeen uh, ninety nine. if you are a Freedom member. You are getting your fabric. You're also getting the lining in there as well. Uh, and it is. It's bright. It's vibrant. Good for toys. Uh, good to hang in any room. Jimmy, our director, he likes to sometimes pamper himself. He came up with a great idea. He likes a bath bomb. Yes, yeah. yeah. And, and with that? that kit as well, Yanis, um, you get enough to make two. So oh. it makes a pair of hanging well, pockets. Oh, okay. Well, thank, see, this is a di we talked about this. This is the difference having guests in the studio. It's that uh, Julia referred to it as being reactive, because I, I would have just shown you the one. You can make uh, both of those. You're getting the fabric and the pattern, uh, but you get enough fabric to make two. So that is cool. We like that. Okay, details on your screen. Uh, do take advantage of the Freedom Price if you're a Freedom member. And of course, being a Freedom member, that is your delivered price. 452-384, your item number. Now, we're going to show you a cushion that I think is beautiful. This is a really, really nice cushion. Take a look. Uh, so this is your heart of home sewing cushion. What really sets us apart is the play with the fabric and obviously the home and the heart's design on there. Yeah. The fabric the, is stunning. And the bees on it as well. Yeah. You know, because um, there's been so many bees flying around at the moment collecting the pollen. Yeah. You know, you just see them, it's lovely. We need, to, we need to look after our bees, it's very, very important. But bees, a lot of people connect with bees. And uh, here, it's just a lovely cushion. I can imagine this cushion in a conservatory, in a living room, in an office, in a bedroom. Imagine having that in a guest bedroom. Really inviting, so if someone was coming to stay eventually when lockdown finishes, you know, you've just got a lovely little image there. Or if you wanted to make it and send it to somebody that you're thinking of, anyone would gladly have that in their home. That's just what I was going to say. If somebody's moving into a new home, yeah, because you could actually personalise it as well and put their names, embroider oh, nice. the names on, yeah. or the date that yeah. they moved in. And that's the key of making something yourself and not buying it. We can personalise it. Yeah. Uh, so you are getting uh, everything you need, all the instructions to make this. And it, the fabric, it's enough for both the front and the back of the cushion. Just showing you, so it's front and back of the cushion. It will make it. There we go. Okay, so uh, details on your screen, sixteen ninety nine. your price, 740-232, your item number. Now, we have got some fantastic pockets for you. What was, um, what was your thoughts behind bringing us these pockets, Sue? Um, well, basically, we've all got lots of bits that we have sitting around when we're, when we're working, whether it be sewing or card making or anything like that. And the children as well, they're colouring. So I thought, well, with the pockets, you could actually open them up and put bits into them and keep things nice and tidy. And they fold up to nothing. Um, if you, um, you could have put a, do hanger a lot on of there. quilting... Could you put a hanger on there? I interrupted you. I'm sorry, um, Sue. No? I wouldn't. I okay. would keep them to lie flat. flat. Okay. But if you do a lot of a quilting, you end up with lots and lots of acrylic small yeah. templates. Uh -huh. You could put them in there. That's Keep a them all together. Very good idea. Now, what I'm showing you here, oh, I like this. This is, it's a cat's life. Um, <laughs> Julia's still in the, uh, Julia, look, spoilt cat. There we go, that's Ed. <laughs> Ju Julia has a cat. Do you have a cat, Sue? I did have. Oh, okay. Not anymore, but what, yeah. What, what cats are, I, I like all animals. What was your cat's name? Pumpkin. Pump oh, cute. Lucy, did you have, do you have a cat? Oh, you do have no. Oh, I feel terrible. I keep bringing up oh, like no, such. No, I can't just, you know, I'm that's going to be quiet. Everyone's had a cat. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so your cat's life. What about here? We've got uh, the foxes as well. This is Foxy. Good names for all of these. 
it's a real innovation. I've been at Hochanda for four years now. I have never seen anything like this before. So uh, you've got the row of pockets in here. Very, very useful for any crafter because we can put anything in here and make it adapt to our workspace. The fabric is gorgeous that you're getting. It's, look, you've got the fox design and then that's that wonderful, um, there's a gold inflection uh, on the design there. Can you see that? Really nice. Uh, you're getting the full kits. If I just draw your attention to here, all the kits are the same. So you get your real feature fabric. You get uh, another sort of feature fabric in there. The lining is beautiful too. There's a, um, a design. It's subtle. It's tonal. Let me just, there you go. You can see. That's it. So beautiful lining fabric and the wadding for $14.99. And of course, you're getting your instructions on how to make it as well. Right, going to move on. Got two other options. This is your red and green. Oh, yeah. Now, this is nice. If you're an experienced sewer, would you be able to add a zip if you wanted? Yes, you could do. Um, I mean, if it was me, I would put a zip on the two center Yeah, that's ones, a good idea. You know, yeah. um, quite easily when you're making it up before you put the lining in. Uh -huh. um, do it that way. Or you could actually sew the zip with the What's lining. It? Like makeup then, bag? Yes, no. and then hand sew it. That yeah, that's a good that's a good idea. Like but that. you okay. could also, if you wanted to, uh, make a strap to go oh. round the bottom. Yeah with a little handle so you could carry it if you wanted to. Brilliant. I th see, we really have got a lot of options mm. that we can do with this. Uh, this is nice. This is construction, so a little <laughs> bit more playful. That's a fun one. Yeah, we like this. It looks like it looks like the team here at Hochanda. There we go. <laughs> oh. No, I like this a lot. So you've got options uh, for these, but what I would say to you, never have favorites, but only because uh, you, everyone at home knows I love cats and dogs, but I, I'm a big cat fan. I love, the, I love the fabric, but I love the innovation as well. It doesn't matter what option you're going for. Have you ever seen anything like this? So where are you gonna be keeping yours? It's like an accordion, uh, the way it opens up. If I just, I'll show you the reverse actually, so you can see. Folds so flat. So it folds down flat, but then when we open it up, you get the idea of how this would work. So let's think about this. Having that open on your craft desk, suddenly we can put uh, all our tools, uh, everything that's sort of clustering up your craft desk, or you can fold it flat. Great for sewing. We talked about our, our acrylic shapes that we use as well. Uh, so I think this would work for everybody. $14.99 your price, saving three pounds, 234, 254 your item number. Right, we're going to show more. We've got some fantastic bags for you. This is our Tallulah bag. Uh, now, you can get it in damsel or you can get it in blue. Mmm. Sue, so, I can't pick between the two. I love both. I know. They're lovely. Um, and it's Tilda fabric. Oh, oh. So. Ah. But I just thought, I wanted to come up with something a bit different. I do do patchwork as well, so I thought I may as well prove it. Tilda fabric? Yeah, Tilda fabrics. That you're getting here. Wonderful, wonderful designs. Uh, going now when you think about this the fact that you are getting that tilde fabric we're getting the instructions we're getting the lining and we're getting the wadding so um, effectively everything you need once you get home to get going you just need a sewing machine so, and, and a some reel thread. of cotton well, that's it and look odds are if someone's purchasing this they've got that so oh, uh, yes. 32.99 is your price it's a great size bag this is one of your uh, a, a Class it again, it's a catch-all bag that I think you throw anything in there and you're out the door. So, but really nice and the colors are stunning. So eventually, if you are thinking about venturing out, how about sporting a bag that will be truly unique, beautiful colors, wonderful, wonderful designs that we always get from Tilda, but you're getting uh, the actual innovation of the bag brought to you by Sue. $32.99 your price, saving three pounds, 973-811 your item number. Uh, we've got one more bag to share with you. This is nice. So tell us a little bit about this bag. It, instantly, you see it's got its own sort of uh, design aspect it, to it. It's a very simple design, uh, and that, the reason being because the fabric is so vibrant. Yeah. You know, it's got just all the different colors of flowers in, so you could mix it with anything. Um, and if you were going out and you just got, uh, like in the summer, <laughs> it's mm -hmm. going to arrive next week again. Yeah. Um, you know, some nice white trousers with a, a plain top. And just put that bag on your shoulder and it lifts the whole outfit. 
It does. It's such a beautiful burst of colour. Uh, just showing here, we've got, I mean, and that is a really nice durable fabric uh, for your bags. So it will last. Yeah, it's a canvas yeah. weight, so it is a very heavyweight cotton. So and it you, will last and washable. Yeah, we like that. And you've also got your lining, which you're seeing here. And then you've got your wadding in the mix as well. And look at the Freedom price. So $39.99, you're saving £7. As a Freedom member, you're saving £10.30, pence, 29 69 Now, I have some news. So, Sue, we were going gonna to be demonstrating this when? At 7 o'clock. <laughs> I don't think we are. It's oh. sold out. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's got. Don't it's, be sorry. I'll just have to put my other hat on. Okay. <laughs> There we go. So, uh, unfortunately, our Woods bag has sold out. We are having a busy show. So, uh, uh, my advice, get onto the website, get ahead of us. And if you see something that you like, uh, maybe don't leave it too long, because I can't guarantee everything is going to last the full hour. Right, we are going to go to Sue now for our first demonstration. What are we going to do, Sue? We're going to make a wine carrier. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, as I said, we... Um, Cut this one out to size, but if you're going to make one for a champagne bottle, yeah. all you need to do is, when you're cutting out, add another five centimetres to the bottom, and then add five centi four or five centimetres to the top, so okay. you've got a nice tall. So we can Otherwise, dip you won't get your champagne yeah. bottle through. Now, You'll that... give them the bag and you keep the champagne. Yeah. That's that a good be. idea. <laughs> <laughs> Just to say, the fabric you have now is for uh, in the kits. That's for a standard bottle. If you do want to uh, elongate for uh, maybe a champagne bottle, then you dip into your stash. Uh, yeah. And I also want to give you a quick update with regard to the wine bar. Uh, three quarters of the stock's gone. <laughs> so, right, well, uh, I'm making the hexy one up. Okay. So, right, what we need to do is we've got the main fabric and okay. then a piece of the wadding. So you lay wadding, main fabric, fabric, wadding and all we're going to do is just stitch along the top and I tend to use my foot on the sewing machine as a guide so you don't need to measure it I've just got the edge of the foot on the edge of the seam so it's just a, a nice straight seam across now you can if you want to go back and do it again but I've never found it necessary so We'll do the same with the lining, and we've got right sides together. So again, just stitch along the top. So uh, how long do you reckon it will take us to make up the uh, kit? Um, I would say the first one you make will probably take you an hour. Well, that's... Yeah. That's a great mate. That's, I mean, it's the enjoyment <laughs> of making it. We don't want to rush it because that's no. the joy of being a crafter is I mean, you do enjoy I, the process. I can make one at a push mm -hmm. in 20 minutes. Okay. But, you know, that's me just rushing away and getting yeah. on with it. Now, we need to open the seam. I'll just press it. Okay. Just press that seam open. And what I like to do, because people know I like top stitching, I like to just top stitch... Now, what I use with this, I use the inside of the foot as my guide. Right. And just quickly top stitch. That. It just gives you a nice finish. Um, and when you're, when you're washing it as well, hmm. it stays nice and flat. Do you tend to find that you'll discover a fabric, then come up with a design? Or would you have a design and go looking for the fabric? Um, it's a bit of both, really, um, because when I go to the, the big shows and I'm looking for fabrics, um, I've got something in mind, mm -hmm. but that can change when I see another fabric. Oh, okay. Because I can look like when I saw the gorillas. Yeah. Oh, I just fun. thought, oh, hanging pockets, fun for children yeah. or adults. <laughs> you know, um, oh. because there's so many yeah. fabrics out there yeah. now. Now, I've just got to say, Sue, sorry, I know I'm interrupting you. The wine bar option is not only limited, it is extremely limited. We're into single figures. It's going to sell out, I would say, in the next couple of minutes. So if you do want to get a hold of it, now's the time to do it because I'm going to be selling out this option very, very soon, and it's been extremely popular. Right, what we're now going to do mm -hmm. is we'll lay the... Base wadding fabric right side up and then we lay the lining so you've got right sides together 
line it up. Yeah. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to pin. You don't need many pins, but you just want enough to hold it in place. Right. So that we can actually stitch round mm -hmm. the curve. We're going to go round here and then okay. round this side. Uh, we are down to one option, the wine bar. I am so sorry it's sold out, but we still have our Hexi. So uh, this Hexi is what we're working on at the moment. Uh, it's obviously the exact same pattern, just different style. So Hexi is still proven popular. So we'll go around there. Okay. Just hold it into place. A few pins everywhere. Nice. And as I said, I'm now going to just stitch right the, just the curves. Okay. Because then the fun starts. And nice. I know she won't mind me mentioning it, but one lady, um, she bought the kit. Yeah. Uh, absolutely loved it. She rang me one, it was a Sunday morning. Yeah. You know, phone rang, uh, Sue, can you talk? Yes. <laughs> I've got the wine carrier and I'm stuck. So, right, okay. Oh. Uh, I, I said, talk me through what you've done. Yeah. So, you know, she's talking, and, and I know she's watching the show now, so she's probably thinking, that's me. <laughs> it is Carol, hi! <laughs> um, so she talked me through as to exactly where she was, yeah. and she'd done this bit. She'd right. got this far. Yeah. So I said, right, okay, now what you need to do is turn it inside, right side out. She said, I can't, I don't know what you mean. So I said, right, okay. So there's me on a phone trying to explain to somebody what to do. But we went through it, and I was going, no, pull that through, pull that through. Um, OK, right, I've got it. And I need, need to say, about an hour later, I get this beep on the phone. What I'm doing now, I'm, I'm just snipping into the curve, because when it, when it opens up, yeah. that will fall back. And lay flat. This gives a super smooth curve, but obviously the real importance here is don't cut your stitching. No, just cut up to the up to the stitching line, yeah. or just before it. Yeah. And I tend to do it all along. It's, you don't really need it along here, but okay. Well, when I'm doing this bit, I may as well carry on. So yeah, we go round, and we do the other side. Okay. As I said, once you've made one of these, mm -hmm. you'll make loads. Um, that they are very mm. easy to make. Well, they, I honestly believe once you have made one of these, if you're going out for uh, an evening, going to visit friends or a party or a celebration, you're going to you're going to make one of these. If you're saying it takes an hour to make one, and you know how to do it, every time taking a bottle uh, round someone's house, you're going to present it so much more beautifully. Well, that's why how I came up with the idea of the wine bottle carriers. Mm -hmm. We were going to a friend's part, a garden party, yeah. uh, and I didn't want to take just two bottles. Yeah. So there I was in the morning looking at the bottles. Right, what can I do? And I lay them. I thought, oh, I've got it. So there I was, yeah. drawing around the bottle and then playing. Uh -huh. uh, and I, I came up with the wine carrier. Genius. And look, you can you don't have to buy an expensive bottle of plonk. No, to make it, you they can can't see what you're giving them. Well, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, right, so now this is where she got stuck. Okay. You fold the lining back because we're going to thread all of this through that narrow gap. Right. It takes a bit of time, but what I do, I pinch, put my fingers in, and I just pinch. The pinch and pull technique. That's it. Once you've got so far, you're fine. Just pinch it and pull uh -huh. it through. And it helps just turning it round. Just grab it. Okay. My nails are a bit long at the moment. We may resort to a wet finger. Oh, that's OK. Pull it through. Wet finger again. It's a good job this is for me, isn't it? Uh -huh. Yet another one. So just pull it through. Yeah. And the idea with these as well, they are fully washable. Oh, that's great. That's brilliant. So pull it right through. That's it. Now, what we do then is press it. Just open it up. Mm -hmm. Pull that round. And all I'm going to do is just press that 
C. Now the iron's here, but we all know how to iron. Yeah. We've had years of practice. Mm -hmm. So just give it a good iron. Now, this is your hexi option, and uh, I can tell you that 30% of the stock has gone. Don't let that deceive you, because I know the wine bar has sold out. We actually had a lot more stock of the hexi than we did of the wine bar, so I don't want you to think, oh, the wine bar's gone, not many people are going for the hexi. I mean, it doesn't matter what other people think. If you like it, go for it, but we genuinely had uh, a lot more stock of our hexi. Imagine going to a party or a friend's house and giving them that. It's beautiful. And when you think, uh, I know we're getting back to it in just a moment, but you are getting this beautiful fabric, and it really does feel like extremely good quality fabric. So you're getting your fabric. You're getting your lining fabric in there as well. You can see that lining detail. And you're getting the wadding, all of that, and the pattern as well for $15.99 and because we've got the pattern we can then go on dip into our stash and make these time and time again. Sue so was saying it takes about uh, an hour to make one. Can't go wrong. $15.99 your price. Hexi is our remaining option. 166-921 your item number. Sorry Sue. No that's fine that's fine. Yes there were a lot more that sort of probably double okay. of the hexes. Yeah. So now that's what we've got. We've got this nice flat seam. So what we're going to do now you're going to fold it over and then fold the lining, the main fabric and the wadding back. So you've got the top in the middle. Turn it over and do the same again. Bring that. That was the only bit that the lady got stuck at, pulling it all through. Okay. So now what we'll do, we'll just match the seams up. Pop a pin in. Same on this side. Just make it nice and flat. I did cut the wadding out a little bit bigger, so I'll, I'll just trim that off in a minute. Okay. That was me in a rush. That's what happens, you see. You get, you get complacent and you just start cutting because <laughs> you know what you're doing. Yeah. So match the fabrics up. So Sue, as we're doing this, uh, I know you are a great lover of your cruisers. Uh, you're not able to go on any cruisers at the moment? Um, no, we can't. Oh. But we were very, very lucky yeah. because we actually had our holiday earlier in the year. We landed back in the UK the day after lockdown. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so we wow. were very, very lucky. Uh, okay, I'm glad um, we had a safe cruise. Yeah, yeah we did... Um, Melbourne to Auckland. Oh, beautiful. It was absolutely stunning. And anybody mm. that is looking to cruise, I would recommend that. It was fabulous. Yeah. So just press that out, yeah. fingers. It, just for anyone who maybe gets a little bit lazy with the pinning, it's important to pin. Yeah, it is on this because yeah. you need to make sure that it's, it's flat. Right. Now, the bottom, make sure you can get your hand in. Okay. So what I do, I just put my hand down and just mark it with a pin. Well, that's a, that is a good tip. Just mark it with a pin. Just makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. Right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to sew right the way round uh -huh. back to there. I'm just going to trim off that excess wadding so that I get a nice line. Lovely. I mean, we all know wadding moves anyway when you're sewing, so yeah. let's just trim that off, just so that I know where my sides are. Okay. That'll do. Right. So, and believe it or not, there is not that much to do now. Th that's the, w the hardest part is actually turning it through. That, I mean, that, but that wasn't that hard. Uh, it is when you, when you first look at it, okay. because you think, well, I don't know how I'm going to get this. Yeah. But um, I mean, the actual process. Once you understand what you need to do, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. No. Once you start pushing no. it through. Uh, but I mean, some people, you know, they like to just see you do that. Yeah. Of course. Um, no, it, it does look. Watching you doing this, it looks like a very achievable uh, make. I oh, think anyone a, a can do this. Oh, a beginner could do this. Yeah. An absolute beginner could do this. 
I feel like I could do this, and if I could do it, I think anyone could do it. Yeah, an absolute beginner could do this. Just making sure I've got the fabric caught in the middle. Uh huh. It's ever so strange sewing standing up because, of course, how many of us actually sew at home standing up? Uh, not um, many. Do you, yeah. you do it's, it, it, it is, it's nice, though, because what you can do, uh, you can lay things out much easier so that people can see what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. Um, we're at home, you sit down, then you jump up, use the table, get back down again. Huh. We've all been there. Okay. Remember not to go over your pins. Yeah, that's a very quick way of breaking a needle. And it comes together so quickly. And as I said, once you've done one, yeah, you know, well, the lady who had, you know, when she got stuck, she sent me lots of photos of different ones that she's made, you know. And she makes them for um, when she does charity events. Oh, that's you know that's to raise lovely funds. Lovely thing to do. Can uh, out of interest, could we make these to sell? Yes. Oh, that's nice. But for charity events, I really like that as an idea. That's really yeah. nice. I mean, if you do make them to sell, you know, I I would like you to say that it, it's my design. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um. So fair now. Enough. Yeah. Just checked. Everything's encased. Yep. Now what I like to do, mm -hmm. just narrow that seam just just tidy it up it's only a couple of minute job so it's not uh, then right. then we go for the fun bit because nice. you're going to think how am i going to get it so that it stands straight yeah right we put our hand in okay so we made sure it fits our hand yeah okay i was a bit and push See, I didn't leave it wide enough, so I'm... Now, get your hand in and open... Open this corner up. Right. And all I've done, I've just got my fingers in, I've just opened my fingers, right? Okay. So now, we'll just open the seam. Yeah. And the bottom. And to make sure that you've got your seams together, if you pop a pin in... And it, you can just wiggle it about so that you go into uh, your yeah. seam yeah. and back out again. So it's okay. in the seam here, yeah. and it's in the seam there. Put a pin in it. Do the same for the other side. Right. Open it up. Okay. Again, open the seam. The bottom seam. That's it. So just pop the pin in. Yeah. And then just wiggle it till it comes through the seam. Okay. And then you know that your seams are going to be nice when they're. Now what we're going to do. Yeah. We're just going to stitch along the top. It's about that. Look, I think it's about four centimeters. I do it by eye, but I think it's about four centimeters on the pattern. Right. Um, so we're just now with this. I do actually just like to do a bit of reverse on the start and the finish because it does take a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. Do the other side. As I said, you, once you've made one, you won't measure it. You'll go by eye or. There is a mark on your sewing machine. Some sewing machines have got numbers, so you can line it up with one of those. Yeah. Okay, that's a good tip. Then what we do, make sure you've taken the pins out. And then what I'm going to do is just cut. It's about half a centimetre. Okay. Just cut the ends off. We need to do the same with the lining. Yeah. Just open it up again. I know some people say, well, it doesn't matter with your 
with your lining but um, now with the lining where you've got it you can actually line it up because where you open the gap mm -hmm. you can line it up with the seam there oh, okay so then another pin nice so uh, we've got to have a quick recap could I let you just finish off the lining bits and then yeah, come back and then to I'll, Is that yes. okay? Yeah. yeah, okay. I uh, just want to tell you about the seven day savers. Uh, we have got lots of seven day savers. They launched at 8 a.m. Uh, on Sunday and around for seven days, as the name suggests, all while stocks last. And our hobby craft, uh, craft organizer is, sorry, hobby gift, I say, uh, craft organizer is proving very, very popular. 10.49 is your price, saving nine pounds and 50 pence. Uh, and you can find all our seven day savers on our website. Also got some crochet uh, magazine trio. Also comes uh, with with added elements in there as well so you get some yarn uh, you also get a, a pom-pom maker and a tassel maker in there as well so lots to enjoy 12.97 your price 207 653 item number do have a look at full details on our website now with regard to the hexi uh, option we are over half the stock let's just imagine something okay so I'm going to I'm going to disappear a little bit out of shot so actually Jimmy, can we, can we try this? So I, the, the mood I'm trying to get is I've just come to your home, you've invited me around, because Jimmy's the kind of guy, he's very sociable, he's invited me around uh, maybe for a barbecue. Okay, so that's the scene, and we'll do a little bit of a role play, and I'll show you why you're going to like this bag. Should we do that? Should we do it? Okay. All right, so this is, this is going around to Jimmy's house. I'll, I'll, sort of, I'll, I'll ring on the doorbell, knock, knock, opens up. Hey, Jimmy, oh, I brought you something. That is the difference between just a bottle and handing someone a gift like that. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. I, look, joking aside, it really does uh, make such a difference. If you give that to someone, it uh, suddenly looks like so much more thought has been put into it, rather than just bringing a bottle that we all do. Uh, and the the best part of this is that you have the knowledge and the skill set to be able to make these time and time again. Uh, Sue was saying uh, a lot of her customers, they make uh, to sell for charity. You can make to sell if you want. If you are making to sell though, please credit Sue uh, and Design and Sew for uh, the uh, actual pattern. Uh, but with the kits, now let's think about this as crafters because how much would you pay just for a pattern? Hypothetical question, but think, how much would you pay for a pattern? Okay, so you're getting the pattern, and it's really detailed pattern. You've got everything you need, so all the instructions that you need in there. So there, are, it's more like a pamphlet, really. Got that. Then we have beautiful fabrics, and it really, when you get this home, trust me on this, it really does feel like fantastic fabric. Beautiful colors coming through. So we've got a real feature fabric. Then we have a lining. And it's got such a wonderful uh, little, just delicate detail, tone on tone, that's your lining. And on top of that, you will be getting your wadding as well. All of that, the pattern and uh, everything you're seeing here, for $15.99. That is why our Hexi is busy. Uh, and I was just got to point out, this is Sue's first hour. She has got another live hour at 7 o'clock. So all the stock we have brought is meant to last two hours. We've lost uh, one of the options with regard to the wine carrier. Will we lose the Hexi? Don't leave it to choice. If you really want it, or chance I should say, uh, now's a great time to pop it into your basket. I'm going to move on. We have got uh, some hanging pockets. You're getting enough fabric to make two of these fantastic hanging pockets. And uh, the fabric, it's fun. It's jazzy. I like this. So a little bit whimsical if you just wanted to add something to brighten up a space or a room. Very practical as well because obviously we can hang this anywhere. So imagine hanging that in a bathroom and putting your smellies, your bath bombs uh, or your soaps in there. Equally, it can be in a bedroom. You can just hang that up and you could use this maybe for uh, socks or you could put your uh, makeup in there or whatever. You've got obviously ideas how you use it. $17.99 is your price. Enough fabric to make two. You're getting your lining and you're getting uh, the feature fabric there. And of course, you're getting the pattern. $17.99 if you are a Freedom member. Uh, your price, 452384, your item number. Now we've got a cushion. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and she made it, she sent me a picture right. and she'd done it, made one up in some floral fabric and she said she actually uses it, she hangs it on a coat hanger yeah. and she puts pop socks and tights in it hanging in the wardrobe. Oh that's a good way to clear some space, clear your yeah. drawers. Like she said that, that way, I know exactly where things are. That's nice. And she just hooks it over the yeah. coat hanger. I think 
so many people are going to find interesting ways uh, to use this and it is proven to be a popular option and as Sue quite rightly said once you've used the fabric in the kit then dip into your stash color tones if you're making it for a friend uh, let's say you make it for a guy you can use uh, colors that would maybe be fitting them or if you know a friend likes fl floral uh, designs you can really personalize speaking of beautiful designs look at this cushion so this is a heart of home sewing cushion kit cover or cover kit I should say what really makes this special is I love the uh, design applique on so we have these wonderful hearts the homes in there as well but the fabric and that is what I think really sets this off because you've got this beautiful white fabric as the base that just allows that uh, it's the wispy clouds the bees and that punch of color the blues and the yellows uh, it's a tranquil cushion it's a really inviting cushion cover uh, it makes the front and back so you are getting uh, the fabric for your front and your back of your cushion it's a lovely design for $16.99 so I'll ask you the question I mean if you go to your local department store and if you saw a cushion like this how much do you reckon they would be charging and we know how expensive cushions can be uh, I just think it is a beautiful cushion and it is a very very nice cushion to gift uh, so you imagine giving that what I have found and over half the stock's gone I'm really conscious of the fact that as a presenter and I understand here uh, at Hoshanda I, I am a shopping TV presenter and I would never want to use sort of lockdown as a, a sales tool but one thing I do know is I've known a lot of my friends and family so my parents have been isolating they haven't been out for we're coming up to three months now and I know so many other people in that position and they are starting to get to the point where mm, feeling a little bit down sending a gift that you've made to somebody would really cheer them up whether on lockdown or further along down the line it's always nice to receive gifts so if you know someone who uh, you just want to show them you're thinking of them imagine sending that as a gift 1699 is your price 740-232 your item number just a reminder it is just for the cover you need to add uh, the cushion pad inside but you can find lots of options for that on our website uh, now something else that's true innovation this really sums up to me why I think Sue is such a fantastic designer because every time Sue comes here she brings us something a little bit different four different options I'll show you the principle because you have this row of pockets now here we go it's it's flat there but it opens up so you just see that concord uh, accordion effect there and beautiful fabrics as well look at these wonderful fabrics that you're getting this is uh, a really nice option so this is the uh, cat's life so if you have a fur baby in your life or know somebody uh, and how they're going to use it because we say it's not just for um, uh, crafting because I think we will all find ways to use it it's just practical storage that folds flat but then opens up and then you can just sit it on your space and it's done okay so uh, that is your cat's life and can I just show you with each of the kits so you get your main feature fabric so you get two of those and then look at the gold on there and this beautiful cat's life then you get your um, this is your lining fabric and that is a, just a beautiful like there is a it's hard on the cameras but you can just see that wonderful design there you go so you've got that wonderful design tone on tone with the lining and you're getting your wadding in there as well so you're getting an awful lot in the kit for $14.99 being able to make that I think this is mm, has to be one of my buys of the day okay so that's our cat's life we also have Foxy exactly the same principle works exactly the same the only difference being the main feature fabric here has got that foxy design so a little bit more country a little bit more rural like that uh, or maybe you want a splash of color this is the uh, red green option yeah like that that is very nice so uh, whatever works for you really if you prefer a splash of color that's beautiful or if you'd like something that is a bit more fun we've got here bit more light-hearted the construction dogs look it's cute that would be lovely um, children's sort of if you've got a birthday yeah. coming a oh, coloring yes. book some crayons and one of those to put all the crayons in to keep them neat and tidy so that is a fantastic idea so I've got uh, nephews and nieces a lot of them any any of my nephews and nieces if you gave them as a gift like that they would love that oh little girls room. they'd be putting yeah. all their little bits of jewelry in yeah, them options like because it. what you can do if you hold it together yeah and put it flat 
just pop it and then just open the sides and you'll get like a curve. No, oh. other way. So you've got the bottom. Yeah. That's it. Just put it, stand it up. Right. And now just get the ends and just bring them down to the, the dog bits. Yeah. Bring those down. No, open it up. That's, well, similar. I don't yeah, know. Just pull it open. Yeah. And it'll curve underneath. Oh, okay, sorry. You mean like this? No, other way. You mean like this? That's it, yes! Oh, okay. <laughs> See, that was a little bit embarrassing. I'm sorry. That's I got, all right. I got flustered. I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, yeah, it does. We, it all, kind of, we all have minutes and moments it, like that. It, Sometimes it opens they're like hours. That. I get that. I get it. Okay, we're going to continue our demonstrations. Uh, we're just going to jump onto the website, uh, just showing you everything on the website. And please, this is one of the occasions. It's well worth getting on the website and see all the fantastic kits that... Uh, no. Has the Hexi gone limited? Oh. We had we had a lot of stock of that. Uh, huh. There is a real possibility the Hexi might go this hour. So if you want to get hold of it, uh, now's time to pop it into your basket. But you can discover so much on our website. Okay, so we are working on the Hexi. I'm sorry I interrupted you. No, that's fine. Doing that. Yeah. Right. So what we've done, I've done the corners. So now you've got the gap where your hand reach in and pull the top. It, this is a little bit fiddly because there's no other way of doing it but hold the top and then just bring it down push it through give it a shake lovely put your hands in there you go excellent so what you would do now make sure you've got no pins left in okay sew the seam at the bottom how are we doing for time you've got about seven minutes all right just sew the seam at the bottom uh, I don't need mm -hmm. to tell you about that. Sew the seam at the bottom, turn okay. it right side out. So as you're doing that, I've got to tell everyone this, the Hexi unfortunately has sold out, uh, but there is good news that we have got a few more. It's going to be on extended delivery, so they're going to be dispatched on the 24th of June if you want to go for that Hexi. Sorry, Sue. It's all right. 24th of June, when's that? Five days. Yeah, right? they'll probably be out before then. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, look, we'll say 24th, but hopefully uh, they'll be out sooner. Yeah. There so you if you push your corners up, and then you'll uh -huh. see you've got this nice, neat edge. Yeah. So that when you put your bottle in, it will stand up. Now, some people don't bother, but I'm a lover of top stitch. And if mm. you buy anything in a store, you buy a bag, and it's always got top stitching. Mm. It's the finishing. Yeah. So... You need to top stitch then just round the curves. Okay. Um, and what I like to do, I like to give it a, just another press, just to make sure that it's nice and flat, and you've got that nice sharp edge. Okay. But as you can see, you know, and, and I've taken my time doing it. So once you've done the first ones, once you've done the first one, that's it. Yeah. And if you are going to do them... Um, for trade fairs and things like that, what I would suggest is you cut them all out. Yeah. Um, and what I do then, I'll do all the tops, uh -huh. the linings, and then I do all the central bits. Yeah. And then, and, and I, do, I find it easier and quicker. Yeah. To do it that Batch way. Make, yeah. So the different components, putting them all together. Yeah. And then no. just you might have all your different colours, and then yeah. just do them each time. Put them back. And then you're bringing them out. So you end up if you're making five, you end mm -hmm. up with five that you've just got to sew round. These would absolutely, if you were making for charity or making to sell, they would. I think they would be very, very popular. Please credit Sue with the actual design. So uh, design and sew the for the actual pattern. The other thing is, I mean, you know, people. Are, some people are even starting to think of Christmas now. What yeah. you could do, you could make this in a Christmas fabric. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. You know, you could put a Santa yeah. on the front or something. Because you can taper it for any... So you could put sort of more celebratory uh, fabrics for birthdays, yeah. maybe for weddings. If you wanted to take something for a wedding, it would be All more sorts, elegant. All yeah. Christmas. I mean, yeah. I've made them um, for weddings. Yeah. People have asked me to make them. Uh, and I've got some lovely um, heart material or something oh, that you know nice. just says I love you and sure, there'll be gifts for uh, bridesmaids or groom yeah. or, you know the um, all best sorts. man yeah that's all nice. sorts of things brilliant we now Sue I'm conscious of time because we only have uh, about four minutes 
Do you want to start your demo and finish it off in the second hour? Or what would you prefer? Or I can go down the counter again, the choice is entirely yours. Um, if I start that demo, it'll only take me 15 minutes to make the whole thing anyway. Okay, so, so I we think save it would be we'll best to save that to the 7 o'clock show. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's fine. And then people can what, see what it. What is it? Can you just tell us what um, it is? We're going to do the gorilla. Right. And I'm also going to make up one of the row of pockets, oh, seeing lovely. as I can't make the bag now because it's yeah. sold out. Okay. But unfortunately, when I do the row of pockets, it's, it will be in a different fabric because literally okay. I just grab something because I came out. Are you going to show us how the concept and how to uh, make it? Yes, them? that's right. Lovely. Okay, yeah. brilliant. Thank okay. you, Sue. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so uh, we've only got a few more minutes left on the hour. really hope you've enjoyed this hour. If you do want to revisit it, you can always do that on our website, hochanda.com, or you can have a look at the Hochanda app as well. Uh, we are... <laughs> We've, I've just had an update. Uh, so our Hexi bottle holder, We've sold out, unfortunately. We brought it back on extended delivery about two or three minutes ago, and I can tell you a quarter of the extended delivery now has gone. We are very, very busy for this. Hmm. So if you do tune back in at 7, I can't guarantee how much stock we will have of our bottle carrier kit. But just think about this practically, uh, or practicality of giving a bottle, because I... Can I just pick this up? There's no branding on this. Okay, this isn't a bottle we'd use. But you know when you just give someone a bottle, it's a bit, uh, I don't know, I just, I don't like doing it. I'd rather uh, offer it in a bag. Now, you can buy a bag, but there again, they're, they're okay. I'd much rather give that handmade feel uh, to it. And this is the thing, it looks handmade, but you've got those finishing touches, and we all know there's a difference between handmade and homemade. Uh, so it's got that wonderful handcrafted uh, feel to it. We can taper. The uh, fact, have we up to half the stock now? This, there is a real danger, this will not be here at seven. I'm only saying that, this is not scare tactics. I just don't want anyone to tune back in at seven and be disappointed. Half the stock of the extended delivery is gone. Uh, we did say it's gonna be dispatched on the 24th, but Sue uh, said, look, there's a good chance it might be out sooner. So if it does, fantastic. But 24th is not long to wait. Remember, you are getting the pattern you're seeing here but you're also getting everything you need. So this beautiful fabric, and it, when you feel it, you'll know exactly what I mean. It is a very good quality fabric. Then you've got your lining fabric in there, and you're also getting your wadding too. So all of that for $15.99. But I think the best part is you will then have an education, a skill set to go on, dip into your stash, and make as many of these as you like. You will never, ever, ever just give a bottle again. Uh, 166 921, your item number. Busy uh, for our Hexi bag. Something that Sue is going to be doing a bit later on. Uh, these are our fantastic, uh, it's like a hanging storage for you. So uh, just showing you the details. That's nice. This is your hanging pocket. You're getting the fabric. Uh, the fabric makes two of these, so you uh, will get enough to make two. But then again, exactly what we were saying before, you can go on and uh, dip into your own stash and make as many of these as you like. So the actual concept is very clever. So you're going to start developing. I think every room in your home will have some hanging storage, these hanging pockets. Maybe you wanted to uh, make some for a bathroom. You can put with smellies in there. Or are you going to have it in an office or a bedroom? You've got a lot of scope. $17.99 your price. That is your freedom price. Uh, at 7 o'clock, we will show you how that's made, so I hope you all tune in. Sue, uh, thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Do you want to give everyone a little wave? Yeah, thank have you, you very much. Have you, had, have you had fun? I've had fun, yeah. Good. I always have fun when I'm here. Oh, are we going to do it all again at 7? We're not going to do the same thing. No, not gonna, the same We're going to have fun again at 7 o'clock. That's what I like to hear. Thank you. We won't be doing the same because Sue's going to be doing this. Uh, okay, thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Plenty more, though, coming up here at Hochanda. So the lovely Julia is back, sentimentally yours, our fantastic one day special, and it has been busy. After that, be your creative best with cricket. Uh, and then we've got a craft yourself silly fabazine.
Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss The Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, a professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint, but with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on a Chandu because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on a Chandu. Chanda News. We're excited to announce that from the 1st of July, our broadcast hours on Freeview will be extended to 10 p.m. each day. We know that many of you have been missing our live shows in the evenings, and we look forward to having you with us once again. Hello there and welcome back. Well, it's four o'clock, so as you know, this is our last live hour with the current one day special. But you do have up until six o'clock to take advantage of the deal on your screen. Might not want to leave it that long though, it's a very popular one day special, and of course, the details are all there for you. Now, if you've not seen it already, we will be taking you through all the things that you need to know about it. But one thing you do need to know is we've got the lovely Julia Watts with us again this evening. Hello, Julia, how are you doing? Hi, there you go. And looking forward to the hour. Looking I am, yes, yes, yes definitely. Good. And I know that we may have have um, lots of viewers watching from America in this and they missed out on some of the fashionistas last time yeah yeah so uh, I know we've seen a lot uh, in Phil's group a lot of people asking uh, whether the fashionista was coming on which obviously isn't uh, but yeah you can get this now um, with the um, freedom 
Exactly, yeah. yeah. You, you do me job for me there, Julia. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, so if you are watching from America, don't forget, as a Freedom member, you can get this delivered to your door. And if you did miss out on the Fashionista, I'm sure we will see them at a later stage, but perhaps get this set and then you are ready for the Fashionista when we have them available. Shall I tell you what we've got? Well, we've got a fabulous range of stamps for you. I've got them here. And they're beautiful. They're all on that 1920s theme. And, of course, artwork provided by Trudy, Trudy Howard. And, of course, she's worked alongside and Phil for quite a few different um, collections now which is lovely now you've got 42 stamps in total and what you have got is you've got a series of these fabulous characters depicting the roaring 20s as you can see there not just the characters but also lots of additional elements that are going to help with regards to things like your sentiments building up your backgrounds to work with these but some very glamorous designs and I love the way that the font and all those sentiments are all done in that 1920s style now you can see we're working through the ladies here you've got four ladies within these they are clear stamps as you you can see so perfect for you when you're building up your designs and those are your lovely ladies oh those are lovely legs aren't they she's doing well i do like that um, and then you've got your little chaps here here you go oh look at that for a boat uh, fabulous now the two guys that you've got in here again two different stars so you can see there you've got your guy there um, with um, what would be uh, i don't know what they're calling this, the white trousers that they used to wear back in those times and of course the fabulous a little blazer feature and then his boater hat and then you can see there well this one definitely from that film as you can see there and the book of course the great gatsby you're going to get all of those and what you've got is an amazing deal because the price on these usually you'll be paying more than you've seen on your screen because that's the whole idea of a one day special we've got a special deal for you that's good for 24 hours of course everything kicked off at six o'clock last night but you have up until until six o'clock this evening when we'll be launching a brand new one day special to take advantage of this saving now as you can see we've got some amazing finished samples we have some lovely demonstrations to Julia as well since launch last night and of course depends on how you want to work with these as to how you use them so maybe you're going to team them up with some of the other elements so we've got things like some very um, kind of art deco corners obviously the dies there you'll recognize from and Phil's collection previously they work really well and um, whatever style you're working with and um, maybe you're going to be watercoloring maybe you're going to be using your alcohol whole inks with these maybe you can be building up masking elements off so you are looking as if you've got a lovely little collection of ladies there literally putting on the ritz and there you go you can see there absolutely amazing artwork and of course it gives you that outline that you can get really carried away with your fashion design with these tune them up in little pairings if you want to do all your fancy folds and all your different styles of cards and as i say don't forget those additional stamps that we've got available for you to allow you to really build on those designs and give you some really lovely finishes of course one of the things from the art deco um, era was that kind of the, the strong tones the strong colors and just using a couple of different colors with that accent of gold in there it really does give you a fabulous style card um, as you can see there for the birthday girl but just a little element of the stamp being used there not in her uh, the entire unless she's looking through a porthole of course she could be a, behind a door for all i know couldn't she on that well but i think we have to just use a little element there and then here again teaming it up with other elements that we have got available for you really does give you loads and loads of scope with these just really elegant designs you can use over and over and of course you've got all the um, sentiments in there so what that means you could be building up a card just using those with those corners but what have we got going on in here oh look at that oh a little flapper herself there love that and i love the use of that fe um, feather in there very effective and of course as you can see here your different style cards whether you're teaming it up with some of the papers that we've got on the show whether you're making your own papers with these or whether you're just multi-stamping making your dimensional cards really nice arrangement and i love this spiffy that is a fabulous phrase isn't it there and the cool cat cool cap there so if you fancy getting hold of these ones 904913 is the item number for you to get hold of them you're getting 42 stamps in total you're paying just 64 pounds and 94p as long as you place your order before six o'clock tonight and of course you have the ability to spread the cost over two payments so i've got a feeling you might want to pop these in there as well because i know how popular they have been they are the third set in the series of four um, and julia i'm sure will be chatting about these i know she has got them available to her now and with these you can see you are getting a fabulous 24 brush pens in here different colors to the colors that we've seen previously and you have got your two water brushes again at the bottom there now with regards to these they're in the case all ready to go as you can see there with all those fabulous colors featuring in there and you will notice on your screen they are on extended delivery so they're going to be dispatched on the 22nd of june and um, they actually sold out last night so uh, yeah really great glad that we have got those but 
65% of the stock of those is gone. So 170420. If you've already invested in sets one and two, um, then this is definitely an addition. There's going to be one more set, which we'll um, hopefully see before the end of the year. Um, and uh, the beautiful thing about these is you have got a lovely brush tip with these. So you can see they've got loads of colors, 24 different colors, completely different to the colors that you will have seen before. And what you've got, if I bring my finger, you will notice that you've got a very kind of malleable uh, uh, kind of a brush on the end there and that's where you're going to apply that color so it means that if you do want to do brush strokes as if you are picking up the color with a brush you can achieve that and of course you can go down using the tip of it if you just wanted to add little tiny accents or go into smaller areas as well so really nice set of brushes obviously you've got all the clear lids on there so you can instantly see which of those colors you're picking up and of course they've all got a little home within that case so you know if there are any missing and if you're wondering which set you've got then don't worry the packaging will help you and you can see on the back there you can also always do like a little roll call to make sure you aren't missing any when you do come back to them if you fancy these just 29 pounds and 99 pence of course going into your flexi order just looking at an extra 15 pounds with those so it might be worth thinking about popping them in with your one day special 170420 if you fancy those now, of course, lots of the cards we were looking at a few moments ago were adorned with uh, beautiful corners and borders, and that's what we've got that we're sharing with you here with these. Now, you're going to get your duo, so you're going to get both of these stamp sets that you can see here, and there's a lot of content within here yet again. Now, of course, you can see your Art Deco borders and your corners with these, but of course, use those corners four times, pull them together, and you can actually create a mandala, and you've got a really nice array of different borders and corners with these, so lots of scope, and they really do do give you those finishing touches with your cards they also give that wonderful look before you even start I mean here I don't know why in my head I've just got the image of like one of those really old 1920s elevators and those doors opening up and there you go there is your character um, as you can see there. I love that design very clever design that one like that one um, lovely lady featuring here again using those additional stamps this is a lovely idea taking that corner and kind of rick racking them zigzagging them along your card there nice idea with that particular one and again here they just are that finishing touch aren't they as you can see they're adding them to those gorgeous looks that you've got with regards to these these corners incidentally that you can see i'll be telling you about those in the next set of stamps so you might not want to check out your basket just yet but 22 pounds and 48 pence will get you those larger corners that you can see around the parameter of this one and so much more because you're getting two um, plates of those so two um, A5 sets and 80% of the stock of those have gone so yeah the stock quantities are flying out with these so uh, yeah get them while you've got the chance and these are your little extras and these are brilliant I mean extras to add to the one day special and obviously add to those corners and borders but to be honest I think many of you will be using these just in their own right just as you can see with this card here I mean you can see how that fabulous kind of feather that gorgeous feather there um, being featured here alongside one of the corners you've got the cat and you've also got the kind of cocktail glass there um, where I think traditionally there's a lady in there throwing a little champagne and all sorts of stuff in there what a waste of champagne to sit in there but there you go um, and then of course you've got your additional things like your classic car there and then of course if you fancy teaming them up with the one day special then you can do but even just using them by themselves they are very effective and again they're just a perfect addition because um, you can use them to create your own backgrounds as you can see in the center of that card as well so 1449 will get you um, your accessories your additional area um, ele elements try again um, but so uh, if you're wanting those four um, eight four what's the matter with my teeth four eight sorry seven eight four eight four one I think I need more caffeine um, so yeah details on your screen now of course you will find these and everything else that we've got on the show on the website so do have a look we've got some wonderful papers some great background stamps those lovely um, water brush pens that they are available for you and check out some of the ro those reviews if you so choose don't forget to add in some of that premium rich uh, cardstock because it's a fabulous card Stock. and of course if you do want to do your mats and layers then you can't go far wrong with those uh, nested shapes there and of course if you do need your acrylic blocks we've got the circles you've got your rectangles there as well so do have a little look and of course they are going to be very very useful when you are working with these long slender star stamps as time goes on so if you're wanting yours details are on your screen for well they're going to pop up on your screen for your one day special because that is what Julia is going to be working with first and what you're going to create for us Julia okay so first of all we're going to uh uh, well, we'll we probably only manage this in this hour, I should think. We're Ooh. going to make um, a version of this card, but in a different colour. 
That's nice. So we're going to use the all dolled up uh, image and we're using the deco extras in the background. It is going to be slightly different to this. Uh, and we're going to use some flowers as well. So uh, we'll get started. So, uh, yes, the old, all dolled up uh, image is the one that we're using and I've popped her onto my Stamp Perfect and I'm going to stamp her onto a piece of Bockingford hot pressed uh, watercolour card, which I know you had on your Charlie's Crafts uh, show, Hayley, so it will be uh, on the website. And I'm going to stamp her with Nocturne Versifying Claire, which is a, a good all round ink, nice and juicy ink pads to get all of the detail out. And this will, this is, uh, we did in the previous hour, I think it was, we did uh, emboss uh, some of the twinkling embossing powder on top of this, which uh, is a really nice thing to do, to use black as your base rather than um, using just your embossing ink. Obviously the beauty of putting it in my Stamp Perfect it means if I miss a bit, then um, I can go again. There she is, absolutely beautiful. perfect. She's she's absolutely beautiful, isn't she? Lovely clean line there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, she is. <laughs> and there's a little story behind this image, actually, because. Okay. Uh, <laughs> You know, I'm not the artist. I didn't draw her. Trudy did. And it's not until I see some of Trudy's colouring in that I realise that she's actually looking back over her shoulder. And this is her back. So she's got a little bit missing from her dress here. Oh, uh, I but see. But I, I just thought she got a crick in her neck. So. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, you can't really tell with all that poofy stuff there. That could be, you know, her chest underneath this there. Could be. She, so, could be, you know. she could be on her way home from a crazy night out. She <laughs> Even though her shoes are on the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, been there, done that. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. Right, okay, so I've got one that I've cut out because I do tend to, um, what I do is when I get the images, I have a batch stamping uh, and I, I stamp them three or four times each and then I leave them overnight so that the Versafine Claire dries or regular Versafine uh, dries and then it's safe for me to cut it out because I'm, I'm forever smudging images. So that's what I do. And so this is perfectly dry and we're going to use our wonderful, wonderful set three. So, set three, just like set one and two, uh, it comes in its own case and it's got a, a, a little lock system on it. And it also comes with two uh, watercolour pens, uh, sorry, brush pens, water brushes, get the word out, Julia. And so we've got, this time, we've got a medium tip and we've got a flat tip as well. So that's, that's a kind of a medium flat tip, I suppose. Uh, and those are your watercolour pen, uh, brushes that you get, uh, water brushes. Sorry, words are failing me that you get in these. So I think they're different in each set so far. And the colours that you get, you can see I've done a swatch here. Now, if I bring in my swatches from my previous sets, they're all slightly different because I never do anything the same. Ignore the numbers. So these are all the colours across the set so far. So these obviously set one, what set two and set three. So if we looked at, for instance, let's go to the greens. So if we look at my greens here, you can see that these are all different. And if we go to these greens up here as well, so we can see that we're dealing with shades because that's darker than that. Julie, uh, could you pull that just sorry. To towards you? Perfect, yeah, yeah. thank you. That, that that's darker than that then we've got that's brighter than that one there we've got an olive one here where my olive one's right down here but that's darker than that one so you can see that we're building up a family within each color um, in set three as well we've got some skin tones which we haven't had before before we've had to mix our own skin tones so um, this is the one that I used in the previous hour to, to do skin but we've got some darker skin tones here and obviously you can still mix and match um, and, and make your own. Uh, now did I overhear you earlier on saying that um, when the fourth set comes into play there's going to be a, a bit of an indexing system That's with what Bill said, I've heard him say it so now 
now we've said it on air again, he's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, he said don't sort them out just yet. I know Leone has um, with her set one and two. But yeah, uh, hang on, a hang fire, and then uh, when the full set comes out, then we'll all sort them together. I had a bit of a panic the other day because I lost one of mine. Uh, in fact, I lost two. And it took me ages, and I thought I was going to have to get another set of set two, and I, oh, I was in a right old panic. But then I realised I put them away with my Sakura pens. Oh, gosh, thank goodness you found them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I couldn't understand it. I'd, I'd, I'd coloured it in, so I'd use three pens to colour in, but I'd only got two of the blues on my mat. How did they disappear? Oh, they just disappear in front of your eyes. <laughs> um, our stock's disappearing, by the way, Julia. I it might. 75% of the stock has gone of set three. So don't forget, we uh, launched these last night. They are on extended delivery now. So if you are wanting them, uh, you're going to be in very good company. But please don't leave it too long, because when we're down to the last quarter of the stock, um, potentially they could go again. Right, so I think what we, if we're sticking with set three... Uh, because I want to tone in with this paper here and this background I've gone, gone on, on here. So, and I want to give a gradual um, effect to her dress. So I think what we'll do is we'll go for these three colours here. So that's uh, that one, that one and that one. And we'll see how it turns out. Do you tend to stick to kind of like a three colour blend when you work? No. In? <laughs> you laugh at that suggestion. No, of course not. <laughs> So all we're going to do is just lay a little bit of the colour just around the edges and um, in fact I'll do her, she's got gloves down here and uh, this part here is gloves and we'll come back down here as well with the lighter colour just very roughly and we'll start bringing it just down the edges here. Then right. we'll take the next one. Now, has this lady got a name, by the way? I didn't check mm -hmm. out to see she, if they've got names. It's just called All Dolled Up. So they've okay. not got kind of Christian names or she anything like that. could be Dolly. Like could be Dolly. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. And then we're bringing this darker colour here. Now, this is much darker, but don't worry about it. It'll be absolutely fine. I hope. All we're doing is giving a base coat. Now, I would normally do kind of two coats like this. But we'll see how it looks. Okay, then we'll take our water brush and we'll start pulling the colour out to move it around. You can, of course, scribble a little bit onto your uh, craft sheet or your blending mat to deepen the colour if you want to. That's quite nice, I quite like that. So now I know that's her back, I can do that in skin tones. I've always got to do something wrong. Looks fabulous. Yeah, so we're just pulling this colour in, moving the, getting the water brush going. So you've got, you've, you've got, immediately got that graduation between the two. And, and while the card is drying, it will continue to blend. This is where the blend, the blend's harder when you go from light to dark. But we just move this around to begin with and then blend it up a little bit. Then we'll move on to, we do a, a hat, let's, let's do a hat perhaps in the darker colour. And, and sometimes I do this as hair, sometimes I do it as a hat. It's, it's all your prerogative as to how you want to do it. So just in one coat, I'm getting something that looks reasonable already. So we go on with, um, let's do the poofy bit, this bottom colour as well. Again, we don't need to be particularly careful because we're going to move the colour about. Just be, just be aware that while the card is drying, um, you could have a contamination from one area to the next. So what I tend to do is I tend to do an area, then I go off and do something else for a few minutes, and then I'll come back and do the area next to it. So if you're doing like I'm doing now, it's a good idea to not go right the way to the edge because it's perfectly allowable with this sort of colouring to have some little white areas. She's shaping up nicely. And we'll do this middle colour here. Just straight on with the, the pen. You can see you've got that fine tip and so you've got something going on that looks quite reasonable. 
Now we go in the. I'm just going to go on a second time with this this light colour and drag it down again, just like I did in the first place. And this will de um, deepen the colours. It's like a beginner's colouring in this because I, I love I'm, it though. It just I, helps I, us. Yeah, I'm. Well, I'm not. Um, I don't think I'm, I'm like an expert like, like our Trudy and Phil are, but, you know, I think that if, if, if I can make it look decent, easier, you know, like this, then I think it means that anybody can do it. I mean, Trudy's colouring in is just tremendous. And um, we've got a new design team member, Lozzie. Uh, her oh, colouring's okay. fabulous. And Joanne and, K and Karen. Um, Phil's sister, they, she's, they've done some samples this time as well, and they're all just fabulous. So this, this, this bottom section just needs a little bit more work because it's darker. We can just blend it up a little bit, try and blend it in. Okay, I'm happy with that. And let's just do her shoes a different colour. But we, we'll give her the, the orangey colour shoes just quickly. Then we've got we've got skin tones in this section, so uh, I think we'll give her this lightest one here, which because I keep I'm keeping them in the order that my chart is in, I know where to go. And with this one, I'm going to not draw on my hand like I just did, thinking it was a water brush. I'm just going to pick it up from my blending mat because then I can work it and go darker, whereas it's hard if you've done something dark to go lighter. Again, be careful because we've got some dark areas of ink here. So be very careful not to go right the way up to the darker areas. Now, skin tones, have we got those included in these kits? It's in this one, yeah. Oh. The first time we've had skin tones. There she is. So I would probably actually go with the, this orange again here. So if you've got, if you've got, have you got to do anything now while I'm well, just faffing? Uh, no, you're okay. You're fine. Don't worry. I'm fine, am I? Yeah, you carry on. Okay, I'm fine. Let's just faff around just with this central area here a little bit, just to make that. That's better. Yeah, that whenever, it, better. whenever you want us to break away, that's not a problem. I've just okay. been looking through all the other finished samples, some beautiful ones here. Yeah, I'm going to go a little bit with one of the darker uh, skin tones here. So I think that's that one. I've taken so many pens out of here now. And put some of that in there. Be careful. If you want to keep your sets always all separate, keep it, make sure you put them all back in between. Yeah, so I can just do, give a little spot detail with this darker one that, I quite like that that's a bit brushy I'm happy with her lovely happy with her so we'll, we'll start working on our background because I've already started doing it so she's going to fit nicely on there with her colors I think now that's nice is that using some of those um, uh, uh, the accessory um, the additional bundle yes yeah, so yeah, we've got what we've paper. got here is we've got the celestial papers uh, this is the one that goes from pink to uh, an orangey yellow. And so I've cut the a double debossed rounded um, rectangle out of it. And this is the largest but two. So there's two more sizes that are bigger than this. And I've started by stamping some coordinating colours of oxides on the back. So we've got fossilised amber and we're using the deco extras um, for the feather. And this does take a little while, which is why I started doing it uh, ahead of time. Give it a little bit of a mist so that the, the oxides are better, to, uh, easier to stamp. And then pop our feather on. And we need one more and then we should be done on the feathers. Let's have it go in. Think about the way you're positioning of your feathers so that they they kind of twist and turn so they're not all going the same way. So it's more pleasing to the eye. And then uh, we'll go with the um, round piece that's from the Deco Extras as well. Lovely. And we're going to stamp a few of these just to make a more interesting background. Again, 
you just give it a mist and we'll stamp one there and, and I'm not going to do any more because I'm going to put flowers all there okay. so if I go stamping which more then it will be pleasing to the eye but I'll cover them up yeah makes sense yeah so they work really well together and I'll, I'll, while you're doing a, a thingy, I'll I'll no, dink around the edges well, of that. But. I've just grabbed the um, the stamps that you're working with there, because of course these are something that you could add in alongside your one day special. They kind of extend the usability, as Julia's just shown us there. And these are lovely. They're clear stamps again, so you're going to be able to see exactly where you're laying these down. And as you can see, Julia's are using these fabulous kind of swirly feathers that you've got on here. You've got um, kind of one going to the left, one going to the right as well. So might be a nice one to work alongside the little champagne glass that you've got in there as well. I mean, there's lots you could be doing with these um, you've got those art deco almost like sunrises in here you've got things like your peacock feathers in here those gorgeous corners that complement the arch and of course the full circle so so well and then down at the bottom there you can see you've got your classic kind of ford style car and then of course you have got that fabulous cat sitting there scarily bigger than a car that's a big cat isn't it um, and i love it because you've got so many different elements in there that are really going to complement the elements that you're working with with your one day special if you're wanting these just 14 pounds and 49 pence and of course we have seen julia working with these throughout her demonstration very affordable if you fancy getting hold of those but of course they work alongside the one day special which i'm going to tell you about so if you have just joined us this is the final live hour with the one day special it's a deal that was launched at six o'clock last night and you've got a lovely range of stamps you can see your pink background there with your girls and you've got your blue backgrounds there with your boys so you've got six characters in total and you've got some really elegant styles with these really depicting the era of the roaring 20s and of course the artwork has come to us by Trudy Howard who's worked alongside at Phil um, for quite a few different collections now and this is the latest one now she did bring one to us um, called the fashionista range and you may well have missed out on that one because it was that popular it literally flew out and I know lots of our people watching lots of our viewers should I say watching from America particularly um, will have missed out on those but these you could get hold of these and as a freedom member they could be delivered to your door for the price on your screen and I just found a few more examples that I've not shared with you previously using some of the flower dyes that we've got on the show as well and I love this idea of making these almost like elongated tags very sassy ladies that you've got with these that you're gonna be able to do some wonderful styles with all those elements like the cigarette hold the hair bands those wonderful beads all from that particular era and of course you can use them in lots of different ways looking like they're doing all the different dances so you've got a few kind of little sh um, Charleston's going on I think with these um, and just some elegant look I mean just standing there and looking absolutely fabulous is something that these ladies are doing every single time and of course you can see how those dies um, work up uh, work so sorry those dies the stamps work so well alongside the floral dies that we've got for you as well and again you're going to be able to go to town with these really have fun using those different colors getting those color tones going now elements like these backgrounds that you can see here we have got these available for you as well so if you do like the idea of incorporating those you can do but again with these last couple of cards I'm sharing with you you will see that those stamps that that Julia is working with making appearance yet again and of course the borders could literally be put together just so like so to create some absolutely amazing backdrops for your characters 904913 if you fancy getting hold of your one day special then you've got the ability to spread that cost over two payments so that gives you the um, option that if you want to add in other bits and pieces then you can spread the cost of those items as well like the pens and the pens have been flying out now of course I did mention to you earlier on with regards to these that 75 5% of the stock has gone well I better change that now because 80% of the stock has gone seeing Julia work with these you realize just how amazing they are to work with you've got your flesh tones in here so if that's an area that you've struggled with in the past then don't worry you're going to be able to do that with these you've got your two brushes at the bottom there giving you the ability to pull those colors out maybe you're going to fill those with water put a little bit of mica and they get some sparkle going through these if you wanted to and these are kind of the third part of the the collections because of course we've had set one set two this one is set three now set three comes to you obviously with all these different colors in here but none of these are duplicates of what you've seen before so whether you got involved with the others previously or whether this is the first set that you've gone for you don't have to worry about any doubles likewise when set four becomes available towards them um, at the end of the year then uh, it will be a case that these are going to slot in perfectly and hopefully that's when we will see that system where 
where you'll be able to put them in with the gradients of colour, really giving you some amazing results with these. Now, they are on extended delivery, so it's the 22nd of June for you dispatched on these, which isn't too long to wait at all, is it? But they are definitely worth the wait. And as we say, they've been very popular, so if you don't want to miss out on these, I would suggest you get them in your basket and check your basket out as soon as you can. Very affordable at £29.99, because you're getting 24 of those pens in there. And, of course, your um, brush pens alongside, so 170420. But, of course, we've seen some wonderful elements that work alongside those one-day special stamps, including the backgrounds. We've got a whole array of these, and I love these, because these ones here that we're looking at with those kind of uh, clamshell effects and that lovely um, kind of pinstripe that we've got with these, they just depict the Roaring Twenties so well. I mean, when you look at our um, kind of the, um, architecture and fabulous grand dance halls and things like that, that's the sort of style that you would see. Lots of those kind of pillars and, of course, in the clothing as well, the type of uh, prints of fabrics, absolutely beautiful. I just love these. It's almost like a sunrise, isn't it, that gorgeous look that you've got there. Now, of course, um, as Phil likes to work with um, grey rubber, he chooses grey rubber for his backgrounds. And with these, they're all ready to go, so you have got the mount on the back of them with your cushioning there, so you're going to get a lovely impression with those. You're getting both of these coming to you for £23.98, and the quality is incredible. So there's lots of techniques you're going to be able to use with these, because you have got that relief there. And, of course, it means that you can use them in lots of ways, um, push them, um, obviously, things into moulds as well, if you've got some, you're wanting to create um, things using your, um, your ultra-thick embossing powder, you could use that with those as well. Being the grey rubber, they will be able to cope with all of those um, techniques. So 410225, if you're wanting to get hold of those, and the details are there on your screen. But then we've got others as well. We've got a set of three for you, which again, you can go for your two. You can add these in as well if you wanted to. That flexi order, you can spread the cost then, can't you? Um, and these are lovely. So with these, you've got three different styles. Um, and again, we saw a couple of these featuring with the cards that we've just been looking at. So you've almost got your block set um, element there. Um, and I love this, called texture check. oh dear, Tex texture tastic. Thanks for that, Phil. Oh, thank you in person when I see you. And I'm sure he gives us those names that he wants us to trip up on. Um, you can see you've got your um, gorgeous designs here. Very geometric, very lacy. I love this one. It's like a woolly effect. They're almost like a knitted jumper. I do like that one. And again, they are grey rubber, um, so perfect for your backgrounds. Absolutely wonderful designs. You're going to get all of these again. And, of course, if you wanted to use them as a background, then that's the kind of result that you could be getting with these. It's almost like a foiled effect when you're using it with your metallic embossing powders. Absolutely beautiful. 765197, all three of those coming to you for £35.97. So why not pop those into your basket and maybe consider adding those papers in. Again, something else that we've seen featuring a lot within those unfinished samples that we've been looking at. So you're going to get everything. You're going to get both sets of these, which is brilliant. You're going to get your Celestial and you're going to get your Terra Nova. And it's lovely because you've got all sorts of gradients of colour working with these. Even the lead sheet giving you that kind of menu of colours and effects is something that you're going to be keeping. And these are effects that have been created and duplicated so you don't have to get involved perhaps with your messy crafting. If you don't have the confidence to have a go with those different techniques or maybe you're going to get these to teach you techniques and try using different colours. Well, we've got a lovely array of 80 sheets, 88, for, um, 88, try again, 88 for sheets. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, at £23.98, pence, brilliant value for money, and 280497 if you're wanting to get hold of those. And don't forget, that is the price for both of these sets. So uh, if you're popping them in alongside your one-day special, you're only looking at about, uh, well, £12, really, um, with regards to that flexi buy on them. Are there bits and pieces you might like to add in? Now, of course, you're going to get your water brush um, pens in alongside the brush pens that we were looking at, but what if you want even more? And these are fabulous because you have got your fine tip you've also got your flat tip in there and you've actually got um, your trio in here which is going to help you right the way through from the very finest detail to the thicker detail and then of course you've got your flat tip trio as well another one of there are those little dung twisters um, five two three six seven one is the item number for you to get hold of those if you fancy popping those in as well other bits and pieces it's definitely worth popping at the same time you've got your earth tones with regards to your cardstock so perfect colors for your art deco themes 15 pounds and 99 pence 
blue that you've got in there, gorgeous. Five, um, sorry, six five seven one nine six. And then another one that is worth looking at is these rich tones. Oh, these are luxury looking. Love these. Um, Fifty sheets again, ten sheets of each of those, A4 in size, and again a fabulous price, fifteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Two six eight seven one three. Of course, do keep a note of those item numbers because we have got the brand section on the website. So if you don't get hold of them today, do make sure you revisit and get hold of them at a later stage. They're going to work really well with you one day special. So, Julia, back over to you, my dear. What we've got planned this time? Okay, so uh, continuing with our card, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure whether I'm going to actually throw everything at it that I've actually got prepared, but we'll, we'll see. Um, this is what I would do at home anyway. We're going to use the deco fan background, um, which is new, and um, on a strip of the celestial card that matches... Uh, it's actually the other side from where I cut my uh, rectangle from, so there's no waste. Just adding Victorian velvet and giving it a mist. And thinking about it, I'm going to be putting my flowers on that side of my card when this goes on. So I'm going to stamp the main part of this on this side. So that if I actually do my... Um, if I make a mess when I'm doing my join, it won't be that noticeable. Fingers crossed. There's our beautiful background. Didn't think about the mess I was going to make. <laughs> but you can see, it just, it just really works beautifully on these papers. Um, whenever I'm doing like a second print, I always think, right, I only need to, to ink up a little bit of my background, but then I end up inking up the wrong side. So I just now just ink up the whole thing, just in <laughs> case. I've got a memory like a sieve, I really have. But let's grab a piece of paper this time. You see, this is my, my, my testing background piece of paper. Now, of course, I can't remember where I need to put this. So we're just going to go here like that and see. Yeah, not, not, not brilliant, but not too bad. It's a good idea just to mark on your stamp where you want to line it up. I'm not too worried because we're going to have flowers and leaves and all sorts of things, but a little bit will be showing, so it would be absolutely fine. Okay. And I'm just going to ink the edges of this with the um, aged mahogany, so we've got a darker colour going around the edge. And then that will set it off. Okay, that's that. Then we need to stamp some sentiments. And I've got some flags that I've cut out. And I'm going to have my flags pointing this way. So first of all, I'm going to stamp the sentiment that's going to go in there. And that's going to be a, a proper sentiment, if you like. I've already inked around the edges with the aged mahogany. And so this is the all dolled up sentiment from the all dolled up. And we go right the way over to this side of it and this is with the nocturne verse fine clear that's that then on this i want to actually use glitz and glam but glitz and glam are all on the same stamp so what we're going to do is we're going to ink up the one side and then I'm going to take my low tack tape. I don't think I've got any ink on the rest, but knowing my look, I'm just putting the low tack tape there to meet to, so that I don't make a mess. And then we're going to just give it a quick spritz with water and stamp towards the point again. That's clever. I like that idea, masking it off. Okay, so there's our glam. Now we need our glitz. Let's take that off. And then ink up the other side. Yeah. And then we need to... I'll take another piece, because it needs to be a bit bigger. So that's going to go that way. I should have done this one first. You know when you get tired towards the end of the day? Mm hmm That. <laughs> oh, bless you. And then this one's going in here. 
got to spritz it but hopefully it'll be all right there's my glitz fabulous so we're gonna have glitz all dolled up and glam that's the that's the idea and say whether I throw everything at this card or not I don't know <laughs> so what we need to do is kind of do a little bit of lining up so we'll take our strip and pop it onto some black card first of all so we can figure out where we want to put our flags it's upside down right and the black card kind of really sets it off makes everything pop this is your elegant ebony from the monochrome pack and then let's see about I think we might want it about there because we've got to get quite a bit up here so let's have a look we've got our glam our all dolled up and our glitz that'll work just make sure that she's gonna go on there I don't want her shoulders to hide anything that looks all right so we'll start to glue some of this down you don't want it quite often when I'm doing live TV I forget what I need to do and then I'll have stuck my background to my mat and then realized that I can't do that because I wanted to cut those off but I've actually remembered today which is a, a first I think that's straightish. Don't worry about how much glue we've got on here because we can trim that off. And the border helps me um, keep these straight. Now I need to remember that it's not turning. Uh, Versafine Claire is still wet, so I need to remember not to put my fingers in it. And that one's going to go little bit up but there and I'll grab a piece of kitchen roll to press that down and then my glitz is going at the top see we're hiding a lot of our background so if you've made any mistakes on your background don't panic as it turns out I didn't this time there's our glitz there we go now we can just trim these off. That's I'll use my non-stick scissors, that's probably better. Normally I'd probably use a trimmer for this. Because I'm not the best at not cutting into my card. There we go, that neatens that up. And then we can just take our ink and just dust it on the edges so then that looks like that's meant to be and we're inking around the edges with it on the floor now we can stick this onto our black background oh I'm not doing too badly remember less is more with the glue when I mean, you are dealing with paper but it's a very quick grab glue You've got a little bit of time to kind of wiggle it to get it straight, but you know, beyond that, you're not going to get it off. I quite that, like that as it is, actually, without a figure on it. But it's our one day special, so we're going to bring her in and she's going to sit on there like that. That black really does work, doesn't it? Separating it out. I love the way that it kind of works with the sentiment there as yeah, well. Yeah, it really does, doesn't it? Yeah. Then we've got our flowers and our leaves. So we've got a pair of um, the um, leafy fronds here. So we're going to pop these on here somewhere. Just try and get that underneath her shoe. I'm never too, because I never actually make proper cards, I'm never too bothered if the leaves come down below. Never bothered about that at all. And then I'll, I'll explain to you what I've done with the flowers because I've got the flowers all made up. And I'll stick my glue on my flowers as well so that at the same time, so I'm not waiting for my glue to move down my tube. I'm not going to show you my flowers, I'm just going to show you the back of the flowers. <laughs> Bit of a tease. Right. 
well that, that will be set in so what I've done with my flowers is um, I've stamped the elegance flower stamp using first onto my pattern paper so onto the pink side and onto the orangey uh, orangey yellow side here it's with the uh, uh, embossing ink and I've done pure white embossing powder here I've stamped with the uh, black versifying clear and as and added the twinkling rose and um, the soft rose twinkling embossing powder and it's stamping with the black and then adding your, your twinkling embossing powder gives it a slightly different uh, dynamic and then for the shaping of these instead of putting my po pointy tweezers in and going that way like I have in every single flower I've done I've done that way and you'll see how they look because and then I've offset them I'll see I'll show you how they look in a moment let's just pop my leaves on and I'm quite happy if they come up and they go over my flag a little bit Lovely. And just to give you a time check Julia and um, we're looking at about nine minutes left on oh, the show. Oh there's plenty I've nearly done nearly done because I've got all my flowers ready I've got all my glue on so here, here we go this is how they look so I've taken there's four flowers in here I've taken two of two sizes so like I've got these two here I bent them all up, um, offset them, and then put two sizes, a big one and a small one together. I've also popped um, a load of glue in the centre. And um, then I put some of the, oh, that's still wet, would you believe? Um, then I put some glitter in as well. So I've put a glitter mix, and my glitter mix is a mix of the uh, Glitter Alchemy. It's the... Um, the black onyx, it's the whatever the gold one's called, and the silver one, and also some crystal aurora. Actually, I want that one there. It's the next size. And these coordinate beautifully. See, I haven't hidden that mistake in my background, so we're going to have to pretend that, that on my panel, we're not going to have to pretend that that's not there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not actually that noticeable uh, no. to be honest because as the oxide is drying it's lightening and so it's less obvious and I wish I thought well I won't do my glitter in I'll do my glitter in first and I wish I hadn't done it till later now so we can actually add a little bit of glitter around the edges here as well just to really glam it up because the, the mm. sentiment on here is glitz and glam isn't it so well, that's if you, you want to do a recap while I do this I can do if you want yeah to. I've actually um, picked out a couple of the cards so we'll have a look at those in a few moments but some of the other things that we are big, busy for um, let me share these with you I mean you're loving those uh, fabulous flowers that we just saw being used um, of course you have got um, a lovely stamp set there and of course so obviously you've got the die there that's going to help you work with those. So yeah, they're definitely worth adding into your basket. These ones are the elegance. Now you're going to get 10 dies in there. You're going to get 16 stamps as well. And of course, of course, got all the different sizes, so you can cut those out in multiples. Freedom members, you've got a discounted price, bringing them down to just £32.83. And they are amazing. They work really, really well with the one-day special. So if you do want to pop those in, do consider that. These are useful as well, because you've got your lush leaves and your leafy fronds. Always useful as little fillers. You'll see those appearing in many of the cards as we work our way through the samples. And if you fancy yours, just £21.98. Eight pence, what a bargain! So, um, five zero nine one four nine. If you want in them, and of course, Julia's just been working with one of those one day special stamps. And of course, you've got a series of six of these, and totally different look when you're changing out the colors. Of course, um, Julia worked with very warm colors with those gorgeous kind of berry reds in there, that lovely to almost tropical orange in there. But this time, very pinky themed with this one. You can see the elegance of that lovely lady featuring here, the glitz and glamour used together on this occasion, alongside one of the other sentiments saying birthday girl. And then around the edge here, you can see those corners and borders that really do work well alongside those then of course you've got your little lady here I think she looks like she's doing a little bit of the Charleston um, of course featuring with um, the corners yet again here lovely flowers making an appearance and of course those leafy fronds again and then of course you have got the cap there from the additional bundle which is going to help you make your set go so much further the flowers that you can see here the centers with those circles in there again those have come from those additional accessories but of course the borders there, all coordinating and bringing everything together 
It's not just about the ladies, though. Of course, you have got the gents featuring in here. And again, the guy that you can see there is featuring within the One Day Special. Teams up beautifully alongside one of the lovely ladies. And of course, if you do want to add in those additional bits and pieces, you could be adding corners and borders into these over and over again. What you could also be doing is just isolating certain areas if you want into it. So here you can see the, de um, the design that um, we saw um, Julia working with, just taking the, the head section there, just looks like she's peeping through a little porthole or a window there. And again, you've got this very dapper chap all there, ready to go. I mean, I love that. It looks like he's about to head off punting or something like that. Adorable. Now, the background that you've got featuring here, of course, we have got additional background stamps that are going to work alongside. And I love the idea of making your concept cards, using up some of those accessories, the borders, the corners, and then, of course, your one-day special alongside. Isn't that fabulous? Love that style. Really effective. Of course, the website's a place to go for your one-day special. All of those stamps featuring on there with all the additional things that Judy has been working with and including those fabulous water brush pens that she's been adding the colour to and you have got 24 beautiful colours featuring in there and you've got two of your water brush pens where you can add your water to dilute and pull out those colours to your heart's content brand new to us today as set number three following in the series fourth um, one will be available towards the end of the year and of course you're not getting any duplicates if you did choose to go for set one and set two prior to these of course seven day savers are featuring on the website as well so if you do need a glass cutting mat um, and then that is the place to go for one you've got some additional pearl card there and of course some stamps from all and create they're going to go up in price on sunday morning though so get them before then please um eight o'clock that's when they're going to go up in price and we bring a brand new set of seven day savers to you we're going to hand, hand back over to julia we've probably got about four minutes or so i'm guessing julia um what is it that you're going to show us so i'll just show you this card because it's all glittered now so you oh, can just look see at that. um what that looks like beautiful um, obviously the the glue's still wet so any kind of um, movement of the card or the paper that will settle down when the the glue dries so um, we've thrown all that at it and it, it looks all right it looks fabulous I love it very glittery very glitzy <laughs> <laughs> right so we're going to go to our watercolor pens and we're going to do a little bit more coloring in lovely uh, so I've got an image here that uh, is from the ain't this grand um, stamp set from the one day special and we're going to color him in and um, wondering what colors to color him in though that's the thing let's do his trousers first so i don't have to think about it you think about what color you want his waistcoat to be oh okay so we're using this this black but it's like a gray black it's not um it's not a black black. The black black is in set one. I'm guessing this is going to be a nice one if you want to add shadows to things as well. There is a lot. There are lighter greys for this. Okay. In, in fact, there's that one there. But it, there is an even lighter grey. I think that's in set two. Mm -hmm. So you see the hot. The, it's very. If you've got a, a the watercolor pen brush pen family, then you're going to have all the versatility to do lots of different things. I mean, in set two as well, there's a beautiful um, light blue, which mm -hmm. is good for shading as well. Don't ask me what's in set four. I have no idea. He doesn't <laughs> share that with me. Well, we know that there won't be any doubles. There won't be any doubles. Um, there'll be, uh, obviously, we'll fill in some gaps just to make it complete for all of your blending of, of your colours. And it's interesting because the, color, the, the, the pens actually will blend with each other as well as blending with water. They'll blend with each other. So let's give him a little bit of shadow underneath there. And then we'll move this out. But having said what I've just said, I'll um, use this one. I'll um, I'll show you actually. So let, let's just move this now. I know what planet I'm on. Let's, so as we move it, you see it dilutes. So you lose some of the colour, but you do, um, as in some of the the shadows that you've put in. But you get you get a nice. Um, kind of tone going down his trousers mm -hmm. and I'd probably do this just like when we did the dress I'd probably do this twice okay um, um, just to warn you Julia we're probably not going to get to the waistcoat because we're literally down to the last 45 seconds oh, of the okay. hour okay that's fine that's but I mean fine. it's fabulous what you've shown us there it just shows us how you can pull out that colour and really fill in the whole area so yes. thank you so much so his trousers that. do look quite cool don't they they do look fabulous and of course you've got 24 different coloured pens to do that with so whether it's the dresses whether it's the waistcoats the shirts the hats 
everything is covered with this fabulous palette of colors you've got 24 brush pens and of course don't forget in the bottom there you have also got your brush pen water brush pens which are going to help dilute down pull out the color just as julia showed us there 29 pounds and 99 pence extended delivery on these because they did sell out previously the 22nd of june so not too long to wait but if you want in these why not pop them in alongside your one day special spread the cost of these as you can do with your one day special see you later Don't forget, six o'clock, that one day special is going to go up in price. But before that, we have got your be, um, be your uh, creative best with cricket. We've got Mike, um, Mike can come through on Skype. And then we're going to be launching the one day special. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality award-winning craft products. As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil. And in recent times, we've developed the Groovy Parchment Art System so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Another exciting development to come from the marriage between Parchment and our stamp company is the fabulous designer papers and now the designer parchment. There is nothing like it. Each groovy plate is precision etched and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus you can easily transfer great designs onto parchment. Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us here on our channel? Chanda prides itself on its ethos towards the family-run boutique companies that offer the variety that we know you love and appreciate. Following such a positive response to our previous family favourite events, we are very excited to welcome and introduce you to many more brand new Chanda family favourites. Please tune in from Thursday the 25th of June at 6pm to Monday the 29th of June at 6pm to support many of your favourite guests and also our very loyal family run businesses that have grown and prospered with Achanda since our launch in August 2015. We will be running fantastic prize draws where winners will be drawn live within each hour during our event, giving you opportunities to win prizes worth at least £25. So join us from 6pm on the 25th of June for your family favourites event. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. 
Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hochanda, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Hachanda. There are some shows that just teleport you to your happy crafting place and Cricket is one of those shows. Hello and a warm welcome. We have got a fantastic hour with Cricket. Now this is going to be a very different hour to earlier on because we're very pleased to be able to present to you this bundle with a phenomenal 68 pound saving. Not only are you getting the Cricut Maker, but you are getting so much more. Check this out. A sign of luxury, the smoothness of the Cricut Maker, the engineering, it is like, look, we can't say brands, but there are certain brands, uh, let's say there's a well-known uh, phone brand. You get it home, you unbox it, and you instantly are aware of the quality that you are getting. That's the kind of quality you get with the Cricut. Uh, like I say, you're not just getting the Cricut Maker, you're getting so much more in this bundle. Now, can I just apologize, because we were going to be featuring this bundle in the earlier hour. We just had a few logistical issues, and we couldn't do it. So we have to, with Shopping TV, we always have to make sure uh, that we are uh, precise on everything. So if there's any unsurety, that's not even a word. If we're not sure on anything, uh, we will not bring it to you. So we had to check uh, that everything was fine. It is. We're now able to offer this bundle at a great price. And one of the beauties, and I think this is uh, where Hochanda really excels, is that you're able to split that price not only two ways, but actually three ways on this occasion. So there are three flexi payments. So 166 46 you get the Cricut Maker. But then you're getting so much more. Should we go through? I know we're going to be speaking to Mike in just a moment, but I want to show you what you're getting in this bundle. And when you start adding it up, considering the Cricut Maker by itself, you'd be looking at $379.99. And I've done my own research, not just with us, uh, but you can see that is the standard price for a Cricut machine. Okay, so bear that in mind, 379 Now, the price we're offering is just over £100 more, but you are getting so much more in value. So let's have a look at this. You are getting the two blades. This is really important. So we've got both our blades in there. You've got uh, the rotary blade, the knife blade. Sorry, not the rotary blade, the knife blade. You've also got the wavy blade in there as well. Now, that's worth £40 and £30 respectively. So we've already £70 just here. And we're going to keep on going. Uh, now, this is nice. If we just edge our way up, you can see you've got your applicator and you've got your remover. That's worth £19. It's included in the set. And you will use all of the blades you will absolutely use. You will use your applicator. You will use your weeding tools. But it's the quality that you get with Cricut. When you get these out of the packaging, the feel, the weight, everything about these. So these are all your basic tool sets. They allow you to weed and do everything. That's worth $24.99. Then we're going to give you, uh, obviously, elements to cut. Now, this is a big feature of the Cricut machine, the fact that it is so compatible with fabrics. I know if you go into the Cricut library as well, which is something we're going to look at in a bit more depth, then all of a sudden a whole world is opened up to you. So we're giving you two lots of fabric. Actually, shall I put them on together? Now, these are worth $12.99 uh, each. You're getting both of the fabrics, so fabric bundles, okay? So you're getting those. Then, we're not stopping there, because you're also, ooh, I'll sort that out in a sec. Uh, you're also going to be getting the mats, which I'll show you here. So you're getting the two mats with the machine, those you would get with the machine, but we're going to give you the additional grey mat in there. So that's your strong grip mat you will be getting. That's worth $12.49. We're getting, so you're going to have three mats to play with. Then we're going to give you stuff to cut. So here we have got, now this is nice. So you're getting your leather gold, your metallic leather gold, 12 by 12. You're also getting your vinyl cut. Now that's worth $12.99. You're also getting your vinyl in the mix as well. If you just have a little look, that again is worth $12.99. So when you start adding everything up, you realize uh, how much uh, you're actually getting. And look, we're not stopping there because you're also going to be getting all this felt in front of me too. 
I, before I did the show, I went online and I looked for an independent review because I think I always do this. If I'm going to invest in something, I want to find an independent review uh, just to gauge what experts are saying. And I found a website and uh, they look at all cutting machines. If you just type in Cricket Maker Review, they gave it 4.9 out of 5. That is the kind of score you get with the Cricket Maker, uh, and it is worth that score. It is such a good machine. It's the cutting pressure you get. Uh, you're kidding. We're at a quarter of the stock already. We've only just gone live. I, fi I fear I'm saying this way too often on shows. I hear myself, but genuinely, there was n I n did not believe we could be at a quarter stock already. You love a bargain, you can split the price in half. If you've got maybe the Cricket Air and you're looking to evolve to the Cricket Maker, there are certain features with the Cricket Maker that really stand it out from its predecessors. The cutting pressure, you're getting four kilograms of cutting pressure with the Cricket Maker. You're getting the rotary blade in there as well. This machine is going to future proof you. Uh, and that, I think, is why the Cricket machine is so popular with a lot of crafters as well, because what you have is the accessory. So you've got the pen, you can get uh, the removable pen. By that I mean you put the pen in uh, and you can do your designs and then erase that pen. Uh, you've also got, so we've got the pen options in there, you've got the different knives too. And there are certain knives, we're not featuring on the show, that are blades I should say, that you can go on and expand into. So this is a machine that will grow with you as a crafter. $499.39, uh, sorry, $499.39 uh, your price, saving £68, but you are getting a £68 saving. And everything that you're seeing in this bundle, you will use. Because have you ever seen sometimes you see bundles and things are thrown into a bundle and you're like, well, I'm not sure I'm going to be using that. Everything here you will absolutely use. You'll use all the mats. You will like the uh, extra strong mat. You will love the fabric. So that's the thing with a Cricut Maker. It, it suddenly allows you to take on fabrics. The blades we're going to use, the tools we're going to use, the applicator we're going to use, the vinyl we're going to use, we will use it all. Can I just show you something? And we're going to speak to Mike uh, in just a moment. And Mike, I, I, I apologize, buddy, for uh, keeping you waiting. Can I just show you these quilts? Just have a little look, because this gives you an idea. These have been made using the Cricut Maker. So if you are uh, a lover of quilting, imagine exploring and discovering your own designs. You get an accurate cut every time with your Cricut Maker. So you don't have to worry, no mistakes. Dip into your stash, use your fabrics, uh, and that is just the tip of the iceberg. Now I've got to introduce you to Mike. Uh, he's a great guy, and thank you so much for holding on, Mike. How are you doing, buddy? Mike, hello. Hey, oh, there you go. You I'm so sorry. It's <laughs> when live TV <laughs> goes wrong. Uh, now, that <laughs> looks like a very nice top. I'm going to go out on the limb and say you oh. made that using the Cricut Maker? I did indeed, yep. So this is just a shop walk top, which I've added a little bit of a flower design into the pocket here, which is a great thing to do with the Cricut machines. If you, if you don't really want to make something completely from scratch, you can always buy something that's shop bought and really easily, in literally a couple of minutes, just personalize it, add a little bit of a custom you, spin onto it. You have hit the nail on the head, and this is why. I, the Cricut Maker, I haven't got one at the moment but it is on my wish list and at some point I will be investing in it and I, you can do so much with it and one thing I would love to do and exactly what you're demonstrating there Mike is you can buy tops uh, I've seen tops for like two or three quid just a, a plain t-shirt then you become your own fashion designer and you can put anything you want you can resize it you can have it uh, on the arm you can have it on the chest on the back I know kids particularly love it when you put their names on stuff so if you know uh, if you've got any younger members of your family you want like football teams or anything you can suddenly do all of that there, there is no end to the possibilities yeah you're exactly right it's perfect for that and things like sports teams as well yeah. if i don't know if your kids are in a football team you could make all custom kit for them or fancy dress costumes or it's just so much you can do and that's just clothes we haven't even talked about everything else that it can oh. do and that it can cut and all the possibilities that it can open See, Mike, you, you're now you're going to be getting orders from our producer Ross because he plays <laughs> lacrosse and he's uh, ah. he's he's been frustrated because obviously in lockdown he hasn't been able to play. But I think you're going to be getting a call. Right. Maybe you're going to do him a lacrosse T-shirt. Um, you <laughs> yeah. you can get so much with this bundle, it is ridiculous. But I was kind of saying that everything we're getting in this bundle we're going to use. Let's just break it down because I know we've got our two blades. So uh, the wavy blade, for instance. Now, when would we be using our wavy blade, Mike? 
Yeah, so the wavy blade is one of the newer tools, one of the newer blades for cricket. And it's, if you imagine a rotary blade, so there is a rotary blade that comes with the machine. If you imagine just a little round blade that will glide over things, yep. it's very, very similar to that, but the end is actually slightly wobbly. Hence okay. why it's called the wavy blade. Nice. And that allows us to get kind of almost a scalloped finish oh. on our project in a really, really quick time. Of course, we could get a similar effect with yep just the normal knife blade, but it would take a lot longer. This just speeds it up. So it's really great for if you make paper craft, if you make nice. greetings cards, things like that, you can add a nice finish, a decorative border. Beautiful. Or another useful thing actually that I do with it quite often is okay. if you're cutting, um, say a cotton or something like that, some fabric that's going to fray and you yep. don't want it to fray too much. Then if you use the wavy blade, it kind of acts like pinking shears. Oh, okay. so you know those zigzag yeah, yeah. scissors where you oh. put, and it makes a zigzag and that just stops it from yeah. fraying. So if you uh -huh. cut your fabric pieces like this, if you're making um, some soft crafts or a sewing yeah. project, then it's just going to help it last without fraying as you handle it and as you move it and as you sew it. So it's quite a surprisingly handy blade for such a subtle change. Nice. Mike, uh, sorry to interrupt you there, buddy. And I know I'm really conscious of the fact I've done a lot of talking uh, so far. I, I can only <laughs> apologize, Mike. I've just got to tell everyone. So here's the thing. The bundle, and uh, we're always honest with you here at Hochanda. The reason we couldn't bring you the big bundle in the previous show is uh, there was we had to clarify how much stock we could get. And because we didn't have a precise figure, we couldn't take it to air. We've uh, since rectified that. I've got to tell you, though, 50% of the stock we were able to get hold of has already gone. We are 11 minutes into the show. So uh, this, I'm absolutely, and I really want to make this clear, I'm not trying to scare anyone. There's no pressure sales here whatsoever. But my advice, if you really have, and I, I think getting a cricket, it is, uh, it is a considered purchase 100%. But if you've had your eye on a cricket maker for some time this is a phenomenal bundle to get hold of because you are saving that 68 pounds but most importantly and this would definitely if it was me uh, make a big difference being able to spread the cost over three months because 166.46 although still a considered purchase it is a lot more manageable or palatable than uh, one big whack of 499 today so rather than 499 today take advantage of our flexi payments that are interest free you pay the 166 today so it's 166 uh, your first flexi payment and uh, uh, 46 pence and then you're spreading the cost over three months you're getting the full bundle we are explaining that I just got to deter I just had to uh, tell you how busy we are so say half the stock now uh, it's going to be dispatched from the 26th of June so you only have to wait uh, a week really not long so Mike I'm, I feel I'm apologizing to a lot this hour we talked <laughs> about the wavy can you tell me about now? We've also got uh, another blade here. So tell us about the, uh, it is the, the knife blade, knife blade. Yeah, that's the knife blade. So this is, um, it's really handy especially for cutting thicker and stronger materials. So things like chipboard and leather and balsa wood even. Yeah. So there's much heavier, denser, harder to cut materials that you might not really be able to cut at home mm. with normal scissors by hand. Uh -huh. This is going to allow you to cut it. So it's it's a much stronger blade and yeah. also you can see it's a lot longer. It's quite a sizable blade at right. the bottom there that we can see on screen. So that just allows it to cut through those thicker and much denser materials. And it works really by just cutting it repeatedly mm -hmm. in small grooves. So it might cut 10 to 20 times through some balsa wood just repeatedly in the same place. So it's not going to force its way through. It's not going to you know sort of jam right the way through and potentially damage the machine. It's going to go nice and smoothly with that yeah. same level of accuracy that it would cut even the finest paper and fabric. But so, because it's doing repeatedly and because it's a bit longer, you can cut these really dense, heavy yeah. materials. So, yeah, like you say, your balsa wood, uh, grey board, I know it's, it can cut yeah, up to, was great. it, three, yeah. three and 32, uh, it's a 332 inch sort of ratio, that's kind of depth it can cut up to. Is that right? Yeah, about, um, in terms of depth of the material, about 2.4 millimeters okay. is um, the depth that the Cricut Maker can cut, which doesn't sound much, but it actually is. I mean, that's going to take yeah. you to the thickest chipboard and balsa wood. Cool. It's really only limited by what can fit under the actual yeah. bar in the machine itself. Um, so, yeah, that's going to cover most things. I don't know if you can see just on the screen, so actually, I've got just a little leather book that I made oh, wow. with the, the exact same leather that's actually in the bundle today. So you can now see that nice. through there, that fine detail. Yeah. It's the same project that's on the picture on the front of the leather. And Feel this, free to get it closer to like the really camera, Mike. Intricate. If you want to put it right up to the yeah. camera, it's fine. Sorry to make you reach. Here yeah. we go. There you go. Then. If you nice. can see that a little yeah, bit yeah. clearer. 
Uh-huh. But I mean, the detail there is is ridiculous. Well, this, this kind is of floral the... design, and this it took a couple of minutes to cut through as well, which is amazing. Just show you because we have got that leather, uh, and that's included in the bundle. I'm just going to show you here. Uh, I don't know if I can open it up. It's metallic gold leather. Well, I'll just I'll give you a peek. I'm not going to open up the packaging, but there you can see. I mean, that is beautiful leather and we're cutting that with our machine so we're getting both the blades uh, the wavy and the knife blade but you're also getting the rotary cutter i'm right in saying we're getting the rotary cutter with the machine mike yep that's right yep. yep so the rotary blade comes with all cricket makers um even outside of this bundle if you just bought the maker itself yep. then the rotary blade would be as part of that because it's such such a fundamental part of the maker really the the real point of difference of the Cricut Maker over previous Cricut models yes. is that it can cut fabric, loads of different types of fabric, and that is because of that rotary blade. So it acts just like a normal handheld rotary blade that uh -huh. I'm sure lots of people are used to using at home for cutting out fabric patterns, um, except it's just a really tiny little scaled down version of it, but it's yeah. super sharp and super powerful and really accurate as well. There, I'm just showing you there, you can see the blade, that tiny little blade. Oh, that's, blade. So that, actually, that's slightly different. That's the fine point blade, the okay. rotary blade that I just mentioned. But this oh, is sorry. another really, really important blade. This is, I kind of refer to this as like the bread and butter blade. Nice. In that it's kind of the standard go-to that you will keep using again and okay. again. So and we're getting, that, we're getting that with it as, uh, in the bundle as well. So sorry, yes. I held up the wrong yes, one. Exactly. Uh, well, I, in just speaking to crafters, so what we, uh, Ho Chanda, we, uh, we haven't done it for a while, obviously we're locked down, but it's so nice getting out and about to events. And uh, I find viewers, they come up and they chat to me about items they purchased. A few viewers have talked to me about the Cricut Maker, and they're saying the rotary blade, I know it's fantastic for fabric, but also cutting vinyl, they were so impressed with the detail that rotary blade, uh, blade allows you to get such fine detail. Uh, and again, it's an, another real distinguishing feature of the Cricut Maker. Yeah, so just, just to correct, so the rotary blade is actually just for fabric. Oh, okay. So make sure you're only using that for fabric and felt and things like that. So the, I got mixed up. Would that be the fine, that the fine vinyl? vinyl. So, <laughs> Sorry, Mike. No, don't worry. There's a lot of tools there. Yeah. If, if, don't, if this might sound confusing if people are watching it, the software takes you through it all in great detail. So if you do want to cut something out, all you need to do is tell it what you're going to cut out, and it will tell you the exact okay. blade that you need. And probably nine times out of ten, it's yeah. either going to be the rotary blade or the fine point blade. So it was um, a fine, so the fine point, point blade. blade is okay. great for paper and card and vinyl and iron on yeah. things like that. Okay, so that was my confusion and apologies. I did. I was. It was a long time since I chat, but I remember it was the fine blade that they were talking about. Uh, but you are getting the rotary blade. So I just want to make that clear. With the actual machine, you're getting the rotary blade. You're getting the fine blade, and they're the real workhorses. So rotary blade just for your fabric. The fine blade allowing you to take on your vinyls. Uh, you've also got in the package the bundle we're offering the knife blade, which uh, allows you to take on your more dense materials. So your balsa wood, uh, your grey board, uh, chipboard, and you're getting your weight wavy blade as well to give that beautiful scallop detail. That is just the blades. We haven't even talked about the tools that you're going to be getting in this bundle as well. Mike, I was describing earlier on, we can't mention brands, but there is a well-known, uh, just in the top of my head, there's a well-known mobile phone brand, and when you yeah. unbox it, you are so aware of the quality, it just feels special. And uh, mm -hmm. I get the same feeling with the Cricut. The tools, everything feels premium. I think anyone who's purchased this will know exactly what I mean. Yeah, absolutely. You're definitely not the first person to make that comparison because, it, it, I mean, it is the, the obvious comparison. The quality of particularly the Cricut Maker, just the beautiful design and the quality of it is yeah. so apparent. But that rings true for everything that Cricut makes. And I, I genuinely do mean that. Obviously, I work really closely with Cricut, so you could say I'm biased, but genuinely putting myself aside from that work relationship as a crafter, a you know, crafter of all my life, the quality of every single thing that Cricut makes from the machine, you know, the most expensive thing, all the way through to just a pair of scissors is the best. And yeah. it, they're the tools that I keep reaching for again and again in my craft room, even if I'm not using the Cricut, if I just want to cut out some small piece of fabric by hand, then I will reach for the Cricut scissors because they're the best, they're the sharpest, they're the most comfortable. So everything that Cricut does, it's yeah, it's fantastic quality and you, you will notice that as soon as you start to use it. You'll see it. Uh, I've got to tell everybody that three quarters of the stock 
of our big bundle has gone. We are having a really busy show. Uh, can I just speak to anyone right now? And I know a lot of you have the bundle in your baskets right now. If you have any questions, Mike's here. You can see how knowledgeable Mike is. I mean, he knows the cricket maker inside out. So if you do have any questions whatsoever, if you're on the fence about anything, please get in touch with us. Uh, what I would say to you is have a look at the flexi payments, I mean that makes a big difference and I would be taking advantage of that because you're spreading the cost over three months. What I would personally do as well, you've probably already done your research, if you're going to be buying this machine right now, if you're spending £500 on a machine uh, or a bundle I should say, I do my research. You've already, pro there's a good chance you've already done that but if not, if you really want that surety, go online, just type in Cricket Maker Review, I've done this, and see what independent experts are saying about the Cricket Maker. Uh, the reviews I've seen have all been absolutely first-rate excellent. So uh, do your own research on this, but when you see the price, the fact that Hochanda, we're offering you that £68 discount, we're offering you the flexi payment as well. Uh, if you've been waiting for the right opportunity to get hold of the Cricket Maker, if it is in your basket right now, you could not have picked a better time to uh, welcome yourself into the fabulous world that is cricket. Speaking of which, I think uh, Mike has got some demonstrations to share with us. Mike, what are we going to be doing today? Yeah, sure. So we talked a little bit earlier about customizing just shop bought things, and that's probably one of the most common things that people do with their cricket maker. So I thought we would customize a kid's t-shirt. So I've got just nice. a plain white kid's t-shirt here. So similar to how I've customized this, we're going to do a slightly different design. Um, so I'm going to be using this pretty snazzy glitter gold iron on here, which I think is in one of the other bundles. It's certainly available on the show. Okay. And some bits that I've already cut out already. So I'll show you how. Are we ready to go into the demo now? Yeah, yeah go for it, mate. Go for it. Yeah, cool. Okay. So we're going to be doing a layered design, actually. So in the... Oh, I think it's just frozen. Oh, <laughs> we're going to get back to it. Like... Like... Oh, he's back. He's back. The final one. I, I'll, we'll hand back to oh. Mike. Mike, you just you just froze oh, for a few minutes, uh, for a few seconds there. Sorry. Oh no, sorry. Right. Hopefully no, you can okay. see me now. Give me a yeah. shout if it goes again. I okay. was just saying that um, in the earlier show, I did do a layered design in the earlier show, right. but I didn't show how to do every single layer. I just skipped right yeah. to the end. So in this one, I thought nice. I would show you how we actually layer up that design using um, various iron-ons. So I'm just going to apply. Mike, we're getting, the, um, uh, we're getting the mats with it, so I know you're using the blue mat. We've got mm -hmm. the pink and the grey. Just for anyone who, oh, I love using the applicator there as well. What's the difference <laughs> between the pink, the uh, blue and the grey mats, please? Yeah, that's a really important question, actually. So the blue mat and the pink mat, I'll just grab the pink one. So the blue one is for paper and card and vinyl and iron-on. It's called the light grip mat. So this is specifically designed just to hold things quite lightly, but things like that I've just mentioned, so paper, card and your vinyls. Pink is specifically for fabric. So it's called the fabric grip mat. And each one does say on the top um, the name of it as well, so there's yeah. no confusion. Okay. This is just for fabric. And it's okay. not just the color that's different. It's actually the addition on there is different, a different right. strength. And the actual board itself, I believe the pink one is actually a bit denser just to withstand the rotary blade, which cuts in a okay. different way. So right. make sure you only use your, in the same way that you'd only use um, your fabric scissors for cutting scissors, make yes. sure you only use your fabric mat for fabric and your light grip mat for all those other things as okay. well. Lovely. Thanks for sharing that. Right. So I've added my uh, iron on, this glitter iron on, in, onto the mat, and I've applied it using the rayer applicator, as you saw, and that's just going to help it stick and make sure that it's stuck nice and firmly. And then, excuse me, just while I look off screen, so I've got all the projects set up already on my computer just off screen, and okay. don't worry that you can't see this, it's super easy, it will talk you through in really clear language exactly what to do, but all yeah. I've done is basically load up my design, I've aligned it so that it's going to cut in the correct place and I've said, right, I'm going to cut glitter iron on and now it's ready to go. And you can see that the machine, well, hopefully you can see the machine is flashing. It's telling me which button to press. So I press the flashing button and that just moved it in slightly and locked yeah. it in position. Then the next button is flashing. So I'm going to press that one and that is the go button. So yeah. it's just going to have a little think. It's going to make sure that I've put the right blade in there. So I was saying earlier, it's it's pretty difficult to get it wrong, really, with cricket. Yeah. They make it so, so easy. 
down to the exact blades. So oh. we were saying before, different blades for different things. It can cut different things, and you should use them for certain materials. Yeah. If you forget, if you get something wrong, and that's happened to me plenty of times, I put the wrong blade in, not paying attention, it's not going to cut out because it will take a moment to have a think. If it's not working, it won't cut, and it will come up with an error message on the screen saying, whoa, hold on, I think you've got the wrong blade here. Do you want to just make sure and check? Yeah. So don't be intimidated by the, the fact that you might think there's a lot to remember and consider because it, it could not be easier, it really couldn't. It's a clever machine, it is intuitive, so it, it's effectively, it's got your back. Yes, exactly, yeah, that's exactly what it is. So that's cut out already, so I'm actually making a sunshine design here, nice okay. summery design, although it's a little bit rainy where I am today, but oh. maybe this design will bring the sun back. And that's already cut out. So I know you can't see anything just yet, but once I reveal the design, you'll see the accuracy of this and just how quickly that cut out. A relatively, um, I wouldn't say complex, but quite an involved design. So I'm just going to take my bright pad here. Oh, I so this is a Cricut bright pad, um, which is just going to help backlit the project yeah. to illuminate okay. where we've cut the lines because it's so so fine this detail it's quite difficult yeah. with almost with the naked eye to see where you've cut okay and you can find so, that i think yeah. we do have that uh on our website if you have a look on the website okay yeah it should be we've used this on shows before it's a handy handy addition to mm -hmm. have it's not essential so don't be put off if you think it's you know it's another thing to buy or invest in but it, it'll just help make your life a little bit easier if you want to okay i like how so you store just... your tools on the actual maker so it has got uh it's got storage on the side of the machine and it's also got really nifty uh additional storage in the tray if i just uh, direct your attention down here You've got further storage in there. What do you keep in your uh, tray, Mike? Um, well, I keep um, my blades and my pens. So I've got just a few in there right now, just a few spare blades and some pens. But I have spoken to some people that keep snacks in there. Amazing. They put chocolates in there. They put sweets in there. So, oh, that is I a, mean, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> that's a game changer. I love that. A great little storage yeah. for your snacks. Okay. It is handy, but I mean, even down to just the storage units, the quality on them, I mean, it sounds stupid to say, but the quality on them is amazing. So the these two little bits here, there's, just to show you the depth, so this one's a lot deeper, you can get oh, the yeah. scissors right to the bottom. This one's shallower, so you can see I'm touching the bottom, so it's yeah. great. I can't actually touch the bottom. Yeah. Okay. And pens into the other, but they're also silicon-based as well, so if you do put blades in, it's not going to blunt in them. So just little touches uh, like that. Oh, yes, that's... Do you know, I hadn't noticed that, but you're right. It's got a little bit of rubber yeah. in that one. So if you yeah, do exactly. uh, put your blades in, they're not going to, uh, they won't dull. Nice. Yeah, exactly. Everything about this machine is so well thought through. And you can tell just by the smoothness of the mechanism, we were showing it being opened. Um, so when you get your machine, you're going to do this a lot, I promise you. But I'm just going to open the machine now. It's such a smooth, it glides open that mechanism there. Listen to the click here. So when I just you hear it. I mean, everything about this is so precise. Uh, it's just absolute quality. How are we getting on, Mike? Yeah, good, thank you. It's like a spaceship, isn't it, when you open yeah. it? I always think that. It's so futuristic. It, it, it is a machine. Now, I was talking about the fact that it's a machine that will future-proof uh, future you because you've got mm -hmm. so many add-ons, like with the blades. Uh, it's a machine that will grow with you as you grow as a crafter. Yes, you're exactly right. Yep. So a lot of people buy it with one particular thing in mind. So they want to make greetings cards or they want to customize some t-shirts. And that's great. It definitely justifies itself if you're going yeah. to use it a lot for that one particular thing. But inevitably, as people get it and they realize, hold on, maybe I could do that with it or maybe I could do that, they very quickly start to make more and more yeah. things. And it will just grow with you as a crafter. It will grow with your interests. It will grow with your skill level as well. You can start to push the machine harder. You can test new things. So yeah, yeah you might be thinking, oh yeah, cool, I'll buy it for that. Mm -hmm. But trust me, you're going to do a lot more with it when you actually mm -hmm. get it in your hands and you realize just how many things it can do. Yeah. Right, yeah. so I've cut my design out, so you can see, I don't know if you can, I don't know if maybe putting the map behind. No, we can help. see that, yeah. That help? Yeah. Lovely. So you can see I've cut just some eyes and the little sun rays around there, okay. and that's in that glitter iron-on. So yeah. we cut that out in, what, 60 seconds just a yeah. moment ago, and I've nice. weeded it, which is taking away all the negatives. And that could be and someone's then, name I've... if you wanted as well, it could be anything you like, any design. Exactly, yeah, anything you want. So this design is actually already in the Cricut Design Space mm -hmm. software. 
Can you talk um, to so us a little bit about the... For me, I didn't need to do anything. Mike, can you tell us a little bit about the software? Because that is an, another massive selling point for the Cricket Machine, that yeah. you've got so much software that you can take advantage of, and it gives you that professional finish. And that's the real key, because yeah. if you've got a project in mind, whether it's a sewing project, a quilting uh, project, or a paper crafting project, you can use the software and explore. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So Cricket Design Space is... Basically, the um, I guess the, the the brains behind the engine almost. So mm -hmm. it's what powers the machine. Yeah. So it can work completely remotely as well. You'll notice I've not got any cables. I'm doing it all through Bluetooth right now. Nice. Um, and it's it, there's two parts to it really. It's partly um, a library, so a massive library of images and fonts and pre-made projects. Yeah. So things like sewing projects or home decor projects, it'll all be designed for you with tutorial steps, just ready to cut out and follow. That's amazing. Um, but it's also a, a design software as well. So you can have what's called your canvas, where you can basically it's a, a blank playing field and you can add different images in, you can upload your own designs as well and create your own thing to cut oh. out. So it's a really handy bit of software that powers it. And nice. The best thing about it is it's completely free to download and you don't even need a Cricut machine. So right so, now, if you're watching this, you can download Cricut Design Space. All you need okay. to do is just search, um, either search online or search yeah. in an app store um, on either your phone, a tablet, a desktop, a laptop. Cricket whatever Design we'll Space. There, really. Yeah. Can I just ask, yeah, what are you Design using Space. there? Because I've seen the larger press, yeah. but what's this? I've never seen this yep, before. So I was just about to talk about this. Yep. So this is the Easy Press Mini, which if you just let me finish adding this and I'll show you in a bit more detail. But this yeah. is basically a scaled down version of the Easy Press 2, which is the bigger one that you might have seen. And this is so good for smaller projects like kids clothes, like baby grows, even canvas shoes or caps. I've got a few examples I'm kind of breaking oh, yeah. from my demo here, but it seems That's appropriate. Okay. So yeah, things like this so you see a cap here with that little b design on yeah I so that's been added with the easy press mini if you had just a normal easy press you'll see that you would not be able to do that because right. it's so big it would kind of crush the crush cap everything. almost yeah but with the easy press mini you can get into these tiny details amazing and also things like baby grows oh, you that's can work cute. around seams and training. buttons and zips so it's, yeah, it's great for little projects like that. Okay, like it. Uh, we I have like got that. it on the show. Details on the screen. Fifty-four ninety-nine. If you want to treat yourself to the uh, Cricut Easy Press Mini, and you have got two flexi payments of twenty-seven pounds and fifty pence. Seven seven six one two three. Your item number. Okay. How are we getting on, Mike? Right. So I'm just yeah. So I'm just adding the first layer of this. Mm -hmm. So I mentioned before that I'm going to be doing a layered T-shirt design in the okay. sunshine design. Okay. Um, so you can layer iron-on design, iron-on um, vinyl, which is great. So you can create different um, kind of different effects by adding them on top of each other. Yeah. Um, so I'm just adding the first one, which is just a yellow circle. It doesn't look too interesting right now, but nice. bear with me. We'll add some detail. Do you know what I tend um, to? And we recommend. Yep. in general adding probably no more than about four to five layers so if you did want okay. to create some cool layered designs then just keep that in mind you're going to get the best results if you keep it to that Lovely. and importantly if you do use anything like a glitter vinyl so like this layer make sure that's the top layer just because other iron-on doesn't really like to stick to the glitter itself it's completely non-shed so it's yep. not going to leave a trail of glitter wherever you walk but it's quite textured so okay. Iron on doesn't like to stick to that, so make sure that you keep that as the Lovely. last layer, if that makes sense. Mike, we, so. we tend to find there's uh, we've got a few uh, people here at Ho Chanda who have the Cricut Maker and love it. And uh, so, yeah. for instance, one of our producers, Lottie, uh, who you might know from Mama Makes, she yeah. she has a Cricut Maker and she uses it all the time. So for occasions, she actually made one of the team. It was a birthday, and she loves riding horses. She she made her a bespoke T-shirt. Uh, if we have an event coming up, uh, we had a uh, a summer party, and it was themed. So she made T-shirts for everyone. But what you get with the Cricut Maker, it is those possibilities, but we have to go back to that professional finish. So what you're making now, it will be a T-shirt. It's as if you shop bought it, the quality and the finish. Because in the past, um, I was best man and I made some T-shirts for the stag do. And I, you're just literally trying to iron on a design. And by the end of the night, it's peeling off, it's cracked, and it really it's one use and then they're gone these are a different world i mean what you make with your cricket maker the finish is ex exemplary really yeah you're totally right yeah especially if you use the all the correct equipment like the easy press as well it's just going to give you the most the, the best quality that you can it's going to give you industry level 
quality. So your iron on designs, for instance, I mean, they'll probably last as long as the t-shirt itself lasts. They'll last, last through wash after wash and wear after wear. Um, so yeah, you, you are going to get great quality. If you're adding things, like you say, just with an iron, then yeah, that can definitely peel away. I, I'll be honest, before I used, uh, or before I um, started working with Cricut and used the iron on um, the, sorry, Easy Press to do my iron on, yeah. I was not the biggest fan of iron on as a craft just because I'd had such bad experiences in the past with using my just normal domestic iron to add them. I just thought, oh, it's not worth the hassle, it's not worth the risk, and it, I just wasn't really that keen. Then I used the Easy Press and I realized how iron on actually should be and how it should actually work and also how easy it is to make these designs. And now yeah. I've got a very different opinion of using iron on because it's just so much easier now with the right equipment. We we're just showing a few as you you were talking there, Mike. We were showing a few finished mm -hmm. inspirations. So, I mean, look, whether you want to make your own bags, there are projects, and that is the key. It's being able to access all the designs from Cricut. So we can make our own uh, bags there. I've got another bag here. I love this one for uh, maybe someone who's got green fingers. How's it growing? Very nice. You could put that on a T-shirt as well. Uh, you've also got little... So now, this is cute. So little toys... For a kid. That, to me, the feel of that, they're kind of like, you know, little beanbag uh, toys. That feels like it, it, the finish, it's been bought. I wouldn't say that that had been uh, made at home. That's incredible. And that's what you get with the Cricut machine. Okay, so how are we getting on then, Mike? Right, so I'm just about to do the final layer, so I'll show you where I'm up to, actually. So you can see we've got a little face on our sunshine. So a little face I cut out just before the show. Yeah. And then the last one, he's looking a bit... Um, a little bit bald at the moment, so we're going to add some sun rays, which I cut out just at the start okay. of the show. Now, okay. all, you'll notice I've taken away all the negatives of the design in the process that's called weeding, um, but all of this stays on the carrier plastic, and right. that's kind of serves two purposes. One, it's slightly sticky, so it's going to help you, like I'm just doing now, press right. this design temporarily into place, so I can gently lift that up to show you. Yeah, so yeah. that's going to hold it in place while right. I press it but also it's heat proof. So ah. that plastic carrier is going to protect the Something. lower layers that I'm layering on top of. Brilliant. So do make sure if you're doing layered on design, if you're doing layered designs with iron on, every subsequent layer, that protected plastic must cover all of the previous ones. You do not want to be adding heat yeah. directly onto yeah. the iron on, which okay. is yeah, pretty standard with iron yeah, on designs. Um, or if you've got t-shirts with them, you don't you want to iron yeah, on yeah. them when you're just doing your ironing in the morning. So just keep that in mind. This T-shirt reminds me of, now Mike, you're, you're far too young to remember this, but there was a well-known show uh, in the past of these little characters who were a bit tubby and liked watching TV. Uh, and the start of the show, they featured a son. So uh, yeah, it no, kind of reminds me of that. I'm not too young for that. I you're know too, you Mike, you're way too young for that. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. But it is quite similar to that. It's got a little bit about it. <laughs> Um, right, so I'm just giving, you'll notice I'm just giving this almost like a little massage. I'm just rubbing this round. So it's slightly different than the larger Easy Press machines uh -huh. where you would cover the entire design in one and you just press it down, leave it for the time, and then take it off. Yeah. Because the Easy Press is a little bit smaller and it doesn't cover the whole thing, instead, you just keep it moving like this nice. for about 25 seconds okay. with this particular iron on yeah. now each, all iron on is different so if you're not sure what temperature setting to use or how long to press it for then Cricut have actually made um, a guide on their website and it's a, it's a really good interactive guide where all you need to do is just tell it the iron on that you're using and what you're ironing it on to so in this case 100% cotton t-shirts with yeah. glitter iron on and it will tell you the exact settings you need so it told me that I need to put my easy press mini onto yeah. the middle setting and press it for about 25 seconds and then just leave it to cool for a moment. I mean, Cricket thought of absolutely everything. Yeah, they have. I mean, they, they know that Cricket machines are very complicated, advanced machines, but they don't want that to be a blocker to no. just normal hobbyists or yeah. casual crafters using them. And they've done so really successfully. They've made it so user friendly and so easy. There's just no, no ambiguity on what to do or how to make things or where yeah. to go next with it. Well, and if ever anything does come up, then the support is incredible. There's been a couple of times where I've needed a few bits of support on little yeah. bits, and the support team is amazing. They it's get back to you so quickly, and yeah. they're so helpful. Nice. Right, right are you ready for look. the final reveal? Yes. Here we go. Can you what? see that okay? Mike, that looks amazing.
Seriously, <laughs> that look, it looks like you've gone to the shop and bought that. You know, you touched on something because that has got such a professional finish. And I hear a lot of stories of people who have invested in a cricket maker uh, actually as a business. So this is the start, and then they've gone on and started making to sell. Absolutely, yeah. it has got that level of quality and endurance that if you are looking to maybe start your own small crafting business, this is going to be your workhorse, your foundation. Uh, equally, if you are just a hobbyist, as Mike said, fantastic, because what you will be with the Cricket Maker, do you have that one friend? Uh, or, do you know, maybe you've got little ones who are at school and there's that, that parent who makes everything. So it could be National Book Week or Book Day, rather, and their kids come in and look incredible and you're like, oh, and your kids just got, I don't know, a bin bag and a toilet roll in the head. Uh, you know, the fact is, with the Cricket Maker, you become that person that everyone looks at and is jealous because you're able to make the bag. You're able to go in, but you've got the support. You go into the design software, the project you want to make, whether it is paper crafting project, uh, if you want to uh, make some tops, become your own fashion designer. If you want to use uh, paper, cut paper, you can do anything with the machine. You go into the design software, you pick the project. There are so many projects to choose from. You'll absolutely find something uh, that you're looking for, and then you let the machine do all the work. It's that simple. It's a great machine. I've got to tell you, we are over 80% of the stock. Now, I do want to put this into perspective. That stock was meant to be across two shows. We've only been able to feature uh, that bundle, this bundle, I say, this hour, because we had to clarify how much stock we had, and there were a few issues. So uh, it meant on the earlier show, unfortunately, and regrettably, we weren't able to bring it. But we're so happy that we can bring it to you this hour. And I'm incredibly pleased that a lot of you are connecting with this and getting yourself a bargain. Because you are saving £68. And look, that's nothing to be sniffed at. I do understand, and I totally understand, the £499, it is an investment. And I think anyone who says otherwise is lying to you. That is an absolute investment. But as crafters, a lot of people aspire to the Cricut Maker. So if you are somebody who've had your eye on the Cricut Maker for some time, you've been waiting for the right opportunity uh, and the right, right price, uh, price point to really uh, get involved, being able to split the price over three flexi payments, and that is such a great feature of Hochanda. So rather than having to pay that 499 today, so 500 pounds, say, today, you uh, suddenly paying one, uh, 166 pounds and 46 pence, we send everything out to you. And in this bundle, you are not just getting the Cricut Maker. So the Cricut Maker, the core Cricut Maker, it comes with the two blades, your rotary blade and your fine blade. Uh, but with the bundle, you're getting so much more. You're getting the knife blade to take on denser materials, so your balsa wood, uh, your grey board, your chipboard. You're getting your wavy blade to give that beautiful scallop detail to your projects. You're getting vinyl in the mix. We've got leather, the gold leather that you just saw earlier on. Uh, we're also going to give you the other mat. And again, everything here you're going to use. That mat, the grey mat, it's uh, an extra uh, strong mat. So I say the tack on the mat, it's a strong mat. So you're getting the grey mat. You're getting the two mats with the core machine. Uh, you would be anyway if you're buying that machine by itself. You're going to get two lots of fabric in the mix too. If I just show you here, so you're getting uh, both lots of these fabric. So again, you've got the projects to take on. Look, cutie warning. So if you, there's maybe little ones in the family or little ones coming. There you go. So you've got all the projects. So you've got your fabrics in the mix. And if we come over here, the tools. So again, you will want and use all of these. You've got all the tools you're seeing here, and these are like your go-to tools. Uh, everything about it is absolutely first rate. You've got your weeding tools, your cutting tools, scraping tools, uh, and then we have our uh, applicator and our remover in there, which we saw Mike uh, demonstrating so expertly. It's a phenomenal bundle for a phenomenal machine. Uh, say, if it is in your basket, and we've had a lot of you purchasing this bundle, this sound, thank you so much. You, you will never regret it, and I really do mean that. What I would do, and there is still time, just search very quickly, reviews, Cricket Maker reviews. Have a look at what independent experts say. Don't be too long, because we've only got 15 minutes left on the show, and we're over 80% of the stock, so I can't... All right, now we're at 85% of the stock, and I really can't guarantee if that stock goes, because I say we have had issues, there is a very real uh, possibility that once that stock's gone, 
it, it's gone. And we are heading towards single figures now for this option. So if you really want to get a hold of it, now is the time. 065271, your item number. Uh, we have got uh, the Easy Press. Now, we heard Mike talking about the Easy Press. So what this enables you to do, if you've ever struggled with uh, maybe using your iron for projects, it's a great option. Mike, um, tell us about the Easy Press. Yeah, sure. So the Easy Press is um, it's a type of heat press, as the name suggests. And the best way to explain it is if you imagine just a normal domestic iron, so with some settings and then um, a hot metal plate on the bottom, it's kind of like that, but it's been designed specifically for iron on projects and to work with all of the other things that we've got on sale today. Yeah. So it's got, I mean, it's got too many benefits that I could mention in today's show, but the main one is that plate on the bottom, that mm -hmm. metal plate, is going to get completely even edge-to-edge -edge coverage of heat. So edge-to-edge, nice. -edge, corner to corner, is going to heat up to the exact temperature that you tell it to on the Brilliant. interactive screen on the top. If you're using a normal domestic iron, then in, in theory it can work for iron-on, but yeah. you are going to get hot and cold spots, which means you're just not going to be confident that it's actually got to the temperature required, nice. or it might even go too hot and damage your project, burn your materials. So when we were saying earlier that when we've used iron, just normal irons in the past for iron-on, the reason that they haven't worked so well is just yeah. because the temperature from a normal domestic iron Doesn't is not reliable. But Mike, when you say press, it truly it's, is. it's interactive, does it? Because I'm seeing, I know the answer to this because I've seen it working. But it gives us a, a countdown. So when we press it down, it tells us how long to keep it pressed down for. Am I right in saying that? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's really handy. So you can program both the temperature and the time. So yeah. you set the timer and you set the temperature, you put it onto your project to heat it up, press mm -hmm. go, and then it will beep when it's done. But this is another fantastic bundle because, again, great saving of £62. We're getting now here's the uh, that glitter gold vinyl that you were actually using for the uh, t shirt with the sun. So we're getting that in there. We've also got the uh, here the everyday iron on. So it's a patterned iron on. The bag in itself is such a stylish bag. Really nice quality bag. I mean, you must hear that a lot. People sort of see the bag and say the bag alone you'd pay good money for. Oh, yeah, definitely. And it's not, it's not just a carry bag either. This is all completely insulated and heat proof. So if you are, um, I don't know, if you're crafting on the go or, for instance, when I come to Hachanda and I use my own and I, my own heat press, then when I pack up to go home, I don't need to wait for it to cool down. I can just put it straight into the bag and know that it's heat proof and it's going to be safe. Excellent. And it's just everything about this. Now, this bag by itself is worth $49.99. We've got a mat as well, so we can use our mat pressing on. So you can effectively uh, use your easy press on the go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And there's a little pocket as well at the back for the mat. So it's kind of, yeah, an all in one workspace. Oh, wow. So there we go. So you've got your pocket for the mat. Lovely. Uh, Mike, we're going to go back to you for one last demonstration. Uh, what would you like yeah. to show? Oh, got to say, uh, just before we head back to Mike, uh, we have just gone limited stock for our bundle with the Cricut Maker. Uh, it's going to be tight, but I think the Cricut bundle could potentially be selling out in uh, this hour, which we're all surprised about. And I'll, I'll tell you why, because the stock we had should have been for two hours. So uh, I think a lot of people are appreciating that it is a great saving, £68 saving, uh, and taking advantage of those flexi payments as well. But as I say, we are limited stock on this bundle, so if you have been waiting for an opportunity to get it, now is the time. What are we going to do next, Mike? Right, so in the show earlier, um, at 1 o'clock, I think it was, 12 yep. o'clock, I've forgotten already, I made this little banner here, so you can well, see cool. this little cactus design. And actually in the show, oops, it's caused a little bit, in the in the time between the two shows, I've actually added. See these little flowers? These yeah. are actually cut out with the Cricut machine nice. in some cotton, and it's the same cotton that's in um, one of the uh, cotton bundles. packs on today's show. Yeah. So I've added these just in between the shows. So I thought I'll show you how I did that, how I cut out these shapes. Okay. So I'm going to cut out something a little bit bigger, a little bit more interesting than these small flowers, but the process is very much the same. Nice. I know that I've not shown actually how to cut out just standard standard cotton yet today. Yeah. So I'm going for my pink mat, which if you remember from earlier, pink is fabric mat, so make sure you only use it for your fabric. Yeah. And again, it does say on the top, fabric grip, so there's no okay. confusion. And you can see actually, this is the size of all of the cotton in yeah. the packs. So these are 12 by 24 inches, Lovely. which is designed to fit perfectly the width of this mat, which is really handy. And then you get lots of excess as well, so it's kind of double the size of the mat. 
So it means that you can, rather than having, if you had, say, um, a fat quarter, which is yeah. a slightly different dimension, it might not fit it quite as well, but these right. are actually designed to perfectly fit that map nicely. Lovely. Mike, we've just so, got to give a bit of news. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mike. Um, just got to let everyone know that we have technically sold out of our big bundle. So what this means is all our stock is either sold or in your basket. Uh, if any do jump out, this is not a complete sellout. So, so if any do jump out, I will let you know. If you really want this bundle, now is the time uh, to check out, and I'm not trying to force you into that whatsoever. I just want to make you aware that if you have the bundle in your uh, basket right now, it's in there for seven minutes, and then after seven minutes, it jumps out automatically. Uh, we have got people who try to purchase and have missed out right now, so if it does jump out, you've got a real possibility that someone else will nab it and you will not get a hold of it. So as it is currently in your basket, um, now's the time to uh, secure your purchase. What I would say is if you're trying and you've missed out on the bundle, we still have the machine. Uh, you can keep your fingers crossed. I, I promise if any do jump out, I'm going to say it straight away. So if any jump out baskets, I'll let you know because I do know some people have missed out on there. Okay. Back to you, Mike. Sorry, buddy. Oh. the cotton to yep. the fabric grip mat. I okay. use my applicator just to smooth out those wrinkles. We want it to be as flat as possible. And then, in fact, hold on. So in fact, um, this is a good example of if it goes wrong. I was about to say, you need to put your rotary blade in first because I've got the fine point blade that I cut the vinyl out a moment ago. Mm -hmm. I accidentally forgot and just pressed go, but it's flashing on the screen saying, no, you put the wrong blade in. So there you go, it's, it saved me there from a bit of a disaster. So instead, I'm just going to show you just how easy that is to take out. You just literally open up that little pocket in the front, that little port, and then put the new blade in. And it's as easy as that. So you don't need any, you know, screwdrivers, anything like that, anything complicated to change the tools. It's just a little door that you open and close. I can now make sure, yep, that's the right blade and it's flashing again. So you should now do a second check and make sure that I have got it right this time. So you see it comes over here, it just spins and it just it identifies the blade that is in there. And it should hopefully be happy with that. It's just saying on the screen, detecting tool, I know you can't see that. Okay. There we go, so that's cutting. So this is working just like a little mini, well it is literally a mini rotary blade that you might use just to cut out pattern pieces if you're sewing, that kind of thing by hand. It's just a tiny little mini version of that. So you can see it moving around quite quickly. Nice. And there's a little countdown on the screen as well. It's saying it's about 90% done already. Okay. It's cutting quick. Mike, as we're seeing that it cut, is cutting quick. would you say there's a real sense of community within the cricket world? Because I've been doing my research and you find a lot of people who go for the cricket maker or any of the other cricket machines. There is that solidarity. There's loads of paces to post your makes and, and that sort of uh, community mm -hmm. feeling really going on. Yeah, you're completely right. Yeah, it's yeah, it's almost like a subgroup of crafters, really, yeah. the cricket crafters. And there's a really, really strong community, particularly on social media as well. I mean, I've made really, really good friends through cricket. Um, so like Emma Jewell, who does yeah. the shows on her channel with me. Well, yeah. we tend to alternate every few weeks. Okay. I, I met her partly through cricket and oh, we've wow. become really good friends through that. So and that's just, you know, that's one person that I've met through right. this. There's a whole global yeah, community lovely. of yeah. cricket crafters that are there ready to help you as well. If you've got any issues Great. or share projects with and advice. Yeah, there's a lot out there. We've got right, three, so three minutes, Mike, uh, left on the show. Three minutes. Yeah. Don't worry. So I've cut that out and now I'm going to use these tweezer tools which are in the basic tool set and that's okay. just going to help me peel this off without touching the sticky parts of the mat. Okay. So I can lift that slightly. Now Easy. I've got it, I can use my fingers and you can see hopefully, and it's pink on pink, but you can see that kind of leaf shape. Yeah, and yeah no, we can see that. Yeah. I'll take it off the mat. Just Excellent. See a bit clearer. Considering so uh, Mike's working with fabric here, this is a cotton fabric that you're getting in the bundle. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So I'll take these off as well. And you can see just how quickly that cut out. A matter of seconds, it was easily less than a minute to cut both of those out. So you can imagine if you're doing something like uh, maybe English paper piecing, yes. where you're doing all your hexes and cutting out the same shape over and over again, or quilting, or even making bunting or something yep. like that, where you're repeatedly doing the same shapes over and over, Incredible. just how quickly that's going I to like allow that. you to cut them out. So hopefully there's a bit more and it contrast was, there. It was incredibly quick. See. Yeah, we can see that. 
incredibly yeah, quick good. to do, but accurate as well. So you're not going to be wasting any of your precious fabrics. It cuts precisely. Uh, and also you've got so many projects. So if somebody loves their, their quilting, we're just going to have a look at a quilt now. I know there are so many soft craft projects as part of the uh, software and the uh, designs that we can access, Mike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are there's so many that are ready designed for you, ready to go. So you don't even need to worry about designing a project. Or if you do want to design something, say you're an artist or even if your kids just make little drawings and sketches, you can always scan them in, upload them and then you can um, cut them out in whatever you want as well. So you Lovely. can I don't know, take a sketch and put it onto a yeah. vinyl to add to a mug or onto a T-shirt or a cushion yeah. or anything like that. Mike, time has unfortunately beaten us. Just got to tell everyone uh, that one bundle has bounced back. So I said I would let you know if a bundle bounced back. So that's why we put the details back on the screen. If you were hoping that a bundle would bounce back, it's going to be fastest fingers first, 065-271, your item number. Uh, first come, first served there. Mike, can I just say a huge thank you? Uh, I always love working with you. You're, you're so oh, good you. with uh, how you demonstrate the machine and, and make it look so easy. So uh, thank you so much. Can we follow oh, yourself? or uh, Cricket on social media, how do we do that? Yeah, sure, if you want to follow me, I'm at The Crafty Gentleman, or you can check out my website, which is thecraftygentleman.net, and there's loads name. of Cricket projects on there, yeah. and people can always drop me a message if they're stuck with anything. Yeah, that is a great name. I love that, The Crafty <laughs> Gentleman. <laughs> you. Well, you are an absolute gent, so uh, Mike, thank you so <laughs> much. Uh, we appreciate all your help thank today, you. and hopefully we will see you very, very soon. Thanks, Mike. Hopefully. So unfortunately time has beaten us. Uh, what I would suggest, if the uh, Cricut Maker, the bundle is in your basket, do have a look at reviews, see what price is like elsewhere, and if you really want to go for the bundle, make sure to check out. Thank you for your time. It's here, everybody. We've got Craft Yourself Silly, the Fabazine. Uh, a lot of people have been waiting for this, so it's going to be a busy hour. After that, we have Sue with Design and Sew, and then the Fabazine will return. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We brought them to a chanda and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hello, I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product, uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a chamber. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, 
We have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda, you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Hochanda News! We're excited to announce that from the 1st of July, our broadcast hours on Freeview will be extended to 10pm each day. We know that many of you have been missing our live shows in the evenings and we look forward to having you with us once again. and that's a sign that we are here again with Craft Yourself Silly. And of course, six o'clock, it's time for us to launch a brand new one day special. And we've been busy for this already. Lots of you have been waiting for your second issue of your Fabazine. Now, if you've not ever been introduced to a Fabazine before, then don't worry, we'll tell you all about it. We've obviously got issue number two that's available to you, but we have also got a bumper bundle. So if you did miss out on number one, it's at the bottom of the screen alongside number two. Um, so uh, yeah, there's loads of ways you can get hold of these. But as soon as we say Craft Yourself Silly, you know I am not the only Hayley um, oh, in the block. We've got another Hayley with us, the fabulous Hayley Smith. How are you doing, Hayley? You all right? I'm good, thanks, Hayley West. How are you? Yeah, I'm very well, <laughs> Hayley Smith. Now, we're busy, busy, busy for these, which I'm not surprised because you've had such yeah. a really fabulous response to the original one. Well, what we tried to do was just make, because obviously we print the fabric, so we wanted to make the most of it because if we have to print a single project then it takes up a certain amount of fabric but then there's the cost for the person to cut it off and to pack it and and all of these things so we thought well actually if we cut a lot of that out and did it as one big piece we could bring much much better value and that's exactly what we've done so with the fabazine what it is is it's 12 separate projects they come all together on one huge piece of fabric all the pieces are ready printed for you, so you just cut them out and away you go. Oh, you've got the huge piece of fabric. I've Good got work. it, and you're not kidding me, no, my it's goodness. A I don't know how I'm going to show you guys at home all of this. I might have to kind of drape it somehow over the front. So let's have a go. This is when I knock everything over. This, so this is going to end in apo tears. Apologise in advance. Oh, there oh. goes the box oh. that it comes in. Yeah. Now, Hayley, this is huge. What sort of things are we going to be making? Okay, so on this one, you have a storage box, you have a Victorian tile cushion you have a mug tidy organizer you have a beach applique panel you have a weaving loom included in this one the hedgehog pin cushion now i need to say on that i had a little bit of a gap once i'd finished arranging everything on the piece of fabric so you've actually got two hedgehog pin cushions you've got a little baby friend and um, you've got a jelly bean lunch bag noughts and crosses which i love that one is super cute um, a forest sewing pouch an embroidoodle a turtle we've said about the box and you've also got a foundation cabin backing as well. It actually comes out at just over, I think it's about £3.20 per wow. project or something like Gosh, that. Gosh, that makes it so affordable. Which is amazing because, as I said, when we have to put them all separately, it's all of that extra time, the extra time, the extra packaging, mm -hmm. the extra printing to get them into separate projects. And we, you can buy all of these as separate projects and that's where that initial kind of project value 
comes from because mm -hmm. there are 121 pounds with the projects in here well this is it if you were to go off and buy them individually you wouldn't be making the saving that you can see on your screen there and do make sure that you do take advantage of this while you've got the chance it is literally flying out now of course it comes with a full color brochure alongside it now it i did does. notice you've got that over there do you yes, want to talk I've us got through that, over that here as well and um, a lot of projects also have um videos tutorials as well which we are going to upload on youtube they're due to go up i think on tuesday so you can see there's how to get started with your weaving loom there's all of those various different stitches you've got your hedgehog pin cushion which you've now got two of <laughs> you've got your jelly bean lunch bag in there you've got your victorian quilted tile cushion and that one's the one i'm working on at the minute and that, what's next oh the notes cross one of my favorite projects this one it's just so much fun and then this one's really cute as well this one is a little sewing pouch as well oh, so okay and um, it there's lots of there's about five different panels to it but it sews together into a really really cute project there's an embroidery project in there with a few stitch suggestions for you you've got your turtle now, i've got a couple of different variations on this because i've sewn one and when we send them out to the design team, we let them do completely their own thing with them. And it's really interesting to see what you get back. Um, and then that's our final one there, which is the spiral cabin backing. Ooh, so I you've like got 12 that. projects and they all try and teach you something different just in terms of a different technique usually. So there's things like bias binding in this one. There's the foundation piecing option in this one. There's a bit more quilting in this one. We try and put different things in every single one, but just enjoy because for the price per project, it's amazing. Now, 20% of the one day special has gone already. We're very busy as well for issue one alongside issue two. I've got the finished projects here. Shall I show you some of those as we work our way through? I mean, look at this. I love this. You've got your panel all ready for you to, to work with. But then, of course, you could do a little bit of embroidery detail on there if you fancy, um, which is what's gone on with this one. Then, there's, a, there's another sample of that, actually. That's the one that I did. And if you whip it out the frame, you'll actually see there's an awful lot more odd that I've put on there. Okay. But I've just kind of framed it down so you can see different aspects of it. And then you'll also have a second piece there. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> So all those elements are already printed there. They're ready for you to add on. Now, these are perfect to say bubble quilt. Yes. Or yeah. make kind of 3D elements, maybe yeah. put a couple of layers of wadding behind the elements that you're putting in. Really, really good fun to play with. The other thing is you've got another one there that should be folded up that um, Claire did. That's it. Exactly the same panel. But look really? at the oh difference. My goodness. She hasn't used any of those additional elements. And she's just used organza. Wow. And a bit of free motion stitching on that one. That looks so amazing. So you've got options. Obviously, we are giving you the, the kind of tools, the raw materials to make the project. It is up to you how you use those. Because you could use all of those applique elements just as individual pieces on bags and things. No harp, weaving loom. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you should be playing a tune. <laughs> well, you can try. I don't think I get very far. So you've got a weaving loom in there. I love this little floppy tail that you've got as well. That's now, another one of those projects in there. <laughs> um, weaving loom, of course, that enables you to create yeah. fabulous pieces of art. And like these you see have here. been done by Patty from our design team, and they are beautiful. The, the looms that we used to bring you were quite big and chunky, like the one you can see. It's upside down. Just oh, go other way sorry. up. Sorry, there you go. And I'll flip concentrate. it over because it's back to front. Oh, there we go. I didn't want to actually there cover the turtle. I was just putting there the other one go. down so there. That's done on our kind of bigger, chunkier weaving loom. But you can still do that kind of technique on this one. Just instead of every strand, go every other strand. Um, that, that one is down. your uh, little pouch. This one's super cute. You're putting a zip in there and you're doing bias binding techniques as well your zip will be white it's just to get it to show up on the video better i have to do mine in blue no that would make sense so you're gonna get, <laughs> even get the zip in there as well wow. yes the zips included the bias bindings included the button to close it on the front is included you've got a matching mug organizer you could keep on there. your tea bags in that and then make yourself a, you, obviously you've got your little mug cozy in there so that mug cozy is well that's actually designed to storage Oh, is it? So okay. it's got pockets all the way around the edge. Oh, so it has. And all the way around the middle. So if you've got a mug, say you've got a, a, a mug for, for a big birthday. Yes. You know, one of those where people get you a mug. Maybe you don't like the pattern on it, or maybe or it's a chipped. chipped mug, yeah. Exactly. So you're using it as basically the, the foundation, the stabiliser for your mug carrier. Or I'm running out of space tidy. to put all these pieces. Yeah, I know. I've got that one over I, there. I got a bit carried away with this one. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I found a hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, adorable. And there's a baby one. 
Because since I'm not in there, oh. sorry. Since I made him, is he still I cooking? Well, no, I f no, found that I had some space on the panel. You made a mini me. So I gave you a baby one. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> Why not? What else have I got in here? What's this, Hayley? Ah, so that is your um, foundation piecing bucket. So we've called it spiral cabin bucking because that's the design that's on there. It's basically a flip and fold technique, which we'll hopefully get to later on. Uh, maybe not this hour, but another hour. You can and just you about make out the make... numbers on there. So it's like yes, I've got numbers. a blank one here. Do you want, to, do you want me to show you a blank oh, one? Oh, go on then. Yeah. Uh, there you go. There. So, so all the numbers are already on there, and there's instructions in the booklet which tell you how to work that and where you have to place the fabric, how you flip it, how you fold it, to get exactly the results that uh, that was again that was Claire that did that one, and it's beautiful. There you go. Now so when you start applying your fabrics, incidentally, if you are looking for boutique fabrics, do have a little look on the website. We've got some fabulous deals with regards to those during the one-day special shows. I'm still going. I feel a bit like Mary Poppins, and I'm going to be it is a little to, bit. Isn't it's just like a, a never-ending bag. Isn't it? <laughs> this is cute. So this is a little embroidery doodle. Now the hoop that you can see on there that actually comes with it as well. Oh, so wow. you get, you can see a little um, MDF you panel like that comes in with in it. You've got like your so that's the little MDF panel that you get with it. Now that MDF panel is your weaving loom, that little MDF hoop that you've got on there. Oh, we can see this from the one that you're holding. A few Hayley. of the little um, needles and kind of shuttles for your weaving. You've got a little comb for your weaving in there, and you've got all your knots and crosses pieces, and you've got four buttons as well, which um, perfectly match the project that you will see coming up. Now you mentioned noughts and crosses. We've got a little bag. Is that where you're going to yes. be keeping all those now, pieces? empty out of the bag. Oh, hold on. Oh, I think I might have found the weaving bits. Oh, have I left there them? There they are. The... They're oh. in there. I can save those because those are for me to have a play with. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you turn those noughts and crosses over, you either have happy people or grumpy people. Oh, I see! As in crosses, see? Oh, yeah, grumpy see people what are the you crosses. Did there. So the bag actually becomes your playing surface because, you, as you see on the, <laughs> that's your cross one. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly looking cross. Oh my goodness! And you can stitch those eyebrows in with a little bit of floss. Actually, there's floss in the kit as well, so you'll be fine. Um, They're bushy <laughs> eyebrows. They are. I, like <laughs> I wonder he's cross. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's all he needs. We just needs an eyebrow trim and they'll be happy. Uh, that nearly a quarter of the just stock has grab gone. Grab the bag that they came in because that's actually a playing surface. Oh, yes, sorry, I meant to show you that. Uh, there's something else in that. So it teaches you to how to do there. a drawstring bag, uh, and that drawstring bag is your playing surface with instructions just in case you don't know Maybe how to play those crosses. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is, kit would be absolutely ideal. I was chatting to Fee earlier on. Her son has really got into stitching with his 100 kit. And I said that I'd find some ideas and projects yeah. for him to do. And this would be fabulous. This is a great way to start. Started. Or it's a great way to kind of just learn a lot of new techniques. So Love that one's a little lunchbox bag. Love this little drawstring one again. Oh, no, it's oh, no that on. one's got a little loop, so it goes over to a little button. Which, ah. uh, unfortunately, the button's over here, though. Imaginary button. There you go. Imaginary you can just imagine. Yes. Love that <laughs> idea. We are so, so busy. This is... Oh, I forgot about this as well. Yes. Is that? Oh. So if you turn it round, you're actually... Other way. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Oh. Keep going. There you go. Uh, that kind of lotus flower design, you've got the template for that in there as well. So you can add it if you want. You don't have to. And there's a really clever graduated fabric because you can see quite a lot of detail in the graduation on that fabric there. And that comes from the panel that's included there where you get a great big long graduated piece. So you can pick and choose the colour ways that you want out there. So you could go right down to white or you could go that really, really deep coloured one Absolutely there. amazing. And you are getting all of that within your one day special. It's no wonder we are busy. Now, of course, this is issue two. You may have missed out on issue one. I mean, we were very busy when we launched that one. It's probably about, well, six weeks, eight weeks ago, something uh, like that. Yeah, about eight weeks. Yeah. We're doing yeah. them every other month. Okay, fair enough. So here you've got the bundle of the two together. So the total content in here, the value looking at projects, totally, I love that, 242 pounds and 82p. There's nothing more precise than adding those pence in there as well. Um, of course, you've got all your projects that we've just spoken of. Then in addition to that, you are going to be getting projects where you're going to be able to do a little bit of hand embroidery. Um, you've got printed panels in there. You've got the camper van that can be made into a cushion or maybe made into a tote bag. Um, to be honest, lots of you are going for the bundle of both together. 10% um, of the stock of those have gone. Two flexi buys are £39.99 
99 pence if you're wanting to go down the route of those. And of course, you've only got one post and packing that will cover both of those. And Freedom members, that is delivered to your door. So over the two projects, uh, um, if you go over the two bundles, how many projects will you have, Hayley? 24 projects over 24 the two projects of them. So how much does that work out? I mean, Katie, can you do the sums for us on that one? Because when you're looking at the price on your screen there, I mean, you're saving £5, but of course you have got the saving with your one-day special uh, as well. £3.33 per project. That wouldn't cover your parking if you were going off to a class, would it? Um, so, yeah, <laughs> not that you can go off to a class at the moment, unfortunately. But I know, I know times will change. But uh, what a brilliant way, especially if you don't want to go out, maybe you can't get out at the moment, then this is a wonderful way of keeping those fingers busy with a lovely little bit of stitching as you go. And learning on, in the process as well, as Hayley's mentioned there. So if you want to go for the duo bundle there, 401394 is the item number. But, of course, got a happy hour deal in this hour as well Hayley. Yeah so uh, what I've done as well because this uh, Fabazine is still a very new concept to us and I've wanted to bring and I've not done a one a craft yourself silly one day special for a while so I thought we'd make it super special and uh, we'd add a happy hour to every hour so this is what we've added to this hour and it's a whole selection of needles it's a pick and mix so you can pick any four of these and you've got two different uh, sizes of embroidery needles so that's hand stitch embroidery needle uh, you've got your cross stitch needle which are your little short ones you've got your long darners you've got your easy thread needles now I know Catherine was absolutely fascinated with these when she saw them and these you actually don't need to um, thread you don't need the, the skill to kind of thread that tidy hole and I'll show you how to do these in just a second you've got the long beading needles there and then at the front you've got three sets of um, machine needles as well so you've got your 80s Oh, they're the 90s. Well done, me. You've got the 90s, <laughs> you've got the mixed bundle, and then you've got the 80s as well. I'm just going to grab a piece of cotton really quickly, and I'm going to show you how those easy thread needles work. So let me grab this out of here. Just got a little kind of bobbin. Uh, this one's the easy thread. So these are amazing. If you do struggle with threading needles, these are an absolute lifesaver because at the top there, so if I just put my fingernail behind it, so you hopefully you'll just be able to see that. Um, it's actually got two, it's kind of got a notch on the top and then a hole underneath it. And what you need to do is, if I just hold that and put it in between the gap and then just pull down. Let me just try and get a hold of this so it doesn't go disappearing. There you go. And it's threaded. Wow. Ta-da. So really, really easy, and um, if you kind of have struggled to thread needles, this is a really good option for you. So I shall pop that back, and then I shall pop back over to the other side and do some more demos. Well, get some, well, start. We haven't done it yet. <laughs> because already a quarter of the stock has oh, gone of this. So. Yes, our best then. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a good idea. So if you do some numbers, guess, I'll go and sort the stuff out. No problem all at right. all. <laughs> so you guys at home, if you're wanting to take advantage of this, then you need to be quick. Over a quarter of the stock has gone already, and we are not even, well, it's only just gone quarter past the hour, so it's flying out. As Hayley mentioned, if you have just joined us, you are going to get a huge panel. I'm not going to open it out again, because I'm going to knock everything over if I'm not careful. But this panel will give you all of the different projects that we've been talking about. You can learn about doing foundation um, piecing as you can see there three dimensional projects with your pin cushions in there a little bit of a plique um, you can be making um, all sorts of wonderful pieces and you can be learning in the process and what you might find is certain areas you might have a little go at and you might love them and want to investigate even more and there's other projects you might think to yourself yeah I've done it I don't want to do it again and that is not a problem because you have got so many different projects working within here um, if you did miss out, miss out on issue number one then don't don't worry, you can get hold of issue one. Just going to pop the details up uh, on the screen. So issue one by itself, if you're wanting to go for it, don't add in the one day special and this into your basket because we have got a better deal for you. But I know some of you might want to do, go just for issue one because I know how you like to do things in order. So 554381. But can I tempt you to have a little go with uh, set one and two? Because this way you are saving an additional five and of course you can spread the cost. So if you were looking at spending and buying issue number one, 
then probably for less than you were originally going to be paying, you will be able to get hold of both of them and then you'll be able to get issue two. Nearly 20% of that bundle has gone though. The one day special's flying out, that double bundle is flying out as well. And you can realise why, because you're looking at over £240 worth of projects working within these. Um, and that's if you're going for both of them. And of course, if you're going for the set two, or should I say issue two, that is the latest release. You're going to be some of the first people in the country to get hold of that. And uh, yeah, if you got hold of issue one previously, can you let me know? Let me show what you've been up to. Send some photos into a studio at achanda.com. But it's issue number two that Hayley Smith is going to be working on. So we're going to head over to Hayley in just a few moments. But you can see everything there. The panel, you can see you've got your MDF piece there with all the different pieces that you're going to pop out. And then you have got some of those things you need, like your embroidery flosses, the stencil, your zip. They are all in there, or should I say the templates there, all ready for you to use. And of course, things like that template you can continue using after you've completed all your projects. So you've got plenty of choice, Hayley. What are you going to show us first? Okay, so we're going to start with the Victorian tile cushion because this one is super cute. And this one is, I've got to stop saying super cute. Everything is super cute at the minute. And I don't know why. Um, okay, so we're going to start with this one because this one can either be really, really simple or really, really complex. And the beauty of this one is more kind of in the way that it's been designed with the tiles. So the easiest way to do this is how I've done it right now. And all I've done is effectively stitch in the imaginary ditch um, and just outlined all of those square tiles. Now you could take it lots, lot further and then kind of do some quite fancy work in the middle. I've lost Hayley, she's gone weaving. <laughs> you could, you know, fill in all this white bit or you could do all of these extra twirly bits in the middle. You can do as much or as little as you want to on this. Now this has been designed as your kind of standard envelope back, which is, is fine, that's, that's nice and easy. So we'll pop this one in first. And then we'll pop this one over the top. And this is the one we're going to add. Do you want to put the one with the buttonholes in first? Because it does say put buttonholes in in the instructions. Again, it's just to make it that little bit different. And the buttons that are included, if I just take that button out of the buttonhole there, are designed to be the exact size and shape of the centre of that particular tile. And when you put it all together... So that will go on there, that will go on there. I'll sew all the way around in a second. But just to show you how it will look when it goes together, I'll flip these over quickly. So these go exactly on top of each other. So you've got almost that continuous panel all the way down. And where your buttonholes are, are where those um, little flower buttons go. So you've got a really kind of high quality finish to the back with zero effort because it's all been done in the print work. So if you can give me a minute or two, I'll quickly whip around the edges of this. And I've done some of that quilting on the back as well. I've just followed the lines. Ooh, actually, I've got those two lines to do as well. I'll quickly sew those two lines in. I'll do them now. I'll quickly show you. This, I'm just going to show you how, how simply you can do it. You can always take things a lot further um, and do some really kind of intricate work on them. Let me just get rid of this... Um, buttonhole foot because we don't need that and pop this one back on so even if you you could hand stitch these if you wanted to let me just remove that thread and put the quilting in that way you can do all sorts of different effects on here but in the the booklet it kind of just takes you through the straight line option and the possibility of you know putting some some more detail on that big front panel if you want to but I'm going to do the it's kind of fake stitch in the ditch on here. Now, what you'll also notice is I haven't done, uh, I've done a, a rolled hem in terms of I folded it, but I haven't actually stitched all the way along the bottom. And that's because there is enough holding it with those four points that I've added there that it isn't going to come undone if I leave it like that. And then I'm not spoiling my design with a, a line of stitching along the front there because also I'd have to go with about three different colours and stop and start and stop and start to get something quite, you know, to match the background. And because we've done the print so that it matches absolutely exactly, I don't want to spoil that by doing that. So I'm going to go and stitch in the ditch for these ones now. So I've got my machine lined up with my needle right in the middle. Oh, hang on. I've got me, I've still got my zigzag on. There we go. Perfect. 
and I'm sewing. I'm just starting a little bit on that grey border. Now that grey border is your seam allowance. So you've got everything lined up, ready to go. You're aiming to match everything with the actual edge of the print, not the outside edge. And that's the beauty of having the big panel. Everything has already been thought of. We've put seam allowances on everything. So once you cut out, you are ready to go. And if you want to replicate any of the product, uh, the projects that are in there, what I would probably suggest is once you've cut your pieces out, make a little paper template from them. And then you've got the same ones that you could, same sizes that you can use on different projects, especially for things like the mug organizer. Which, do you know what? Oh, I think we'll do the notes and crosses after this one. And then we'll, uh, oh, should we do the mug organizer? Oh, I don't know, there's too many. Are you, are you all right? Which one do you want to do next? I'm going to get this one finished first. I don't know. We're going to have a little delve into what's going on in your little world because you've got a, a new addition to the family. We have. It's so lovely. And look at this little character. He's so Who lovely. Is this? this is Frankie. Frankie. Frankie yeah. the dog. Well, we don't know oh. whether it's a boy or girl. So we've gone with Frankie on the basis that that could be either. Well, this is, I, I don't know when you can tell the difference, look, to be honest. Oh, oh look. And it's That's... a runner duck, so it stands upright and kind of runs like a little penguin. Oh, it's, it's so, adorable. so amazing. And how old's Frankie? Uh, three days today. Three days old. Oh, fabulous. Absolutely adorable. Love that. Love to hear about how Frankie's developed. It's got an Instagram already. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Fabulous. I love it. We'll have to make sure you check out and follow him. Literally, like that, waddling along. Um, but now, of course, we have got a fabulous show for you featuring the one day special, which is flying out. We've also got a pick and mix, and we're looking at some beautiful boutiques here. These are absolutely gorgeous. And of course, the beautiful thing about boutiques is that um, quite often you will come across them, and they, obviously, you've got that gorgeous pattern. With these ones, they are printed boutiques. So you have got a little bit of uniformity with these. Quite often with boutiques, you get a completely random effect with these but these are beautiful you're going to choose those so what you've got here is you've got fat quarters and you can choose any five of these any five for 14 pounds and 75 pence has somebody had a bang on the head because that is amazing now let me show you fat quarters you have got a good size piece uh, and of course this one here with that gorgeous mustard tone now have a look at that that is beautiful the size of these pieces i mean even if you just got these and made yourself some very simple um, simple um, envelope fold cushions then you have got some beautiful fabrics I absolutely adore these 14 pounds and 75 pence if you're wanting these and of course don't forget when you are working with those projects that Haley's ever shown you the foundation piecing on particularly very similar to the fabrics that you've got here so when you're replicating those designs which you will do once you've learned how to create them then you could be using these boutiques and of course you're doing things like the little bags that you're going to learn how to create um, that wonderful um, square cube bag as well you could be replicating these maybe having the boutiques on some on the outside some on the inside almost make it into a reversible project but these are absolutely beautiful and the beauty is you choose you decide so if you're into your pinks and your purples you can go down that route with those or of course then you've got things like your gorgeous blues you've got some fabulous teals they're always popular some of them have got similar sort of design so if you do want to team them up you could do as you can see here or you could go really bright and funky hot pink as you can see featuring with these best way for you to actually shop for these is to jump onto the website there because it is easier for you to actually choose those as you go but you can see some of these are beautiful pairings if you're wanting to go down that route 14 pounds and 75 pence is your price with regards to these so why not jump onto the website pop them in alongside your one day special and of course you can spread the cost of those at 14 and pounds and 75 pence as well if you're going to go for any individual projects which you can do but mm, think about it because you can see that those individual projects you might be looking at 14.99 for those but of course when you're looking at your flexi buy with your one day special that's where the value is it really is because one of these projects you're looking at what 9.99 potentially for one of those projects we've just been explaining to you that you're paying a little over three pounds for those projects within the one day special but three even pounds if you and look 33. at the individual bundles none of the individual bundles in themselves are expensive oh no for not at the all. project yeah but because we can combine them and kind of economize on the amount of fabric well not necessarily the amount of fabric but we can economize on the amount of time that it takes to print the fabric so we're printing one big piece because we can economize on the packaging because we're putting it in one big piece and the printing 
that's where we can bring you that amazing value of about just over three pounds per project. I can't oh. remember how, how much was it. I forgot. Three pounds and thirty-three. Three. All the oh, threes. well, there you go. That's nice and easy. Yeah. <laughs> that's three pounds nice and easy. thirty-three p. So. Um, <laughs> I'm going to stitch that together in a second because that will take a little while and I'd rather get through as many projects as I can while I'm here. So I'm going to do the Notes and Crosses bag. So with your Notes and Crosses bag, you will get these two panels and obviously your buttons, which you can use as buttons if you want to because they've all got little holes in. So you could stitch them onto a jacket or something if you wanted to. You're going to just line these up front to front, or face to face, and you are going to stitch all the way around that edge so I'm going to do that now and then we are going to put a double rolled hem on the top and one of the things that I didn't realize until after I'd done it is the um, you know the little needles that you get in the panel for the weaving loom yeah. these absolutely brilliant for uh, threading you know when you've got to thread through um, drawstrings brilliant for that because they've got a nice big eye to put the, um, the, it's like a cotton tape that we've got. So they're absolutely brilliant for that. So kind of keep one to one side for threading your tape. So, uh, okay, I'm just going to do all three sides and everything, it does say in the instructions, but everything has a quarter inch seam allowance on it. And that's already included, the fabric's in, included in the pieces that are printed. So all you need to do is sew. So we're going to come all the way around the edge of this one. to the stock so um, yeah if you are just joining us we are launching the one day special just to let you know that 30% of the stock has gone now with these um, it's literally flying away, um, flying away. Um, lots of you've been anticipating this because, because of course you took advantage of Fabazine issue one when, when that was released probably about six weeks ago this is the second and of course there are going to be many more to come now I must say the first one that we issued um, we had a problem with a couple of the videos that I uploaded, so I have reshot them now because the files were just broken. So I've reshot them and they're going to go up with this lot on probably, I think it's Tuesday they're due to go live. So you can, if you get stuck on anything, you can always watch that, that video that will be on YouTube. Wonderful. So let me just pop that out. So my next step is just to sort the corners out. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that excess off and you can always put a zigzag stitch over these edges just to secure them a bit further if you want to and before I turn it right side out I'm just going to double turn this because we want to stitch this in place so we're going to turn it once and then we're going to turn it a second time and it is worth giving that just a little press with a, an iron uh, we've got. I think we've got. I did ask for tiny iron on the show, and I have brought my. Just to prove I do actually own one, I have brought mine in from home <laughs> because they are they are smashing little things. And then from here, we are going to open this out and then just stitch all the way around that edge just to make a continuous loop. Now, if you don't want to, I mean, on the sample that I've done, I've actually put a. a little buttonhole slit in there and um, if you don't want to do that you don't have to we'll show an option that where you don't have to because it does say buttonhole in the instructions but I always like to give you other options so uh, oh, I might do this the other way around right. so this is the only kind of tricky bit because you need to keep the other half out of the way it is doable well yes I know he's building, <laughs> building the duck house at the minute <laughs> But why wouldn't you? That is a lovely duck. Right, let me just see if I can go any further across. Perfect. That'll do. Let me just bring this across a little because I want to be right on the edge. I don't want to stitch too far up here because if I stitch right in the centre, if I'll show you this side, if I stitch right in the centre of there, then I'm not going to be able to thread my um, tape through to create that drawstring. So we're going to stitch all the way around here. And put a little fixed stitch in first and then just taking it a small straight piece at a time moving it around oops let me just get that thread out of the way there we go and just taking i'm gonna do you know what i'm gonna see if i can do this on the side 
so that you can possibly see a bit better. There now we've been go. busy for um, Fabazine issue number two. We're also very busy for the bumper bundle that you've got on your screen there. Um, just to let you know that um, a quarter of the stock of that has gone now. So we've got lots of new views. Don't forget, if you've created projects from Fabazine number one, I'd love to see what you've been up to. Studio at Chanda.com. You've got time to send those photographs in and then hopefully we can share those with everybody. Okay, so we're almost there. And it is worth pinning this if you want to, but um, just take your time and just take it as short straight lines because that is the best way to get around this. If you take it as little bits at a time, you're not gonna get kind of too flustered. And just make sure that you're keeping this edge out of the way so you don't accidentally catch it and close up your pouch. So we need one or two more little turns. There we go, almost there. Ooh. There we go. So that's now all on the flat, so I can get this whole piece in this last run. Now, of all the projects, Hayley, somebody's just getting started with their sewing. Is there anyone that you would say, try this one first? Um, okay, so if you're not that confident on machine, there's a couple of different kind of hand-sewn projects. One that's quite nice to, you to do is the lunch bag, actually because that one uses, um, uses a bit of zigzag stitch, it uses a bit of straight stitch. Uh, it's got a couple of little techniques in there that I think are really, really simple, but work quite effectively. So that's a nice one to start with. So that is done. Oh, that's exactly what I was trying to avoid. Need to unpack it. Oh, bless you. Should mm, I show you the lunch box? Um, Do you know what? It's only, it's only that very last stitch. It's where I was doing that fixed stitch. Oh, I see. That oh, did that's it. Okay, so it's, then. it's no problem. It can just be unpicked. So. I'm just going to take those off and we're going to flip this right side out. So that is my bag ready. I'm going to use one of the little needles because you get three um, and they're obviously intended for your weaving loom but they are absolutely brilliant for this. Now you get a huge piece of tape included with your project because there's three different projects in this bundle that use the tape. Let me just sort those corners. Let me just sort the corners out there we go so that's ready so i would say uh, as a rule of thumb for this i would go three times the width of your bag so one two three and that's going to give you enough to get it all the way through without them popping back in but then not be so kind of dingly when you tie it that it's going to get dingly yeah. <laughs> dingly a Got thing some great words going on today so if you don't want to put a proper buttonhole in there what you can do is just by using that seam ripper just taking that top layer come in and out and just put the tiniest one you can in now as we use that little needle that comes with it you'll be able to go in through there or well, that makes it easier. Yeah, now. And then just slide it, slide it through. Lovely. I've actually got the finished project too. So I love this. Well, oh, I yeah. love, Do you like that one? I love <laughs> it. I, I must admit, those little faces, I think, are brilliant. Because, of course, you, you've got your little bag that Hayley's just threading the drawstring through. You can see here on this one how it all pulls together. And it means that you've got a little kind of bag here that you're going to be creating that not only is your storage bag for all your little counters, which see, I'll show you in a minute. the one that you've got, oh, um, ah, have you, because I did put little knots in the end so it shouldn't have slid back through. Have you put... Oh, no, just about. Sorry, I thought That's they were tied together. That's why you put knots together. in the end. <laughs> oh, I thought they were actually tied together. I do apologise. Oh, right. right. Okay. No, I've, I've retrieved it. We're all right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but you are getting... Can I show you the counters? Because, of course, we're playing noughts and crosses. So, of course, rather than um, a round and uh, a cross, we've got... That's your cross. Which <laughs> I love. And you've got... You all know somebody earth. who looks like that. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody, everybody knows somebody who looks like that. Thankfully I know more people that look like that though. Good, so this I'm is happy a good thing. That. Um, but yes, you have got your little grumpy faces, which obviously they are cross, um, those are your crosses. And you've got your little holes in there, so you can do your little embroidery detail on there as well, to turn them into eyebrows, which I absolutely love these. And of course you've got plenty of those for you to play your game. Of course we were talking a little bit about the lunch bag as well, so that's another of the projects. This jelly bean fabric is part of your panel. Your panel is going to cover all of these projects that Hayley's going to take us through and of course she's going to have a work cut out because there's a lot of projects to get now, through. what I did do as well was 
all of the fabrics that have been used, both in the first Fabazine and the second Fabazine, I've done them all as half metres as well. So if, oh, if, so if you, you want did more get, of these? Yes, if you did get any of the projects from the previous one and you like the fabric and you want an extra bit of it, then you can absolutely do that as well. Wonderful. Now. I'm going to bring those details in for you because, of course, if you do want to go for more of that fabric, then you can do. So you might be looking at the lunch bag and thinking, well, hang on, I want to make um, something for a mug cosy or something like that to go alongside it. Well, you can do. You've got pick and mix on your screen, as you can see there, and you've got loads and loads of different options. So you're just choosing what you're wanting. It's just £16.49. and pence. You can go in and choose which whatever you fancy. So have a little look at the choices that you've got here. I'm sure you'll recognise these fabrics already. You can see your little green circles, that's um, what you're going to see featuring on your little turtle. Your jelly bean from your lunchbox, as we saw there, the Victorian tiles from the project that we saw started out. Pencils there, your fantasy forest as well. All of these featuring within your project, you can then replicate over and over again to make other projects with them. Maybe to coordinate or maybe to do that project again. That's entirely up to you. And of course, one of those fabrics you can see there is your green circles and your green circles feature on one of the projects within your magazine which is your little flippy floppy turtle which I love this this is such a cutie but you might want to create more of these a number of different techniques on that because to to make him there's kind of a tummy panel if you flip it there you go flip him over there's a tummy panel and then there's the top panel and it does give you a couple of different options in how you want to construct that because you can make it kind of easier or more difficult for yourself okay just to test your skills out oh is it a sad looking turtle he there. is his knee oh he's happy again yes. he's happy so it's fine it's fine <laughs> it's all good um, that's just one of the projects in there you get the obviously you've got um practical projects in here as well but you're getting the ability to really get into textile art as well i mean this is one of the panels i'll show you another version of this in a moment absolutely amazing and you can see it's a beautiful piece this would make a gorgeous wall hanging or maybe you want to use it as a cushion cover which you could do quite well, easily we do give you a couple of options with these because there, there's um, that one and the spiral backing okay they're both as backing so you can turn those into anything that you want to and we do try and give you kind of different options and not always it be a bag or a cushion Oh, well, this is it because everything comes on a panel. This is the key thing. I'm going to try and show you the panel again. Bear oh, in mind, I'm only about five foot four, so it's not easy. So Make here we go. Back here, yes, that, that's Ooh, nice. Leave me string. in vision so I look a right plonker when I knock everything over. I don't mind. Here you go. Have a look. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Uh. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. My arms I'd love to come and enough. assist you, but I'm, you I'm forbidden. I mean, it's a big piece of fabric, actually. You probably would be two metres apart if you held one corner. Do you think we would be? Then it actually, it is. It's two metres wide. Oh, there you go. So, then do you want me to come over and hold the corner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, you're okay. I think I've got it now. But you can see there are all okay. the different panels there. So, whether you are doing your little purse with the zipper, and um, that's what you're going to learn in that project. You can see up in the top corner over here, you've got that ombre effect for when you're doing that wonderful water lily applique on your box. Um, and then, of course, you've got your little a kind of um, noughts and crosses bag in there as well you've got your ca um, your little kind of a beetle car in there going off on your holidays don't forget you're going to be making those wonderful little pin cushions there including your baby pin cushion as well they are all featured within that big panel there a absolutely incredible value for me that's your starting point because then in addition to that of course you're going to want instructions and that's what Harry's done full color instructions featuring within your booklet you're also going to get things like your embroidery silks in there you're also going to get binding you can get them um, safety eyes in there a zipper as well for one of those little projects you're also going to get your mdf panel and this is important because the mdf panel has got lots of elements in there so popping out those elements you'll have your weaving loom in there you'll have your little counters for when you're paying knots and crosses you'll have your weaving needle in there your little comb for you to get all of those elements in place large circle that oh let's move that out of the way you can see it the large circle there actually is an embroidery hoop for you as well that is all included i think that's really clever to have all of those elements in there and then of course you have got your reusable water lily oh, template I've lost which you are going to be able to again. use sorry i've lost the string again you've lost your string yeah well i was we i was setting up a weaving loom but my, <laughs> oh, my string you. keeps rolling off the edge <laughs>
<laughs> now, we are very, very busy. Over 30% of the stock of the one-day special has gone. You've got a £10 saving, two flexi buys of £20 each. And you can see your projects in here, you're looking at £123.91 worth of projects. Works out at just £3.33p. So why not pop those into your basket? £39.99 being your price, spreading it over two payments. But of course, we've got a bundle of both, so you can get issue one if you missed out on that one, and issue two. Again, you've got flexi buy on this one, flexi order, should I say, so it means that you can spread the cost over two payments. £79.98, but of course, spreading the cost over two payments. Now, Lisa has been busy with her issue number one, um, and in fact, it's similar to the bag that I've got behind me, but here you go. It's Lisa, almost amazing. identical. That looks amazing. That is excellent. Love it. And it's just a lovely bit. I love, I mean, on, obviously your, um, on, I can see on yours, Lisa, there, you've kind of done a setting sun more so in the colour over here. You've kind of followed the, the stitching line that's on there. And we've got the, way, the little kind of wiggly wavy um, elements. The uh, the road there, as you um, can see, in all those fabulous mine, hills. Mine was the prototype one. So ah. uh, mine has just got a plain lining. But I can see on hers, there's actually a camper van fabric included, and she's used well, that I as the lining. Well, I saw that. I saw that before, yeah. Yeah, because sometimes mine are the kind of prototype ones, and they're... Well, this is it. And then I decide just it, to make you? it better. Test it out. It looks fabulous. I love it. Um, thank you for sending that picture in. Don't forget, if you've got any more pictures, studio at achanda.com. Oh. I wonder if we can get a photo for every single one of the projects that were in issue number oh, like, one. Like Fabazine Bingo. Fab yeah, Fabazine Bingo. I like the <laughs> idea of that. So, Lisa, you've got us started. I don't know whether you were part of a row or a corner, but thank you very much for getting involved. And as I say, anybody else, we've got lots of shows to fill with the one day special, so get those photos ready. Wanting the double pack, though, 401394. Is that that item number and a quarter of the stock has hey. gone with regards to that. I was going to knock something over at some point, wasn't I? Um, so yeah, do pop that into your basket. Um, Seventy-nine pounds and ninety-eight pence. Spread the cost over two payments, and that is perfect if you missed out on issue one. Of course, issue one is available by itself, just as issue two is. But please do not add them separately into your basket because you won't take advantage of the one-day special prize, and that saving will not be carried forward. You've got a five-pound saving on your screen there, but that is on top of the saving that you're getting with your one day special as well so it does actually equate to a little bit more than that um, you can see their details so 401394 if you're wanting those do pop them into your basket but we're going to hand straight back over to Hayley Smith to see what she's up to oh you're weaving yes so we'd obviously completed that um, little knots and crosses bag really really quickly so I thought I would move on to the weaving loom next so to start this off um, you need, um, I'll have to finish this one and then we'll start the next one. <laughs> to start it off, you need uh, just a loop, which I'll show you how to do in just a second because it's exactly the same thing you need to finish it off. So I've just started off up this top corner, put the loop on there, up and down, up and down, alternate teeth. Now, if you want to make it a slightly bigger, oh, you're cracking on great guns over there, I've just seen. <laughs> But, well, that's um, lovely thick yarn. If you want to make it wider, you can go alternate teeth if you wish to. So that's my last one that I'm going to do there. So I have just uh, taken a little bit extra, and then I'm going to snip that off. I'm going to unhook it from there and just tie it in a knot so I create a loop. So straightforward knot, but with one side doubled to create that loop. And then... I can see I've just made it a tiny bit short. That's fine because I've got a lot of extra kind of wiggle room on here. So I can um, just kind of loosen them off a couple at a time to get that right the way up to there. So let me just, I've got quite a baggy one here, so let me go with that one. And then just tighten them all up a little bit, pulling all of that excess out towards this end. And then come in oops where am I coming back from I'm coming back this way that's it coming back that way holding it down coming back the other way holding it down and last one yeah it's it's really simple and straightforward to do oh, have I missed one somewhere oh must have missed one somewhere that's okay though because if I just pop back around there I can take it back up to the top and now that extra little wiggle room that I've created is just enough to hook it over that edge so we are good to go now because these are a little bit close together these are perfect for things like any type of yarn I've got a, oh, a couple of bits pulled down here t-shirt yarn 
brilliant for these. And also things like le bits of leftover uh, felting roving is brilliant for this as well. So let me get a few bits and we'll start you off. Now, I would definitely recommend starting from the centre of a row and you can just simply tie it on to get you started because you can always just shuffle that knot round to the back and then you're away. Now you can use these as little shuttles and wrap quite a lot of uh, wool or um, thread or even embroidery floss you can do on here because it's quite narrow or you can use them just to help you weave in and out. So I'm going to do a little section at a time with this. I'm actually working on a similar sort of a loom to Haley here um, and I did try to use it as a shuttle but when you're actually working with this style of fabric uh, or this style of yarn it gets quite chunky so it's difficult to weave through. If you're working with something like an embroidery floss and of course you can load that shuttle up and you can just weave it backwards and forwards but you can see here I'm just using a piece um, and just weaving it up and down. I've got a couple of different colours that I'm going to work with and you can see there how it sits so beautifully. Top tip from me though don't get too carried away because you might find yourself weaving in your frame as well yes oh have you done that because i did do that and i pick it a little <laughs> bit as well because you do get into the swing of it and it's so you simple do. and you've it? also got a little comb in there um i think i've lost mine i've got one here you've got one over there yeah and it's nice because the teeth if i just dangle down my thread um at the moment the teeth sit neatly within those little um i don't know what they're called these little bits is it your warp, warp, warp and your weft warp and weft so warp, warp goes weft. up and down and weft goes left to right. Ah, oh, there you go. There you you go. weft to the left. Um, and there you go. You <laughs> use that and that will just kind of allow you to pat those elements down so you don't get any um, large gaps as you're building up your design. And just do that at the end of each of those rows and it just work. Um, I didn't do it all the way through because I forgot about it. Um, but now that I've remembered, I can go back. But doesn't I love the colour of that as well? I'm quite looking now, forward to this. But you can weave anything <laughs> in. It's all right. I'll leave that one. Oh, you've gone two at a time. That's nice. Yeah, I thought I'm going to chunk it up. Yeah, why not? Well, that's the beauty of this, because Ooh, you've got the me options. Me. Drop me shuffle. Now, the one thing I will say is if you are doing two at a time, um, you know how you go, you've gone around each individual peg? Try and get ones from different pegs. I would say to knot it because together. Because if, when, yeah. you take, when you come to take it off, if you haven't gone around alternate uh, pegs, then what can happen is the whole thing can come out because oh. you've gone round ones with the same peg. Well, there is and actually when a loose you take one that on off, the one end. So yeah, yeah. I've left that. When loose, you come but... and take that off, just just okay. bear that in mind if you are going to use that technique. So okay. I've got to this corner, and this is the corner where I've got that loop. Oops, try and move that out of the way. So that's the loop that I used to start it off. That's where my knot is. And instead of going under both of them, I've actually gone through the centre of that okay. loop and that again will help to secure your piece so i'm going to go through that once i've been through it once i can just count it as a single piece and see when i'm coming back now because I, I would class that as i've gone over i'm going to come back under there and then i can start my way all the way back along now, we've got a contender for practically a full house with Fabazine Bingo. <laughs> we've had Louise email in and she sent a fabulous picture. She's been Let busy with those projects. So here she's done six <gasps> of the projects. That My looks goodness. Amazing. So at six of the projects, we've got the bag, we saw the bag from Lisa earlier on, so um, yes. we're up to six projects in total, so we've got about